Ever City. Li Yunzi, don't rush, everyone will get one. Give it to me first, I've been hungry for three days, this Valkyrie is quite kind-hearted, to give us porridge, Lu Wanxiao daughter of the deputy city lord, wow. Is this the statue of a Valkyrie? This city was ruled by such a beautiful woman. Phew, finally a full meal. I told you the Valkyries are not so kind. Our homeland, Wuzhai City, was destroyed by one of these Valkyries a year ago, why don't they leave us alone? Huh? Hmm? I'm a silk farmer from the town of Mulberry. I was on my way to deliver silk to the city lord when I met a robber and had no choice but to come here to make a living, I won't dare anymore, please forgive me, I don't want to die yet. Ever city prison, it's hot. Isn't this, isn't this the beautiful and powerful Valkyrie, the gods have not failed me, and before I die, I have had a very sexy dream. Huh? Mistake. What's going on? Why am I in a dungeon? And locked up with a naked Valkyrie? This feeling, I'm not dead yet. Was that not a dream? Did she and I really shit, shit, shit? Eh? You're awake too, little one. Great, haha, -ha, hum. Uh, you're awake? Well, we, I was just robbed of my money and then I ate poisoned porridge, so that's why, what difference does it make? Her purpose has been achieved. He, you are looking very well, it seems that this little beggar served you very well last night. I wonder how many people's hearts would be broken if they heard that the magnificent sister was sleeping with a little beggar, don't worry, I'll make sure everyone hears about this. It will become the most hot topic at the end of the day. Ha ha. You've been overthrown? Don't look. Ouch. You've seen me too, and I'm a victim too, you want to die, I'll make it happen now. Okay, okay, I'm not looking, I'm just trying to figure out how to get out. Ha ha, my little bug is really good at everything. Well, little, bug, worm. Uh, what's with that look in her eyes, you help me up. You are a Valkyrie, so powerful, why do you need my help? I've been poisoned and now I'm weak. No help, I've been blinded, I can't see anything. No help? Ouch. Don't punch, don't punch. I'll help you. I'll help you, okay? Uh, uh, didn't you say you were powerless? And still so violent. But it was worth it. Ouch. Hey there. Pull me up. The more beautiful a woman is, the more she can't be trusted. Ouch. Put it on, I'll pull you up. Come on. Why are you so heavy? It seems that the toxins have not been removed from her body, so she is no different from a weak woman. Come with me and don't make any noise. Are you sure you can get out of the city from here? You can go on by yourself too. How long do I have to crawl? I'm dying. That's not an option. Your physical strength is too bad. I'm, I'm just a little tired. Fire, run. Ah. Somebody help. Gilded Fire Dragon. You see, is this view satisfactory? Luo Shao Dragon Master, Dragon Master, we have no grudge against you, why do you? I told you I wanted her, so where is she? It seems that I have been too kind, and that this city is no longer worthwhile. My lord, she slept with a beggar for one night, and has become the lowest and dirtiest of all women, so why do you keep on thinking of her? My daughter is pure and elegant, and has some skill in commanding the city. If you don't mind, my daughter can be married to you today. What did you say? How dare you touch her? If she is not a pearl, you are no different from the rotten mud and sand. There is no need for you to live in this world, you untouchables who grew up in the shit. What are you laughing at? Haha, ha, I see, ahem, before you became a dragon master, you were just dirt in the eyes of that woman, you, you did everything you could to win her affection, but she treated you like a slave. Finally, ahem, you've come back as a stronger person, expecting to be impressed by her, but I've ruined her, the goddess you love day and night, naked in the arms of a beggar, who's enjoying her, ha ha. ha shut up. Go to hell. Even so, Li Yunzi. You can only be mine too, Luo Xiao. A dragon master? It's, it's a good thing we got out of there. What are your next plans? If your enemies find out you've run away, they'll probably come after you. Why don't you come to my place for a while, since you haven't recovered your strength yet? Lead the way. Mulberry Town, ah, uh, after three days and nights of walking, I can finally sleep. Alas, the power was taken from her, her purity was taken from her, and the Ever City was somehow completely destroyed, but she had to hold back her anger and humiliation. In her eyes, I am just a beggar who has taken her virginity.
Smells good. My silkworm. They are so cute. How can you eat them? I'm hungry and there's no food in your house. Oh my god, I am going to buy you a meatloaf if you don't eat it, okay? I didn't expect that. Despite looking like a fairy and having a great temperament, she can be so cruel when it comes to frying silkworms. In this world, the most noble of all is the dragon. There is a wonderful power in the earth that gives all beings a certain chance of becoming a dragon. Legend has it that all living things have their own dragon gate, and when they jump through it, they can become dragons. There are people who look for the laws of dragon transformation and help beings who have a chance of becoming dragons to lead through the dragon gate. Such people are called Dragon Master. Wow! I will definitely become a Dragon Master one day. But, when you become a dragon herder, you must be kind and not kill innocent people. Grandpa, it must be hard to find a young spirit that can turn into a dragon, right? In recent months, there have been rumors that young spirits love to eat silkworms, so if a young spirit that eats silkworms appears, it must be caught, and the chances of it turning into a dragon are high. Oh, I have a lot of silkworms at home. So, the price of silkworms has gone up recently, and our little mulberry town is making a fortune from raising silkworms. Holy shit! My silkworms! I'm back, try the meatloaf I bought. Huh? Where is she? I'm going to take a walk and left your silkworms safe inside. You're just going to walk away? Will I be a disgrace to you for the rest of your life? Actually, forget it. Do you think we'll never get back to the days when we were so powerful? But, it's good to be ordinary, no pressure, no worries, and no responsibility. Come on, let's have some food. Ah. Didn't you left? Why are you back all of a sudden, scared the hell out of me? You act as someone from my clan. Her clan? The Lee family of the ancestral dragon city-state? Is he the one you say you want to go on the journey with? He was here first and had already told the clan about my current situation. I told him to clean up the traces of my stay here and then to return to Ancestral Dragon City State immediately. He, he, now let me make the first move and take the initiative. Mistress, the clan has ordered me to bring you back, but no strangers are allowed to travel with you as you are so dignified and beautiful, so I advise you not to trust anyone from unknown origin. Who is of unknown origin? I am a member of the clan. Luo Shao used to be a servant from my father's court and is now a dragon master. He's not someone with unknown origin. Oh, we're from the same clan, then let's go together, so we can look after each other. This is the dragon that destroyed Ever City. It seems that the one this Luo Shao wanted to kill was probably me, he didn't know who the little beggar was that had sex with Li Yunzi. So he just destroyed the whole city. This Luo Shao used to be your father's court, now he isn't? Luo Shao was spying on my sword practice. Who? When I found out, he was exiled from the clan by my father. Exiled from the clan just for watching a sword practice, I'm lucky enough to be safe even after taking her virginity. He has a grudge, and now that he's a dragon master. He didn't abduct you directly because he wants to use this opportunity to return to your clan? He's escorting you by force, and it's hard to tell if he'll go crazy on the way. Hmm. This guy is always buzzing around the lady, and it's really annoying. Hey! You are trying to kill the lady. I'm sorry, but my fire dragon is a little short-tempered, so it was a bit rude when we landed. But as a member of the Lee family, how dare you touch her body? Ouch. Scram. Servant Zhu has just enrolled into the Dragon Tamer's Academy. His dragon ling has yet to take shape. Thank you, Master Luo, for your help. It is brave of you to set foot in this savage land before you become a dragon master. This guy is trying to provoke me all the way. Well, luckily, I can bear it. This is the ancestral dragon city-state. It is said that the ancestral dragon city-state was created from the body of an ancestral dragon. Now that I have seen it, it is indeed true to its name. Lee Family Royal Court, my lord, don't be angry, it is good to have her back. You can't even protect your own honor. How can you protect this ancestral dragon city-state that has trouble on all sides? Liying head of the Lee family, Kong Tong Lady of the House. My lord, I have already burned the city to the ground. How could this incident have reached the ancestral dragon city-state so quickly? Shut up. Is it your turn to speak? No matter what, Yun Zi achieved many war merits for our city and expanded our territory. Even if her reputation is tarnished now, her prestige and commanding remains. What commandeering prestige is there to speak of? Besides, the troops under her also have to bear this shame with her. Your guard shall disband from here on and will be distributed to other camps to continue guarding the battlefields in the west. 
your sister, Nan Langxiao, will take over the position of the successor to the Divine Maiden, and you will be under house arrest in the palace, forbidden from seeing anyone. Luo Xiao. Your guilty servant is here. Your dragon is a gilded fire dragon? Yes. I didn't expect you to come across such fortuitous encounters when you left the Li family, but you did a good job this time, showing those vagrants of Wutu that our Li family is not to be trampled on. Come under my wing. The Gilded Fire Dragon is indeed a precious dragon with unlimited potential, but it requires massive resources and a great master to guide it. As long as you're loyal enough, I can assure you of a brilliant future. Many thanks, my lord. Many thanks, my lord. Huh? I, am I here? Can't you see me? Miss Yunzi, don't worry about what others think. I will try my best to be a pillar of the Lee family and do everything I can to get your father to marry Miss Yunzi to me. I, I, Luo Xiao, really do care about Miss Yunzi. You don't have to answer right away. Just understand Luo Xiao's loyalty and feelings. Am I really that invisible? I'll prove it to you. It's still bleeding. Wipe it off. Lee Family Guest Room Although she's not angry with me, she probably doesn't want to see me anymore. I am too embarrassed to stay at the Lee Family House and eat and drink for nothing. I should better find a place to work on a temporary basis. The best thing to do is to plant mulberry trees, otherwise Bai Chi will be upset if it didn't get any food after waking up. Bai Chi is the little ice worm's name. Speaking of little Bai Chi, it had been many days since it came out on its own to take a breather and instead chose to remain in his spirit domain. Was it preparing for hibernation? Let's go inside and see. Spirit Domain The spirit domain is an otherworldly space for dragon masters to store their tamed dragons. Strange, why is there an extra ice cocoon here? This. This is a sign of the dragon's transformation. Bai Chi will soon return to the dragon throne. Great, it looks like we will soon be able to fly freely in the air again like we used to. Ha! It's a pity that I'm not a real dragon master, otherwise I wouldn't have let you become like this. Don't worry, Bai Chi. I'll figure out the mystery of your regression and help you become strong. I will help you get back to the top and become a true dragon master. And I also don't want to be a lifelong disgrace for her. I have to find a safe place to overcome the pupation stage, but I am not familiar with the ancestral dragon city state. Sir, are you asleep? Coming. I am Schwammer, maid of mistress, who has asked me to pass you this recommendation letter for the admission to the Dragon Tamers Academy in Li Chuan. Many thanks, Miss Schwammer. Is she trying to make the identity of the Dragon Master real in case Luo Xiao investigates this matter afterward? The Academy is indeed a good place to go to. Fine, let's go to the Academy. Once you've reported, make sure to not miss the Spirit Link selection. Be sure to choose well. Dragon Tamer's Academy, Li Chuan. This is the Li Chuan's Dragon Tamer Academy. Truly a magnificent place. Are you here to see the Academy too? I'm here for the admission. Fang Yin Yin Peach Cellar Girl, ah, uh, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell that you're actually crazy. I'm not crazy. Why is the little girl so mean? You look so plain, you don't carry a spirit, and you're so dumb. When did the Dragon Tamer Academy lower its admission standards so much? Let's make a bet, then. I'll walk in right now, and that person at the Copperwood Gate will definitely not stop me. If I can get in, then you'll have to give me this basket of peaches. Well, what if I win? I'll buy all your peaches. I don't believe you can buy all my peaches. I'm here for admission. Here's my enrollment letter. Well, go in front and get your academy emblem, then wait at the side for a while. Hey! Look at me coming, I. Sister, it really couldn't be less. Look at my peaches. Every single one of them looks so good. Damn, this is worse than losing. We have enough people. Let's go. Nanyi, Li Xiaoying, Li Xiaoying, you are the hope of our village, no matter what, you must become a dragon master. It doesn't matter if you don't succeed, just come back to the village sooner. If the cows and sheep are not fertilized, they will not be able to produce milk, and without milk, the little lambs and calves will not survive the winter. Remember to share the bag of bacon with your classmates, as you're not familiar with the place, so that you don't get bullied. I know, Uncle Hua, please go back now, please. Are you new admission too? I'm Li Xiaoying. What's your name? Zhu Ming Lang. What is your name, fellow student? You three are late entrants. Even if you have traveled a long way, you should have departed earlier. If you go to the Dragon Storage Hall now, you will only be able to choose dragonlings that were left unpicked by others. Dragon Storage Hall. Choose, and when you have done so, come and register with me, have your imprint done, and the spirit ling will be yours. 
Wow, there are so many spirit lings, which one should I choose? Hey, you guys are pretty serious about selecting your spiriting. A real dragon might not exist even among thousands of spirit lings. Letting you pick one here is only to give you a sliver of hope to become a student of the academy. Just pick one at random, don't be so stubborn. If you have the time to pick a garbage here, you might as well spend more effort on raising your own spirit ling. Silkworm? There are bullies even here. Little crocodile spirit, follow me from now on. Yikes! No wonder the other spirit lings bully you, you're a real jerk. In recent months, there have been rumors that young spirits love to eat silkworms, so if a young spirit that eats silkworms appears, it must be caught, and the chances of it turning into a dragon are high. And this crocodile has a hard bone on its head, like the hidden horn of a dragon, that's all, I'll tolerate it. I'm a professional silkworm breeder, so I'm not sure if I can transform you into a dragon, but I'll make sure you get plenty of silkworms. Here, I'll give you another one, do you want to follow me? Soul binding. well, I'll call you higher from now on. Accommodation area, well, how's that small pond I dug for you? Go and play by yourself. I'm going to take a bath. Phew, yeah. Next day. Uh, eh. Good morning. You like the training so much, I'll reward you with a silkworm. Today I'll take you to a nice place to train. You guys haven't seen her in person yet. She's pretty as a fairy, but really, the damn heavens, why did it have to treat her that way? I heard it was an old beggar, but I heard it was a young vagrant. What do you guys know? In a place like Wutu with no order, where she is as beautiful as a fairy, everyone must be dying to have a taste. Stop talking about it. I beg you, please stop. She's my star. Stop talking about this unpleasant topic. Ah, uh, rumors are getting more and more ridiculous. Hey, you're a crocodile and you don't like grouper. Good moves. Oops. You can't afford to boast, come back. Don't be so naughty next time. Not good. Don't come any closer. Get back. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ouch. Huh? Waterfall flood dragon? Duan Gang, why do you want to die when your body is a gift granted by your parents? I'm not killing myself. This was an accident. Grono? Little Haya, you've advanced. But even if you've grown stronger, you can't jump off the waterfall like this. You'll die from the fall. I admit defeat, I admit defeat. Keep your nonsense to yourself the next time you're doing chores. Nothing to see here, spirit lings against spirit lings, pure waste of time. Hungry? Little Haya, you eat a couple of grouper to make up for it, and I'll get you a big basket of silkworm and fill you up. Roar, that's not what you said, liar. Next day, Little Haya's food can temporarily be exchanged for silkworms by working in the dragon storage hall, but as Little Haya grows up, this will definitely not work all the time. Looks like we'll have to find a way to make some money to get our food. Oh yes, and the little Bai Chi, he likes nectar, so when he wakes up, I must feed him enough nectar. Zhu Ming Lang, stop there. Eh? What's the matter with you? You stink like you've fallen into a toilet tank. Did you have to clean the dragon's dung? How can this man be so lowly, sweeping up dragon dung is the job of a slave worker? In that case, why don't you clean up the back of your classmates' houses too, since you've already been cleaning up dragon dung? On what basis? That is your own business. If you didn't show up for tomorrow's spirit lings battle, you forfeited. The weakest one should clean up the front and back of the house. It is reasonable and logical to accept the bet if you choose to participate with your private rules. And my not participating means that I don't need you to clean my area, and I don't need to do chores for any of you, understand? Humph. Don't be cocky. Talk to the wolf raiser in the yard if you dare. Little Haya, look what I've got for you. Woo. Slow down. Dub. Well, as little Haya grows up, I don't think the silkworms received for cleaning the dragon hall will be enough to feed him, so where else can I earn more dragon food? When I came back from the dragon storage hall, there seemed to be a task with decent rewards at the Academy's mission hall. So, I'll try it out later. Academy's mission hall, mission list. There are even missions to head to a battlefield to lay siege to a city, those are probably missions for true dragon tamers. The Academy is really lax on their mission postings. 
Attack on a neighboring city, the city has been occupied by the evil demon who wants to sacrifice the souls of commoners and slaves to practice the spiritual magic, endangering the safety of the entire population. Duration of mission, three months. Reward, a quarter of the city tax of the neighboring city. A quarter of the city's taxes. If little Bai Chi hadn't regressed, I could actually have given that mission a try. Huh? This task, it's a good way to train Haya and make money at the same time. Eradicate the spotted blue fish demon spirits. Fish demon spirits are beginning to propagate in Li Chuan's lake, producing loud noises from their mating late at night. Eggs laid on the shore are hard as rocks, severely affecting the beauty of the academy and Li Chuan Lake. Some fish demon spirits have even gone to the towns to attack the fishermen. Their actions are extremely obnoxious. Duration of mission, half month's reward, one grain of gold. I'll accept this task. Li Chuan Lake. Home, home. I see. When they gather in a bunch, they use the movements of their whiskers to notify their companions of an enemy attack. That way, the other spotted bluefish demon spirits can avoid the Little Haya ambush in advance. Little Haya, these spotted bluefish demons are faster than you, but not by much, so we still have a chance. Ha ha! You figured it out? You need to train here, to get used to the resistance of the current and to improve your speed at the same time. Come on, Little Haya! You can do it! Woo! I hate this place. Eh, I'm exhausted. Well, we're done for the day. Let's go home. I've got lots of silkworm for you. Ah! Go, go! One week later. Pew pew! Well, let's get on with catching the blue fish demon today, and we'll be successful this time. Attack! Haya, scatter them, then chase at one that's alone. Ha ha, we did it. Good job, Haya. Let's go. Mission accomplished. Well done. Little Haya. Phoenix Falls Town. This should be enough to buy a lot of fresh, good quality, large fleshy silkworms, right? By the way, we can purchase some nectar, which the little Bai Chi would love to eat. Huh? Finally, I found you. Is that you? Little brother, you promised to buy me a basket of peaches, but you've been avoiding me for so many days. Dragon Tamer's Academy Emblem. You obviously owe me a basket of peaches, girl. Oh, so you really are a student of the Dragon Tamer's Academy. Then, where's your dragon? Don't change the subject. I want the freshest, biggest, and juiciest peaches. Okay, okay, you win. I have plenty of peaches at home, so when I'm done selling them for the day, you can come to my house and get them. By the way, do you know where to buy silkworms and good nectar? My family has it. There's nothing we don't sell in the whole Phoenix Falls town. It's affordable. It's good quality. It's reliable. It's... Stop. No more advertising. I'll buy some large silkworms and nectar first. As long as the quality of your stuff is good, I will buy everything I want from you. Well, how much do you want to order first? I've got a grain of golden sand here, so order 10 baskets of large silkworms and 10 jars of nectar. Damn. Why don't you rob us? What do you mean? Are you looking down on people? Little brother, look at that pleasure boat at the riverside. Actually, there aren't only beautiful women inside, there are also pretty men. If you are indeed in urgent need of money, you can go give it a try there. After all, you look pretty decent yourself, you should be very popular with the lonely and widowed old women. You're so mean. How can you talk to a customer like that? For the sake of an acquaintance, I'll let you earn more, ten baskets of silkworms and eight jars of nectar. If not, I'll find someone else. Seven baskets of silkworms, seven jars of nectar, take it or leave it. If you can find a second nectar seller in Phoenix Falls Town, I'll change my surname to yours. So I can only buy from her? I'll just take on another mission to earn money. All right. As you say, it's a deal. Wow, long time no see, sister. You've grown up again, and even a girl can blush if she sees you. Nyin Nyin, why did you turn into a little fangirl all of a sudden? Can't you respect my feelings as a customer? Nyin Nyin, you're getting prettier too. Yun Zi? What brings you here? Did you come specially to visit me? Do we know each other? Brother, your flirting skills are really lower than an ugly toad's. Sister Nan Ling Sha, ignore him and eat peaches. Well, I have to go back to the academy today, so I'll talk to you later. What did you call her earlier? Nan Ling Sha, are you actually a student of the Dragon Tamers Academy? You haven't even heard of a great beauty like Sister Nan Lingsha? I've always studied on my own, and I don't know much about the situation in the academy. 
She's called Nan Lingxia and is from Li Chuan's Dragon Tamers Academy. She's the young miss of the Nan family, a woman you'll never get, so give up. The Nan family? Did I really make a mistake? Li Clan's royal court commander Luo, I know what you are thinking. I will ask the lord to consider Yun Zi's marriage soon, so you must take your chance. Many thanks, my lady. This is the decree that the lord asked me to give you, the nine cities of Wutu have allied. The city-state's army is already heading over, so you'll leave tomorrow to teach them a lesson. This is different from the small merits you have achieved thus far. After completing this mission, your reputation in the city-state will rise exponentially. Luo Xiao won't disappoint my lady and my lord. Oh, there's still another matter I need to ask you about. Do you recognize the man who came back with you? Zhu Ming Lang? Miss Yun Zi said he is a member of the clan, isn't he? There's no one with that name in the clan. Forget it. You head off to East Dawn City first. I'll check this person's identity. Since Yun Zi was set up by others, she's sure to have some people with ulterior motives around her. Yes. Zhu Ming Lang, this kid is really something. If Zhu Ming Lang wasn't someone from the Li clan, then why did Li Yun Zi lie? Pew Pew. Who's calling my name? Great. Little Bai Chi is finally emerging from his cocoon. Strange, he's not the same as before. Well, well, ha 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 come, I have prepared nectar for you. Drink more, and grow well. Little Haya, this is Bai Chi, and you two will be partners from now on. Pew pew, pretty little Bai. Uh. Are you okay, Haya? Pew pew. Uh, I'm not a scoundrel. Ha ha, uh, I froze to the death. Huh? Crap, I almost forgot there's an end of month lesson today. Dragon Tamer Academy Large Class Hall, have you heard? Recently there's been a gilded fire dragon going around massacring in East Dawn City. Those fierce rebels of Wutu are no longer overstepping their boundaries. And many people in Ancestral Dragon City are talking about the Master Dragon Tamer commanding this gilded fire dragon. That's Luo Xiao, the Master Dragon Tamer recently recruited by the Li Clan. I heard that he's a ruthless person. There are no men who don't go to the battlefields to make a name for themselves. When my wolf spirit dragonizes, I will go to conquer a city. At that time, I welcome everyone to be my guest in my city. This city master will surely entertain you well, haha. -ha. If it's dragonizing, Nan Yi should be the one to do it first. His spirit was a dragon child to begin with and can already release some low-level magic. He's different from us, who still need to search bitterly for the path to the dragon gate. Really? It turns out that Nan Yi already has a real dragon to begin with, so amazing. My wolf spirit dragonizing is just around the corner. Don't talk to me about an infant dragon child. Who knows, my wolf spirit might just treat it as meat and eat it in a single bite. Perhaps you're not clear on the difference between a dragon and a wild beast. Even in its infancy, it can tear your wolf spirit to pieces. I don't like to do verbal arguments in our residence courtyard, except for Zhu Ming Lang, everyone else was beaten to death by me. If you're that capable, try fighting with him. I thought this guy was an aggressive and competitive buffoon, but I didn't think he would do this. He pushed me out to test the strength of Nan Yi, killing two birds with one stone. Is that right? If I remember correctly, you're that guy who asked for a spirit ling from the academy like a beggar on your enrollment. You think you're all that after a month? So that thing you're carrying is your enrollment spirit ling, a wild white chicken? You'd better hold on to it tightly. I don't even need my green dragon to make a move, I can strangle it to death with just one hand. I didn't expect, in order to show off in front of the girl, this kid should be so picky, it's fine if you humiliate me, but I'd never endure him humiliating little Bai Chi. Wow. So beautiful, what kind of dragon is this? Some chicken dragons rely on their bright feathers to live. Maybe you haven't seen a real dragon before. A peasant still dare to provoke me? You want to fight? As you wish. Nan Yi really is a master dragon tamer. But he just enrolled. Wow. Spirit domain. Nan Yi already has a spirit domain. Shit. Luckily, I was smart enough to let Zhu Ming Lang test his strength, otherwise my big wolf spirit would have been bitten into two pieces by this green dragon. Look. That's the difference between a dragon and a wild chicken. Ha ha. Oh, I can't get too excited. I must stay cool. Keep it cool. What a cool guy. It's my favorite type. Go Nan Yi. I am cheering for you. Wow. I didn't expect Nan John to have such a domineering dragon spirit. So handsome. Green forest dragon, kill it.
Huo Wu. Huo Wu. What the hell? Damn it. Come back, Bai Chi. It's true. It's a real dragon. Haha, -ha, I knew that Brother Zhu, who usually keeps a low profile, could actually be very powerful, but today's action has really opened our eyes. Yes, when we enrolled in the academy, I saw that Brother Zhu had an extraordinary temperament and was different from other people, so I was right. That's awesome, I hope you become a great dragon master in the future. Wow. May your young dragon be fierce and beautiful. Elder brother, do you have a girlfriend? What kind of girl do you like? Haha, -ha, as expected of a Bai Chi, he's got the power to fight as an adult dragon. The glory days are coming back for me. Ahem, recall your dragon, and nurture it well, it still has potential. Come back. It's, it's advancing? Ah. Pervert. Nanyi, look what I said, your green forest dragon has great potential. I won the last match and take it as I lost this round, now we're even. Nonsense, how can there be two rounds? I haven't recalled my dragon yet, the contest isn't over. A chicken is a chicken, don't think that because you inherited some of the abilities of the wind that you can compete with my real dragon. Then I admit. Bai Chi. That's the battle cry of the Bai Chi. Is it getting serious? Ho! Watch out for poison! Oh my god! Run! Run! The green forest dragon is too fierce. If the poison gets on a human body, the skin will be melted through. Bai Chi, fly out, don't fight with it here. No, Bai Chi is too reckless, as soon as the green forest dragon touches Bai Chi, I will forcibly call Bai Chi back into the spirit domain. Haha, -ha, are you scared? It's too late. You want to forcefully recall your spirit pet? The attack will hit the mark directly, and the damage will be taken by your soul. I advise you to give up. What kind of monsters are these two? There are two real dragon masters in this freshman class? How can it be? A real dragon, which is only a step away from its dragon gate, had actually lost to such a trash spirit. What dragon is that? How could he beat my half-grown green forest dragon? That is a white ice morning dragon. Teacher Duan Lan. Good morning, Teacher Duan Lan. Teacher? Both of your performances at the stage are not bad, now get back to your seats. Sister Lan, Teacher Duan Lan, my green forest dragon's eye. Apply this on your green forest dragon and it'll recover soon, you should be grateful, it could have directly penetrated your green forest dragon's pupil and dealt it a fatal blow. The green forest dragon, it's not blinded? Alright everyone, we'll be talking about bloodlines today. Dragons are separated into three great bloodlines, namely the ancient dragon, great dragon, and azure dragon lines. Ancient dragon, great dragon, azure dragon, ancient dragons have battle skills, great dragons are able to cast magic, and azure dragons possess mystic arts. Take student Nanya's green forest dragon as an example, it's an orthodox great dragon, and the glowing green vines are the plant magic it wields. Teacher, what about white ice morning dragon? What kind of bloodline is it? Zhu Ming Lang's white ice morning dragon's main bloodline is of a silver moon winged dragon, which belongs to the azure dragon, and its secondary bloodline is of a star wind ice dragon, which belongs to the great dragon. During the battle earlier, what the White Ice Morning Dragon used was wind magic and ice magic, it didn't use any Azure Dragon mystic arts. As I said before, all living creatures had four important phases, the infant phase, growth phase, adult phase, and complete phase. True dragons, ranks are divided into dragon child, dragon general, dragon lord, dragon monarch, dragon king. Like Nan Ye's Green Forest Dragon is the Dragon Child level in its growth phase, while Zhu Ming Lang's White Ice Morning Dragons has the strength of the Dragon Child level in its infant phase, if it enters the complete phase, it may step into the Dragon Monarch level, I wish Zhu Ming Lang to train it well. I didn't expect this little white dragon to be so extraordinary, Zhu Ming Lang is so lucky to get such a powerful dragon pet. At present, Bai Chi still hadn't awakened his Azure Dragon Mystic Art. It meant that he would only gain it during his growth phase. Bai Chi didn't know any great dragon magic in the past, so Bai Chi's regression seemed not to be purely a reverse of his life cycle, but some sort of metamorphic rebirth. 
Nan Yi, you should not be discouraged. Each person can open up more than one spiritual domain. You may also be able to get a very powerful dragon pet in the future. Don't be arrogant and impatient while practicing. Humph. One day I will surpass you. It seems that nurturing from his infant phase to his growth phase is very important. If it's not fed well and nurtured properly, then his Azure Dragon mystic art might be directly buried, never to be awakened. Shoot, this nectar is only enough to feed little Bai Chi for a week. Where can I get some more nectar? I wish you a bright future. Teacher Duan? Shit. This perverted dragon. Zhu Ming Lang, can you do me a favor? Sure. There is a hundred-year-old water monster at the bottom of this pond. Although its strength is not very strong, but it has a very sensitive sense of smell. Every time I summon my deep river dragon, it hides among the rocks at the bottom of the pond. It would be a piece of cake to kill it by using mystic arts, but doing so would hurt the other creatures in the pond. And ordinary big fish can't get into its eyes at all, so I want to ask your little Haya to help me draw it out. Remember, Haya, immediately swim away when they jump at you. Don't ever get caught. Just leave the rest to Teacher Duan Land's Flood Dragon. Understand? Oh woo oh woo, you are using me as bait, that's too much. Uh, seeking comfort. Rest assured. There will be no danger, you are very powerful. Buru buru. I can do it, I can do it. Oh woo. Mom. Teacher Duan Lan. They're not under the waterfall yet. Buru Buru. Help me. If you save him now, you're as good as giving up on its dragon gate. One day, it will break away from your protection and encounter greater setbacks. If he does not break through its potential, he will never turn into a real dragon. Yes. Like eagles, if the eaglets were never pushed to a cliff, they would forever hide in their nests, waiting to be fed and never learning how to fly. Oh you. Whoa. Oh you woo. Swoosh. Hoo hoo. Huh. Oh no. Little Haya. Haya. Look, little Haya, even he's impressed with you. You're doing a great job. Pew pew. I killed this catfish with waterfall flood dragon. Teacher Duan Lan, that. This is the demonic pearl of the violent catfish, as a reward for your little crocodile spirit, which should be able to hasten your crocodile spirit's dragonization. Thank you, teacher. Don't thank me. You've earned it, and tonight you can come to my place and get a jar of frosty snow tree nectar. It's better for your dragon than regular nectar, as a reward for your help. Well, there will be more, so slow down. It seems that Teacher Duan Lan's frost snow tree nectar is very much to the liking of Bai Chi. I'll have to go to the library tomorrow to see if there is any information on how to raise dragons so that I can be ready for them in advance. According to these two books, both the Silver Moon Winged Dragon and the Star Wind Ice Dragon are fast-growing dragons. Both the Silver Moon Winged Dragon and the Star Wind Ice Dragon have a growth rate of only about one and a half years from their infant phase to their growth phase. In that case, it should only take a year and a half for the little white one to reach maturity, and with the nourishment of the spirit domain and a sufficient amount of nectar to feed it, it should only take a month. What a pity. If the food is purely frosty snow tree nectar, the duration could be further reduced to 20 odd days, and Bai Chi's icy feathers, as well as his ice magic, would be stronger. Speaking of which, Haya's appetite increased again after consuming the demonic pearl. Dragons generally like to collect large amounts of gold and silver, and looting dragon lairs is the fastest way to make money. Forget it, maybe I should just go back to my old profession. Huh? Nan Lingxia, or is she Li Yunzi? What a coincidence, we meet again. Do you think it's a coincidence? Yunzi? Have you come to visit me? I'm here to kill you. Is she trying to kill me for slandering her reputation? Then why didn't you do it before? These days I have come to realize that keeping you alive is like a poisonous thorn that stings me every time I feel a little happier, even greater pain and torture. Why don't I put an end to it myself and bury the matter once and for all? Torture, I can understand, it's obvious that the gods are playing tricks on both of us, but I'm hiding here raising dragons and reading books, I can understand that you are the one who has to bear the burden of all the dirty and disgusting gossip. Any last words? I thought you were different from other girls, able to not take your anger out on others despite suffering such humiliation.
Anyway, thank you for giving me the enrollment letter and letting me experience a pretty good time here in the academy. Oh? She even gave you the enrollment letter? You're, you're not Lee Yun-Zi? You're Nan Ling Sha. I'm Lee Yun-Zi's younger sister. You, your sister's born in the same house? She follows our father's surname and I follow our mother's surname. She stays in the Lee clan while I stay with the Nan family. So the little beggar that dragged Lee Yun-Zi down from her throne as the crown princess is you. He he, she even left you alive and let you join the Dragon Tamer Academy. Thanks to you, now I have to wear a veil whenever I go out. If it wasn't because there aren't many who know that we're twin sisters, my reputation would be tarnished as well. Hum, Miss Ling Sha, some things are not how you thought they are. Why don't you ask your sister? She can testify what kind of a person I, Zhu Ming Lang, am. You think we're close or something? Perhaps she thinks her current predicament is all my doing. I see, so now you're a victim too. I, I'm surprised that my sister-in-law is talking to me. What should I do? Shut up. This young miss has nothing to do with you at all. You do look decent. Why are the rumors spread to this extent, saying you're a cheap, dirty beggar with a body covered in sores? Actually, I look a little handsome, right? Humph. Shameless. Tell me what's going on between you two. You better tell me the truth, or I'll kill you. All right. I'll tell you. It's like this. I lived at the southern side of Mulberry Town originally, with mulberry trees and land to my name. I led a comfortable and tranquil life. One day, I was robbed by the bandits in Wutu. They took all my money, leaving me to beg on the streets. And a bowl of prodigy with poison was the start of all this. You fucking rascal. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Miss, it's all true. I understand now. That's why Li Yun Zi is keeping you alive. Why? Humph, even so, you're only a peasant. If you had died, you'd be dead with the lowest of status. Then, the one who tainted her reputation as a crown princess would forever be a vagrant, a beggar. But if you're alive, you'll slowly break away from your lowly status. If you become a dragon tamer, even if it's the weakest of all, it's infinitely better than a dirty beggar. Li Yun Zi, so this is your way of healing your wounds? You sent him to the academy, betting on his future? You take care of yourself. Thousand Manslayer Luo Xiao is too ferocious. Why haven't we heard of someone like him before? Those Wutu plebeians no longer dare to act up thanks to his deeds. Indeed, it's faster to make a name for yourself in battle. Now, there should be many in Ancestral Dragon City State who have heard of the Thousand Man Slayer, Luo Zhao's, name. It's said that Luo Zhao's infamy had spread in Wutu long ago, and that he was the one who slaughtered Ever City. Speaking of Ever City, he he, do you know about that matter? Who doesn't? I have the most updated version of the news. I heard the princess has a lewd nature to begin with, and there are rumors floating around, saying that during her warring days, she would order virile men to come serve her in her tent. Chirp, chirp, don't forget, you're the greatest genius of all. Haha, ha, that's right, it doesn't matter what people say. I'm going to be a powerful dragon master as soon as I can, and will not have her lose the bet. Let's set a small goal first. Step into the dragon lord rank. Roar. Roar. Dragon lord. Dragon Lord. Ha, another one has gone crazy from raising dragons. Picking out a dragon is like gambling. Tons of people have lost their fortunes doing so. I hope that student doesn't go thinking about life on the roof. If one wants to raise a dragon well, one can't be so poor. The Zhu family is famous for casting armor, and it is hard to find dragon armor even for a thousand gold pieces. Chi Chi Chi. Really? That's awesome. Ua? Really? Unfortunately, I didn't have the desire to do this, and I didn't reach the pinnacle of my family's craft. Haha, ha, but don't worry, with a few months of practice, I'm sure I can make you an indestructible suit of armor. Tomorrow, I will go to the forge in the ancestral dragon city-state and find a job in the forge to sharpen my skills and at the same time earn money to buy food for you. One day later. After a few years of retirement, I'm not as strong as I used to be, my arms and legs are breaking, what was Nian Yin's code word for pleasure boat? Madam, I don't want to work anymore. Well, it was easy enough to sell armor to the soldiers, but if we could sell it to the generals and nobles, we would be able to cover our expenses. And, with my current skills, I'll be able to forge a dragon armor someday. By the way, I have an expedition class in a few days, so I have to prepare for it. That 200-year-old demonic pearl is really effective, it's only been half a month, and you've grown so big, I guess I'll have to call you Big Haya from now on. I have to go away for a few days for an expedition, so you will have to take care of yourself. Moi, I'm upset. 
This is a spirit collar. I'll put it around your tail. That way, others won't mistake you for a wild black crocodile. Go to the front of the bridge every morning. There'll be a dark girl like you who'll feed you silkworms. Oh, you owe. Okay. Lee Clan's royal courtyard, two marriages will be announced today. Listen carefully, I said announce. We're all women, after all. We can't get over the barrier that is men. Yes, I still prefer to keep my dignity, stay at home and be clean. Muching, when I come of age, the seniors will take charge of my marriage matters, and that will be considered my contribution to the clan. Last year, Lee Kong Eleven accompanied the old madam to the Zong Palace's annual feast, and their fourth young master Du Chang fell in love with Lee Kong Eleven at first sight. Lee Kong Eleven, we will be going to the Tizong Palace next month to facilitate this marriage. Kong Eleven is willing to listen to his elders, but I need to meet him in person to find out who he is. If he is a bad person and has no respect towards the elders, I would ask the patriarch and lady to reconsider this matter. Sister Kong Eleven, you don't know Du Chang? That means he's fallen head over heels for you just by seeing you from afar. I even heard that Ling Xiao City State's Ling family's eldest young miss went all the way to Zong Palace to meet him, but he didn't even grant her an audience, that's the Ling family's eldest young miss we're speaking. The other marriage, we've decided to have Li Yun Zi marry into Ling Xiao City State's Ling family. This? How can this be? Everyone knows I'm obsessed with Yun Zi, and they. Patriarch, lady. This matter. Sit down, Luo Xiao. Lady, could this be the response to the invasion of the Ling Xiao City State's invasion that we have discussed earlier? Yes. As the Crown Princess, Li Yunzi massacred Ling Xiao City's invading armies on more than one occasion. Be it their troops or citizens, everyone from Ling Xiao City State bears hatred for Li Yunzi. Why would the Ling family be willing to connect with us by marriage? Naturally, the people of Ling Xiao City State would not agree to a normal marriage, so Li Yunzi will be marrying into the Ling family as a concubine. Is this still considered a connection by marriage? Yeah, it's, this is ridiculous, isn't it? How can we, the ancestral dragon city-state, still be proud? Well, even if Li Yunzi lost her virginity in Wu Tu, she's still our former mistress. That's enough. Our Western Army's morale has collapsed due to Li Yunzi's matter, unable to fend off Ling Xiao city-state's invasion. When the Fudu riots have been put down, we will repay the city of Ling Xiao city-state double. The matter is settled, and anyone who disagrees will be punished. Disperse. Shit. Li Yunzi is mine. You bastards. Li Yunzi might as well just find a servant and marry him. At the very least, if she serves her husband well as the city lord's concubine, perhaps she'll live a better life than us who know our place. Surely she's not bad in this aspect. After all, she can even move her waist for a lowly beggar. What a noise. I'm sorry, Yunzi. You. I'm fine. Your father is easily influenced by the lady to actually not object to that matter. You've made great contributions to the city-state, after all, and yet he intends on offering you to the enemies in exchange. Hum, leave Yunzi. I'll help you escape. Go far away, look for a good man and live peacefully. Uncle Cheng, Yunzi is not thinking of running away. You're not going to escape, are you going to suffer the humiliation? The Lee clan is not worth your life in exchange for a pitiful peace. As for the border, I would risk my life to never let a beast like Ling Xiao City set foot in our territory. Uncle Chang, do you know why the rebellion in Wutu can never be pacified, no matter how many people we kill? The Wutu barbarians have always been keen to take advantage of the fertile soil of our ancestral dragon city-state, but if we have our hands free, we can definitely kill the Wutu barbarians. Those Wutu rebels, there's no end to them. You should worry about yourself, Yunzi. I won't run away. Achu. It's almost winter, huh? It's exciting to think of a trip where you can see an azure dragon who can control even the weather. As expected, the azure dragon is the best dragon. Even azure dragons don't always have the ability to make clouds and rain. Exactly, among mystic arts, there are those that call upon rain and snow, and there are also those that put curses on another. Every dragon possesses different abilities. Even dragons with the same bloodline may awaken different abilities, depending on their growth and training. Haya's main lineage is probably that of an ancient dragon. If he could be equipped with a set of heavy armor in the future, he'd definitely be invincible. Bai Chi has the bloodline of both an azure dragon and a great dragon. I have seen the great dragon magic powers. I wonder what kind of mystic arts it will develop in the future. Glory Valley City. Greetings to the two teachers from Li Chuan Academy. How could you, the city lord of Glory Valley City, not have foreseen the lack of water in the streams for irrigation when the mountains were frozen? 
Kube, the East Don stronghold 25 kilometers away, is the front line of the battlefield, and they need to replenish their food supplies. Do you think you will get to keep your head if the Wutu plebeians manage to fight their way in? Teacher is right in your scolding. This lowly one requested a rain dragon from Ancestral Dragon City State a month ago, but there aren't many with abilities like Teacher Ku Bei and Teacher Duan Lan. Qian Jing City Lord of Glory Valley City fortunately our request reached the Li Chuan Academy. For now, esteemed teachers and Dragon Master students, please go rest in the mansion. Since this matter concerns the front lines, we don't have the time to waste. Let's begin now. The sky is turning dark soon, the temperature will fall greatly. The rain you teachers called upon might turn to ice and hurt the crops instead, and freeze the ground. Well, let's talk about it tomorrow. Please. The call for rain will be performed by your teacher Duan Lan's Deep River Dragon, demonstrating the Azure Dragon mystic art. Wake up early tomorrow and don't miss the demonstration. Yes. Is it war again? That guy, he seems to have gotten stronger. If my affair with Yun Zi is revealed, he'll be the first one to kill me. My strength is still too weak, Zhu Ming Lang. Teacher Duan Lan. The rain can only temporarily nourish the crops, but much water is needed for irrigation and feeding the livestock. I want you to check the stream at dawn to see if there is anything blocking the stream and cutting off the waterway. You don't need to go too far as there might be demons in the deep mountains and forests come back before the summoning starts. I will. You should have evolved, haven't you? Why are you still so small? You. Superficial, how can you judge strength by size? Strange, why there is a path here? As expected, there is a mountain dike, which looks like it was built by human. What? The amount of water stored inside is completely sufficient to irrigate the dry fields of Glory Valley City, as well as to water the livestock. All that is needed was to open the dike stone gate. Who built the mountain dike anyway? Teacher Duan Lan. Teacher Kubei. Wait a minute. I heard Brother Zhu went upstream. May I ask if Brother Zhu has seen the dike? I did. Are you going to inform Teacher Duan Lan and Teacher Kubei about it? Just get straight to the point. Don't misunderstand me, Zheng Yu is only a weak scholar, he won't have any ill intentions towards you. Now that the two teachers have gone to make rain, I have a question for you. Say it. Do you know that 50 miles away the soldiers are fighting against the Wutu rebels, and do you think the soldiers and people of Glory Valley City can resist? This, is it possible that the water in the valley and the dike? That's right, Brother Zhu is really a wise man. Oh. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. You don't think the frontline fortress can stop the mobs of Wutu? It's. What makes you think that the front lines will not be able to stop the rebels? Do you know that a report came from the front lines before I met you, and a delayed report, to boot? In that case, the front line has been. That's right. Please tell the two teachers to take the students and leave quickly. On behalf of Surname Zhang, I would like to thank the two teachers and the students for their kindness and compassion towards the people. Kill. Teacher Kubei, we're citizens of Ancestral Dragon City State, too. Are we really just going to watch while those rebels invade our cities? We're Dragon Masters. Why are we afraid of those plebeians? After enrolling into a Dragon Tamer's Academy, no one is allowed to take part in war unless it's to attack evil cities. Don't you know this rule? But those are Wutu beasts, evil people. They have land of their own, but are encroaching on Ancestral Dragon City State's territory. They're not worth pitying. They're not wild beasts, they're just trying to survive. A mountain flash flood. Ah, help. There's still an army behind them. God, how many people from Wutu joined in on this rebellion? The narrow path is low-lying, like it was deliberately dug out. The flash flood didn't completely flow away and has formed a lake, flooding the path. The rebels have to swim over the muddy waters to attack Glory Valley City. If they set up defenses on the other side of the sunken lake and fire arrows at those who jump into the lake, a thousand men are enough to fend off ten thousand. Is this a miracle flash flood the heavens have bestowed upon Glory Valley City? Teacher Duan Lan's reign has saved all the citizens of Glory Valley City. Even if the rebel army moves to clear the sunken lake, it'll take them a day or two, at the very least. Reinforcements will have arrived by then. East Don Stronghold is sure to be breached before winter. The people can suffer hardship and use all kinds of methods to live through the winter, but they cannot be without a weapon to resist an invasion. Brother Zhang, the preparation you have done is really impressive. 
Teachers, the news of the battle from front lines has been delayed. We must fly to the ancestral dragon city-state as soon as possible and inform the city lord of this matter, or the people of Glory Valley City will be destroyed by the Wutu rebels. What? How do you know? It's too late to explain, so Zhu Ming Lang come along with us. Watch out! Kafa! There are dragon masters in Wutu, too? So little brother Zhu is here, too. Today is really a great day. Luo Xiao. As the commander of the stronghold, why aren't you going to report the war situation and are trying to hurt others? Haha, -ha, I worked for the Li clan as a cow and a dog, and they gave away the woman I love most to someone else. Not only will I not report it, but I have killed all the messengers and of course now all of you who meddle in it. You traitor, die. Alho, alho. Teacher. Trying to fight me with two inferior dragons? We, the Dragon Tamer Academy, do not care about your feud with the Lee Clan. But if you kill the students and teachers of the Dragon Tamer Academy, you definitely wouldn't have a good ending. Oh. If you're all dead, no one will know I did it. Bai Chi. You think I am defenseless? Ha ha ha, how can you hurt me with this little wind feathered? White Ice Morning Dragon. Already reached its growth phase? Zhu Ming Lang. Python Vortex. Clang, Schwa. Mud Dragon, good opportunity. Pew pew. Teacher Kubei, watch out. Quickly. None of you will be escaping today. All of you will die. Schwa. Kubei. Teacher Duan Lan, let's go. Qian Lin. Get back here. You think you can run away? After all this time, I don't think he'll be able to catch up. We're very close to the Dragon Tamer Academy. No, that Luo Xiao is coming after us. Qian Lin, what are you doing? Get back inside. Teacher Duan Lan. Teacher Duan, hang in the wheel be there soon. Bai Chi, keep going. When you get tired, use the wind magic to glide. Today's revenge will be repaid tenfold. Get out of the way. Bastard. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Leave Flood Dragon, chase after him. You're so stupid, you dumb crocodile. Do you have the blood of a pig in you? Why did you stop chasing halfway? Oh you oh you. Oh you oh you. It's obvious that you're the one who's bossing around, catch this and that. The humph, I've been feeding you silkworms for the past few days, providing you with good food and drink, but you've been so lazy to help catch a few fish, just like your master. D huh? Ah. Ow woo oh woo, big guy what's wrong with you? No, hurry up Haya, those water demon wants to eat the corpse of the blue flood dragon. Whoa, whoa. Oh you, oh you. Oh you ho. Ow. Oh ho. Big guy, are you alright? Hua. Oh you. Woo. Oh woo. Come on. You can't die. I'm the only one in the world who can beat you. I'll go find back up. Haya, you hold on. Infirmary Hall. What happened? Teacher Duan Lan's spirit domain was attacked and she suffered an injury to her soul and now she's in a coma. It's not as simple as in a coma. She'd be dead if you were a little slower. You're not needed here. We'll do our best to save her. I'll pass on what you told me to the institution head, but it's best you go to the Lee clan's royal court and explain the matter to them yourself. This matter is very serious. Okay. A young miss came saying your crocodile spirit is surrounded by demons under the waterfall. Quickly go over. What? Baichi. You thank you, Hong Hao. Is this the white ice morning dragon? Is it so strong? Who the hell is this Zhu Ming Lang? 
little higher. Oh you ho. Kill them all, Baichi. Haya, good job. You've protected the Deep River Dragon. It's alive. Recover well, I'll be back very soon. Go. Let's go to the Lee family palace. Hmm? The flesh was rotten just earlier. How come it grew out so soon? Oh you, I'm not a chicken girl. Are you a snake? Why are you shedding? Oh you? Hum? You you woo. Am I dying? Why is my skin and body not staying together? Don't panic, don't panic, ah. Uh, why is there light in your blood? Oh you. Finished. I'm done for, I'm incurable. This is bad, master. Come take a look at that black crocodile quick, it's dying. Disciple is scared. Oh, it's dragonizing, what? This black crocodile is dragonizing. Oh you? I'm dragonizing? Why are you acting so excited? It's not even your dragon. Stop acting so flustered and go inform Duan Lan's family. Informing family again? Master, please think of something. This disciple doesn't want to see Sister Duan Lan die. What do you mean, die? Her soul is severely damaged. If her family doesn't find spirit medicine for her, she won't wake up again. Oh, she's not dead. Then what if they found spirit medicine for healing the soul? It'll still take about half a year. Her injury is too severe. Fortunately, her dragon survived. If it died and her soul was further damaged, not even the deities could save her then. And finally, almost there. Who is it? Come down quickly and get inspected. It looks like a bridal party, but I didn't expect to see them protected by soldiers, so they're not simple. Who the hell are you? Why are you here? No. These soldiers are not of the ancestral dragon city-state. I am a student of the Dragon Tamer Academy, and I am on my way to buy some dragon food in ancestral dragon city-state. Forgive me for interrupting your rest time, sir, but I will leave now. Get lost. Hey, thank you, sir. Brother, we've met so many people before and we don't even question them. Why do we have to question this person? What do you know? He's a dragon master who knows if he's a soldier from Ancestral Dragon City State. If he's a Lee family scout with war reports, then our plans will go down the drain. We shall wait for another five days and then we will enter Ancestral Dragon City State. Sure enough, there's something wrong with these people. Two days later, welcome Mr. Yang to our Ancestral Dragon City State for a bridal party. From now on, the Ancestor City-State and the Ling Xiao City-State are now friends. Haha, ha, that's not true, Master Li. The main reason I'm here today is to negotiate peace, but there's something wrong with this peace agreement. Oh? What problem does Mr. Yang see? Patriarch Li, our Ling Xiao City-State has sent so many betrothal gifts, showing our sincerity. Why does this truce agreement of yours not include the condition of seating four cities in the West and is not willing to let us meet the Crown Princess, even now? What do you mean, ceding the four cities to the west? The condition we agreed upon is only to have Li Yun-Zi marry into Ling Xiao City's Ling family as a concubine. Oh? You didn't talk about this before? But that was then, and now is now. It's not too late to include this condition. I can wait. Insolence. You're only a puny envoy, and you're treating our Li clan's royal court as your personal courtyard? Excuse me, but why are you suddenly coveting our four cities to the west? If that is the price to pay for peace, what's the harm in starting a war? Patriarch Li, from what I know, your East Dawn stronghold has been breached by the rebel army. I'm afraid they are marching straight for the eastern Lichuan plains as we speak. Those granary cities of yours are about to be robbed. Ah, what a disgusting jujube. What? The East Dawn stronghold has been breached? How could the rebels, with their sloppy weapons, possibly defeat our regular Li soldiers? Humph! I think Ling Xiao City State had no intentions of coming to peace with us to begin with and even sent this person to humiliate us. Stand down, Li Ping Hai. Keep him alive, he shall be of use to me. Your Highness, if you prefer getting on the carriage with this appearance, I think our city lord will like it even better. However, we won't back down on the condition regarding the four cities. Mr. Yang Xiao, I have a present here. Why don't you accept this on behalf of your city lord first? Your Highness, if you have any gifts, please leave it for the wedding night with our city lord, I dare not accept them on his behalf. Open them up and take a look. Is there a familiar face among them? This. 
Envoy Yang, you took advantage of this peace treaty to distract us and secretly sent men to infiltrate our territory from the gorge. You intend to break through our border and take the four western cities, don't you? You. Unfortunately, my lady sent her queen's guard to ambush you in the gorge where you had to pass and shot all your troops. These bastards of Lingxiao City, negotiating peace on one side, but plotting to take over the four cities on the other, are so devious and treacherous. No wonder this Yang Xiao dares to be so bold, all thanks to Yun Zi. Yes, if Yun Zi hadn't seen through their tricks, the four cities in the west would have been lost by now. You, you'll all die a gruesome death. Li Yunzi, you vicious woman, you'll surely descend into hell. Stop acting crazy. I'm keeping you alive. Thank you, your majesty, for not killing me. You don't see the face you care about the most among these heads, do you? Your Ling family's young master is still alive. This is the message I want you to pass on to Ling Luo Tian. Sit down and use your literary talent to conceive a letter to redeem your young master's life, but before that, eat up everything on the floor. Yes, yes. Yun Zi, you've achieved great merits for us. As expected of the crown princess. You're a blessing for our ancestral dragon city-state. Yun Zi should have her status reinstated. Li Yun Zi has suffered many grievances recently. About the matter of selling bodies to negotiate for peace, it's better to leave it to them. If I can't win on the battlefield, they'll all be excellent quality goods for the enemy city. Yang Xiao, I ask you, is it true that the East Dawn stronghold has been breached? Why don't we know about it? A traitor has appeared in our ranks. Luo Xiao killed all the messengers, and if it hadn't been for Zhang Qian, the lord of Glory Valley City, who had built a dike on the mountain and been supported by the floods, I'm afraid the rebels would have attacked Ancestral Dragon City State by now. So that's it. You are Zhu Ming Lang, aren't you? The one who posed as one of our clansmen and returned with Yunzi from Wutu? I asked him to fake it. Because Luo Xiao was with me at the time, I was already on guard against his intentions. Good. You've done a good job, Yun Zi, and you'll still be in charge of those military guards. In that case, father, why don't you give me the command token for the Flying Birds Battalion? I'll settle this rebellion. Although you've contributed greatly this time, but military power, father, the fact is that five days ago I had dispatched the Flying Bird Battalion to Glory Valley City to support them. I so be it. From today onwards, Li Yun Zi regains her position as the Crown Princess. My lady, will you please see if I have to add anything before you let our young master return safely? Good. Ming Lang, thank you. You're welcome. Where are we going? East. The Glory Valley City. Just the two of us? More than enough. Middle of Ancestral Dragon City State Dad, look. There's someone flying in the sky. That's the Demigod. Demigod? What's that? Demigods were able to surpass human limits and use extraordinary abilities like powerful ancient beings. Wow. Then I want to be a demigod too. Most of them inherited the legacy of some ancient god and needed a unique physique to be one. Ugh, then I have no hope. Don't be so angry. Xiao Huang has a great spiritual sense and may turn into a dragon if you work hard and open up your spirit domain. You can become a real dragon master. Woof. Woof. Which is more powerful, a dragon master or a demigod? Each of them has different abilities, both strong and weak, but they are generally not able to withstand a really strong dragon master's attack with a group of dragons. Not only that, demigods didn't have a spirit domain, so they were unable to raise dragons. Then I'll be a dragon master. Xiao Huang, let's work together. Woof. 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 What are you doing? I'm enjoying the sensation of flying free, I mean your hands. Ah, uh, ha, this, not that I'm afraid of falling. I'm not. You. Luckily, Bai Chi can change its size at will to catch me, otherwise I would have fallen to my death. Hey! Wait for me, I'm not really angry. Kill, kill, kill. Greetings, my lady. How is the war going? It was a miracle. When we arrived, this small town of Glory Valley City had stood against the rebels alone for nearly five days. Our ancestral dragon city-state is blessed by the heavens. Indeed, these plebeians deserted by the gods are not qualified to step into the Lichuan Plains. General Lu, lead half of the Flying Birds Battalion to Western Lin City and act according to the instructions. You must return here by dawn, or I'll have your head on a platter. Did she really get the military power? Yes. If you take the Flying Birds Battalion away, what will you do with the rest of the rebels? 
Are you scared? Fuck. Who says I'm scared? With this slash as the boundary, you people decide for yourselves between life and death. Anyone who crosses the sword boundary will be viewed as rebels and killed without mercy. Those outside the sword boundary will be considered citizens. My, Li Yunzi's, citizens. As my citizens, your lives will no longer be decided by the heavens, but by me. I will let you survive the winter and live on. She's only buying time. Don't believe this woman. No matter how strong she is, she's only one person, wielding one sword. She can't possibly kill us all. We're only a step away from entering Lichuan Plains, and we'll have everything then. No fear. No fear. No fear. Charge. Leave the rest to me. Death to those who cross her sword boundary. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Never be a slave. Back away from the sword boundary, and I will spare your lives. The second chief is dead. The second chief is dead. Charge, charge. We have no path of retreat. Charge. Kill them all. Build our own city-state. Damn. Aren't these people afraid of death? Zhang Tua. I was once your ruler, and let me ask you, while I was in power, did you have food? Yes. Did you have clothes? Tell them to put their weapons down, and I'll let them survive the winter. If they insist on being rebels, they'll definitely not live past tonight. I believe in you, but what will I tell to my brothers who have fought and died? If you really care for the people of Wutu, please give us a way to live. This is the way to live I'm offering you. What are you doing? Are you insane? I've prepared food and clothing. They're already on the way, enough for you to survive the winter. With my blood as judge, if the supplies don't arrive before my blood dries, my, Li Yunzi's, life is yours. Yunzi. So the terms you added to Yang Xiu's peace treaty were not sessions of cities or anything like that, but food and clothes? Yeah. You're stupid. It's worth it. So you sent the Flying Birds Battalion to bring food and clothing? Let's hope we can make it in time. Food and clothes have really arrived. Long live the Crown Princess. Greetings, Your Highness. Fortunately, we have not disgraced ourselves. All of you, enter Glory Valley City and receive food and clothing. Many thanks to Your Highness. Long live the Crown Princess. Glory Valley City Lord's Mansion. I've just made you some juju porridge. Come on, open your mouth. I'll do it myself. Don't move, you have to lie down so that the blood can circulate properly. Okay. You want to burn me to death? Ah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Is it the Dragon Ling you took in at the Dragon Training Academy? No, you know him. Hmm? You forget, when we were honest with each other, it was he who broke the dungeon bar and we escaped. Erm, little, bug. If you say anything else, I'll pull out your tongue. Getting angry is so, so cute. I met your younger sister at the academy. Who? Do you have many younger sisters? How did you meet? The first time we met at the bridge, I thought it was you, so I spoke to her, and she didn't say anything. Later, in the library, she pretended to be you and lied about what had happened between us. You've seen them all, I don't think they were involved, you suspect your sister and the Nan family were also involved in setting you up? I have many enemies. Don't worry. I will help you. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be at the academy, so watch out for the people you meet at the bridge. Okay. My lady. The matter of the people of Wutu has been settled. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I've entered the wrong room. Jing Yu is a talented man, and you can make use of him again. Yes, I know. There's nothing more to do here, but I have a lot of enemies in the dark, and they might make a fuss about you, so you'd better go back to the academy and be careful. Well, you should also be careful not to do such silly things like hurting yourself again. If you faint, you won't have anyone as decent as me to look after you. Get lost. Uh, Brother Zhu, are you all right? Ahem, I'm fine. You go in and discuss your affairs with her. Infirmary Hall. Who is it that didn't manage their charcoal dragon properly? It is indeed mighty, but how can it be so undisciplined to go around stealing food in the kitchen? Oh you? Haya? Haya. It's really you. Why yo you've dragonized? Great, we can make a soul contract now. 
Completed. Roar. Is this, is this spirit force? It feels like my five senses and awareness have gotten stronger. Whoa, what's inside this light portal? It's harvesting soul pearls? I didn't know that the Dragon Master had all kinds of special abilities, so I must try harvesting the soul pearls in a few days. According to the light orbs, the Dragon Beast can evolve by consuming the collected soul pearls, which is a great advantage. Zhu Ming Lang, you're finally back. Well, this wild boar is really a demon spirit. You, where did you get all that gold and jewelry? You didn't loot a dragon's den with your secret hiding technique, did you? I never thought I'd find a dragon's den even when I brought Haya here for food. E. Yes. A dragonling? You, you. E. E. Baichi. Hurry, fly down and save the baby dragon. You, since your brothers and sisters can't stand you, why don't you? Stay with me from now on, and it's up to you if you survive. Roar. Oh no. It looks like this little one's mother. I wonder if she suspects me of stealing her baby. Oh my god. Run. Dragon Storage Hall, will it survive? Well, as long as he's breathing, I can keep him alive. I knew you were a living deity from the first day I arrived at the academy. MMM. Humph, bootlicker. You have a poor eye, though, signing a soul contract with a common forest dragon baby, a crippled dragon, which has no future. No, 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 this little guy is much stronger than a normal forest dragon, so when he wakes up, feed him some Phoebe tree juice to help him better regenerate his blood. Still laughing, you haven't settled the last bill yet, so let's settle it together with this one. Well, I just remembered that I have an urgent matter, so I'll talk to you later. Foundry Yay! The dragon armor is finally done. Xiao Zhu. Look, is this you? Shame of the Valkyrie, this is the person who tainted, who painted this. Am I that ugly? Really, is it really you? There was a rumor going around yesterday that this is the man who was with the Valkyrie in the same cell. People are threatening you with death for your crimes. You'd better go to some old doctor and have your face changed. It's all right, it's just a bit of gossip. Thank you for your time, I won't bother you anymore. I'll take my leave now. Ah, these rumors and gossips nowadays have caused a young man to have no peace of mind. Inside the academy hall. You Zhu Ming Lang? What's the deal? I don't take minions. Yin Yao Zhu, young master of the Yin family, bastard. Who's your minion? I'm asking you, is that fortunate vagrant everyone is talking about you? A vagrant? That is an absolute nonsense. The truth is that I met the lady at Wu Tu and fell in love with her, and they were jealous of me and made up stories to degrade me and insult her. Shit. Are you shameless? How can she be interested in you? This fellow, are you doubting her eyes? I, I don't mean to doubt the lady, don't talk nonsense. You suspect the lady of having an affair with a vagrant, and you say you have not slandered her? I, I, damn, obviously this guy is the one who slandered the crown princess. Forget it, I'll forgive you. I'll pretend I didn't hear what you just said. Things like love can't be explained. Actually, I don't understand why I'd fall for her either. Loving someone doesn't require a reason. Everyone, I know you've always admired my Yun Zi, and I'm here to thank you on her behalf. If you really admire her and respect her, please don't listen to the filth being spread outside. Instead, you should speak out against those who slander her. We might not have stopped them, but as long as a tumor like you exists, she'll never walk out from this filthy trauma. If I were you, knowing my own lowly status, I'd have hanged myself long ago. You're a disgrace. That's right. Someone like you doesn't deserve to live in this world. You're cheap. Well, I know you all admire my wife, but let no more illusions be entertained. From now on, her reputation will be mine alone. Fuck. What the fuck are you pretending to be? If you have the balls, come and fight with us. That's right, if you've got what it takes, show your strength. Don't just talk nonsense. There are so many of you, if all of you challenged me one by one, humph, against you, I alone am enough. You really think we're as despicable as you? That's not what I meant. I'm saying, you have too many people. It'd be a waste of time if you came one by one. Please write a joint letter of challenge and have everyone here today sign it, then come at me together. You, you, are you crazy? 
No, I'm just giving you a chance to challenge me. Fuck you, you shameless maniac, I'll see you at the River Arena. All right, Zhu Minglang. You're asking for it, don't blame us for bullying you. Dragon Tamer Academy Arena, newspaper. Newspaper. The cancerous Zhu Minglang has received a joint challenge, and the River Arena is set for a thrilling 1 vs 20 battle. Go and see it. Newspaper. River Arena. Crown Princess? Crown Princess? What brings you here? You said you were in love with me, so isn't it normal for me to show up here and take an interest in your affairs? But you're Nan Lingxia, aren't you? I have nothing to do with you. Oh? Do you think they will think like you do? No way. Why is she here? Is it really her? It's true, I've seen her at the festival, she's exactly the same, there's no mistake. She's definitely not here to see Zhu Minglang, she must be passing through. Yes, just passing by. Miss, what do you want? This is a big misunderstanding. Damn it. This Zhu Minglang is too much. Don't you want to help Li Yunzi wipe out the humiliation she suffered before? But who would believe in you alone? Why don't I play along with you, as if we've fallen in love? It's over, Yunzi. I finally know why you told me to watch out for her. I'm being forced to do this. You. Oh my. This Zhu Mingling is really having an affair with her. That's a lie, right? How can that be true? Then, what makes Zhu Mingling worthy of you? Yes, is his dragon spirit very strong? Wasn't he said to be a beggar and a vagrant before? He looks more like a bum to me. Zhu Mingling. Come on. Let me educate you, you maniac. All right, I'm hosting this battle. By issue Dragon Academy teacher, you can summon your dragons now. Since you're challenging one with many, you guys can only summon one dragon each to fight. Please choose carefully. This lineup looks like these little guys are pissed off. This Zhu Minglang, no matter how strong he is, has a lot of courage. Once kiss Manga Ayo. You can summon all your dragons now, or you can reserve your right and summon during battle. Thank you for the reminder. Come on. Haya. The previously refined dragon armor fitted Haya quite well. Oh? What's the situation? Oh, whoa, whoa. Shall we run? What do you mean, run? This is your training for today. Ow, ow. Master abuses his dragons. Your aura, Haya, pay attention to your aura. Do you not believe in me? Moreover, why would I let you take on all of them by yourself? Isn't there Baichi? You go provoke them first. Don't let them scatter too much, or Baichi's magic wouldn't be able to catch all of them. Oh, oh you. So I'm only acting as bait, I'm familiar with that. Ho ho. Look this way, you bastards. Karat. Red Claw Plague Dragon, kill this vulgar dragon. Woo, mommy. Ow. You want to bite me too, you little wolf? Dragon Horn Charge. Oh uh, god. Ah. My wolf dragon. Shit. This black dragon is just like that Zhu Minglang. He's so sinister and mean. Attack together. Kill it. Woo. Mommy. Baichi, freeze those at the back. E. Candle Dragon. Melt the Ice. Roar. HM. Baichi, watch out. Roar. Sandstorm. No. Yeah. Thank you. Attack it now. My green forest dragon won't be able to hold it for long. Bang. Ah. Uh, Baichi, are you okay? Ow. I'm fine. Uh huh. Is this dragon armor skill? Oh. It is said that after a dragon has made its sole contract with a dragon master, he must create an exclusive set of dragon armor for it. The Dragon Master can then synergize the Dragon Armor's properties and greatly enhance his or her survivability. I never thought I'd see it happen with one of the students. Ow. Ah. 
Brother. Fuck, a top-ranked candle dragon that was just one step away from a dragon general had been torn apart. How powerful is that big black dragon? Dragon armor. How could this Zhu Mingling have such an expensive dragon armor? This is not something that a beggar can afford. The lady must have bought it for him. Such a man who eats soft rice is really worthless. Heavens, a shooting star in the middle of the day? Is this the Azure Dragon's mystic art? How frightening is it? This white dragon is definitely a dragon general. Bai Chi, I'm fine, let them live. Who else? Uh huh. Academy Battles, I am very pleased to see that Zhu Mingling was able to distinguish between right and wrong and show mercy. Teacher Bai Shu, I'm sorry. Ahem, ahem, it's okay. I declare. In this challenge, Zhu Mingling wins. There's nothing wrong with being young and impulsive, but you have to be a decent human being and not listen to rumor and insult people's reputation. As a dragon master, you must have your own judgment, not be fooled at the slightest provocation, or you would have been killed if Zhu Minglang had not been kind-hearted. You're right. Thank you, Zhu Minglang, for your kindness. It is not for you to worry about the reputation of my wife in the future. Yes, yes, we only admire her, we don't have any other thoughts, absolutely not. Brother Zhu is the strongest man in the world, so he is a perfect match for her. These guys are really good at kissing ass. We're going to do a joint challenge next month. I wonder if there are any dragon generals in our group? What a challenge, didn't we agree to go hunting next month? Brother Zhu is very good, can we join a team in the future? Handsome, I'm 173, weigh 93, and have a size of. Would you like to consider it? Zhu Minglang, do you mind having more than one girlfriend? I'm sorry, I have something important to do. I have to go now. Women are tigresses, as the old saying goes. You said. Who's the tigress? Aha, uh -huh, you must have heard it wrong. Is that so? Then say it again. W. Well, I remember there was something urgent to do. Goodbye. Humph, it's not like I'm going to eat you, what a coward. Dragon Storage Hall. Little guy, it seems your wound is completely healed. I haven't named you yet. Who? How about Loopy then? Uh who? Uh, you don't like it? Note, Lupi means green skin. How about Ludo? Uh who? Ludo means green gram. Then you will be called the Qingzhua, and if you ever want to change your skin and blood to something blue or purple in future, then we'll rename you Lanjua or Zizhua. Um. Academy Bamboo Forest. Little Qingzhua, although I got a lot of money from your mother for no reason. But there's still a shortage of your favorite Phoebe tree juice. Hey. Little Qingzhua. Bamboo Forest Loft. Little Qingzhua. It's someone else's painting ink, you can't consume it. That's Phoebe Tree Juice, have it drink it. Is this, is this where you live? Sneaking through windows late at night, so bold. That, I didn't mean to barge in, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just a joke, see how scared you are. Where did you get this little dragon? There is a dragon cliff in the forest north of the academy from where I picked it up. Do you know this dragon? I'm a little confused about its birth, and there's no record of its lineage or race in the books. It is the Divine Green Tree Dragon, is the leader of the Forest Dragon Clan. Unfortunately, its breath is extremely weak, probably because it suffered a serious injury during an important stage of its growth phase, even if it reaches its peak in the future, it is difficult to bring out the true power of the Divine Green Tree Dragon. Oh, no! It turns out that she is also a demigod. You. What a trick. I have better tricks too. Would you like to see them? Right, sorry. Sorry for the disturbance. It's getting cold, so get some rest. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hee. You're still laughing. It's all your fault. Unfortunately, I forgot to ask Nan Ling S.A. where she bought the Phoebe tree juice from. Forget it. I'll ask next time. After all, it's too late, and people have a reputation to uphold. Academy Announcement Recently there have been demonic attacks in various parts of the city-state. All students and teachers are appointed to travel in teams to destroy the demonic entities, and those who perform well will be rewarded with a spiritual domain fruit. Due to the demon attack, all students are advised to avoid trying to be a hero. No credit will be given to those who act alone. 
If you encounter a demonic entity, please inform the nearest teacher at once and you will receive half of the credit for eliminating it. Do I have to team up? The only ones I know well are Li Xiaoying and his friends, but they haven't even reached the Dragon Gate yet. Ah, who do I ask to team up? Zhu Minglang? Looking for a team? Want to join my team? Jin Min Jun, Chu Yin Yin, Lu Xiao Lu. What a perfect timing. Yes, thank you, sister. Little Pond Hill. With Sister Chu's Wind Bell Dragon, we should be able to find those demonic entities soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems Phoebe Tree Juice is really working, Little Qingzhua has grown wings. Yeah, yeah. Yu. Yo, yo, G-A-G-A, -G -A, I didn't mean to. Little Qingzhua. Is that a wood carving dragon? Maybe it's a dead wood dragon. A dead wood dragon can't be carved, haha. -ha. Come on, over here. Be careful, they could be hiding in the bushes. Humph. Cowards. Demonic spirits, come to me. Are all young people nowadays so impulsive? Eek. You. Well done. Little Qingzhua. Fiery Lizard Dragon. Eek eek eek. Qingzhua, clear the way. Grayo. Ah. He hen. Ow ow, this little guy is good. Is sister okay? Where are others? Don't come any closer. The surrounding area is covered with vines and ferns, too thick for large dragons. That's how they got trapped. Huh? Hiya. Ah, ah, ah. Hiya, be careful. Sister, I'll go down and save the others. You stay here and be safe. Okay, you two be careful. Huh? Yunzi? Yunzi? Why? Fleece flower vine rat wolf? I've heard that they can absorb the hypnotic elements of the fleece flower vine and even create hallucinations through the hypnotic effects of the gas they excrete. Did I just fall for that? That was a close call, all thanks to you, little Qingzhua. Yay! No! Come back, little Qingzhua, you're no match for it. This creature may have over 900 years of cultivation, it's about to become a demon. Baichi! It's up to you now. E. Clack clack. Ki ki ki. Demon soul pearls? Great, by feeding it to little Qingzhua, his strength will definitely increase greatly. Brother Jean, are you alright? Thank you for saving me, but unfortunately, Sister Yan got killed. Hey, people can't come back from death, let's get out of here. Dwarf Mountain City Small Courtyard, you were lucky to come out alive after encountering the demonic spirits. There is news from further north that a teacher has not been able to survive. You have done a great service in restoring some peace to Dwarf Mountain City, so go back first. Yes. Teacher, we will personally send Yang's body back to the academy. Zhu Minglang, you are as strong as some of the teachers. Would you like to go to the Qinglu River City to assist a team of demon subduing teachers? The rewards for the academy's top teachers are also very generous. Sure. Remember, if you come across an ogre that is over 3,000 years old, do not be reckless. You must inform the Red Lotus City's mayor immediately and let her handle it, understand? Understood. Red Lotus City good amount to in. Huh? I didn't think you'd be the one responsible for defending Red Lotus City. What? Can't I be in Red Lotus City? Well, that's not what I meant. How, why did you come looking for me? Ahem, I followed the teacher's orders and went to the city to assist a group of demon subdues, but when I arrived, all three were dead, lying quietly, and the demons were gone. Even the teachers were killed? Well, it's estimated that the demon has the cultivation base of at least 3,000 years. Dragon artist? You stay here in Red Lotus City, I will go to see. I stay here. Wait a minute, it's too dangerous, I'll go with you. Ah. Uh. Oh you you. It hurts so much. HM. Karma. You got what you fucking deserve. Phew, I'm glad it was nothing serious, otherwise I would have been sorry for my mother.
May I ask this master, we are the disciples of the Nan's clan, is Sister Nan Lingsha sitting here? Zhu Minglang? Ah so noisy. Nan Lingsha asked me to stay here in her place. If you have anything, you can report to me. Huh? Who are you, to replace the teacher in the city? If you have anything to report, don't bother me if you don't. Shit. What are you talking about? Do you really think I would believe, don't be impulsive? Zhu Mingming, we met a demon spirit and came to find Sister Nan Lingxia to exterminate the demon. Is she really not here? She's really not here. You guys, what kind of demonic spirits did you encounter? Ah, uh, we came across an evil spider that had been around for over a thousand years and had broken into a lumber yard, killing people indiscriminately and frightening the soldiers and servants to death. Eventually the demon went into the deep forest to the west. You know where the demon spirit is, don't you? Take me there. Academy Lumber Yard. Look, it's the blood here. I'll go check it out, and you guys stay here on guard. Zhu Minglang, it's too dangerous for you to go alone. Let's go together. That's enough. People want to be in the limelight. Why do you want to get involved? Could it be that the evil spider are eating people in order to breed more red spiders so that they can swallow the forest dragon? That's... Little Chingzhua's mother and brother? Squeak. Fuck. Little Chingzhua? Squeak. Ki ki ki. Chingzhua, have you completely absorbed the energy of the previous fleece flower vine rat wolf soul pearl? That's great. Chi chi. Hiss. Crap. Whoa. Hu Qingzhua, can we avoid this kind of exciting things in the future? There, it seems to be the location of the forest dragon. Hua. This evil spider is so cunning. He wants to kill the forest dragon by poison fog and human face red spider. Hiya. Huh? Whoa. Yoo-hoo. Damn. I was careless. Hiya. E. I'm okay? It recognizes you, Qingzhua. Scale? She actually gave me the scale from his body? She's saying she doesn't owe me anymore. In the future, their life and death have nothing to do with me, right? 1,700 years, if this creature had eaten another dragon, I fear no creature in the forest would have been able to confront it, and the cities outside the forest would have had to suffer. Divine Tree Green Dragon? Badly, I heard that the Nan family has a sacred area for raising dragons, where an ancient divine tree spirit merged with a green forest dragon to create the forest dragon family, which became the exclusive dragon pet of the Nan family. The divine tree green dragon is a sacred beast of the forest dragon family, they wouldn't have misunderstood the origin of the Qingzhua, would they? Zhu Minglang, is this saint dragon a gift from Sister Ling S.A.? You misunderstood, my dragon is, well, we'll see if it's true when we get back. Red Lotus City Hall, sister, did you give Zhu Minglang a divine tree green saint dragon? Are you talking about Qingzhua? It's just a remnant dragon, I gave it to him. We met in the bamboo forest on a moonlit night, and I saw that he is a good dragon master, and has a good relationship with my sister Yunji. So I gave him this divine tree green saint dragon as a small token of my appreciation for the care he has given to my sister, shut up. You have nothing to do with me and my dragon. This sister-in-law is very dangerous. Even so, to give such a precious dragon to a man of unknown origin. What? Do I have to ask for your permission to do so? I don't dare. Well, I have something to discuss with Zhu Minglang. The mission of eliminating demon has been completed. Everyone's grades have been announced in the form of rankings, so go back to Academy first. Ugh, I've been screwed by you. Girl, you have no reputation to live up to, but I have to be innocent. To marry someone. You are innocent? I don't know who pulled someone out of the air and hugged her. That's a misunderstanding. I really didn't mean that. Humph. I heard that what happened between you and Li Yunzi in the dungeon was also due to misunderstanding, right? Why don't you say anything? Well, it's getting late. 
If there's nothing else, I'll go back first. Hold on. You are at the top of the student list and tutor list of the academy this time. I've collected your reward from the academy already. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh huh. Ah. Humph. Rascal. Ouch, second hit. That's not how it is done. The taste of this spiritual domain fruit is average. The spiritual fruit, is it delicious? Don't you have a white dragon called Baichi? Why are you riding this little dragon? Can't you draw a dragon? Why do you have to fly with me? I used up all the ink I had with me to exterminate 3,000 years old demonic spirit. Oh, the last time he killed a fleece flower vine rat wolf, he fell asleep and hasn't woken up yet. Has Baichi been through the dragon tribulation? Dragon tribulation? Everything that crosses the dragon gate is transformed into a dragon, and each time a dragon crosses the dragon gate, it may encounter a dragon tribulation. Every time they cross the tribulation, they transform and become more powerful. Each stage is divided into lower, upper, and peak stages. However, no one knows how many levels there are in the dragon gate, or what level they will rise to after passing the dragon tribulation. With that said, Baichi seemed to have really gone through a dragon tribulation. You can go back to the Academy Library and check it out, or you can go to the Pagoda Pavilion. There are a lot of stuff that you can trade in for your rewards and credits this time. Thank you for reminding me. Just thank me. Don't poke me with weird stuff. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pagoda Pavilion Dragon Tamer Academy. Storm Phantom Feather? This thing seems to be good. It can be attached to the feathers of the Baichi. And manipulate the storm indiscriminately and greatly enhance the Imperial Wind technique. Spirit Domain, ho ho ho. Baichi, you are awake? That's great. Heaven and Earth Concealing Method. No, 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 don't steal anything, people will kill you. This is the Academy's collection. Academy Residence Hall. The rewards from this mission were all redeemed, earned enough credits for Hyatt to eat pork until spring. The gold and silver jewels on hand were also enough to buy the expensive frosty snow tree nectar. This way Baichi will be more powerful when he performs the ice star technique, not to mention the fact that he will reach adult phase in the summer. In addition, Chinjua's favorite Phoebe tree juice was also taken care of by this young lady Nan, so for the time being, I don't have to worry about the rations for the three dragon spirits. By the way, what should I do with this scale? Idea. Next day. Hmm, since it is made of the inverse scale of the forest dragon, let's call it colorless soft armor. Yunzi has been away fighting, and she will be coming back at the New Year's Eve. I'll gift her this clothes fitting armor, she will definitely like it. Family at Courtyard Yunzi will definitely look very sexy and attractive in the soft armor I gave her. Good luck, young master. Uh, Miss Schwanger. Master Zhu, after waking up my lady said, she liked your gift very much. Yunzi like it? Wonderful. I have heard that she got injured again and is not seeing other people, so I asked Miss Schwammer to give my regards to your lady. Young Master is not other people. My lady, I'll take my leave, so you and Master have a nice chat. I heard you got hurt again, how are you now? Are you feeling better? Why are you so stupid, always working so hard? I'm fine now. And this time, I feel much better than the last time, at least I no longer hear those obscene words. As you know, I've always been a good actor. Really, meeting at night in the bamboo forest and giving gifts to each other is just a play? Uh, that's a misunderstanding. Divine Tree Green Forest Dragon belongs to me. It's not from Miss Nan at all, so how did it become a gift from her? So, young master didn't give her any gift? Of course, I only gave you a gift. By the way, does the soft armor I gave you fit well and is it comfortable? I haven't tried it yet. I would suggest you try it now, I can just adjust it for you if it doesn't fit. All right. Young Master is not allowed to peek. Okay. Oh my god, she really said yes. And she keeps calling me Young Master. It seems that Yunzi has changed a lot and is not as cold to me as before. Don't do anything. If one's heart is clear, the sky will not fall. If one's heart is clear, the sky will not fall. If one's heart. I've changed, I'm coming out. This soft armor fits well and is very comfortable, and there is no sense of restraint, and it also looks pretty. Very nice. You look very beautiful. But is it too much down here, woo-ho? No. You are perfect in every way. Oh no, someone's coming.
No wonder she stopped me. She is having a date with her lover. Nan, Nan Lingsha? What are you doing here? Sister, why are you so ambitious? If you want to stop it, I won't be polite to you. What are they talking about? What ambitions? Stopping what? Well, the streets are crowded, and the whole winter is dull and boring. Why don't you lend me this handsome gentleman to take a stroll around the fragrant and flowery ancestral dragon city state? No. Sister is not giving up? Zhu Minglang, why don't you talk to me today? You used to be so attentive and eager, even if you talked all night, you never looked tired. Miss Nan Lingsa, I've already explained the facts to your sister, so don't try to distort the truth. Tut, what a bore, bad timing, you two are boring. Eh, why was she here, anyway? Why did she just leave? She just came to check on me and left when she saw that I am okay. Is there something on your mind? Yes. I want to establish a country. There is no such thing as a country in this land where the city-states are independent of each other, except for the court of the clan, which regulates them, and you want to make an enemy of the court and unite them into a country. To be precise, I don't really have any enemies, except for those who stand in the way. Lingxiao City State Zone Palace. Ancestral Dragon City State Li Clan Nan Family. The Zone Palace, Lingxiao City, even the Li Clan and Nan Family, are all obstacles in my way. Then, there are many people in the royal court of the Li Clan who have evil intentions towards you. How come you don't even have a guard? It's not safe. Even with an army of 10,000 men, there are few who can be trusted, and no allegiance is worth more than coercion. If you say this to me, it means you trust me. I'll pack my things and move here tomorrow to protect you. No, no, it's not just a matter of protecting me. I'm telling you this because I'm afraid I'll get you into trouble so you can find a place to lay low. I have said in front of everyone, your reputation will be my reputation alone. I will not run away from it. Thank you. Between you and me, what's the point of saying thank you? Ha! As expected, you can't be decent for five seconds. Keep your distance from Nan Lingsa. Roger. Academy Lodging. Well, there doesn't seem to be much to pack up. I heard you're moving out? Yes, I'm moving to the Lee Clan's royal court for the time being, but I'll be back, and I'll continue to learn and tame dragons with you when I get back. Anyway, take care everyone. Holy shit! The royal court of the Lee Clan? Isn't that the home of the crown princess, Lee Yunzi? It's just to watch the court. Damn, he made it. Zhu Minglang, I've had a weak stomach since I was a child and I can't eat stiff rice. Can you teach me how to eat this kind of soft rice? Note, eating soft rice is a way of saying that a Chinese man is living off his girlfriend. Well, you have to rely on your face, so don't even think about it. Phoenix Falls Town. Where's Fang Yinyin? Her family wanted her to marry a man who liked her, but she didn't like him, so she ran away from home and hid in the city. Such a big issue, why didn't she tell me about it? What should I do regarding the supplies for my dragon? In the city, move, move, clean up the streets, poor girl don't spoil the view, Miss Nan is coming to watch the festival tonight. Humph. How dare you look down on people. Come on, I'll take you to buy some clothes and wash up at a nearby inn, huh? Zhu Minglang? What are you doing here? I've heard about you, why are you like this, like a little beggar? I was in such a hurry that I didn't have time to change my clothes. I'm going to the royal palace of the Lee clan, where I'm supposed to have a maid, and I don't like to deal with strangers. Would you like to come and work for me as a junior dragon maid? Yes. Huh? What's that in the sky? Wow. Starfall, it's so beautiful, it's a blessing, even the heavens are blessing our ancestral dragon city. It's the first time I've seen such a gorgeous cluster of shooting stars make a wish. Any artists out there? Sketch this rare sight. Spread out. Spread out. They're falling down. What are you yelling at? Don't make a scene. I'll run. Mother. Help. Ah. Meteorites have fallen at other places too. It doesn't look man-made. Could it be? It's over. It's the end of the world. Ah, help me. It hurts so much. All together. One, two, three, go. Hoo-hoo, my child. Ouch, that hurts. I think my leg is broken. It must be that Li Yunzi doings that has brought on the wrath of the heavens. Yes. That demoness, Li Yunzi, has been waging war wherever she has gone, and now this divine punishment has come down from heaven to tell us, the people of the ancestral dragon city, to destroy this demoness. Why should we suffer from the wrath of the heavens when Li Yunzi's savage deeds have caused it? If I were to say, she should repent of her sins, or else there would be a punishment of fire from heaven. Yes. 
Revolt against Li Yunzi. Revolt against Li Yunzi. Li Yunzi kill yourself to apologize. Li Yunzi kill yourself. Inside the Li Yunzi residence, the Li clan royal courtyard. It's chaos out there, the sky is still bright, many people are accusing you, some are even gathering at the ancestral altar and uttering those dirty words. Do you care about those filthy words? I am unhappy for you, heaven punishes the world, the world does not hate heaven, but you have to bear the burden. Heaven is different, no one can control it, but anger needs to be vented, someone will eventually be accused by all, they think I made it all happen, so let them think. Rest assured, whatever the world may say about you, I will stand by you. Miss, the young master of the Zong Palace, Du Chang, has arrived and the master wishes you to appear in the Great Hall. No need, tell the messenger that her ladyship is recuperating and will not attend any meetings or see any guests. Go and do as he said. Okay, okay. Nan Family Grand Hall. Today is the birthday of the Nan Taigong, and all sorts of bigwigs have come to celebrate the occasion. I heard that the head of the Li clan, the representative of Lingxiao City State and the young master of the Zong Palace have also come. After all, the lord of the Li clan is the father of the Nan clan's Nan Lingxia, so it was understandable that he was invited for a birthday celebration. But why are even Lingxiao City State and Zong Palace here? The Nan Taigong is a very powerful dragon master and was once the head of the Dragon Tamer Academy, Li Nan. He also led the Li clan and the Nan family, a formidable figure, who would dare to disrespect him. Du Cheng, young master, young master. Du Cheng, you and I are engaged for marriage, drooling over another woman in front of me, what a swine. This woman is? She's Nan Lingxia, in charge of the Nan family. Oh, really? Close the door. Yes. What's going on here? Nan Taigong, what does it mean? Nan Taigong, lord of the Nan family. Don't be nervous, she's the in charge of the Nan family, Nan Lingxia. Oh, so it's the in charge of the Nan family, forgive me. You come on out. Gentlemen, we are gathered here today to fight against my unfilial daughter, Li Yunzi. Yes, Li Yunji took over the Wutu, conquered the southern state, and even the southeastern Chintang city state has secretly surrendered, now only Lingxiao city state which has not fallen yet. This woman's ambition is so obvious that she will destroy us sooner or later. Now I have no choice but to do the righteous thing. This is a very important campaign against Li Yunzi, and we in Lingxiao City State have been sending troops for days to show the sincerity of our family, so please don't hesitate any longer, Elder Fan's own palace. Our palace has also sent young Master Du Cheng here, and he will proceed as planned. Write down your names to participate in the campaign. I will temporarily replace Li Yunzi and disband her guards, so that no one has to worry about her loyalists taking revenge. How can you temporarily replace her? Do you think the loyal guards of Li Yunzi will listen to you, Miss Nan? For those of you who may not know, my daughters Li Yunzi and Nan Lingxia are twin sisters. Li Yunzi's guards do not know the true face of Nan Lingxia. After Li Yunzi was imprisoned, no one knew that their master had changed to Nan Lingxia. That's the guarantee we Nan can give to everyone. Good. In that case, I'm on board for this punitive expedition. Punitive expedition book, the demoness Li Yunzi's brutality and warfare has caused the wrath of the heavens, and a meteorite has been sent down from the sky. Today, all the men are gathered together to discuss the plan to destroy the Demoness. The whole clan will take action to capture the Demoness, who is alone in the courtyard, recovering from her injuries. For the goodness of God, the punishment is either banishment or death. The choice will be made by the signatures of all. Write down your names, and those whose names are in the book will work together. They are allies, regardless of the outcome of the assassination. Gentlemen, regardless of the brutal acts of the princess, she is a genius, I admire her, and I choose to banish her, so help yourselves. Okay, we'll sign. A few moments later, all right, gentlemen. This ink is of dragon's blood, and this paper is of dragon's skin, and today we are all allies in this crusade, and the majority of you have chosen to execute by signature. Then, whatever the outcome of the assassination, we must not allow Yunzi to leave the ancestral dragon city-state. I'd say you're all a bit nervous, as Yunzi Li is now wounded. If the master of the Zong Palace strikes, he will take her down in one strike, so let's wait for the good news. Hey, it's not that I'm nervous, but my little girl is so lucky that she escaped the last time we imprisoned her in Ever City. We must not be careless. Father, so you also had involvement in the Ever City incident? It was your father who put her in the dungeon, but he didn't know what happened after that. Well, in that case. Was it Madam Kong who made her suffer humiliation in prison? Eh, shut up, this is how you talk to your elders? The conspiracy of the Lingxiao city, the union of the Zong palace, the Li family and the Nan clan, to kill a woman who shines above all others.
Father, you should be thankful that you were not involved in the incident of Ever City till the end. Ha, huh, you guys are really. Your heads are higher than the sky, but your lives are as thin as paper. Life or death. Gentlemen, you yourselves had written your name in the book of life or death. Ah. Damn, what is this? Why can't I get free? Ah. Help. I was wrong, let me go. Nan Lingsha is waiting outside the door for anyone who can survive my arc scroll. Bitch. Let go of us. Li Yunzi. What are you doing? Why? Why did Nan Lingsha betrayed? Could it be that from the very beginning, the feud between the sisters was just a sham? Sisters don't get along, but how could they fool their loved ones unless they have buried their hearts for years? Father, I want to crusade against Li Yunzi. Thank you for not killing me. Thank you for not killing me. Thank you for not killing. W wicked girl. You will die a horrible death. Oh? Survived, not bad. Unfortunately, there is no escape from death. Lingsha, we, the older generation, have been corrupt and have stood in the way of the development of the ancestral dragon city-state. We were wrong. I can swear before upon ancestors that I will not interfere in any more clan affairs, and from now on I will be a retired old man who will live out my days in peace. Well, I'll prepare a coffin so that you can enjoy your old age in peace. No, no, I don't want to die. Ah. Lee Clan Royal Courtyard Corridor Bridge. Beyond here lies Lee Yunzi's house. Now that she's been betrayed and unguarded, we should be able to take her down easily. Zong Palace S.I. Xiong. Nu Xiong. Gu Shou Ji Xiong. Old Man Ji Xiong. Gao Ji Xiong. Don't be careless, I can also detect the presence of a Dragon Master. Yes, I have been waiting for you for a long time. If I guess, you have come to kill my wife. You're the beggar who was in the dungeon with the crown princess. It seems the rumor were wrong. Zhu Ming Lang. But still, you are merely immortal. Young master, the situation has changed. Don't argue with this nobody here. Go and deal with Li Yunzi first. All right. We'll go first. This man is yours, and I'm sure you'll make his life a living hell. After all, he's the one who slept with your goddess. Don't worry. I'll make sure that you... Want to kill my wife? Have I given you permission? For seniors, you go ahead and deal with Li Yunzi. I'll take care of the dog that's in the way. Baichi, get them. Ice World. Damn. This dragon master is not weak, watch out. Then let's cut off his head and give it to Li Yunzi as a gift. Leave it to me. Lava Spring. Damn. My dragon has already advanced to the rank of Inferno Dragon, second only to the Dragon Lord. Why is this white dragon still able to block my lava attack? Bang. Damn it. Kill the dragon first. Baichi. Go to hell. Ha ha. Good job, Baichi. Baichi. You should have minded your own business. Ha <laughs> ha. Not good. Dragon Lord rank? Ow. Oh. Hiya. Damn. I forgot, the dragon armor conducts electricity. Go to hell. Kiki. I didn't expect you to be a demigod. Roar. Hiya, take off the armor. Ow, oh, it's so numb. Huh? I'm fine. Ha ha. E. Great, everyone's fine. Young master. Don't interfere, I'll kill this bastard myself. Armor transform storm. Roar. Humph. A mere beast, do you really think you're that powerful? I'll show you what I'm capable of with this inferno dragon. Storm spirit feather, amplify. This is, the Storm Spirit Feather is so powerful under the manipulation of Baichi. E. No. Roar. Damn it, why is this dragon so strong? No. Get up, Purgatory Flame Dragon. Get up and let's fight again. Damn it, why? Why are you? Oh, isn't it Elder Brother Luo Xiao? I didn't knew it was you, I'm sorry. No. 
I can't die. I'm not happy about it. Yunzi, you are my. How dare you lust after my wife, bastard. Damn, how dare you hurt me. Go kill that little beast. Thunder Whale Blue Dragon, Shadow Dragon, Corpse Master Dragon, Double-Headed Winged Dragon. And as for you, Trash Head, I am enough. Your Zong Palace Clan is still as shameless as ever. Fierce Fist Janan? Damn it. Didn't he disappear for so many years? How could he appear here? There is rumors that he once slaughtered a dragon, but it is not known whether it is true or not. Humph. Whether it's true or not, he will die here today. Little brother, we meet again. Ah. It's you. He, isn't he's the ordinary farmer who sent Li Xiaoying to the academy? Little brother, I know a little about dragon slaying, the young master of the Zong Palace, I'll leave it to you. Roar. E. Haha, -ha, let's kill them together. What a great way to act like a pig and eat a tiger. Compared to him, I'm nothing. Protect the young master. Damn. Haya. Little brother. These two beasts are going after you. What the fuck? Someone really raises such a disgusting dragon? You. Fourth Elder. Hang in there, brother. Damn. This Thunder Dragon is already a Dragon Lord, plus the Shadow Dragon, which is about to enter the Dragon Lord level, it's really tough. I can also use the Storm Spirit Feather in my body because of the Soul Connection. Damn. I forgot that he is connected to the soul of the Dragon Beast, and that the equipment of the Dragon can manifest itself to the Dragon Master's body. Save the Young Master. Young master, I'll kill you. You care so much about him. Then go join him. Ah, get back. I didn't expect this beast to be so protective of his master. Ah. Baichi, Qingzhua. No. Don't worry. You guys will also join him soon. Move. Okay. Shadow Dragon. Don't run. My Shadow. Dragon. Is this the strength of the Crown Princess? So fierce even after being wounded? Hey, I can handle them. It seems she's really worried about me. Show off. Stop playing around and kill it. E. Unfortunately, I'm not a dragon master, so many spoils are suitable for you, kid. Moreover, you're very skilled at harvesting soul brewing pearls. Hey, it's okay, I'm majoring in this one. A small profit this time, these soul pearls should also be a bit of a boost to the higher. Uo? Candy? Dang it! You lazy dragon, as soon as you heard that you got benefits, you woke up. Egu, this kid has the phantom armor on him. Wow. No wonder that guy's physique looks so weird, so it's because of this precious armor. Truly, a dragon and its master has same nature. Uncle, you're really hiding something, by the way thanks to your help this time. Well, no need to kiss my ass, the spoils are all yours, after all you killed all these people, and I have nothing to do with it. I was just repaying the princess by temporarily acting as a fighter, and now I will take my leave. A few days later inside the Li Yunzi house. These days, I see that you are lost in something. That day you used your spirit to make a sword, you were a bit too impulsive, but you will be fine. What's on your mind? Or, I'm thinking, an ordinary silkworm farmer from Wutu, why did I meet him? How did he become such a powerful dragon herder in a short time? What is his true identity? You think too much, I'm just, I was actually a demigod before, but I lost my ability to be a demigod. After that, I went to the land of Wutu, which was surrounded by a sea of nothingness, like an isolated island constantly drifting. It wasn't long before it bordered with the eastern rising mountains of the ancestral dragon city-state. So, why did you approach me? Honestly, it's just a coincidence that we met, and I'm really sincere with you, please believe me. Sister, don't be so mean to him. Maybe he can solve our problems. I am only preventing him from having ulterior motives. Sister, why don't you let me try? 
since you are sincere, why don't you tell me where you come from? I remember when I was a child, the easternmost part of Ancestral Dragon City State used to be a sea, but suddenly in a year, the land of Utu appeared. It seems that this world is more mysterious than I thought, isn't it? Yes, it is. What is it? It feels like a different person all of a sudden. I want to go out for a walk, can you accompany me? Of course, of course I can. Okay, just give me a minute. Mm, which one should I wear? The goddamn screen. Louvois building. Come on, hug. Why aren't they hugging each other? What do you think, it's broad daylight? That's right, but what's wrong with the sun? Huh? Oh my god, what is that? Shit, the sky is falling. So huge, everything in the west got covered with black clouds. Ancestral Dragon City State is breaking up, the Lingxiao City State and other small city states in the West are going to disappear into the eternal darkness, Wu Tu, is that how you got here? Yes. I thought it would come drifting like Wu Tu, but I didn't expect that the continent would be in the sky and would fall like a star. What do you mean by that? Did you already knew this day would come, is that why you were depressed? It's just that there's something unsettling, don't worry, no matter what happens, I will stand by your side. Sister, the day has come. I know. Thank you for drinking tea with me, I should go now. Well, you're still wounded, I'll come with you. I'll go to the western border first, to defend against the coming crisis. You stay and help Lingxiao stabilize the situation. Yunzi, be careful on your way. I'll help you guard everything here. Don't worry. Forgive me for not telling you, I came from the Jitting Continent and was a demigod sword cultivator. During my travels, I encountered a king-level mysterious power who devoured the power of the spirit veins and living beings, so much so that even the Baichi got affected by his devouring power and the living beings were withering away like nothing. I could not tolerate his actions and could only fight with this mysterious and strange strong man. In that battle, I broke the earth's veins and separated the island from the earth. My sword cultivation was destroyed and I fell into the vortex of nothingness and came to your world. Baichi also suffered from that battle, in order to save it, I became a dragon master. I didn't expect that the whole Jitting continent would get descended. No matter what you do, you better not make my wife sad. Otherwise, I will reduce you to dust. It is said that the fault connecting the fallen continent and the vicinity of the Lingxiao city-state is called the West Cliff, but unfortunately there have been too many incidents there recently. Otherwise there should be a lot of star fragments crystallized there. Fortunately, Yunzi helped to collect it, now the crystals should still be enough for you to eat for two months, by then you should be able to stabilize in the upper dragon lord realm, right? E. Although it is said that your mystic arcs come from the moon and stars, eating nectar is no longer helpful to your growth. But eating crystals like candy is not something ordinary people can afford to do. I hope you will not eat any moon crystals or sun crystals. Zhu Minglang. Nan Ling? What are you doing here? Come with me to the Li Clan Royal Court. Ed, okay. Lee Clan Royal Court Hall. The old woman on the throne is? The grandmother of the Lee Clan, who was usually not involved in public affairs, but after Li Ying was abolished, she had to come back to take charge of the situation. Teacher Duan Lan is also here. It seems that Teacher Duan's health is fine, that's great. Yunzi has gone to the Long Gorge defense line, except for her, Ancestral Dragon City King level people are here. I want to tell you a message. Yesterday, hundreds of dragon masters and hundreds of divine mortals were destroyed, and the Zong Palace has perished. The six major cities of the western Lingxiao city-state were also slaughtered. It's the work of a powerful man from that mysterious continent? Not bad. What kind of faction are they, and how many king-level or higher experts are there? One person, a dragon master who rode a purple dragon. Teacher Duan, are you telling the truth? That Zong Palace not only has two kings and two elders, but the lord of the palace is even at the monarch level, and they were destroyed by one person. Yes, yes, this is a bit too exaggerated, right? If just one person from the mysterious continent has this kind of power, wouldn't we have no chance of winning? Ah. I remembered that he is the director of our Dragon Tamer Academy, Duan Changqing. Is Duan Lan his daughter? Who is in charge of this city? Let's go outside. Dang. What a coincidence. I am Nan Lingxia, the ruler of this city. What do you want in my city? However, is it is a sect? No, we are a city-state clan. Since it's not a sect, you guys should behave yourselves. What does that mean? Did they come to destroy us? 
a bunch of small clans, a few city-states with mediocre resources. This land is just SOSO, more dull than I thought it would be. Your Majesty, let's go back. HM. Wait a minute. Your Majesty, this is already the most prosperous city-state, there is no need to go anywhere else. Zhu Minglang. Yeah. Aunt Xuan. If you're not dead, why don't you come back and report your safety? I would like to, but I couldn't find a way back before. Aunt Xuan, for the sake of my nephew, can you let the war stop? I heard that six cities have been slaughtered, they are just people, why be so cruel? The war has nothing to do with me. If you want to interfere, why don't you talk to the Lord yourself? But rumor has it that Shen Fan couldn't bear the hardship and jumped into the abyss to kill himself. So the rumors were half right. I am now a Dragon Master. Dragon Master? This face of dislike, it seems that the Lord despises the Dragon Master. Let's not mention the matter of the Dragon Master. Is this the wife you met on your travels? Do you have any children? My unmarried wife, she's my unmarried wife's sister, Nan Lingsha. Let's return home and let this woman bear you a child. If she can inherit the divine spirit of one of you, it will make up for the many regrets of our people. Is it really needed to be so disappointed? I think I can still save the day. Having a child? Although I have failed to live up to my aunt's year-long guidance, however, I am now a great dragon master. As for your remarks, I will make sure that no family will take advantage of the situation and will not kill the innocent, but the battle for the land and the city and state will be left to fate. Dragon Master? There aren't many Dragon Masters in the Zhu sect, so we can have a sparring session sometime. Okay. See you later, Auntie. Wait a minute. Did His Holiness just call him Zhu Minglang? My lord, just now, that Zhu Minglang, the talented swordsman who once swept through the young generation of the Jiting continent at the age of fifteen? You've heard of him even as a dragon master? It seems that Lord really doesn't like dragon master, I've heard of him, haha. <laughs> Afraid? No way. His demigod power has been depleted, in terms of the ability of the dragon master, I am not afraid of him. Damn, why do I feel that his face is scary? You're not going to explain? Well, I actually come from the Jitting continent, and that orderly lady is my aunt, don't judge her by her cold looks, she's actually a very nice person. Zhu Minglang, you're from the Zhu sect, who are excellent in the art of forging. That's right, I fell into the mysterious sea of nothingness and woke up in a coma in the middle of the barren earth. Could it be that you too? Yes, the appearance of the Wutu made me understand some of the laws of this vast world. Over the years, I have been exploring the secrets of the sea of nothingness in various places such as the ancient mountain, hidden mist island, and the great wall crossing. I never imagined that the Jitting continent would fall from the sky. I've only been here a few years, and the Dean has been unable to find his way back for decades, how tragic. Let's try to comfort him. There is no need to grieve, Dean, there is a way home. And your daughter is already so old. Ahem, you two can catch up later but first tell us about this Jitting continent. Okay. There is an imperial dynasty and many countries on the continent, all of which have varying strengths and are constantly at odds, but all must abide by the rules set by the imperial dynasty. In addition, there are many other powers, such as the clans, sects, the dragon palace, the church, and the academy, but they do not interfere in the wars of the country. Clan, sect, dragon palace, church, academy, in other words, there are four other powers in the imperial court that can compete with your academy. The demigod academy and the dragon tamer academy, both of which are located in the imperial court, our Lichuan dragon academy is not even as large as one of their smaller branches in many small countries. Jitting. Now, we are like a barren land in the eyes of the imperial court, an inferior people, a backward barbarian, and any state could crush us with a massive army. Dean Duan, is it true that if we surrender, we can be saved? No way. Slavery exists in many country of the Jitting continent. When a land is captured, everyone is enslaved for ten years, after which they are slowly converted into inferior subjects. Slaves were not protected by the rules of the state, not sheltered by the clan, and not subject to any accountability for life or death. So, what are we going to do then? Slave. War was inevitable, and Li Yunzi has already mobilized all the troops of the four city-states and positioned them at the Changxia border. As long as the major powers don't make a move, we can still hope to resist the state's army. Yunzi has always wished for the establishment of a country, could it be that she also knew about the Jitting continent and knew that this day would come? It seems that we were wrong about Li Yunzi. But even if she establishes a country, we are still a land without a lord and not protected by the dynasty's rules. Those powers would still target us, right? In fact, there is a way. We can avoid the other powers from attacking us. How? 
Fortunately, I'm from one of the six great clans. We can announce to the Imperial Dynasty that the Ancestral Dragon City-State belongs to the Zhu Clan, and tax will be collected. In that case, this place wouldn't be a land without a lord anymore, and interfering with us would be a violation of the rules. Great. We should arrange a marriage between you and Yunzi, but since she isn't here yet, Lingxia can act as a substitute. Then we can announce that the Ancestral Dragon City-State now belongs to the Zhu Clan. It's good that Lingxia has the city-state stamp, so we don't need to get a replacement. Act as a substitute for marriage? Grandmother, calm down a bit, let me finish. All right. You. Stop talking. You were the only one talking. This isn't something I can decide on my own. I need to go back to the clan and negotiate with the others. Since it is the clan's power we're using to intimidate the other powers in the first place. I, Duan Changqing, am willing to go to the Jitting Continent to earn the Jitting Dragon Tamer's Academy's support. I hope my friend from the Academy still remembers me. That's good. It's all up to you guys now. Even if we get the Zhu Clan or the Jitting Academy's support and announce the establishment of a country, we aren't free from the other powers. We'd still be competing, just in a more fair and open manner. If the Zhu Clan fails to compete, other forces might still come after us. In that case, I'm afraid your trip will take a few days. By that time, other forces might have slaughtered all the experts of our ancestral dragon city-state. In this period of time, my aunt will maintain the order here. She'll try to defend us, but she won't be able to do anything about the state army's invasion. Right now, we can only depend on Li Yunzi's army to make it through this lord less period. As long as the imperial dynasty admits that we are an established country, we'll avoid being enslaved even if we lose the battle. Don't worry. The only battle she's lost is the one in Ever City. After that, she hasn't failed a single time. Miss Lingxia, I still have some questions. Yunzi seems well prepared for the arrival of the Jitting Continent. How did she know? There was a girl called Qinghua, she's a demigod that uses the power of the stars to predict the future. She predicted the time of arrival of the Jitting Continent. Predict the future. I've met many demigods, but I've never heard of such a power. You're just a loner. One that hasn't seen enough of the world. Ugh, then I'll definitely find the chance to meet this Miss Xinghua one day. Oh, you've seen her. Huh? Who? Enough with this. Let me take you to a place. Nan Family's Holy Forest. It was alone difficult to collect the essence from the Wood Spirit Altar, which was supposed to nurture a new divine wood green holy dragon, or to baptize the most talented dragon master. How could we just give it to some outsider? And one who has such a terrible reputation. How noisy. This idiot, will you shut up? Ah. Right now, Zhu Minglang has the power to change Ancestral Dragon City-State's fate. Stop your bullshit. I'm very sorry, sir. I hope you don't take the things my stupid son said to heart. Dad, I'd shut the fuck up already. You want to take me down or what? He does need a lesson or two. Yes. After today, I'll properly teach him a lesson. Holy Guard, we are here to collect the Holy Essence. Please accept our offerings. Who knew that there'd be a divine wood green holy dragon in the Nan family's holy forest? It's much stronger than little Qingzhua. Mr. Zhu? Here's ten of the ten-year essence. Hey, the hundred-year essence should be done too, right? Please bottle it up and give it to Zhu Minglang too. T the hundred-year essence is very important to the Nan family. B but only this kind of treasure can be worthy to match the status of Master Zhu Minglang. Oh Nan Zhaobing's father really is something. Each of the ten-year essence here is enough to last your forest dragon for ten days. The best thing about the hundred-year essence is that when a dragon drinks it at their bottleneck of growth stage, allowing them to directly advancing them to next stage as well as also awaken some strong holy dragon powers. I see. Our family treasure is going to be consumed by Zhu Minglang and his dragon like water. Whatever. Since we're unable to stop them anyways, might as well offer it to them willingly. Maybe we'll get to depend on him in the future. Mr. Zhu, you can also give some of this to your other dragons. However, only dragons with the forest dragon bloodline can absorb it more than one time, so you should only feed it to your other other dragons once. The other dragons can also drink this? That's great. Our forest essence also doesn't create any interference with other consumables like soul pearls or phantom fruit that enhance dragons' powers. That means you can feed other phantom objects to your dragon even after feeding them the forest essence. Wow, this essence is great. I should have taken more. Master Zhu. 
These bottles of essence are very valuable to our family. It took many decades to accumulate this many, so please don't take all of them away at once. Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. You've already given me more than enough. With these, my Qingzhu should be able to reach the upper stage of Dragon Lord with no problem. Raising dragons is easier than I thought. Enough of that. We should prepare to leave. Erm, um, yes. West Cliff Corridor. Even with new clothes, you still have that dog-like look that makes people want to punch you. I'm taking that as a compliment. Lichuan Dragon Tamers Academy's Vice Principal by Hongba. Sai, seems like quite a handful of adventurous people from the mainland tried to barge in from the West Cliff Corridor to get a peek of what the Jitting Continent actually looks like. Too bad they die here, since they can't get past the guards for the West Cliff Corridor. You guys also want to go to the Jitting Continent? Earthly Snake Dragon, do you want to turn back or perish along with the others? Zhu Minglang, do you happen to have anything that proves that you come from the Jitting Continent? No, how about you? I also don't. I wonder if this counts. Thousand on Azure Dragon. This is his dragon? Would this work? Why yes. I respectfully apologize for my rude behavior earlier. I thought you were from Lichuan. I am from Lichuan. There is no discrimination against where you come from if you are a respected dragon master. Please go in. Let's go. No matter where you go, power is what's most important. We're finally here, I'm exhausted. Whoa, is this the Jitting Continent? It doesn't look too different from the ancestral dragon city-state. I thought there would be floating walls, houses made of gold, or that people would ride the wind to go anywhere. Of course it would be the same. Jitting might even be worse than the ancestral dragon city-state in some aspects. Zhu Minglang, you're going back to the Zhu clan, and I'm heading to the Dragon Academy, so I'll say my farewells here. Yeah. I hope you will be able to gain the support of the Jitting Dragon Tamers Academy. Sin City. To get to the Imperial Court faster, I guess our only choice is to take the road through the Sin City. Yeah. There's quite a lot of black market sellers here. We should be able to get some dragon blood as ink. Zhu Minglang, look. There's star fragments here. We can get some food for Baichi. How much is this for? A hundred golden pearls. Sir, we need to buy a lot of these. Can you give us a discount? Sure. If you and the beauty with veil her face come with us for a couple of days. It's been so long since I've experienced a woman with such a nice body. Look at those long legs. I feel energetic just by looking at them. Ha ha. ha. What the hell? Shit. Let us go. M. Mercy, Arg. Humph. As thanks, this is all the money I'll give. Put all these star fragments into Baichi's dimensional space. Why, yes. Sister, there's people selling dragon blood ahead, I'll go take a look. Wawa, this is a robbery. They only gave us one measly gold pearl. I can't believe a slab of meat like this is worth five golds. Everything they sell here is so expensive. Cheap skates. Whoa. These phantom leaf soul pearls can be exchanged using the death dragon soul pearls. We finally found food for Qingzhua. Forest outside of the Sin City. This Sin City doesn't look particularly dangerous to me. Why don't we stay there for the night? Hey, you three. Leaving so quickly. You really think we are vegetarians? Eleven of them? Humph. If you don't satisfy us here, we won't let you leave alive from here. Ha ha. These women here are superb. You guys are messing with the wrong people. Who's the one messing with the wrong people here? No one is allowed to steal our star fragments. Well, who are these people? Stop pretending. Help me and get rid of these people quickly. I don't want to you started this, you resolve it. Sister, someone like you forgetting is natural, but those two are the ones that you messed with earlier today. Oh. Forgetting these kind of person is normal. I'll just let Zhu Minglang handle it. Really, you fine, I'll do it myself. Haya, attack. Thunder Cold Tyrannosaurus Black Thunder. H, he died instantly. This is one of the abilities of the claws and fangs of the Haya deterioration. When did Haya get this strong? I just fed him a few days ago, he wasn't this strong then. He finished absorbing the Thunder Dragon's soul pearls. Not only did he awaken thunder powers, he also awakened the fierceness found in his bloodline. For today. Maybe we did mess with the wrong people. Shit. This dragon is way too powerful. Run. 
Humph. Want to run? Qingzhua, finish them. Ah, help. Ah, have mercy. We'll hand over everything we have. Yeah. Everything we own, we'll give it to you. Please let us go. Wawa, please release us. Harming others for the sake of money. You guys probably have the blood of many people on your hands. I hope you guys reflect on your actions on your way to hell and become better people in your next lives. Whoa, Baichi, look at these. Baichi seems to like these shiny things. Is it a female? Crack. Despicable. Harming so many people for money. Huh? Disciples from the Sword Mountain sect? You know them? I used to learn from the Sword Mountain sect. One of their high-ranked swordsmen was like a grandfather to me. I didn't expect to see a fellow disciple here. We can drop by their sect. Lies. A scum like you is trying to pretend to be a disciple? What the hell? Ever seen such a charismatic and handsome villain? Guys, I really was a disciple. My ass. I've never seen someone as shameless as you. Are you blind? These people ambushed us first. They were aiming for our lives. And you call us a scum? That's hilarious. You guys are the one standing in their blood, and you said they ambushed you? You single-high-handedly lowered the intelligence of all of Jitting. They're the ones that are scum. Whoever kills the other side are one that's doing the robbery? What kind of logic is that? Sai, they're not the brightest. Let's just go. I don't have time for this. Don't you dare run. Take another step, and I'll kill your dragon. Rar? There's another dragon here. Why me? This is Ice Powers? I know the way back to the Mountain Swordsman sect, so I didn't need your guidance. I'll take my leave here. Rar. That was badass. As expected of Master. The Mountain of the Mountain Swordsman sect. Please deliver the message to Miss Miao Zhu of your sect and tell her that Zhu Mingling is here to visit. Do you have any way to prove that you know her? Hmm. The place she stays has a phoenix pine tree with a wind belt tied onto it. Does this work? I'll go look for her. Why does no one seem to know you even when you used to be a disciple of this sect? I was 15 when I left. Of course no one would remember me. Then who's Miss Miao Zhu? How does she remember you? We used to practice together. She's a bit clumsy, so I had to help her in some moves. Shut your mouth. You doesn't even have the tiniest bit of sword energy. How dare you criticize our senior? Must be another relative of unknown origin coming to us for our resources. We don't need this kind of people in our sect. You guys. She's here. Show respect. Senior. Senior. Senior disciple of the Mountain Swordsman sect Zi Miaozhu. Zhu Ming Lang. Hello. Who are they? Erm, they're demigods journeying with me. This is Nan Lingsha. Hi, I'm Fang Yinyin, Zhu Ming Lang's maid. Journeying with you? Why? Ming Lang, you don't need to hide anything about how we got along the moment we met and that we left Lichuan without anyone knowing. Again. I see, so that's what it was, all those years, grandfather lied to me, saying you were dead. In the end, you just didn't want to see me because you had another woman. Miaozhu, don't get so hung up about this. I have important things to tell grandfather. It's okay. She can be the mistress as long as I get to be the main. Our beautiful senior, did this nobody poison her with some kind of medicine that causes confusion? Stop that. It's not like we had a promise. Plus, I'm not a couple with Nan Lingsha. She just said what she said to test your relations with me. Mistress? You're not a couple? No. That's more like it. Let's go now. All right, all right. Let's go. I will take you to see Grandfather. Grandfather, Zhu Minglang is here to see you. Hmm? What? I just took a nap. How am I seeing a ghost? Xiao Lang, Xiao Lang. Don't visit me now. I still want to live longer. Grandfather, I'm still alive, don't worry. I just ended up in Lichuan somehow. Huh, feels real all right. But how do you have zero cultivation foundation, yet have the breathing of a dragon master? Grandfather, things happened and now I'm a dragon master. The reason I came back is to protect Lichuan, to prevent the other forces from dividing themselves and attacking us from all sides. Can you send some strong fighters to the ancestral dragon city-state? I see, I see. Miaozhu, can you tell Senior Gedong that if he's willing to stay in the ancestral dragon city-state, he can have a Haoying sword? That's great. 
With Senior Gedong, a master swordsman, the ancestral dragon city-state should be fine. Master, our last Haoying sword was lost in the abandoned sword forest, but many weird things have been happening in that forest nowadays, so no one dares to get close to it. T Don't worry. Our Shaolang here can get the Zhu clan to make a new one. That's right. I'll give him a new one personally after I head back to the ancestral dragon city-state. Oh, I forgot that his clan is really good at forging. All right. Arrange a room for Xiao Lang's friends. I need to have a talk with Xiao Lang. Yes. Xiao Lang, not bad. You managed to bring two hot women back with you. Especially the one with the veil, not bad at all. Your taste is as good as mine. Master, one of them is just my maid, and the other is my wife's sister. Oh, a mistress? Master, stop it with that. All right, all right. I won't interfere with young people's matters now. Since you're a dragon master now, why don't you look for a strong demigod to protect you? Two dragon masters traveling together is a bit dangerous. Master, she is a demigod. That can't be right. I was observing how she breathes. She's definitely a dragon master. Plus her limits are weird. It keeps fluctuating above and below the monarch level. Master, are you joking? I've seen her use demigod powers. She can't be a dragon master. Really? Then the one you saw couldn't have been her. This woman traveling with you is definitely a dragon master. Unless, does she possess both demigod and dragon master powers? No, that's impossible. All right, you can look into that further later on. I recently heard that there's a ghost at the abandoned sword forest, but it hid as soon as I went. You know that place the best. Can you help me take a look? All right. You should take a rest. Hey you, master, what is it? Go to the cemetery and take down the spiritual sign with the word Zhu Mingling on it. You also don't have to light the candle every month, save some sesame oil. Abandoned Sword Forest Starting from today, you will pull out a sword from the ground and swing it towards the sky. Using the wind as a grindstone, you will remove the rust from all the swords in the abandoned sword forest. After that, you can leave. Aunt Shuahen, my hands are numb. Continue. Aunt, my hands are bleeding. Keep going. All of the swords here have accompanied me and been dyed by my own blood before. It's been a while, hasn't it? This is... What? Arg. A sword or a dragon? I see. The ghost in the abandoned sword forest that Master was talking about was a sword aura of an abandoned sword. All the sword auras combined to become one. I thought I wouldn't get to hold a sword again, I didn't think I'd get to see this. For now, only my right hand can handle tens of thousands of sword auras power. Seems like I still need training. So this is your power. With this, I don't have to have a cultivation base for sword fighting to fight with a sword. I still remember that the sword I spent the most time with back then was called Emosia. A sword or a dragon, I'll call you Emosia from now on. There is a fight going on, there is a fight going on. Arena of the Sword Mountain Sect Senior is fighting with someone. I heard that she's fighting because of a man. Is she fighting with Senior Xiao Su? Senior Zhu said that you're a demigod in his team. Let me see how strong you are, and if you're worthy to be his companion. What does that have to do with you? Damn it. How can a woman like you look this good? Damn bitch. Arg. Ah. Senior was blocked so easily? I think she's being pushed back. That woman hasn't even taken a step. How? Am I seeing this right? I was scared of hurting you at first. It seems I have to go all out. My spiritual realm seems to be getting more and more lively. Rar. Whoa, that's so cool. Seems like everyone's getting along. Huh? Someone's fighting at the arena? Excuse me, huh? Damn it. Even though she's around the same age as me, how is she so strong? Can you take off your veil? I want to see who it was that I lost to. I'm Nan Lingsha. She looks better than me too? No wonder Senior Zhu likes her. I'm Zi Miao Zhu, it's my loss. From now on, I will only treat Senior Zhu like a brother and nothing else. That has nothing to do with me. 
Didn't you say that you got along as soon as you met and that you make each other happy? That would be Lee Yunzi. You can ask him for the details. Lee Yunzi? Who's that? Huh? Where'd he go? Why did we leave in the middle of the night? I'm so tired from flying all night. Zhu Minglang, why were you avoiding Z Miaozhu? Are you hiding something? Bullshit. Miaozhu already left to look for my aunt. Before she left, she told me that the annual inter-clan competition is about to start and that the prizes this year are way better than the one of past years. For a dragon master, the most important thing is resources. The more you have, the more powerful you are. It's just that I haven't made up my mind on if I want to join or not. The inter-clan competition? What's that? It's a competition where disciples from different sects and clans come together to fight for glory. TCH, so you just want to go for the glory. Z Miaozhu is a senior in the Sword Mountain sect, yet Ling Xiao won against her, seems like the strength of those from Jitting are just mediocre. This should be easy for you. Ling Xiao only won against one person. Jitting has a lot of old fighters with weird but strong fighting techniques. Humph. Ling Xiao is still young. I'm sure we can stand against those old fighters after we get stronger. We're almost here. Whoa, it's beautiful. This was my hometown. The Cloud Dragon Kingdom. I can't believe the stories about this place I heard from the Dragon Academy are actually real. Haha, <laughs> it's been so many years, I'm home. Zhu Clan. Zhu Minglang, it seems that they're holding a funeral. Brother Yushan, my disciple didn't know that the kid was your son Zhu Tong. He didn't hold back, causing a tragedy. Because of that, he should be punished. If you want him to be punished in any way, we'll follow your order. Arg. Since you're guilty, you should kneel. Which bastard is picking a fight here? Sword or a dragon? Who are you? Zhu Minglang. What? Is he Zhu Tianguan's son, the swordsman that lost all his cultivation foundation? I thought he died. I heard that this kid angered the gods, his entire cultivation foundation was destroyed, and that he became a normal person, wandering just trying to survive. Who knew he'd come back? This bastard had the guts to cut the hands of the royal family. At that time, he was just a kid. He's all grown up now. This disciple from the Purple Forest sect is in trouble. Xiao Lang? Is that really you? You came back. He's so tall now, it must have been hard to go out there on your own. Xiao Lang greets his uncle and aunt. Uncle, aunt, what happened to Zhu Tong? How is he? Zhu Tong joined the inter-clan competition and he was beaten to death. Humph. You're nothing if you're not strong. Your strength determines if you survive. As a dragon master, dragons are living creatures too. It's that idiot's own fault for being too weak and dying to my dragon. You're an idiot. Shut up now. Father. Why'd you hit me? I see, it's the famous Zhu Minglang. It was his fault for making a mistake with Zhu Tong during the competition. As his father, I will see to it myself that he kneels and kowtows in front of the spiritual sign. All right. You are G let go. Zhu Minglang, what are you doing? Didn't we say I'd make him kowtow to apologize, what else do you want? I want him to follow through, of course. Inside the spiritual hall all right, now start. If you don't do 100 kowtows, don't think about leaving. What, 100? You want to die? Just you wait, shut up and do it. Lower. Damn it. Zhu Minglang, just you wait. I'll make your life hell after this. Zhu Tong, this is the person that killed you. In a few days, I'll join the competition too. After that, I'll get him to apologies to you in person. Zhu Minglang, my son killed him in an accident, you're not even blood related to him. You said something like that right here, are you just going to disrespect me and our sect like that? My aunt and uncle only had him as their only son. You have three. One for one, what's wrong with that? It was an accident. Don't worry. The day we fight in the competition, it would be an accident too. If your son steps out of the competition or disappears somewhere, then you can prepare coffins for your other sons. Sir, don't pass out. Sir, hang on, your son's almost done with 100 cowdows. Oh no, he's so cool, my heart's beating like crazy. Is this the real Zhu Minglang? Gutsy, crazy, bossy, was he pretending to be humble and average? Zhu Minglang. I can't believe that you're still this crazy after so many years. 
You really think that you can do whatever you want because you have the protection of Zhu Tianguan and Zhu Xiuhen? Lady Zhao Royal, I can't believe that your family's still this crazy after so many years. Oh, it's you. Using the fact that you're the lady of the royal family to help the Hao family? I even have the guts to cut the arm of a disciple from the royal family. If you don't want the royal family to hold a funeral too, don't get in my way. He's actually crazy. What if he actually kills me? I hope you're keeping track of the number of kowtows you've done. Five minutes later. Mr. Zhu, young master already passed out. I beg you, just let us off. Leave. Xiao Lang, thank you. Zhu Tong will be happy when he sees this from the heaven. Xiao Lang, you angered the royal family and the purple forest sect again. Don't worry, aunt. I know my own strengths. Bridge leading to Zhu clan's inner courtyard after crossing this bridge will reach Zhu clan's inner courtyard. Wow, your house is so big that it's split into an inner and an outer courtyard? A long time ago, the Zhu clan took in a blacksmithing family after a country fell. Most of them became slaves. My grandfather didn't agree with the slave system, and so the house was split into two courtyards. That's the courtyard my aunt and uncle are in charge of. Does that mean you're not blood related to your uncle and aunt? My uncle's given name is Yushan. He studied alongside my father. My father didn't agree with the slave system too, and he was very close with my uncle. And so my uncle changed his surname, and he got the name of Zhu Yushan. Zhu Tong was their adopted son, but they take care of him. Like their own. I also treated him like my own brother. Seems like his father is also a kind person. If Li Chuan really got taken in by Zhu clan, at least they wouldn't become slaves. So you're saying that Zhu Tong isn't of Zhu lineage, so no one would look too hard into it even if he was killed in the competition? Sai, it's just that my uncle and aunt are willing to let this go so as not to create any future problems. I bet they didn't even tell my father about this. Bullshit. You're looking down on your own father. You've already been married for so long, yet you only show up now. If your grandfather didn't say anything to me, we would have held a funeral for you next month. Dad, you believe what grandfather told you? Well, aren't you living an easy life? You threw away all Zhu your sword cultivation, but Ting Wan also all the complicated head of matters of the clan. The Zhu clan you just go and live a carefree life with these beauties alongside you. Sir, we're just accompanying him on this journey, I swear. They journey with me as a team of a dragon master. This is a demigod from the ancestral dragon city-state in Lichuan, Nan Lingxia. Sir. Uncle. The one that called you uncle is a maid from a merchant family. We are just teammates. What? Dragon master? What about the Zhu clan's forging techniques? You want to learn swordsmanship, fine. Then you lost your cultivation foundation. I was happy that you'll finally have the time to pick up our clan's techniques, then you went and became a dragon master. What about the clan's techniques? Dad, I practice. I made a piece of armor for one of my dragons, I'll show it to you someday. So you picked up the techniques left behind by our ancestors for a couple of dragons? If you want to interpret it like that, I have no way of stopping you. TCH, fine. If it's for dragons then so be it. If you love dragons so much you should go marry it. You should come out now. Qin Yang greets the head of the clan. Enough with the formalities. I actually wanted Qin Yang to find that bastard and cut off his hands and legs, but since you had your outburst in the spiritual hall, I should end it off at that. I see, so dad had the intention to do something. I thought you loosened up after many years. Humph. They practically dragged my name through the mud, how can I do nothing about it? Makes sense, with how cunning you are. I heard from grandfather that there have been big changes to the Zhu clan. What happened? We, the Zhu clan, are still one of the six great clans after all. We might be the last one, but we should still hold a lot of power, right? Bullshit. The Zhu clan are the leading clan of the six great clans, along with the PU clan. The Zhu clan was developing at a very fast speed, and so the royal family, the Purple Forest sect, and the other clans got jealous. That's why so many problems have been happening. Don't look down on your damn father, ouch. So you're saying we've been having problems because we became a leading clan of the six great clans? Grandfather, please be clearer when you say things next time. Ah uh ha -huh, Dad, I wouldn't look down on you. I can recognize your great strategies, precise calculations, cunning schemes, what an old fox. Stop. That's enough. Disgusting, as if you're capable of flattering people. That's not true. I definitely meant what I said. Oh right, there's something that I need your help with. What, got one of these girls pregnant? Enough with that, this is an important matter. Do you know about Li Chuan? 
We're trying to protect it. Can you help with that? I heard that that place is filled with uncovered historical artifacts, potentially even an ancient dragon gate. That's why a lot of people are trying to get their hands on Li Chuan. As long as you're able to win the inter-clan competition, you should have a good chance of taking control of Li Chuan. So just go all out during the competition instead of worrying about holding back. Though, you should stop doing things like cutting the arms of the royal family off. You can no longer protect yourself with the identity of a bratty kid. Plus, what you're up against is no longer just some young disciple from a clan. Are you saying that those shameless seniors will also compete? Haha, <laughs> it's fine. In the worst case scenario, you can just go up to your grandfather and tell him that there's a skilled swordsman competing and he'll bring people from the Sword Mountain sect. Or I could put in some words for you at the royal family, get you to become their dog or something. With their resources, it should be no problem to reach the top that way. Talking your way out is great, saves a good few decades of fighting. Zhu Clan's hot spring wow. Whoa, the Zhu Clan has such a big hot spring. The water temperature is just right, Miss Nan, come quickly. All right. Weird. She would act all cold when I try to joke with her back then. It's like she's a different person today. What a great figure. What did you eat when you were growing up? I'm so jealous. Huh? Well, aren't you brave? Ha ha ha, stop it. Stop tickling. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, that feels great. Why did they build the hot spring in my yard? What's the problem, young master? Are you sick or hurt anywhere? Why did you enter so suddenly? Don't know how to knock? I was bringing your washed clothes over, but you didn't respond when I was knocking, so I thought something happened. You sleep in this room, I'll sleep in another one. Ju Clan's inner courtyard waterfall. According to the legend, this dragon has ancestral veins. It's capable of sinking this world in a summoned sea in the sky when it gets angered. The waves in that sea can crumble a mountain of a hundred kilometers. The monsters in that sea can flatten any kingdom. Do you know the person this godlike dragon serves? Who is it? That would be me. I was once the ancestor of the Nine Heaven, reincarnated as an average, mundane fish. Ahaha, uh -huh, like hell that's true. Enough with that, Mr. Dementia Fish. Don't believe me? Damn brats. Quiet. Listen carefully to my classes. And, the waves in that sea can crumble a mountain of a hundred kilometers. The monsters in that sea can flatten any kingdom. Sir, you already told us this part. Huh? I was worried you wouldn't remember, so I just repeated it. But you've already said it seven times. Is that so? Then I'll end classes here. Go have some fun. Yay, let's go play. Those damn kids, none of them showed up to classes today. I'll have to report this to their parents later. Humph. Mr. Dementia Fish, Zhu Minglang is here to visit you. Zhu Minglang? Look at you. What the hell did you eat? You're so big now. Mr. Dementia Fish, it's been a while. I'm a Dragon Master now, there's a lot of things I want to ask you about. Dragon Master? You're a Dragon Master now? Ha ha ha. That's great. Better than some trash swordsman with no future. With the guidance of the fish of the Nine Heaven, you'll easily conquer the world. Huh? Zhu Minglang, you're so big now. Mr. Koi, I'm here to ask you some questions. Oh? Sure enough, you're smart and have the thirst for knowledge, not like those damned kids that didn't show up. Ask away. Do you remember this dragon? Of course. Unlike your average goldfish, I have a great memory. This was the white dragon you kept, why did it turn out like that? For a time period, it was sealed in some ice. Then it devolved into an ice worm. Then, it underwent metamorphosis and became a white ice morning dragon again. Did it devolve because of dragon tribulation? Normally, dragon tribulation wouldn't completely remove the original white dragon bloodline, becoming a combination of the silver moon winged dragon and the star wind ice dragon. This isn't dragon tribulation, this is the cycle of transformation. Cycle of transformation? Yes. This kind of devolving and transforming can be associated with the death and rebirth of a phoenix dragon and also the butterfly-like metamorphosis transformations of a dragon. Your white dragon wouldn't need dragon tribulation. It can just undergo another cycle of transformation and it will easily break through and become stronger. Another cycle? Meaning your dragon can still devolve. This ability is very special. After cycles and cycles of transformations, a dragon can become a stronger dragon with each cycle, even without the help of a dragon master. This ability means that it can break the limits of its own bloodline, becoming stronger and stronger. 
until it becomes stronger than a dragon king, stronger than a god, until nothing else in this world rivals it anymore. I didn't think Baichi had so much potential. It's just a shame that it has to devolve every time. Actually, there's ways to speed up this process, no matter if it's the rebirth of a phoenix dragon or a butterfly cycle. How? Please tell me, Mr. Koi. I don't remember. Ancient Dragon Court. Excuse me, were you are the one looking for me? Are you Lu Miner? I'm Zhu Minglang, Zhu Tong's brother. Greetings, Mr. Zhu. I've heard about you, Zhu Tong always talked about you. Lu Miner. I was looking over Zhu Tong's things, and I found out that he angered the young royal's clan to defend you, and that led to his death. Can you tell me about that in detail? Mr. Zhu, I didn't mean to. Ah, uh, I'm not here to blame you, I just want to understand the situation. You didn't do anything wrong, no need to panic. I was a relative living in the Zhu clan's outer courtyard. Then, I came over to the ancient dragon court to become a disciple. One day, I was walking down the streets, and I was. I only found out afterwards that his name was Zhao Eleven, and his mother is a member of royal family, and so he's a part of the young royal's clan. That's why he's able to do as he wishes. Stop. Help. After finding about the incident, he got angry for me and gave Zhao Eleven a beating, creating a grudge with the young royal's clan. Whoever kills Zhu Tong in the next inter-clan competition gets a phantom fruit, how about that? Great idea. The young royal's clan made a bet and encouraged Hao Xiaotong to kill Zhu Tong in the inter-clan competition. I really wouldn't have thought that that would have led to his death, it's my fault, alright, stop blaming yourself. Zhao Eleven and Hao Xiaotong, I'll make them pay. Zhu clan inner courtyard Zhu Minglang's yard. You're back. How did your investigation went? Now, I know the whole story. The next round of the inter-clan competition will be in the next three days. I'll make them pay then. If Miss Lingxia is free by then, you can join too. There's a lot of strong demigods there, and the prizes are good too. Okay. Zhu Minglang, you finally came back. You didn't even bother to finish listening to my class, you brat. Mr. Koi, what brought you here so suddenly? Did you remember the way to speed up the evolving process? No, but why did you leave without a word? I thought we agreed to adventure around the world together. It's not like I went far. Whoa, a flying talking koi fish. Huh? A divine wood green holy dragon? How the hell did you take care of this dragon? It's a holy dragon, yet it doesn't have the aura of a strong holy dragon. It got hurt when it was still young. I see. You're so bad when it comes to picking dragons. Good thing this dragon has decent potential, plus it also drank some 10 year essence. If it had some hundred year essence, it probably would be able to put up a fight with your white ice morning dragon. Hundred year essence? I actually do have one, I just don't know when to use it. You have such a rare treasure? Now would be a great time to give it to your dragon, but it should be paired with other elemental essences to help it mature. That way, its control over natural energy will significantly increase after it awakens its holy dragon bloodline. There's so many types of elemental essences, which should I use? It's best if it's of water or wood element. It should be 300 to 500 years old. Anything too old, it can't absorb it. Anything too young, it won't be useful. Whoa, what a cool fish. Apart from flying and talking, it's also knowledgeable. Take your filthy hands off of me. I am a fish of the nine skies. I know all about the sky and the ground. As if I won't be able to answer a small question like this. Filthy? You're filthy. All right, all right. Let's go look for the elemental essence now. We need to prepare Qingzhua for the competition. As expected of one of the six great clans. Even a small koi is so magical. I'm not familiar with this area, how am I supposed to find the essence? If you call me sir with respect, I'll help you find some. Really? Sir. Tell me where to find the essence. Whoops, I don't remember. The inter-clan competition is in three days. If Miss Lingxia is free by then, you can join too. There's a lot of strong demigods there, and the prizes are good too. Okay. Tian, author, is the one with dementia, literally the same dialogue in the last chapter. Damn it, you dare lie to me? I'll catch you and make roasted koi out of you. I really forgot. I'll tell you when I remember. Jitting City Bronze Yellow Arena is anyone else from the Zhu clan participating? Young master, the Zhu clan focuses on blacksmiths and weapon forging, we're not best at other things like fighting. So, we're not expecting anything out of this competition. Sai, I see. It seems to be a group battle. Yes. 
Every round, a hundred people go into the arena. There's two ways to win. One, you remain standing till the time runs out. Two, you are one of the ten remaining. To prevent people of the same clan teaming up into big groups, maximum three people from the same clan are allowed to enter at once. How many rounds has Hao Xiaotong survived? Three. He's already one of the longest surviving ones here. We're number 55th and 56th, right? It's time to stretch our muscles. Not teaming up? Fine. These two came from the viewing area. They're probably the disciple of a strong clan. How have I not heard about this? Bet on their numbers, quick. It's time to win some money. I think they're from the Zhu clan. Didn't a disciple of the Zhu clan die here a few days ago? The Zhu clan specializes in weapon forging. I haven't heard of any strong dragon masters or demigods from there. Will there be another tragedy today? Humph. A bunch of small fries fighting for glory. They're just here to throw away their lives. Oi, the one eating grapes. What? If you don't back off now, you'll regret it later on. Why do I meet so many weirdos and idiots everywhere? Round three of the first game starts now. People should have more self-awareness. I have already warned you. Now, do you want to run away and become the joke in the whole city, or do you want to get beat up until you lose an arm or two? Ha, huh, sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear it. Acting dumb? Shadow Dragon, kill him. Hmm. Oh, with this. Now, do you want to run and become the joke in the city, or do you want to lose an arm or two? Sorry, I'll drop out of the competition. This guy, he switched his attitude so naturally. No way, are these people that weak? If you guys don't attack me, I have no choice but to attack first. Haya, Qingzhua, your training for today is to defeat everyone present in the arena before the time runs out. That black dragon is the biggest problem here. Kill it first. Damn it, the black dragon spits at me. Stop that. Don't you have morals? Attack the other dragons first. Hee hee. Shit, is this poisonous? It fucking stinks. I can't take it anymore. This bastard, farting at my face, I won't let you get away from this. For Clawed Mountain Dragon, Earthquake. Ah. Awoo. Oh, Awoo. Oh, Whoa, that's amazing. Isn't that the eldest disciple of the Dragon Palace, Chuan Jingwa? Why is she still in the first game after so long? With her strength, she should have moved into the next game already. I'm betting on her, for sure. Haha, <laughs> I'll be making money today. Just one move from that dragon was able to get the other dragons running and hiding. Oh woo. Master, what do I do? That black dragon with no shame, don't try to run. Baichi won't help until dragon lord rank or higher shows up. Oh woo. What? Oh woo. Is that bastard dragon yours? Even humans fart, what's so weird about a carnivorous dragon doing it? With your strength, you can get into the next round without any problems. Why focus on my dragon? Oh woo. Yeah. Humph, if I'm not happy, you won't be too. The dragon follows the master. Don't think that just because you're wearing something nice and proper that you can escape from the shameless actions of your dragon. She's got a temper all right. I'm sure she'll calm down after being thrown into the pool. Haya, remain defensive against that four-clawed mountain dragon and try to deal with the other dragons first. Oh woo. Ah, no choice but to go all out. Dragon armor? What a cunning dragon. It's using the four-clawed mountain dragon's strength against the other dragons. Don't worry, Elder Chuan Jingwa is your strongest disciple. She'll definitely win. Yeah. This is bad. What's the problem? This won't be an easy fight for the four-clawed mountain dragon. Elder, that black dragon doesn't even dare to fight the four-clawed mountain dragon directly, plus it's under attack from so many other dragons. No. Haven't you noticed? That dragon is unusual. It's violent, wild, and fearless. 
I think I've heard about a rare Tyrannosaurus bloodline that uses vaporized blood to awaken its strongest fighting abilities. Impossible. This is. Ah. Damn it. For Clawed Mountain Dragon, come back. Damn it, I have no choice but to use this. Ah. Roar. Haya, absorb the energy from their blood. Roar. That black dragon is getting stronger as it fights. Chuan Jingwef can't lose this match. We invested so much money in her. I think that Dragon Master comes from the Zhu clan. It's no wonder that Dragon has such a strong set of armor. It doesn't matter if he's strong. The Zhu clan has created many grudges with many people. It's hard to fight in a competition like this with so many enemies. Oh? This Zhu Minglang really is something to put up such a fight with Chuan Jingwe. Seems like he'll make it into the next game. Humph, they're fighting so hard in the first game. It won't have much strength to continue onto the next one. If I knew that this Zhu Minglang was such a problem, I should have sent him into a coffin along with Zhu Tong that day. Don't worry, we'll send in someone strong and kill all of his dragons. Just killing his dragons? I see. Don't worry, sir. There are people from the Young Royals clan in the second game. We'll definitely. My steel horn dragon. You win this time, but your dragon is more hurt than mine. Haya, come back. Still want to fight? Awu. Roar. Awu. This crazy dragon. You think you're invincible? Die. Haya. Baichi, go, Awu. Wait. Awu. I can handle it. Roar. I can keep going. Awu. Ha ha ha. Good job. That dragon won't be a problem for you. Just bite it. Don't be scared. It's fine. You won't lose against him. Hey, sir. How about you let me off here? If we fight, I'll lose, but you might too. We don't hold any grudges with each other. We don't need to fight to the end. Ah. Awu. Amazing. This is great. This is how real fights should be. Don't be too sad. You lost against Zhu Minglang. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Zhu Minglang? Who's that? I've never heard about him. Apparently he came out at top in the Sword Mountain sect at the age of 15. In terms of strength, not even well-known swordsmen could beat him. He's quite famous. I can't believe I had to fight him in the first game. What terrible luck. If he was a swordsman, why can he summon dragons? I heard that his sword foundation got destroyed and became no different from an average person. Now, it seems that he didn't want to give up that easily and became a dragon master and he's doing a good job at it. That was a very well-trained dragon. Don't worry. He might be strong, but he can't be stronger than me. I'll teach him a lesson for you. 55th, 56th, this round of the competition has ended. 9th and 77th players get to advance into the next game. Please look at the notice at the announcement board for information of your next round. Seems like Jitting is strong after all, I can't let my guard down. You're being way too humble. Ju Clan Inner Courtyard. Guest Hall. Miss Nan, I heard from Qin Yang that you were ambushed and got hurt. Here, I brought you some medicine. Erm. Um, who let you in? Why didn't you knock? I'm sorry, it's my fault, I didn't see anything. Leave. URG. Young master, are you alright? I was fine earlier, but now I'm not. Zhu clan's hall room. I didn't interrupt you, did I? Getting you to come here this late at night. No. It's safe to assume that Li Chuan has ancient artifacts, but those old farts wouldn't tell me anything no matter what method I used. What should we do? I can't let the people at Lichuan get turned into slaves. We have two choices. Either we fight whoever gets in our way. Or, we make use of this inter-clan competition. However, I've heard that the others are already teaming up to go against us. Despicable. Even though they know we don't specialize in combat. Dad, you don't trust my abilities? No, this is a problem of fairness. 
There must be a lot of older clans and sects that aren't happy with us rising to the top that fast. One thing comes after another. Since they're targeting us, let's do something big. We suggest increasing the stakes of betting and get the other clans to bet their own clan resources. Gambling. Wouldn't we lose a lot of resources if we lost the bet? Dad, most of our resources are different types of metals and materials. Even if we lose, they're not good at weapon forging. They'd still have to ask us to make things for them. At that time, even if the materials aren't in our hands, we can still get them to pay a fee to forge weapons. This kid, when did you become so cunning? He, I got it from you. Hey. Great. The city of the Red Sparrow from the Purple Forest sect, the Thunder Metal Mountain of the Royal Family, the fire control techniques of the Dragon Palace, and the forgery camp of the Holy Kingdom, I've wanted these resources for ages. Seems like we'll have a chance to get them. We'll get other clans to bet their resources first. The resources have to be as valuable as a city-state. We force them to either quit the competition or risk losing a lot of their resources. Then I'll win the competition along with Nan Lingsha and take everything. After that, we can split the resources among ourselves. They're like a pair of old foxes, I almost pity the others. To our victory. Winning prizes, hee hee. Cheers, dad. Shit. I was too drunk. I walked into the wrong room. Thank God she's still asleep. Time to run. Fuck. I, if I said this was a misunderstanding, would you believe me? I, I can explain. Have mercy. Ah. Zhu Minglang, what happened? Why is your face all bruised up? Ouch. Ah, uh, I drank too much last night and slipped while walking. Is that so? I thought you got beaten up when you tried to flirt with a girl or something. Erm, um, what? Give me money. What? Do you expect me to buy dragon food for you out of my own wallet? Of course not, haha, uh -huh. tell me how much you need, I'll give it to you. Hmm, a month's worth of Baichi's crystals, 12,000 gold in total. A month's worth of Qingzhu's Phoebe juice, about 2,300 gold. Now that Haya eats pig demon dragon meat, this could be found in the outer courtyard, so you saved some money there. What? It's just a month. Being a dragon master really makes a dent in my wallet. Boss, you also haven't paid for my service fee for this month. Ahaha, uh -huh, I need the toilet. I'll think of something regarding the money. Ouch. Young master. Chin Yang? Looking for me this early in the morning? What's the matter? I, I came for breakfast. I see. Go eat then. No need to rush. What are you panicking for? It's just breakfast. Erm, um, yes, young master. Haya is recovering its injuries quite quickly in the soul realm. I'm sure it will be much stronger after it recovers. Now that its armor broke, it's time to make him a stronger and better set of dragon armor. Forging Hall the last time I came to this place, I was probably seven or eight years old. The inscription. This kid, you still remember the inscription. Dad, you're here. Since you suggested such a reckless bet, we've got to give it our all. Just to make sure you actually win the fight. The inscriptions are the Zhu clan's secret. Even if it's just an ordinary item made out of bronze metal, it will also show unparalleled powers after being inscribed by members of the Zhu clan. Are you making dragon armor for my dragon? Yeah. I knew about your dragon's armor getting completely destroyed after the fight and the competition. I came here to make a new set of armor for my dragon too. I didn't think you would make it for me. Hee hee, aren't you grateful, Brett? Oh, since we're both here, I have something I want to ask you about. It's about forging? Yes. Thank the gods, thank the heavens, thank all of my ancestors. My son is finally showing interest in the family craft. He's finally following the family traditions. Son, ask all you want. In terms of forging, there's nothing I don't know. How do the inscriptions work? You can think of the inscriptions as the tool's soul. After acquiring a soul, a tool's power will be incomparable to something made of regular metals. Using dragons as an example, a dragon's strength is dependent on their skills. A dragon without skills is no different to a snake. What kind of tool has a soul, and what kind doesn't? Like all living beings in the world, tools can also cultivate, in a sense. If a sword has killed tens of thousands of enemies, and has been stained in blood many times, it will have something of a cultivation base, and will possess blood like inscriptive glow. 
A piece of armor will also obtain a soul after taking countless hits and will also possess inscriptive glow. Can inscriptions be sealed or go into hibernation? In nature, not all tool souls are active. They have to react to the environment, the thing they're against, and their user. That's how you maximize their potential. If all the souls on the Sword Aura Dragon release inscriptive glow, the power of my Sword Aura Dragon will far surpass the sword skills I had, right? What you saw just now was an inscription fragment. I repaired them, combined them, and made a battle inscription and marked it on this chest plate. MHM. That black dragon of yours, it isn't that high ranked, so the best material I could use were volcano crystals. Anything better, and it will be too overwhelming for it, and suppress it instead. Okay. This is already much better than the silver green armor I sloppily made. If the battle inscription gets awakened, this volcano armor could easily withstand an attack from a lower stage dragon lord. Your black dragon might even be able to go up against some upper stage dragon lords. That much of overpower? Of course. Why else do you think the Zhu clan is the leading clan in the six great clans? It's a shame that you never picked up the Zhu clan's forging craft. Right now, one inscription is the limit for this volcano armor. I'll also get someone to fix a conductive needle onto the armor so that the electric power that your black dragon can release gets an exponential increase. Hee <laughs> hee, it wasn't such a bad thing that I became a dragon master. I can utilize the Zhu clan's advantages and beat up all the people going up against us. Don't you have a slippery tongue? Say that after you actually have the ability to do that. Sigh. It's a shame that your mom left. She won't be able to see the look of you dominating the lands. Mom. My mom. Sword Maiden Mountain Small Mountain Sword Sect. Zhu Ming Lang. You know that my sect doesn't allow the entry of males. Why are you trying to break in? I want to see my mother. Give up on it. You're the first one to live through after experiencing so many of my sword techniques. For the sake of the sect, I'll spare your life. Leave now. Don't worry. When the Zhu clan gets stronger, I'll gather the forces and break through the small sword sect and destroy it. I'll bring her back even if it means I have to do it by force. I see. So this is the biggest reason why you're flourishing the Zhu clan. Of course. My wife left just like that. If I don't try to take her back, am I still a man? Good luck with that, dad. After you unite all the forces in Jitting, I'll become a prince. Cough, that's also what I said to your grandpa back then. Sword Forging Hall. Roar, huh? What's wrong, Sword Aura Dragon? Zhu Tianguan's room sigh, I'm getting old. My shoulders are aching after making that dragon armor for the kid. Tian Tianguan. Zhu Clan Elder Zhu Qianjie. Ha ha. Ah, it's hot. Erm, I just made that tea. What's with the panic? Ha, huh, I took a trip to the sword forging hall, and I thought there was a thief. I only found out afterwards that it was Zhu Minglang going in and taking everything. Ah, Elder, Zhu Minglang finally changed his mind and started taking forging seriously. What's the problem with him taking some rare materials? There's no need to get so worked up about that. Some materials? Did he take a lot? That's fine too, since Zhu Minglang is trying to fight for the Zhu clan in the inter-clan competition. Tingguan, I think it's best if you go take a look yourself. Erm, um, fine. I'll go. The heck? This kid took all the swords? Ahem, Elder, are any of these swords urgently needed? Well, they're not. There are a few swords that just recently got ordered though. Then it should be fine. I'll have to trouble the others to rush for the work a bit. Just recently, a sub-clan gave us quite a lot of good things. Elder, you can pick something from there if you want to. That do fine. Someone, get this door changed. This kid, if you don't bring home some results from the inter-clan competition, I'll kill you. All those swords, those were valuable. Haya will probably spirit get much stronger after recovering. Baichi will realm also get stronger as it grows. The sword aura dragon also got much stronger after swallowing so many swords at once. You're the only one left then. This hundred year essence and five hundred year elemental essence will help with your transformation. That's great, its growth speed increased by 20 times. Unexpectedly, my soul power also increased. Zhu Minglang, how was it? Mr. Koi, why did you come here? 
You gave the hundred year essence and the elemental essence to that green dragon, right? Is it in the adult stage? Summon it and see. Cuff. Zhu Minglang, were you trying to kill me? I thought you were quite smart. Why are you so stupid all of a sudden? If I didn't dodge faster, I would have died. An earthquake. You are G, this is the Qingzhua. Yeah. I was reckless and destroyed the house when I summoned it. Oh, so it wasn't an earthquake. That scared me, I was in the middle of a shower. Whoa, Qingzhua, you became more beautiful and more intimidating. Hmm, it already became a wood-type dragon. That's great, since the divine wood bloodline is stronger than the forest dragon bloodline. A dragon's typing can be changed? Yeah, the main bloodline and the secondary bloodline can be switched during the growth process. This is related to the bloodlines of the dragon itself. The dragon master can also give it different items to change it. Does that mean Qingzhu has changed its type with the help of the hundred year essence and the water and wood elemental essences? Yes. If you gave it some meat and dragon soul pearls, dragon hearts, or anything similar, then it would be closer to a forest dragon. Divine wood holy dragon wood dragon forest dragon, but since the way you took care of it was closer to the divine wood dragon since the start, it showed more divine wood dragon characteristics as it matured. I never knew that the main bloodline and the secondary bloodline of a dragon could be switched. Then how should we take care of Qingzhua after this? It's not like we'll have to water it and fertilize it, right? You'll need to feed it a lot of elemental essence. The Phoebe tree juice you were feeding it wouldn't make a difference anymore. It's best to have holy wood fruits or tree essence, that way there's still a chance for Qingzhua to rise to the dragon monarch level. Wood elemental essence as normal food? Seems like all dragons use up a ton of money. Did you hear that? Qingzhua will need wood elemental essences, hand me the money so I can buy it. Um, hey, uh, ah, pervert. No one can stand this. You idiot, come back. Why are you frozen there? Dear spectators, welcome to the Bronze Arena. Today will be the last round of this game of the Inter-Clan competition. Who will be standing after this? Let us watch. Enough talk, let the third round of the second game of the Inter-Clan competition begin. Senior, good luck. You need to take revenge for me. Don't worry, I'll teach that kid a lesson. Huh? This is the trapping formation of the Chi sect? Goo fade you in Chi sect. Erm, you guys go on. Just go on. I thought each clan was only able to send three of their members. Did so many forces team up to get Zhu Minglang to lose? Seems like this kid has made quite a lot of enemies. Maybe I shouldn't focus on that kid. Since you guys are targeting me, I won't go easy on you either. Qingzhua, come out. Crap, that's a divine wood green holy dragon, and it's at least an upper stage dragon lord. Thankfully we got Gu Feijuan from the Qi sect to set a trap early on. Or else, Zhu Minglang could easily get into the third round. Humph. I'm interested to see how he breaks through the killing formation of the Qi clan. Attack now, we can't let this drag on. Hey, are you an idiot? My dragon's a fire type. I'll burn your dragon to ashes. What? This wood dragon isn't afraid of fire? Ah. No wonder Mr. Koi asked me to get water elemental essence to go with the hundred year essence. On one hand, it helps the dragon absorb the hundred year essence, on the other, it also defends the dragon against fire attacks. Its defense is much better now. Ah. Roar, roar, I'm just passing by. Roar, help. Holy, did it create a whole forest? It's a shame that our view is blocked by the leaves. We can't see the situation below the trees at all. Ah, uh, crap. Help. Qingzhua. Thanks, you're welcome. Damn it. Come down and face us head on, you coward. Trying to get girls even at the time like this? 
What a disappointment. Gu Yi, vice head of the Qi sect. Brother Gu, for a long time now, I, Zhu Tianguan, thought that my clan had a decent relationship with your sect, who knew something like this would happen. The actions of your son today ruined your many years of work building up a relationship with us. Mr. Zhu, this is unrelated to me. My son Gu Feijuan probably met a lot of corrupt people in the city and influenced him to do these things. He wouldn't do this normally even if you gave him money. Oh, I know that your son is under influence all right. It's the young royals clan, right? The one lead by useless wastes of food like Zhao Eleven and Zhao Inga. Useless wastes of food? Zhu Tianguan, can't you see that I'm sitting right here? Miss Zhao Qing, your son is a useless waste of food no matter if you're here or not. There's no point in any more pointless debate, is there? You. You, Miss Zhao, calm down. Wake up. Zhu Tianguan, you dare to humiliate the royal family right here, what is your intentions? Of course, there's still respectable people in the royal family, but... God damn it, Miss Zhao, you're awake. You scared me. There's also useless wastes of food. And whores. Who the hell are you calling a whore, you? Miss Zhao, Miss Zhao. You passed out again. As you wish, I'll come. Ha ha ha, I thought you were skilled. You came down just like that? Take this. Careful. Attacking me when you're not paying attention to your back? Are you blind? Shit. Let go. Whoa. Qingzhou improved so much. It's able to attack in midair, while controlling the trees down here, and even trapping someone. Are you from the Qi sect? Yeah. Ambushing me with a dragon's power? You coward, if you're that powerful, let me go and fight me yourself. That's hilarious. I'm a dragon master, you want me to rush up to you and fight you myself? All of you from the Young Royals clan, do you even have brains? Who's with the Young Royal clans? I just hate the selfish piece of shits like you the most. This is the inter-clan competition, where life and death is all up to fate. Just because someone killed your brother, you can't just do whatever you want at the spiritual hall. You're disrespecting the royal family. Alright, seems like you got used. With that brain of yours, you should leave the Qi sect. Or else, you would drag the intelligence of all of Qi sect down. You. Got used my ass. I'll have you know, I am a genius born in 100 years of the Qi sect. Ha <laughs> ha, die. Feathered blade tornado. Ah. Crap, that's the signs of spiritual chaos. I didn't think Zhu Minglang would be this powerful. I have to run from this damn forest. Ah, help. Amazing. This divine wood green holy dragon is absolutely dominating. Why the hell is this guy so difficult even after losing his sword fighting foundations? What, can't stand a loss? My brother's death can't be avenged by just a small fry. You bastard, if I find any sort of involvement you may have with my brother's death, I won't hesitate to break that fake limb of yours. Fake limb? Zhu Minglang. That's news, I didn't know that he was using a fake limb. Wasn't Zhu Minglang a sword genius in the royal clan? I heard that he stopped being a disciple right after leaving the mountain. Right. Wasn't there a lord rank dragon master that went to teach Zhu Minglang a lesson for their disciple, but got one of their dragons killed and retreated? At that time, Zhu Minglang was still 16. After that, he cut the limbs of the royal kid off and got chased away from the royal clan. Seems like it was true. Zhu Minglang, your sword foundations are gone now. Watch your steps. So, are you unrelated to the death of my brother Zhu Tong? The death of Zhu Tong was an accident that happened in the inter-clan competition. Are you bastards prepared to mess with everyone in the world just because of one death in your clan? Bastard. Zhu Minglang. That's enough. You'll taste the consequences of killing. Zhao Inga, you should treasure the time you have left. Jitting Royal Palace since the Zhu clan proposed the bet, let's have the third round happen at Jiguan City. All participating clans can take a portion of their resources and put them in the middle of the city for all participants to fight for. That's a great idea, Holy Emperor. Rue Kingdom Attack Force, you said that Rue Kingdom has been attacking the Lichuan continent, how's the situation? There's a kingdom at the east of the lands ruled by a strong demigod called Li Yunzi. Rue Kingdom attack force she's good at commanding and has an army of 300,000 troops. Not even the Rue Kingdom can. You could surround them and get them to surrender. Yeah. 
Fight them head on or try to get them to surrender, it doesn't matter to us. We just want their resources. That's right. If the Rue Kingdom really manages to take Lichuan, then at least 80 to 90% of the ruling rights of Lichuan goes to them. By then, what's the point of the inter-clan competition? Exactly. Since the Rue Kingdom is already participating in the inter-clan competition, if they manage to win and obtain ruling rights, it's not much different to them taking Lichuan. I think getting them to surrender is also possible. Rue Kingdom attack force, I'll give you a month's time to get ruling rights. If you can't do it by then, focus on their rulers. Yes. Ha, Zhu clan, I went with your ideas. The Qi sect is up to you guys after this. Eh? Haya, your wounds recovered so quickly? Young master, you're back. How did my Haya recover so quickly? Did you apply the medicine like how I asked you to? Young miss asked me to rest, so I took a nap. When I woke up, I realized that all its wounds had already recovered. Young miss? Who? That's the one with the mask. Everyone says you guys are an item. Did you lose your memories? What are you, Mr. Koi? What nonsense? She's just a demigod in my team, not some young miss. Oh, okay. Young master, this watermelon is really sweet. You want a slice? I'll just ask Haya after waking him up. Haya, wake up. Roar? Who's calling me? Haya, where did all your wounds go? Roar? Roar. They recovered? Yay! Haya, get back here. I let you come out for air, and you take my whole house down? Sigh, every single time. Qingzhuo already broke one down just the other day, and now Haya broke my bedroom wall. Seems like I'll have to get another bigger house to live in. Thank you for helping Haya in recovering his wounds, Miss Lingsha. I didn't think you'd have a healing dragon, those are rare. How did you know that I have dragons? I'm a dragon master myself. I could sense something in your breathing. Erm, the third round of the competition is in a couple of days, and it's at the highly risky Jiguan City. If I'm able to learn more about Miss Lingxiao's power, I think it will increase our chances of winning. Learn more? Erm, I didn't mean it like that, don't misunderstand. What misunderstanding? Nothing. Nothing. Actually, I was looking for you because I wanted to tell you about something. The Emperor gave the orders that if Rue Kingdom is unable to get ruling rights for the ancestral dragon city-state in a month, then they'll allow the four states of Lichuan to form a new kingdom and become a part of Jiting. A month, is it? I'm sure Yunzi can defend against the attacks of Rue Kingdom. Lichuan Continent Battlefield. Ancestral Dragon Army General's Tent. All right, we're done applying the medicine. Remember to rest up. Don't go back to the battlefield to prevent the wound from getting worse. How could I not go to the battlefield in a war? This is bad. The Jitting Continent's army is attacking. Prepare for battle. Sai, just command the team at base. Don't rush in the battle yourself. Kill. Kill. Protect our lands. Protect our lands. Protect our lands. Metal Rush. Li Yunzi. I respect you as a warrior, but you're hurt now. Stop fighting. The Rue Kingdom will take Lichuan in a month, you should just give up now. My ass. You brought this upon yourself. I'll take your life today. Bastard, what's going on? General. Our food storage got blown up. Food storage. After hiding in the Rue army for so long, I finally found the chance to blow up their food. Wu Tu came to help the queen. Break through the formations and kill the enemies. Go! Lingxiao City is here to assist. Kill. General, this is bad. The enemies suddenly got two more teams of soldiers and flanked us from the sides. Shit. Retreat, retreat. Kill. Finally, backup. Queen. Welcome everyone to Jiguan City. Jiguan City. Let us welcome our participants with a round of applause. Half of the resources that had been provided by all the clans are here in Jiguan City right now. The participating disciples will look for these resources on their own. As long as they burn and take the bamboo torch, then hand it over to the judge, will obtain the resources assigned to the torch. There are so many strong and aggressive ancient dragons within Jiguan City. I hope all participants will be able to avoid these dragons and prevent an accident from happening. Are you still worried about Lichuan? Don't worry. 
The Zhu clan investigation team already confirmed that Yunzi was able to defend against the advances of the Rui kingdom. Even though she passed out from fatigue after the battle, she woke up shortly after. We believe that she'll launch a counterattack soon. All right. No, I'll get the ruling rights to Li Chuan in this competition, no matter what. Sounds like a fight broke out there. Let's take a look. We found it first. How could you snatch it away like that? How childish. This is a competition. It's not about who's first, it's about who gets to keep it in the end. There should be resources provided by some clan inside that box. Baichi, bring it here. The Rain City's owning rights? Damn, I got a city, just like that. Crap. He took the box, and there's a city's owning rights in there. This should be able to exchange for some good resources, I'll take it. As if I'd let you. We of the Luan clan hate people like you the most. You better give that to me right now, or else we'll beat you to a pulp. Looking at her attire, she seems like someone from one of the four great sects of Jitting. That's right. I've learned many things from an elder of their sect. Their indestructible golden body technique is not something to scoff at, it keeps them protected from average sharp weapons. But my ass. How could someone like you learn from an elder of my sect? Who do you think you are? Exactly. At least plan things out before you lie. Crap, I think that's Zhu Minglang. He's not someone we can fight, let's go. Hand the box over. Hey, how's that? He's just some soft boy, not manly at all. A couple of threats and he hands the box right over. Is she an idiot? Bastard. Hand the contract over. What? The box is empty? This kid. He dares to give me an empty box? Make way. You wanted the box, so I just gave it to you. Die. Holy. How aggressive. Ah. Don't ask for it if you can get tough with the lunar. Well done. Ah. I'm going to fight you. Ah. Don't you remember? Your sister is no match for me, and you're still trying to make a fool of yourself. It will take two hours for the ice. To melt, and it is a matter of luck to whether you will be attacked by a wild dragon beast or another force. Good luck to you. Sir. Miss. Qin Yang, why are you here too? There are three places for each power, and there is no reason for our gate of Zhu to look at one empty moreover, my subordinates have ascertained that those from the Imperial Young Gang have already assembled to prepare for dealing with the Duke. Where are they now? Their goal was the deed to the Valley of the Young Dragons. This Oregon City will change the layout of the gentry, and the lady please follow me. Damn it, what kind of idea did someone have to hide the box? Without June level strength, no one will be able to get their hands on this box these Banyan bees are too dangerous. I do have an idea what's the idea. Tell us. We can lure Zhu Minglang here and then find a way to awaken the Banyan bees. These hundreds of thousands of Banyan bees can definitely take Zhu Minglang's life. Good idea, but we have to let other forces or casual practitioners do this so we can read the benefits. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, let's do it. This is not the place to do it. And they should be waiting for help. It's easy. Go. Shit. What the fuck is that? What are you waiting for? Run. Who's the bastard that screwed us? Hi. I'll go after Ho Sil Chung. You guys stay here and wait and see what happens. Find a chance to get the box from the tree. Clout your excellency, beware. Oh my god. Stop chasing me. Mud, go there and hide for a while. Damn, if I find out who caught the banyan's nest, I'll make sure he's broken into pieces. You. Why are you here? This is a nice place. If you miss you, you can come to this shrine to pay your respects. Zhu Minglang, don't be so naive. Your Zhu clan only has a few points of power in the imperial capital. Don't think that I, Hao Shao Tsong, am really afraid of you. Will you let me do it, or will her finish it himself? Damn it! You made me do this! Pearl Dragon of the Goat. Haha. <laughs> this sheep devil purple dragon of mine is of the upper lord class. 
What can you Zhu Minglang do to compete with me? Without your sword training, you are a waste. Ah. Eh. This damn soul is anti. Impossible. Isn't your sword training ruined? Even if I am ruined, killing a villain like you is as easy as pie. Don't kill me. I. I'm just a hitman. It was Zhao Ying'e who suggested that whoever kills Zhu Tong will get the soul pearl. I have no axe to grind with Zhu Tong, and the people who want him dead are Zhao Eleven and Zhao Ying'e. When you killed Zhu Tong, you should have been aware that you would be re-preferred, don't you think? Zhu Minglang, I can tell you a secret and you spare my life. Hands and feet, you can cut off my other hands and feet, I deserve it, but by all means leave me alive. Let's hear it first the heavenly continent of the Ion River, with its seated instruments of power, is also in this organ city. Where is the book of authority for the land of the river? Tell me, and I'll cut off only your arms and legs. At the tomb of the nine armies. The valuable spiritual resources of the various heavenly powers are also located near this tomb of the nine armies. Well, the most important thing in being a human being is honesty. Promising to cut off your limbs, never your fifth good luck. Help! Good luck mingle you come back. Help me. No, no. Ah. Zhu Minglang, you bastard. I won't let you go even if I'm a ghost. Lord Haoyong, your son has been killed by the Banyan Bee Demon Demon, please knuckle down. Ah. My a few. Er died so badly. It must have been that Zhu Minglang. He must be the one who killed you. I'll kill him. To avenge your death. Great people of the hordes, the great contest of power, life and death. If you were not prepared for this, you should not have allowed your son to come here. The most revered of the Purple Forest Sex Guardians. Regent, Protector, you must do something for my few. I'm sure I can help you with this revenge. I will now send an order to the disciples of the Purple Zongling to definitely destroy Zhu Minglang when they see him. Hmm? The show is about to begin. Is this the Beacon Bamboo Tube? That's right, the competition is divided into five grades of white, yellow, blue, purple and red by the level of nobility of the box, and it looks like someone has got the purple box. Is it second only to the red treasure? Let's go and see. Gone with the wind in the machine city. Yun Zhang Yi, hurry up and hand over your brocade box before the referee comes. That's right, you're no match for so many of us, give up your resistance. The prince should know him well. The Yao Shan sword sect? This person is much stronger than Zi Miao Zhu. Average, the man is all ego and boredom. Yun Zhang Yi, great disciple of the Yao Shan sword sect. With you? Damn, let's get together and kill him. Damn, he's too fast to hit him. Cough. The rabble. Wow. That's awesome. Worthy of being a great disciple of the Yaoshan sword sect. Give me your brocade box. Wait a minute. Do I have to solve all the threats around me before this object is mine? No one can fight again within 100 meters. But there's still a threat within 100 meters of me. Little uncle don't come without sorrow. It's okay. This mine is worth a lot of money, little uncle should also want to come and fight for it, but because of the relationship between Zhu sect and Yao Mountain Sword sect, it is not good to make a move. In fact, I'd love to give it to you, but I don't know if you have that in you right now. Are you looking for trouble? I dare not. Not long ago, I heard from someone from the sword sect that you had returned to the mountain and, like a scrap collector, had taken away all the abandoned swords from the abandoned sword forest. If you want the deed to the mine, you can take it. Yun Zhang Yi, if you don't want to help the duke win, just go away and point your sword at him. I did not move my sword. If he had wanted to take it, he could have simply reached out, so how could I have thrust the tip of my sword at an unarmed man? You think you're good again after all these years of not dealing with you, don't you, Yun Zhang Yi? Divine mortal, leave it to me. Not long ago, I was taught the swordplay of your Yaoshan sword sect. It seems to be quite generic. Seems pretty average? Ting. Don't think that if you win against Zi Miao Zhu, you can outweat all the disciples of the Yaoshan sword sect. Pretending to be a god. Flick you all. What? It's not even an illusion. Phew ha ha. I've heard of flying on a sword, but I've never seen a sword stepping on mud before. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. This. Damn you. How dare you trick me, take your life. Hey. 
After all these years, it's still just fancy stuff. Hmph, trying to use our Yashan Sword Sex 8 Trig Rams platform against me is really out of your depth. Yun Jiangi, Yun Jiangi, when will you put away your brain rich ego? She can even draw the 8 stone platform of the Yashan Sword, sect, what secret art formation is there that she can't draw? Luxury goods. No. This can't be. How do you know the sword damage formation of our Yashan Sword Sect? Ah. Ahem. Is this the power of the sword damage formation? I am a great disciple of the Yaoshan Sword Sect, and I can be defeated by a mere painter. I only drew four swords in the sword damage formation, and three came out, however, you have already lost. I. I concede defeat. Uncle, I have brought disgrace to the Yaoshan Sword Sect. Oh. All right. Wu Fong, Yaoshan Sword Sect. Everyone in the Imperial Capital knows that Zhu Minglang is the face of our Yaoshan Sword Sect. Purple, red? It was the area where Zhu Minglang was, and that guy had, in his hands, a top quality brocade box. Good luck with Mingle. You will now give me the purple and red boxes, and only after you have disposed of all the threats around you will the boxes belong to you. I do not have the red brocade box. If not, why light the beacon? Because ah. Uh, because they have it on them. This Zhu Minglang, is he trying to use the red beacon to lure everyone in and kill them all in one go? Ladies and gentlemen, I wish Ming Long to have all the brocade boxes on you. What's going on? We're the ones who robbed, how come we're being robbed instead? This Zhu Minglang, is he so crazy? Nima. There's only three of you, who are you to rob us? Bacchus, Blacktooth, and Kingswio, finish them off. My god. What is this? Wow. All rounded up, I'm afraid no one can escape this time. Damn it. How dare you surround us all? Do you really think we're all just a bunch of dicks? Shit. That's so needy. Ting, arrogant people, see if I don't snatch all your brocade boxes. Taste the power of my lightning charm. Oh. Haha. Ha. A mere general grade dragon dares to strut its stuff in front of our Fu clan. Ah. Ah. Attack him together. Whoa, it's a light wolf dragon. It's an upper stage dragon lord too. This is great, he's dead meat. Bastard, bow down. I won't let you hurt the young master. Oh, woo. Ah. The strength of a peak dragon lord, how is that possible? It's a dragon with three types of bloodlines. Damn it, we were doomed from the start. Run, what are you waiting for? Ah. Ah. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Holy shit. Jiguan City Pavilion. This Zhu Minglang, he's so young, but he's already so cunning. What terrible conduct. Lighting the beacon without a carrying the opponent's strength, yet strong enough to fight them off while making good strategy, and he gets called cunning instead, I think the Purple Forest sect is just too weak and unable to take the loss. Master look, Zhu Minglang lighted another red beacon. Great, ha ha ha. This kid will be able to rob another batch of people. He has courage and strength. He is same as me when I was young. URG, how have I never heard that Master was as crazy as Zhu Minglang? Damn it, what are those idiots rushing there for? Stop, it's a trap. We're doomed, they finally got their hands on a box, it's gonna get swept away by the kid from the Zhu clan. What are the other genius disciples doing? Why aren't they stopping this monster, Zhu Minglang? He he he, I'm rich. It's just a shame that there's not a lot of valuable boxes left, or else I'd keep mass robbing like this. I can hand the boxes to you now, right? Yeah. All right, we can head to the Nine Army Cemetery now. Most of the people still in Jiguan City right now are above the Upper Lord rank. When we get to the Nine Army Cemetery, you'll have to be careful. Do you know what's special about the Nine Army Cemetery? Huashang Jun the heck? 
How am I supposed to carry so many of these? I'll have to summon a storage dragon. Huo Shangjuan is a top disciple of the Purple Forest sect. I heard that his Purple Cloud Dragon and his Golden Dragon are both dragon monarchs. Monarchs, huh? That's as good as when I add my sword foundation. The peak of the Nine Army Cemetery. Help! Zhao Chen. Zhao Wu. Su Mao. Du Jiu. This general statue attacks the people that took its box. Be careful, everyone. Come on, help me. Don't be so cold-blooded. Humph. He can't even fight against a stone statue, and he's here to snatch boxes? Small mountain sect Wen Mingru. Whoever helps me, I'll give my purple box to them. White Dragon Palace's Elder Fu Shumei. The strength of these statues are at least monarch rank. This will be tricky. Look over there. Guys. All the boxes here at the Nine Army Cemetery will belong to me, Zhu Ming Lang. What? All those currently in my sight. I suggest you all, run. Most of the monsters and people in the Nine Army Cemetery are upper stage lords. What sort of nonsense is Zhu Minglang spouting? Nah, Zhu Minglang will not spout nonsense if he is not sure of his capabilities. Really? I think he is just a self-centered person and likes boasting. So this is your so-called wisdom and courage. Frankly speaking, he is courting death haha. The fight is still ongoing, we'll sure give you a slap in the face later. I thought it was somebody else, but it turned out to be you, Zhu Minglang. Rumor said you are so full of yourself and arrogant, seems it is true, and you are indeed a clown. Humph, arrogant kid, let me Su Mao teach you a lesson. Peak Dragon Lord Violet Fire Azure Dragon. Bai Chi, Ice Age Him. It is bad. It seems Violet Fire Azure Dragon is not an opponent of White Ice Morning Dragon. Poisonous Crow, kill Zhu Minglang right now. Heh <laughs> heh. Puppet. Zhu Minglang, these years every day I was only thinking of how to personally slaughter you. Finally, the opportunity comes today. So it is you ha, Zhao Yaij. You hide yourself pretty well. You should have spent quite an effort to build this puppet. I wonder how many things it will help you to do. For example, having sex ha ha ha. The problem is, if you really do have a child, does it belong to you or the puppet lol? Just shut up and die, dumbass. You never learned even after getting your hands and legs chopped, maybe I should just chop them off again. Baichi, stop playing around. Destroy them. Humph, trash. Get the fuck out of here if you want to live. Lower Dragon Monarch Golden Heaven Dragon. Semi Dragon Monarch Violet Cloud Dragon. Violet Sect was Shang Jun, you single handedly challenged Violet Sect a few years ago. Such a shame that I was not there at that moment. Fortunately, I can remedy such regret. Demigod Academy Yi Guang. Sorry to say, but I have never ever met someone who is more jerk than him. Please let me beat him to a pulp first. Thank you. Amit Ba. Noble Wuxia Sect Foot Monkey Ang Hua. Ethereal Mountain Sword Sect Wen Ming Are You. Zhu Ming Lang stabbed me once. I need to take revenge personally today. Don't rush. I Zhu Ming Lang hate wasting time the most. Come together. Shit, Zhu Ming Lang does not treat others as human beings at all. So cool. I like it. Humph, let me see how capable you are. Violet Cloud Dragon, let's go. Come back, Violet Cloud Dragon. WTF? Come. Let me do it. Die. You are courting death. Fuck. Is that all you got? This dude likes to show off and I really want to beat the shit out of him. Fuck. A mere sword life form, why does it possess such tremendous power? Shit. Ah. Golden Heaven Dragon. Zhu Minglang, I won't be careless this time. Ouch.
Drink blood to sharpen the sword edge, it's about time. Let's go. Come, my sword. So this is blood inscription, just a few more blood and it will be awakened. Maybe. The blood of a sword cultivator should be the best. Humph, want my blood? Then it depends on how skilled you are. This guy is so frantic. So strong, I almost cannot hold on to my sword. Sword Dragon Sword Awaken. I am just a nobody. But my sword reaches the heavens. It's bad. Must not allow him to awaken his sword successfully. Let's charge together and stop him. Die. Actually, the sword formation is not an array. It is swordsmanship. Look closely, this is the first swordsmanship. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm out, my legs are broken. Zhu Minglang is a fucking devil. What the fuck is that sword? Why is it so powerful? Second swordsmanship. Third swordsmanship. Ah. Fourth swordsmanship. Earth sword. Crack. Master, is the sword formation really a swordsmanship? Actually, this is my first time to hear about it, and I haven't seen anyone unleash such power as strong as Zhu Minglang before. Zhu Minglang is really getting more and more difficult. Fifth Swordsmanship. Thunder Sword. Ah. Ouch. Sixth Swordsmanship. Fire Sword. Damn, why did that crappy sword suddenly become so powerful? Seventh Swordsmanship. Shoot. No, oh, ah. Just run and get the fuck out of here. Zhu Mingling is out of his mind and has become crazy. Exhale. I'm a little rusty since I abandoned swordsmanship. I can only use up to 7th swordsmanship now. But, that's enough. Guys, such swordsmanship is too strong for us to handle, I choose to leave. We too. Anyone below Monarch stage should give up and stop struggling. Any kind-hearted person give me a hand? I am stuck under the stones. Stop being a pussy. He has already used up all his energy. Beat him together. Poisonous Bone Dragon. Want to defeat me with these useless remnants? Wishful thinking. He. This is bad. This is Thousand's Kilo Charm. I'm Yi Ching Chien, the Charm Cultivator. Please enlighten me. I was too careless and fell into her trap. Ha ha ha, what a nice move, young lady. Poisonous Bone Dragon, shoot him. This is bad. Zhu Minglang. Young master. Is this all you got? Want to hurt me with these useless attacks? In your dreams. That's nice. Young master is fine. I shouldn't worry about him. Humph, let's see how long you can last. You are just an unmovable target. Lady, give my golden heaven dragon a golden armor charm if you have one. Okay. Golden Heaven Dragon, teach him a lesson. You really think some thousand kilo charm can trap me? WTF? He broke my charm. Fuck, stop him at all cost. Courting death. It's all over. Heaven Sword. Shit. Golden Armor Charm. Water Defensive Charm. Rock Solid Charm. Azure Wood Charm. Ah. Ah. Damn, why doesn't it stop? Amitba, Buddha bless me. Amitba, Buddha bless me. Ghost Dragon, we will win if we can resist this wave of attacks. Hold on. Can we win? So many people but still fail to confront a man and a sword, we lose. Zhu Minglang realm of swordsmanship is really high, the power of the heaven sword should reach medium monarch stage. Medium monarch stage? Although we classified each rank stage further in low, high, and peak, monarch stage and above is a more vast stage. It's like comparing a river with the ocean. You can use three methods to classify a river but not an ocean. 
Therefore, Monarch and above classification will have much more details and classified as semi, low, medium, high, and peak. Oh, I see. Thank you for your mercy. The swordsmanship of Yao Shan's sword sect is superb, but I won't recognize your dragon taming skill as you only rely on your sword dragon which is extremely rare in the world. Without it, you won't win. I will surpass you soon. Stand still. You can leave, but the box must stay. Guys. Hand in the boxes yourself or taste my power again. I lose. Be careful. Zhu Minglang, I am not a loser like those pitiful weaklings. You have used all your energy and were injured by me. I suggest you better hand over those boxes. Isn't it great to be alive? Zhu Minglang is on Ramapch, Amitba, and King. Planning to kill a royal family member in the full blaze of publicity is ridiculous and unacceptable. Zhu Tianguan, order your lawless son to stop immediately. Ridiculous. Don't tell me it is reasonable to arbitrarily kill the son of Zhu clan master. Everyone can see it is Zhao Qin trying to kill first as long as they have fucking eyes. Look. This is. Referee, I guess all the boxes should belong to me Zhu Minglang, right? OMG, the entire nine military tomb mountain collapsed. This man is simply too fierce. Eh, yes, yes, all the boxes belong to you as you are the champion. This is Lichuan Ancestral Dragon City State and its affiliated for City State documents. What's left is whether Yunzi can win the war or not. She won't lose. Zhu Clan Inner House. These are all yours. You are rich. He he he, thank you, Dad. You got these boxes in the competition. No way, Dad will lay traps for his son. It's not right. You said we will split the profit half and half before, but I only got 40% now. Don't you feel ashamed? You stole so many well known swords from our sword house. Don't get me started about the cost and value of these swords. Ah, uh, it's all for the competition. My sword dragon won't be so powerful and fierce without those swords. Stop quibbling. This soul contract ring will be your compensation. That's perfunctory. Kid, don't push your luck. Such a ring can increase a soul contract directly. Isn't it great to have one more dragon? That's uninteresting. We are a family. Your 50% will be mine eventually. It's acceptable and reasonable to give me more. Fuck off. I am going to give them to my daughter-in-law. Ah. Zhu Minglang House. When the swordsmanship of Zhu Minglang descends, the entire sky turns black. All the participants in the Nine Army Tomb Mountains are shit-scared. My heart almost jumped out when I was on the wall. I didn't expect Zhu Kid to be so strong now. Cough. Koi Sensei, I have grown up. It's fine that you directly address my name before, but why do you start to call me Kid again? Wow, you finally come back. I guess you have split the black money with your dad. We are gonna to be rich and able to buy food for our dragon babies. A, it is inappropriate for us to get this close. Come down. You are so handsome. I am too excited, XD. Don't you feel ashamed? You are excited due to money. And keep in mind that I get money by winning the competition instead of doing something illegal. How can you call that black money? Your awakened swordsmanship is so powerful. Show it to me. Whether the inscription awakens or not depends on the specific environment, incident, and battle. We need to know the history of these well-known ancient sword inscriptions before unsealing them. The only awakened blood inscription is dim for now. I think my sword dragon needs to eat more swords to charge the energy required for swordsmanship awakening. What? I originally thought it was so fierce, but it turned out that it can only be used once. Just fell asleep temporarily. Similar to my body, feel exhausted after swordsmanship awakening. Guess both me and the blood inscription need to rest for a while. Then it seems your body is weak, you better train hard. Sister Nan is still dowdy as a dragon and lively as a tiger after the competition. Did you prepare the food for my dragons? Ah. I'll go prepare now. You talk too much. Wait, Zhu Minglang, you need to raise White Ice Morning Dragon properly by collecting items that can strengthen it. Cultivation stage should reach Peak Dragon Lord before evolving. By doing so, Baichi can reach Medium Monarch when it has evolved to a complete stage. The only disadvantage is too much money. What items should I collect? I will ask Fang Yin Yin to collect them as we don't lack in money. Strengthening items? 
What strengthening items? No way. You forgot it right after we spoke. You said Baichi needs some strengthening items to help evolve to complete stage. Oh. I remember it now. You can bring Baichi to Dragon Cloud Kingdom to train as there are quite a number of good things. Dragon Cloud Kingdom? But almost all the quotas are on those royal family members. Then find a way. Let's go. We can go to the market and have a walk. Maybe we can find some strengthening items. Seems I need to find Qin Yang. Ask her to find a way to get those quotas. Zhu Clan Training Center. 997. 998. 999. 1000. I need to train hard. I cannot become a burden of young master. Eh, well, sorry, I forgot to knock on the door. Young master, you don't need to knock on the door. Ah, uh, well, I heard that you went out with my dad a moment ago and just came back, so I came to find you. Yup, actually I would have come to find you even if you hadn't. Your father asked you to visit the royal court with him tomorrow. Seems and king arranges for it as you killed a royal family member. However, master said don't worry as he already handled it properly. Royal court? All right. Why did you find me, young master? I want to go to the Dragon Cloud Kingdom. Can you get some quota from those royal family members? Better get two as Lady Nan will go too. Should be okay. Some people from the royal family want to buy our covenants. We can exchange with them by giving some useless covenants. Nice, thank you. Rest assured. Royal Palace. This is a good day for us to gather at the Royal Palace. Cheers. Emperor. It's bad. He is the chaplain of the Rue Kingdom. Seems something happened and turned the tables on the war. Chaplain, why are you so afraid? Emperor, I beg you. Can you recruit Li Yunzi, the ruler of Li Chuan Continent? Oh. What happened? Report truthfully. You ordered us to take over the Li Chuan Continent and we injured Li Yunzi by sneak attacks. What? Yunzi was injured. However, Li Yunzi is so cunning and sent someone to burn our barn. Then they proceeded to destroy the canyon and stop our reinforcements from entering. What's worse, Li Yunzi recovered within a few days and led her army and took over our Rui kingdom. I beg you. Please recruit Li Yunzi so that she won't massacre our citizens. It is unexpected that my daughter-in-law is so mighty. Nice. Eh. At first we decided that she would defend and we would get the governing rights of the Li Chuan continent. However, she simply took over the Rui kingdom. However, Yunzi is safe, that's great. Humph. Recruit? Li Chuan continent ruled by a fucking little girl. Are you fucking kidding me? I can destroy them easily. Humph. The Li Chuan continent belongs to us, the Zhu clan, now. Your dragon tiger sect wants to mess with us? Am I right? Then I should let Yashan sword sect to greet your sect. Ji Ting dynasty queen. Now Li Chuan is not an unknown continent. Every faction should stop intervening. Yup. Chaplain, write a recruitment edict, let Zhu clan discuss with Li Yunzi and invite her to come to the royal palace. She will be the queen of the Li Chuan continent. Yes, my lord. Well. And King reported to me that Zhu Minglang despised the royal family again and killed a royal family member? A few years ago, you chopped both hands and legs of Zhao Yaij. I exiled you for three years. Now you became worse and actually killed a royal family member. How dare you? Emperor, that's a misunderstanding. Zhao Wu and Zhao Chen Sneak attacked me first and tens of thousands of citizens living in the capital witnessed that. I attacked to defend myself. However, they are so shitty. I am so sorry that such an accident happened and they died. Emperor, what he told is facts. Zhu Minglang is guilty but sentencing him to death is exaggerated. I think you should exile him for a few more years to show your kindness and justice. All right. You performed well in this competition. I permit you to have Chinese New Year in the capital. Then leave immediately afterwards. Zhu Minglang accepts the punishment. Humph, don't be proud of yourself. I won't let go of anyone from the Zhu clan. Zhu Minglang House. Young master, there is a lady from the royal family who wants to exchange our deeds, but... But what? She wants to meet you in person and discuss the exchange requirements. Oh, specific time and location? Tonight, Chinese restaurant. Finally, we met again. Zhao Mayer. I am Zhao Mayer. I always go to Zhu clan in my childhood. Do you remember you always bullied me in the past? Zhao Mayer? Have we seen each other before? Forget it, just say yes and see how she responds. 
Ah, uh, haha, yes, I remember. Really? Then do you remember how you bullied me? Fuck, it's a trap. How the fuck am I supposed to remember it? Cough, lady, men and women should not touch each other. Please behave yourself. Humph. You break my heart. This isn't what you said when you beat my ass in the past. Lady, you are spouting nonsense. Shall we move on and talk about the deeds? Humph. I need the deed of Cloud City and three gold mining rights. Nope. Only one gold mine and two silver mines at most. All right, but you need to accept one more condition. What condition? My sisters, please come out. What WTF does it mean? Wow. Jew the legend. Wow. In real. The epic Nine Mountain Military Tomb War is well known in the capital. Such a legendary hero. My sisters want to share your luck. Luck? Are you fucking kidding me? Jew the legend. Jew the legend, I finally met you in person. I heard that you have the deed of Earth City. Can you give it to me? OMG. They want to urge me to make deals. Who can bear it? Don't forget us, Jew the legendary. Let us share your luck. Our young master Jew are. No. -o. Someone, help me. Terrible. Humph. I Zhu Mingling is a righteous person and I won't betray my wife. Entrance of the Cloud Dragon Kingdom. Although dragons inside are not hostile towards humans, but please do not provoke those noble dragons. If accidents occur, no one can help you. If you have the ability to catch dragons inside, then they'll belong to you. Of course, the treasures belong to you as long as you can get them. This is light jade and they can provide vitality. You will use up lots of vitality in the Cloud Dragon Kingdom. Remember to get out immediately if the light jade becomes dimmer and goes out of energy. Or else you will get frozen by the cloud ice no matter how high your cultivation is and become part of the snow and ice that accumulate in the Cloud Dragon Kingdom. Thank you. Cloud Dragon Kingdom. If Ancestral Dragon City State has a historical remnant that is similar to the Cloud Dragon Kingdom, then it will prosper. When I was young, I remember Grandma discussing the historical remnant. Maybe she knows something and we can ask her later. But. Here it's nice, but too cold. Please warm me up. Shit, why is my sister-in-law suddenly so enthusiastic? Well, so big and busty. Good looking? Why, yes. You. Ah. Uh, seems like Baichi discovered something nice. Coward. Leave some for them. You oh oh. Eh? You want to come out to get some fruits? Unfortunately, these cloud fruits are only suitable for Baichi to eat. However, you can find something nice that fits you. AOO. AOO. Yeah. Eat. AOO. AOO. Aha. I come la. What? Ah. Help. Hiya. Deja vu. Qingzhuo just ate spiritual wood pill yesterday and it's still absorbing it. It can't come out now. Bai Chi, go save Blacktooth. Chirp. Swoosh. Ugh. Roar. Come on. You can do it. Phew. Thank you, Bai Chi. Roar. Thank you. You are awesome. Chirp. Humph. Roar. Hee hee. Hee hee, you fat black dragon. You should lose some weight. A bluffing beast, rabbit dragon. A rabbit? Roar. It's you. It's a bluffing beast. Hee hee. It was this bunny dragon that healed my black tooth? Roar. Yes. I'm a bluffing dragon, not a bunny dragon. Stupid. Stupid human. I didn't expect to see another beast that can speak the human language besides Mr. Koi. It transformed from a bluffing beast, so it's a bluffing dragon. But it doesn't like to be called a bluffing beast or bluffing dragon. You may call its name, Little China. Why would a rabbit be called Chang'e? I think this name fits you better. Roar, I'm sorry. Knock it off. Take Blacktooth back. Bai Chi is exhausted. Oh, you are right. Blacktooth, come back. I'm sorry, Bai Chi. I'll have Blacktooth start to lose weight from tomorrow. Swoosh. White Dragon, don't be fooled by his hypocrisy. He's a bad person. He just mocked my name. Humph. Why would I mock you? You healed my black tooth. I should thank you. Stupid human, get your hand off me. 
Ju Minglang. Pervert. Master, teach him a lesson. Ah, uh, I didn't do it on purpose. Ah, uh, don't scratch my face. Eh? A bluffing beast? Mr. Koi? I didn't expect to see another bluffing beast. And it has even transformed into a dragon. OMG. Master, this fish can speak. Monster. I'm so scared. Ha ha ha, it's kinda cute. Master, it said I'm cute. Should I pretend to be unhappy to show my coldness and pride? I shouldn't have said anything. Keeping silent makes me look graceful. Eh? A bluffing beast? I didn't expect to see another bluffing beast. And it has even transformed into a dragon. It's kinda cute. Um, he'd said that just now, hadn't he? Is he senile or what? I'm not senile. I'm wise. My brain is filled with wisdom so I sometimes choose to forget some trifles. Ah, uh, I forgot it again. Keeping silent makes me look graceful. Otherwise, people will think I'm cute. I don't want to look cute. I want to look aloof. Let's go. Okay. Eh? Don't abandon us. Listening to your nonsense will make me stupid too. Hmm? What's this? It's a cloud tree. Its fruits can improve dragon's cultivation. It's hard to buy them outside, but we can pick them for free now. All the three sacred fiery dragons are at the monarch level. They'll notice us as long as we get close to them. How can we pick the fruits? Then let's distract them. By Chi, M-O-E, put on a show as I say. Chirp all right. Chirp. Red ink made by Lingsha. Swoosh. Howl. Whoosh. Swoosh. Bang. Howl hello. Howl don't be afraid. We're not bad people, no, bad dragons. Chirp. Wow, Bai Chi and M.O.E. are excellent actors. Four fruits are enough. I'll leave the rest three to them and leave here now. Swoosh. Bai Chi, M.O.E., come back. Howl. Roar liar. Roar. Ow. Bai Chi. Bai Chi, come here. Fizz fizz. Well, men are boring. You screwed up here. Don't need to worry about her. She is awesome. That fiery dragon is looking for trouble. Bang. Holy shit. Swoosh. Don't worry. I just knocked him out. Lingsha is indeed awesome. Stupid human. Why can't you distinguish between them even at this time? She can harness the ancestral dragon's descendant. She's ancestral something. Dragon's descendant? Chi Wen was the primogenitor dragon's daughter. Only Chi dragons with pure blood can be called Chi Wen. In ancient times, a woman found that the primogenitor dragon's soul could be fused with humans, so dragon tamers appeared. That woman was called Shen Ji, and only her descendants can harness Chi Wen. Nan Lingxia is Shen Ji's descendant and can harness Chi Wen. Then, maybe the relic of the Li Chuan continent is the ancestral dragon. Does that mean the Li Chuan continent also fell from a bigger world, just like barbaric land? Maybe it's even older than the Ji Ting continent. But a painter and a dragon tamer's power won't coexist in one soul, unless. Ling Xia has two souls, one of which is a painter while the other is a dragon tamer. Divine mortal painter. Chi Wen. Then what about Yunzi? Sometimes Yunzi is tough and sometimes she's tender. Does she have two souls too? A painter and a dragon tamer's power can't coexist in one soul, so you and Nan Ling Xia share one body. She's a painter, a divine mortal, while you're a dragon tamer. Am I right? Dummy, you finally realized that. Then what about Yunzi? Does she have two souls too? Yes. Li Yunzi and Nan Lingxia are twins. I'm Nan Yusua. Xinghua and I are twins, and we are several years younger than them, but something bad happened when we were little, so our souls have to separately stay in their bodies. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to remind you of your sad past. It's okay. Let me tell you another secret. It wasn't Li Yunzi who had sex with you in the dungeon. What? It wasn't Yunzi? Then was it? It was Xinghua, the other soul in her body. It Xinghua is an impossible. Astrologer and couldn't protect herself, so she was trapped in the dungeon. Even so, I'm sure it was Yunzi. I trust myself. Humph, whatever. Anyway, Li Yunzi will arrive at the capital soon. You can ask her then. Was it really Li Xinghua in the dungeon? Then how should I continue the relationship I just established with Yunzi? Was Yunzi the one who was with me after that? Or did Xinghua sometimes appear too? 
Yunzi will come to the capital soon. How should I face her then? What a mess. I shouldn't have made any assumptions. Yunzi's sister is a devil. Stop standing there. I saw a cloud well there, which is a wonderful place for cultivating. It can boost the speed of expanding our spiritual domains. A lot of dragons are fighting for that place. Roar. 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 It's not easy if we want to cultivate in there. Humph, jerk. A gentleman will give the precedence to girls. Thanks in advance, Yusua. Who told you? I'm Nan Yusua. Uh, are you Nan Lingsha? You have only one day. Hurry up. Spiritual Eye of the Cloud Sea. Whoosh. Swoosh. 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 Chirp buzz howl. Squeak. The way the spiritual eye of the cloud seed absorbs chi is good. My spiritual domain can imitate it, right? Boom. Boom. Wow. My spiritual domain has been expanded by many times. And now there's a source of spiritual chi. My spiritual domain can produce spiritual chi. Looks like Bai Chi can enter the maturation stage in several days. Besides, Qingzhua and Blacktooth's cultivating has been sped up. It won't be long before they reach the monarch level. The speed of absorbing spiritual qi has been improved by about 50 times. I guess it's time for Miss Nan to cultivate. Qi Wen, burn it. Growl howl. Miss Nan. It's my turn to guard you. We agreed to take turns every day. It's been less than a day? It's okay. I can stay here longer. If it weren't for that Nan Lingsha and I took turns to drive away the dragons, you'd have become their food. Stupid human. It's been two days. Huh, I'm sorry. Then I'll guard you for two days. A fierce 9,000-year-old demon almost hurt my chi dragon last night. Little China is good at healing, so I'll leave it to you. Rest assured. You know what I've got. Yeah. Stupid human, avenge my master. Howl. That's it. It keeps staring at me with wicked eyes. So annoying. 7,000-year-old demon, firecrest gold vulture. Whistle. Looks like it's interested in you. Vultures and eagles like to eat rabbits. Huh? Rabbits are cute. How can they eat rabbits? Ha ha ha, don't worry. I'll deal with it for you. Okay. Pluck out its feathers and make it bald. Whistle. It's coming. Shave its feathers. M-O-E, teach it a lesson. Swoosh. Clang. Shining dragon sword. I didn't expect it to be so tough. Even M-O-E can't hurt it. I'd better draw back from it and try a long distance attack. M-O-E, draw back. Swoosh. Watch for its third eye. Swoosh. Whoosh. Sword spirit, out. Boom. Swish swish. Whistle. Whoosh. Swoosh. Boom. A bald vulture. Ha ha ha. A bald vulture. Whistle. The sword spirit dragon is too powerful. Even a 7,000-year-old demon can't defeat it. I bet a 9,000-year-old one will lose to it too. It looks like these demons and dragons have been temporarily awed by MOE. Although this is not the spiritual eye of the Cloud Sea, it's filled with spiritual chi. It'll be a waste if I don't absorb it as much as possible now. Go after it. Why are you sitting here? Don't let that bald vulture go. I want to eat roasted vulture. Stop it. We can't leave here. Otherwise, Miss Nan will be in danger. Ah. You're right. I almost forgot that I need to protect my master. M.O.E. is here, so I guess the demons and dragons dare not to come over. Don't disturb me when I'm cultivating. Is Bai Chi gonna enter the maturation stage? Bad news. Bad news. Ouch. I told you not to disturb me. What happened? Look. That bald vulture is back. Quack. 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 Uh, what is it talking about? Humph. It's not convinced and called a helper here. It wants us to kneel and apologize. Humph. Humph. It hasn't learned its lesson. M.O.E. Go and let it know what you've got. Quack. 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 It's shouting for help. Ha ha ha. Catch it. I'll eat roasted vulture. Wait. Something is wrong. Since it's got a helper, why would it shout for help? Come back, M.O.E. Quack. Buzz. Quack. Quack. Crunch. 
Ha ha ha, what a stupid bird. It was eaten by its helper. He he. It's a 9,000 year old demon, scarlet scale python. Hiss. OMG. This is the demon that almost hurt Chi Wen last night. Kick its ass, stupid human. Don't worry. I've got this. M O E. Hiss swoosh the great sword out. Whoosh. Crack. Nine chain sword. Swish swish. Hiss. Crackle. Hiss. Hiss bang. MOE beat the Firecrest Gold Vulture easily just now, but this python is still intact. I didn't expect a 9,000 year old demon to be so much more powerful than a 7,000 year old one. Buzz. Swallow. Buzz. Oh no. MOE informed me that this python has an infinite stomach, MOE can't get out by breaking its stomach from inside. Looks like I have to destroy it from outside. How come it swallowed your sword? Looks like we have to ask your master for help. Hmm. Suff. Whoosh. Eh? Bai Chi, advanced? Bai Chi. Chirp recounting on you. Whoosh. Howl run. Icy frost. Bang. Howl crack. I thought Bai Chi would sleep for half a month. But unexpectedly, it advanced so soon. Boom boom. Good. This python can test Bai Chi's power. Swoosh. Swish. Chirp. Hey. It wants to suck Bai Chi in. Bai Chi, eject icy dust. Crack. MOE, it's time. Buzz. Catch it. Don't let it run away. Chirp swoosh. Whoosh. No need to pursue it. Anyway, we've got the scale, the most precious thing it has. It's more important for us to protect the spiritual eye of the Cloud Sea. It seems that Bai Chi has reached the Middle Monarch level. Plus MOE, I now have two dragon pets at the Middle Monarch level. You're awesome, White Dragon. However, MOE can only exert its strength of the Middle Monarch level after it awakens. I've got to practice more with it to have a tacit understanding. Well, we shall start with flying on the sword. Ah. Couldn't you be slower when you flew up? My waist hurts. Do it again. That's right. This way, good. Keep it up. Two days later. Miss Nan seems to be done. Miss Nan seems to be done. MOE, let's go down there. Ah. Calm down, MOE. Don't rush down there so abruptly. The lamp jade has almost used up. We've got to leave the Cloud Dragon Kingdom soon. Ah. Arg. Ouch. Ugh. You little. Oh. That's so embarrassing. You pervert. Arg. It feels so good. Finally, I can take a break. Ah. I'm bathing. How could you break in without knocking at the door? Humph, you bastard, did you think I was a girl? Um, I just came back from the Cloud Dragon Kingdom. I intend to go visit you after the bath. I'm here to tell you a piece of news. Cut it out. Splash. What is it? Is it good or bad? The Lichuan continent was made a country, and now it's called the Lichuan Kingdom. Really? Then Yunzi must have become the queen. Where is she now? Well, Li Yunzi didn't choose to become the queen. Instead, she became the Grand Counselor. A general surnamed Cheng became the king. Do you still remember me? I was General Cheng and now the king of the Lichuan Kingdom. General Cheng? That sounds good. Rumor has it that he used to be a reliable trusted subordinate of Yunzi's. Moreover, to some extent, the Grand Counselor is more influential than the king. Yunzi can also take a back seat. She made a good choice. Hmm? What's wrong, Dad? Ha ha ha, nothing. That's my son. You're strong. Clap. Oh god. My image was damaged. In the lake in the inner court of the Zhu clan. Everything has finally been settled. It's a shame that Yunzi didn't come to the coronation. It looks like I have to go back to the Lichuan continent. Crash. So it's you, Miss Nan. 
Are you here for fun, too? Is something bothering you? No. Yunzi didn't come to the coronation, so we don't have to stay until the spring festival. Why don't we go back to the Lichuan continent in a few days? I want to travel around. I won't go back for now. Huh? Then we might be apart. Please take care when you're all by yourself in the Jiting continent. Where do you want to go, by the way? Would you like me to recommend some places to you? Go ahead. You can go to the Shiwa Kingdom where there are countless snow dancing butterflies. Or you can go to Mang City which is a frontier city in Nihai. Hmm? What's, what's going on? The souls of the two of them are sharing one body, aren't they? Why are there two bodies? It seems she has told you everything. Something is off. The person standing beside me is. Yunzi? I am. Damn it. I didn't recognize my wife. Why didn't she tell me that I had mistaken her for someone else? Was she giving me a test? Thankfully, I didn't cross the line. I just narrowly escaped something that was more astonishing than fighting a group of people alone. What's up? You didn't want me to come? Ahem. Of course, I did. I was just too excited. I'll have a word with Lingxia. I'll talk to you later. Oh no. The two ladies are having a fight. Go have a look. Yunzi and Lingxia are arguing about something. It feels as if they're in conflict. Were you eavesdropping? Huh? No, I was just passing by. I have something else to do. I've got to go. Yunzi and Nan Lingxia are in conflict? But what happened before didn't, could it be that, it was Xinghua? Perhaps Nan Lingxia only has conflicts with Yunzi, but she's on good terms with Xinghua. Stop right there. I have something to say to you. What is it? No wonder I found Lingxia blow hot and cold and I felt it was strange. So it's because there are two souls in her body. That's right. You said that Yunzi was having a fight with Miss Nan. Oh, it might not be Lingxia. I've got to check it out. Ouch. Bump. Are you Yunzi? Yep. Oh, I'll leave you two alone. Why do you look so gloomy? Did you have a fight with Miss Nan? No, that's how we usually get along. I'm used to it. Anyway, I want you to do me a favor. Do you a favor? What can I do? You must have known that Xinghua and I are sharing one body, so I can't always take up the body. Xinghua has no ability to protect herself. That's why she was plotted in Eternal City. So it's true that it wasn't Yunzi who slept with me that night? Stop thinking about it, Zhu Minglang. You just need to remember that it was Yunzi who stayed with you when you were in the Silkworm Breeding House, on your way back to Ancestral Dragon City, and on your way to Rongue City, it's Yunzi who is with you ever and forever. What are you thinking? Nothing. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret from others. Okay. I believe in you. Your hand feels so cold and your breath is so weak, but I heard you had already recovered from your injury. Isn't that true? I'm fine. What's wrong, Yunzi? Wake up. It's soul trauma. It's incurable and she won't live long. What exactly happened to her? She used some power she shouldn't have used. It's the price of soul burning and sacrificing. So you guys really are descendants of Shinji? Soul burning and sacrificing? Yes. It's a secret technique we inherited from our mother. We can burn our soul and sacrifice it to heaven and earth to obtain divine power. Li Yunzi defeated the Rue Kingdom by using that technique, resulting in soul damage. Then, she managed to come and see you in such pain. How could it be? I should have stayed in the Lichuan continent with her to fight against the Rue Kingdom. Don't blame yourself for that. If you hadn't won the first place in the clan competition, some other force would have obtained ownership of the Lichuan continent. In that case, even though she defeated the Rue Kingdom, she would have suffered more. She's right. Don't worry, Zhu Minglang. There are a lot of treasures in the world. Actually, I know a way to make up for the weakness of her soul. What is it? My grandmother told us that once we use the soul burning and sacrificing technique, we must find the ancient divine lamp jade to make up for the loss of our souls. Otherwise, we wouldn't make it past 25. 25, there's no time to lose. I must find the jade as soon as possible. It's not as easy as you think. My mother sacrificed her life and only managed to make our souls stay in the bodies of Li Yunzi and Nan Lingxia respectively. If the ancient divine lamp jade had appeared, she might not have died. I've been to many forbidden places these years, but haven't found the jade in the Lichuan continent. You couldn't find it, of course. 
Rumor has it that the ancient Divine Lamp Jade originally belonged to the Divine Dragon sect and was in the charge of Shinji, who manipulated the Ancestral Dragon. Later, the Divine Dragon sect splintered, thus forming forces such as the Purple Forest sect, the Black Dragon Palace, the Ancient Dragon Palace, Divine Mortal Academy, and Divine Mortal Academy. The ancient Divine Lamp Jade was divided into several pieces, too, becoming the most authoritative symbol of the forces. Some countries existing for thousands of years even take the jade pieces as the imperial jade seals and make them stand for the supreme kingship. The treasures of the forces and imperial jade seals of the kingdoms? Then there must be one jade piece in the capital. But no one would give such stuff to anyone else unless they're about to face death. The imperial jade seals? The capital? What are you talking about? What happened, Zhu Minglang? Why do you seem quite unhappy? She could have lived a peaceful life like some other girls, but she had to fight on the battlefield at the cost of her soul and life. And when everything was finally settled, she doesn't have time to enjoy life or stay with me. Take good care of her. I'm gonna ask my dad about it. What? Slap. The soul of my daughter-in-law was damaged because she used a secret technique and she's going to die? Only the ancient divine lamp jade can save her. The royal family has one piece, right? Sigh they don't. You must have known that the existence of the Cloud Dragon Kingdom made the Lamp Jade something extremely rare. If they had the ancient Divine Lamp Jade, they would have long used it to trade with the Cloud Dragon Kingdom for resources. What do we do now? The other forces and kingdoms might have the Jade, right? Um, it's only described in legend after all. I have no idea either. Could it be that? My lovely daughter-in-law will really die like that? Yunzi will really die? My daughter-in-law. Oh, I got it. Minglang, go to the sword sect in Miao Mountains where your mother is. They must have the jade. Really? When I married your mother, I was allowed to enter the sect for the first time. I saw an ancient tower where there was a piece of rare lamp jade. I didn't know what it was then, but come to think of it now, it seems to be the ancient divine lamp jade. I'm going to see mom right away. Hold on. As you know, men aren't allowed to enter Miao Mountains. Moreover, you're going to take their treasure away. You must get fully prepared before you go there. What idea do you have? Well, you can ask Wui Fong to give you a visiting card. Then, you can go to the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains on behalf of the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains and take the Ancient Divine Lamp Jade away when no one is watching. You mean stealing? I don't think it's proper. What's wrong with that? Your mother is one of the commanders of the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains. You're just going to take something from your mother. It's not stealing. Um, even so, what if I'm caught? It's okay. If you're caught, just tell her that I incited you to do that. Tell her to come to me or ask me to go there to ransom you. That way, I'll have a chance to see her and things might turn around. Why do I feel you're using me to achieve your filthy goal? That's total nonsense. You're my son and it's a win-win plan. Also, my desire to see my wife isn't filthy at all. Orchid Manor, a branch of the Sword Sect in Yao Mountains The Sword Sect in Miao Mountain specializes in flying on swords while the Sword Sect in Yao Mountain specializes in fighting with swords. The most remarkable person in our sect is... Step. Huh? You're here. Is he the most remarkable person in your sect? Oh, so many people are here. I'm not worthy of being the most remarkable person. He isn't. The most remarkable person in our sect is Zhu Xuan, Zhu Minglang's master. Ahem, Fong, actually, I'm here because I want to visit the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains and learn from them. I didn't expect to see some disciples of the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains here. Now I can ask for your opinion in person. That's good. We sword cultivators shall not refuse to make progress. It's a good chance for the two sects to exchange views. Mr. Wu, we've learned a lot from what you have talked to us about the cultivation of the Sword Sect in Miao Mountains these days. If we can have in-depth communication, our cultivation will be greatly improved. I'm going to report it to the seniors in our sect. Thank you in advance. You're welcome. By rights, you're the young master of our sect. When I tried to break into the sword sect in Miao Mountains alone, I said that, too. However, I ended up getting a beating. Marshal Uncle, I want to go there, too. Well, it's not up to me. Ask Minglang about it. Marshal Uncle, take your hands off me. I'm not buying it. Shit. Shouldn't you be aloof? You changed so abruptly. Please take me with you. Fine. I'll take you with me. Let go of me. Phone, where are you going? Swish. I'm going to pack up my belongings. The sword sect in Miao Mountains is full of beauties. 
I'm a him, I mean, the sword sect in Yao Mountains is full of powerful cultivators. I'm about 40. I want to get to know their swordsmanship, too. So that's your real purpose. What you said about not refusing to make progress and needing to exchange views was just an excuse. Sure enough, Mr. Wu is more impressive. The sword sect in Yao Mountains is far from here. The wind will be strong and it will be cold when we are flying in the sky. It's bad for Yunzi's health. It seems we have to spend more time getting there by land. I'm wondering how Yunzi is doing now. Creek. Yunzi, you're awake. Ah. Whoosh. Calm down. I caught it. Are you Xinghua? Yunzi would never avoid eye contact with me so she really is, yes. I'm sorry that I mistook you for Yunzi. It's okay. We'll leave the capital tomorrow. I prepared some carriages driven by dragons for Yunzi. She won't wake up for some time, but you don't need to worry. She just needs some rest. It will be me in the next few days. Oh, I see. You look very weak, too. Please rest early. I won't disturb you anymore. Can we get out of the city through the north gate tomorrow? Yes, but the sword sect in Meow Mountains is in the west. We'll have to make a long detour. But it doesn't matter. Now that you want to leave through the north gate, we'll do as you said. Yawn. Hmm? She kept the lamp lit the whole night just because she was trying to save that orchid? Creek. Step. You got up so early. Zhu Minglang, this is Xinghua. I warn you not to cross the line. Yusha, don't be so mean. That's all right. We'll be family in the future. Just let her say whatever she wants to say. She's so naughty. Mr. Zhu, Yusha mentioned the ancestral dragon relic just now. There might be a piece of the ancient divine lamp jade there. Besides, you both are dragon tamers. There are a lot of spiritual wells good for your cultivation in the relic. If we find it along the way, we might as well go check it out. I don't think so. Xinghua can look for it through astrology. But we have no clues. It's hard to find the entrance. That's right. Xinghua is an astrological divine mortal. Was she trying to find the ancient divine lamp jade last night? If she finds it, Yunzi will wake up earlier. The disciples of the sword sect in Meow Mountains are waiting outside. It's time to set off. Okay. Let's go. The west gate of the capital of the Ji Ting continent. West gate. Just leave it to me. Hao Xingxin. Commander of the Imperial Guards. With me here, we'll surely catch that bastard from the Zhu clan alive and take him to Shao Tsung's grave to avenge Shao Tsung. Mr. Hao, it's been a long time. Have you just returned from the battlefield? You came just in time. Go find out for me which gate people from the sword sect in Yao Mountains and the sword sect in Yao Mountains got out of the city through. I saw several sword fairies leave through the north gate when I was on patrol early in the morning. They've been away for a while. Wes, do you want to stop them? That bastard from the Zhu clan killed my nephew. I won't let him off. Damn it. They should have left through the west gate for the sword sect in Meow Mountains, shouldn't they? How cunning they are. They actually left through the north gate. Fortune Inn. We made a detour after leaving the capital through the north gate. Originally, we would have arrived at the frontier where there is a route for us to fly. You haven't told us why we had to go through the north gate. Well, in fact. Young master, your uncle asked me to remind you that a man called Hao Xingxin, commander of the Imperial Guards, has been trying to hold you up along the way. They've even sent people to watch at the west gate in the morning, planning to take you to Hao Xiaotong's grave and kill you. Got it. This is the map of our clan's bases in the cities, capitals, and fortress towns in the G Ting continent. You can go to any of these places if you're in need. Okay. You may go back. I'll be fine. Did you predict someone would hold you up? Have a guess. Fortune in. Did you really predict someone would hold us up? I only know you'll get in trouble, but I don't know the details. Then can you predict if our journey will be either fortunate or unfortunate? For example, can we obtain the ancient divine lamp jade? Yes, we can. But I can't foresee what the cost will be. How do you foresee what will happen in the future? Something that will happen in the future will appear in my sleep like a dream. Then how do you tell the difference between a dream and something that's actually going to happen? I need to wait for an omen or find it out by myself. Some details about what happened in my dream would stay in my mind. When I wake up and those similar details match the reality, this event will actually come true. And the more omens there are, the faster it will happen. Could you give me an example? When we are doing something that is ordinary for us, such as you spilling water from the glass while drinking. 
and a bird coming into your sight while you're walking. And you talking with me now. Suddenly, we would have a familiar feeling as if we experienced this event before. You mistook me for Yun Zi yesterday, and it was familiar to me. So I deduced that the sequence of events that had happened in my dream would be real. For example, if we had gone through the West Gate, someone would have been hurt and have lost lots of blood. Unfortunately, these pictures I could foresee were incomplete as some fragments of the whole scroll. That's why I suggested you go through the North Gate. Obviously, the one who's in front of me is Yun Zi, but her tone, manner, and character are completely different from Yun Zi's. Well, both Li Xinghua and Li Yun Zi are independent individuals, but they just live in the same body. How could he be staring at me like this? Ahem, can you predict someone's marriage? Of course. Whose marriage do you want to know? How do you predict it? Of course, I want to know about my marriage. No, wait a moment. Don't predict my marriage. What about Yun Zi? Well, forget it. If I knew everything, my life would be boring for me. Xinghua's smile is so gentle. It doesn't have that kind of extremely cold and indifferent feeling. She's like a warm girl. Xinghua, it might be kind of impolite to ask you this question, but I still want to know since you could predict something, then I think you should have a way to avoid what happened in Eternal City in Barbaric Land, right? Did you ever wonder why it happened to be you? Have you already changed your fate? I'm not a god, so I can't change my fate. Perhaps I could avoid something, but because of it, maybe something more tragic would happen. Now this result is the most fortunate one for us. Since you want to know about Yun Zi's marriage, I can tell you what happened in Eternal City is the answer to it. Do you mean even if I hadn't been in the dungeon, Yun Zi and I would still be together? I see. It's late at night. I've gotta go and you can have a rest. Okay. Yun Zi didn't know these things. I only told you about them. Thanks for your honesty. Has she really changed nothing? I think the final result may be the same, but the details of fate are different. If I hadn't been in the dungeon, it would have been a painful memory for Yun Zi. In this case, it was luck that I was in the dungeon. This scene is also familiar to me. There's a flock of iron eagles here. If we directly flew through here, they would regard us as invaders and get together to attack us. So after we have a good rest, we'll have to cross this grassland on the ground. All right, anything you say. Miss, your drawing is wonderful. I'm Yun Zhong He. I once had a duel with you in Mechanism City. Why do I feel that her expression is like asking who you are and whether I know him? Does she think the ones she defeated aren't worthy of remembering? I see. Russell. What's the matter? What did you see? I saw something terrible is at the end of the grassland. Do you mean you've dreamed about something terrible that is similar to what we're going through right now? Yeah. Has it already happened? It was quite blurry. I couldn't see it clearly. I'm gonna take a look. But, don't worry. Trust me. What's up? I'm gonna take a look at the end of the grassland. Why is she going to do that suddenly? Did Xinghua predict something again? I'm going with you. Nian Yin, you can have a chat with Xinghua. I'm gonna walk around with Ling Sha. Okay. In the river of the grassland, I have some doubts. Do all the things she sees in her dreams relate to herself? Something, whether related to her or not, would intrude into her dreams from time to time. In her dreams, she would even play the role of one of the miserable people, empathizing with him until she woke up. Couldn't it be quite painful for her? Yeah. If it's something that doesn't happen and can be stopped in time, the torment of the dream will disappear. If it happened, that torment would be lingering in her mind for a long time, which would make her sleepless. Is this the price of being an astrologer? As long as she makes a prediction, there are side effects for her. That's why she spends most of her time in an unconscious sleep. In this case, she won't see something she shouldn't see. However, Li Yun Zi has been wounded badly this time. I'm afraid this is the longest time she has been awakening in years and it will also be her longest ordeal. If we deal with the event that she saw in her dreams, will we take away the side effects of her prediction? Yeah. We'd better prevent the tragic event from happening because most of the events she dreams about are extremely terrible. I see. Yun Zi wanted to ask me for a favor, but she didn't have time to say it, and now I know what it is. Rest assured, Yun Zi. I'll keep Xinghua safe for you during this period. Splash. Looks like something is surrounded by this group of rocks. Slave. They're all slaves. Splash. Bang. That's an evil sacrificial altar. 
I remember there is a slave city in the west of Fire Prairie, in which there are the slaves whose countries were conquered for sale and tend some wild tribes. I'm afraid it could be an evil sect that brought those slaves here. Then they gouged out those slaves' eyes and slaughtered them as sacrifices to their evil demon. Something Xing Hua saw should be what's about to happen, but here it's already. Hush. Look over there. Splash. These blood leeches are transforming into a dragon. These blood leeches originally feed on people's blood, which is full of resentment and curses. Once all of them transform into dragons successfully, they'll kill so many people. Whoosh. Rumble, falling rain washing. Patter, patter. Spurt, spurt. As soon as it turned into a dragon, it had the power of the dragon general. Roars, Ching Jua, kill it. Ching Jua, don't let it get away. Sacred dragon rad lance, roar. Howl. Chirp. Roar. After this land is purified, that will prevent other evil creatures from appearing. It's the kindest behavior to destroy such an evil creature before it's born. Is it probably because God takes pity on the people but has no time to come to their rescue that he gave Xinghua the ability to foresee disasters? You wipe out those grudges too. Okay. Soul Core Gathering. This soul core still has the power of dragon transforming which is quite suitable to help spiritual beasts leap over the dragon gate. Unfortunately, it's too hostile for my dragon, so I can only sell it. Well, let's go back since it's over. You two left the team alone. What did you do? Fong, since you're well informed, I want to ask you about something. Miss Nan and I found a sacrificial altar on a hill. Many people there had their eyes gouged out and were thrown into a blood pool. It seemed they were sacrificed to something. It said that there is a demon city where people worship Bear Eye God. And these worshippers belong to the Bear Eye sect. They believe all violence, sins, and impulses in the world originate from the eye, and it's the eye that manipulates people's thoughts. Of course, it was just what they declared in public. In fact, they often forced some people to join the sect and gouged out their eyes, then those people weren't able to take care of themselves, and they finally became the slaves of the sect. The Bear Eye sect. There are some backward and ignorant tribes in some remote areas of the Lichuan continent. Some evil sects make money by means of some seemingly miraculous phenomena or brainwashing people with evil thoughts. To make matters worse, these sects also have some secret skills that can make their members powerful in a short time. Or make them go straight from ordinary people into dragon tamers or divine mortals, but the price is terrible. If you want to figure it out, we can reroute and have a rest in Tablet City. I remember there should be a stronghold of the Bear Eye sect there. If we don't deal with this thing completely, the nightmare that Xing Hua foresaw probably won't be over. I don't want her to suffer it anymore. Okay, let's go to Tablet City first. Well, I'll also find the right time to tell those girls from the Sword Sect and Meow Mountains about it. I believe they would also like to help us wipe out this evil sect. Let's go. Clap. Tablet City, oh my god, the food for dragons almost gets used up again. Don't worry. There's a market up ahead. Maybe we can buy some food for dragons. That's great. Look. There are some slaves who have been brought here from some remote places. They were originally an aristocratic clan, including servants, relatives, and daughters of the clan. Using only 100,000 golden grits, you can buy them all. Look, sir. Is it Li Yunzi? It's really her. Why don't we beg her to save us? The ancestral dragon city has already been established as a state and it's become a part of the Jiting continent. She's the grand counselor of the Li Chuan kingdom. It's useless. We opposed her establishing the state and we were at least, well, forget it. As long as I can keep my clan members alive, I'd like to yield to her. Because our Ling clan wanted to maintain our dignity, we refused to support Li Yun-Zi to establish the state. If not, our city wouldn't have been destroyed and our clan wouldn't have been enslaved. Please, help us, Her Highness. How annoying you are. Help us, Her Highness. Let's have a look. Where did you bring these people from? The Li Chuan continent. Are you interested in them? Using only 100,000 golden grits, you can take away all the gentle and cultured girls of the Ling clan in Cloud City. The Ling clan? Sorry, I'm not interested in them. They're the ones who once forced Yun Zi to marry into the Ling clan as a concubine. Let's ignore them. I'm gonna buy them all. That will cost 100,000 golden grits. How come she's gonna pay them to him without hesitation? You really have good taste. They're all top-level slaves. May I ask you where I have to send them to? Send them back to the Lichuan continent and tell the Nan clan in Ancestral Dragon City that these people are servants then. If some of them should die or lose some body parts along the way, I would wipe out your slave camp. Rest assured. 
Since you added the fare, I promise I'll meet your requirements. My slave camp lives by this business, so I won't make any mistake. She's really rich. Thanks very much, Her Highness. We'll try our best to pay back your kindness. Ling Tu, come here. I have something to ask you. What's lip? Have you seen a group of slaves who were dragged out of the city and were killed recently? They even had their eyes gouged out. A group of slaves escaped towards the east three days ago. Then I heard they were caught and put to death, but I don't know whether they got their eyes gouged out or not. Who did those slaves belong to? They seemed to belong to the Wolf Tooth Camp too. Even if those slaves hadn't escaped, they would have still been killed. Why? You'll figure it out after you take a look at the back tablet. But there are lots of guards at the back tablet, so you'd better go there at night. Okay. It now appears that a group of slaves escaped, were captured near the hill, and then were slaughtered as sacrifices by people from the Barai sect. But why did Ling Tu say that these slaves would have still been killed? What are we going to see late at night? A kind of sacrificial ritual? Looks like those are unsold slaves during the day. Ling Xia, couldn't you have Yusuo control your body after we finish this thing? I have to explain it all to her again. Hush. Here we are. What a heavy smell of blood. The smell is coming from behind the tablet. Let's check it out. Okay. Splash. Ah. Help me. Slave. I can't believe there's a blood leech dragon here. I'm afraid it has already reached the high monarch level. No, I can't stand it any longer. Let's get out of here. Okay. What happened? You look so pale. Don't worry. I just saw something disgusting. Yusua, what did you see? We saw a horde of blood leeches eating each other and using blood and the evil aura to transform into dragons in a sacrificial altar on the hill. It's the same as what I dreamed about. There's a blood pool behind the huge tablet. It's like an evil container that has already gathered countless evil creatures, so I'm afraid the blood leech dragon that was born there should be an evil one. Thud. By Chi Nan from the sword sect in Meow Mountains. Is that what people from the Bear Eye sect did? What an evil sect. Let's destroy it directly. Who is it? She's by Chi Nan, one of my martial fellows. She happened to meet us when she was traveling and intended to go back to the sword sect in Meow Mountains with us. These guys are pretty cunning. All people they killed are slaves. Therefore, we can't find the right reason to root them out completely. Chin Yuan, if you intend to take action directly, I'm afraid you won't find people from the Bear Eye sect at all. Mr. Zhu, the matter of the Bear Eye sect should be put on hold. Now there's something more urgent that you have to watch out for. What's the matter? Prince Ong and Zhao Inga have assembled a group of desperate mercenaries who are led by Hao Xingsheng, are tracking your whereabouts, and are trying to kidnap you to threaten the Pei State. The Pei State? My father raised an army of black armored picked troops who are strong enough to wipe out any forces but the four big sects and the six largest clans of the Jiting continent. Could it be that Prince Ong wants to make trouble for me for this reason or he just wants to get control of the black armored picked troops? The Hao clan is really a scapegoat. Those mercenaries have no identity, and if exposed, the Hao clan will bear the consequences finally. Prince Ong and Zhao Inga can still hide behind the scenes. How cunning they are. Don't worry, Mr. Zhu. Those mercenaries will be killed tonight. By the way, have you found out who gave away the information that I was going to get out of the city? Yes, I have. The housekeeper who was responsible for serving people from the sword sect in Miao Mountains in the mansion of the royal family did it. We did talk about it in front of that housekeeper. Sorry, Mr. Zhu. We were too careless. Leak the information that we'll go back behind the tablet to check out something. You're trying to kill them by others' hands? Okay, I'll do it immediately. Whoosh. Why haven't I ever seen this girl? Actually, I haven't seen much of her too. So we've been protected along the way. Yeah. But they won't protect us after we get out of the kingdom. Crack. Clank. Clank. Master, a new batch of slaves have arrived. People from the Bear Eye sect? Mercy. Mercy, sir. Don't be afraid. The pain will go away soon. Let me put you out of your misery. Be a member of us. Ah. Help. Master, do you need help? No, I'd like to do it myself. I used to be a clumsy pedicurist. Once, I hurt a guest's toe by accident. He only bled a little, but his men ripped my eyes out. And I used to take others' eyes clumsily, and those people always screamed. Gradually, I became more skilled at it. 
It was a few seconds before those guys felt the pain. They could have just killed the slaves, but they take their eyes out when they are still alive. How psychopathic they are. Can't you do it after they die? Of course not. How will they get the essence of the bear eye sect after death? Without eyes, you won't see these fear, and without fear, you will be fearless and carefree. Only then can you see the true God in your heart. But you're not skilled at gouging their eyes out, and they're not willing to worship bear eye God. And the rest of you have eyes, don't you? Why are you qualified to do this sacred ritual? How about you guys take out your own eyes first? I'll do it after you, and let's worship bear eye God together. Hum. I'm the only one who can do the ritual. Master, bad news. Tell me about it after I have this guy's tongue out, bah. His eyes out. A group of powerful men surrounded our tablet. Do you know where they come from? I know. Shut up. I'm Zhao Inga, the young lord of the royal family. I've been watching you for quite a while. I sent those powerful men to kill all of you. Protect Mr. Zhu. Mr. Zhu? Isn't he Zhao Inga? Zhao Inga is in there. Go and take him down no matter what it takes. Kill him if necessary. Go. How dare you fool me. Kill them. Don't run. He's at the execution ground. A group of guardians dressed in black robes is protecting him. Humph. Kill every one of them. Leap, go. Swish. Roar. Ah. What the hell is that? So evil. Ha ha. You mere mortals want to destroy the bear eye sect? Let me show you what a real eyeless dragon is. Roar. Evil blood leech dragon, roar. You kept an evil dragon. I can't believe the Zhu clan went against the will of God. What do you mean by the Zhu clan? You dogs of the royal family, how dare you fight against the bear eye sect? Since you come, be the offerings for our dragon. Eating one person who cultivates is worth eating 100 or 1,000 ordinary people. I must thank the young lord for bringing so much delicious food to the dragon. You guys get out of here now. Sir, sir, we can't move. Little black tooth, get them out. Roar, howl. Thank God, I asked for advice in advance. If I had acted rashly, there would have been casualties even if Wu Feng and Bai Chi Nan were here. Spurt. Kill him first. Swish. Isn't he blind? Why did he aim so well? Do you really think I fear you? Roar, spurt. Roar. Roar. Zhu Ming Lang. Wish. Go to hell. Mr. Hao, perfect timing. Kill this evil dragon, and you'll be rewarded. Sorry, Mr. Hao. I need you to distract it. You really belittle us. I'll kill your man first and then rip the bones from your body. I'm not his man. Rumble. Haha, ha, none of you will get out of here alive. Roar. Evil eyeless dragon at the high monarch level, roar. Oh, no. Retreat. My disciples, accept the gift from the dragon with your arms wide open. Swish. Swish. I'm not a believer in this. Stop disgusting me with that stuff. Arg, spurt. Arg, arg. Swing. Chirp, spurt. What kind of monster is this? Ah. Help. Boom. Oh, my god. Run. Kill them. That evil thing has entered their bodies and demonized them. Things got tricky. Miss by. Flying sword. Sword flash. Swish, swoosh. Spurt. Spurt. Is that the flying sword, sword flash? Maybe I can let sword spirit dragon try it and see if I can imitate her way of using the sword. Hiss. Sword spirit dragon, think you got it now? Flying sword, sword flash, boom. Boom. Wish. Ah. Is he sure that's the flying sword? He's totally thrusting at them blindly. Sword flash is about diving and zinging. Like a flood dragon diving into the pond and a dragon zinging out of the sea. It must be swift and precise. Oh, I see. Let the sword dive first. Pew, pew. The sword disappeared. The unsheathed sword is like the lightning flashing across the sky at night. Roar. Now I see. Let it dive first. Disappear, roar. Sword flash. Spurt. No one in my sect could master the technique of the flying sword by just watching it twice. Zhu Ming Lang is indeed a once in a millennium talent. Thank you for guiding me. Recover, hiss. Miss Bai, the evil eyeless dragon is really powerful. 
How about we eradicate it together lest it should cause more trouble? Okay. Bai Chi. Chirp. Chirp. Roar. Rack. Crack. Whoosh. Roar. Boom. Roar. Sword Spirit Dragon. Go. Kill it quickly. Swish. Spurt. Arg. Swish. Eyeless Dragon. Suck blood. Oh, no. That evil dragon can recover by sucking blood. Bai Chi. Froze the blood. Chirp. Crack. No one can stop me. Hiss, hiss. Ah. Swish, howl. Cut its tentacles off. Spurt. Roar, fly on the sword. Sword spirit rain. Swish. Spurt. How can this be? My dragon is at the monarch level. Never mind. Where there is life, there is hope. Spurt. The head of the mercenaries, thud. Humph. Just a mere ridiculous cultist. Hee hee, nice work. May I know where you are from? Isn't it nice to be a free and righteous swordsman? Why did you choose to work like a dog for some authority? The smell of this man was so faint that I was unaware of his presence. If he had thrust at me with his sword, I'd have been dead. Is he dismissive of a sneak attack? Cut the bullshit. I'm here to kill Zhu Ming Lang, and I don't mind killing one more person. Today, I'll have your soul imprisoned in my sword forever. Imprison the soul in the sword, is he a member of the Cell Sword sect? Your sect used to be compared to mine. I wondered why it gradually declined. It turns out there are a lot of lapdogs like you. Clank, swish. Eh? Why did he throw the scabbard into the air? Is there a secret in it? I should keep my eyes on it. Take this. Swish. He made the move before I could, and I can't dodge. In this case, I'll just break the force with my force. Take that. That's what I want. Whoosh, no. This guy must have a secret move. Swish, yes. It must be the scabbard. But unluckily, I have seen him through. What are you looking at? Oh, no. Clank. No, there's no secret move. He just figured out how much time it took to pull and slide his sword back into its scabbard and defeat me. Pew. It seems that quite a few forces have joined Prince Ong. I don't know if all the people of the Cell Sword sect or only this guy joined him. I need to warn Zhu Tianguan of it. Boom, spurt, spurt. How are things going with Zhu Ming Lang? Bai Chi. Bang. Chirp, that was close. It seems I should practice more with Sword Spirit Dragon to work well together. On, no. Bang. Roar, help. Boohoo, ruin. Bai Chi, stop that dragon. We must not allow it to keep killing people in the city. Chirp. Roar, chirp. Boom. Evil creature. Stop the killings. Roar. Sword flame, sword flesh. Swish. Roar, spurt. Roar. Watch out, miss Bai. Swish. Roar. Swish. Chirp. Are you alright? I'm okay. The evil dragon fears the fire caused by the meteorite on my sword. It cannot hurt me. I see. In that case, I got a way of killing it with one blow. Miss Bai, please help and guard me. Okay. Rumble, sword spirit dragon has the fire caused by heaven from the ancient flame-bladed sword. It's as powerful as meteorite fire. Is that the fire from heaven? Miss Bai, may I use your sword? Whoosh. Sword Flame. Double Sword, Flame Tornado. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just exerted force a little hard. Give me a second to collect myself. Just as I suspected, I could barely use that trick now. But luckily, I killed the evil dragon at last. Soul Core Gathering, this is an evil dragon at the monarch level. Its soul core must be of high quality. Though I can't use it, I can probably trade it for a fairly wealthy city. It's called doing the right thing and receiving profound rewards. How Xing Xing seemed to have escaped. It's okay. Someone will deal with him. The Zhu clan is not a plaything. Mr. Wu. Let's write a letter to our commanders and report what happened in Tablet City. I was thinking the same thing. It's starting to hit me all that's happened. That's horrible. Thank God the dragon was killed or we're all dead. Though it's dead, we won't have a chance to live a good life. Even if they are slaves, no one can kill them at will. 
it not only goes against humanity, but also makes it easier for those evil sects to take advantage of it. Ultimately, people in the G Ting continent will be the ones who suffer. The city lord of Tablet City might be involved in this. I have to tell my uncle Zhu Yushan and let him look into it. What will it be like in those remote areas? How many evil cities are out there? Those people in the mercenary camps are venal scum. They must have something to do with it. Mercenary camps got very powerful warlords behind them. We can't clamp down on them unless we abolish slavery. So it seems the Lichuan continent is a nice place. At least, there isn't such a wicked city in the barbaric land and the ancestral dragon city under Yunzi's rule. Unfortunately, Yunzi was injured. Otherwise, it would be nice to conquer the Rui Kingdom. The capital of the Miao Kingdom, we finally arrived in the Miao Kingdom. It will be four or five days before we move into the Miao Mountains. The Miao Kingdom is also called the Flower Kingdom. Its Grand Counselor is even called the God of Flowers. So we can see all kinds of flowers everywhere. Mm -hmm. These flowers look so pretty and smell so good. Is a festival being held here? So many people and lanterns. Flower gathering festival, but it's not exactly a festival. Every year, many men from other countries will come and try when it's time to take a son-in-law. Taking a son-in-law? It has been like this throughout the history of the Miao Kingdom. Princesses will choose their husbands when reaching marriageable age. It will usually be held in the autumn when the maple leaves turn red. Then the daughters of the dukes on different lands began to follow, and gradually, the ordinary girls started to choose their future husbands at this time of year. I heard that was how your parents met. Didn't they have an arranged marriage? Yeah, but your grandpa seemed to have designated your mom, the master of the sword sect in Meow Mountains, she would say yes to your dad only when he could stand out from the crowd at the festival. I see. But mom flung herself into cultivation and finally returned to the Meow Mountains from the Zhu clan. She probably doesn't even remember my name now. Noisy. What's that noise in the early morning? That's Princess Luo Shue, the unsurpassed beauty at Flower Gathering Festival this time. Oh, my God. She looks so pretty even with a mask. How I wish to take her silver mask off and get a look at her face. Good morning, who is this woman? Mr. Zhu, I saw the ancient divine lamp jade. She's the astrologer. Only Xinghua would call me Mr. Zhu. Really? Where is it? Is it on the branch? No. Eh? What's wrong? It's on her face. Do you mean the silver mask she's wearing is the lamp jade? Yes. Whoosh. It turned out that she was looking at Xinghua. We need to store up food for Black Tooth. It has been eating so much recently, like a pig. It can eat a lot more than a pig. Tat, tat. Zhu Ming Lang, how about a bet? It's not Ling Sha today. Okay. Ten grains of golden sand. I bet she's Miss Nan. Good morning. Good morning, it's really you Sua. Ling Xia would never take the initiative to greet people. The golden sand. Fine, you won this time. What's the bet? Well, we were just guessing who it would be today. Um, I go get some necessities. Do you make a bet every day? The journey is boring, so. This is a good golden bead. I want to make a bet. Where did she get such a big golden bead? Well, that's not fair. You know for sure who it will be tomorrow. How about in seven days? If it is me, you'll give me a good golden bead. If it is Ling Sha, I'll give you one then. Um, can they choose when to wake up? No. Okay. I'll bet one good golden bead on this. By the way, Xinghua found Princess Luo Shue had the ancient divine lamp jade, but she made it into a silver mask. Do you have any good ways to get it? Well, that's easy. Just rob or steal it. She is indeed Yusua. That's a unique, bold, and good idea. A silver mask? That's the symbol of the royal princesses. They will start wearing it at the age of 18 and barely take it off. How do they wash their faces? Of course, they'll take it off when washing, and they won't show their sacred faces to strangers, especially strange men. Many authorities also have such a rule. Some fathers may not even be able to see their daughter's whole faces after they turn 18. Only when the girl has a husband can the mask be taken off on the wedding night by her husband. Of course, there are also some girls who will have many husbands and even boy toys, and most of them are not wearing masks. As for ordinary girls, they can decide whether or not to wear it. Miss One, Mr. Zhu falls in love with Princess Luo Shue at the first sight. He's too embarrassed to ask you. 
Let me say it on his behalf. What should he do to be her husband? Yusua, stop talking nonsense. I'll be dead. Hasn't Mr. Zhu already had two beautiful wives? All men are fickle in affection. We have to submit to his desires endlessly so that he won't loathe us. Right, Xinghua? That's easy. With his identity and talent, he can just go to the palace and express his will, but in the Miao Kingdom, even a farm girl won't accept that her husband has a second wife, let alone a princess, so Mr. Zhu, scum, cough don't listen to her. I didn't mean that at all. Don't be embarrassed. I don't even mind. I can't let you sue all go on. Bang. Well, I heard there were many spiritual resources of the Black Dragon at the Dragon Lady Palace. We'll go check it out. Whoosh. Is this the Dragon Lady Palace? It looks much grander than ours. Ahem, our sect always keeps a low profile. The Dragon Lady Palace is one of the seven Black Dragon Palaces, and it happens to be in the Meow Kingdom, so there are many female dragon to tamers. Are you guys here to compete for a girl? Joining is easy. You have to be strong. Luo Meow Yu. Why is this palace also a place for competing? Dear, I think you can strive to be Princess Luo Shuei's husband. How beautiful she is. No, I can't do anything wrong to hurt Yunzi. Do you still want to save Li Yunzi? Don't worry. She probably won't mind that you have a second wife. As long as you marry Princess Luo Shuei, you can get that lamp jade. Isn't it the best of both worlds? I, well, I'll do it for Yunzi. But I only pretend to join. Once I get the lamp jade, I'll run away. Well, this gentleman is pretty handsome. Ugh. This is Yun Zhangi. He's been single, and he'd like to join if he could win a girl's heart by his cultivation. You. I'll only compete to see who has the best skills. Well, it's too soon to say that. Russell. These are all great disciples of the Dragon Lady Palace and are about to be married this year. There are several foreign princes and lords waiting at the side palace while at least 1,000 brilliant talents are outside the palace. Your honored guests who come so far, so I arranged for you to compete after the princes. Can I choose any one of them if I win? Mr. Yuan probably has been in a patriarchal society for a long time. I am sorry if what I say offends you. If you win, it will be the girls who can choose. Ha ha. Miss Luo, which poor country are these princes from? Miss Song, these honored guests are Wu Fong, the master of the sword sect in Yao Mountains, and his first disciple, Yun Zhanghe, and Mr. Zhu, from one of the six largest clans, the Zhu clan. Poor country? Girls, don't miss the chance. Since you are the first disciple, you must be very powerful. Can you swing a sword for the girls? Okay, okay. Mr. Zhu, how about spending a few nights with me? You're much more handsome than my husband. Mr. Wu, do you have a wife? Thud, where are those hicks from? Just kick them out. Prince Liang, these are, Miss Luo, you have your rules, and I have mine. I've never fought for anything with others. Those who can't take a hint are already dead. I'm kind enough to just kick them out. Humph. That's some tough talk. Break this guy's legs and throw him out. What the hell? Did I say anything? Why did you want to break my legs when I just stand here? Can I ask why? I have a handsome cousin who grew up with me, but he took one of my beautiful maids. I got mad whenever I saw such a handsome face. You're like him. Looking at you makes me really uncomfortable. What the hell? Handsome face? Aren't you just jealous? Do I need to make him infertile? Of course. Be careful. This man is a master at force. It's unusual. Unfortunately, Black Tooth doesn't eat humans. Otherwise, I can save much money if it eats those who seek death. Are you gonna humiliate yourself with a dragon general? It can deal with a bunch of losers like you alone. Roar, roar, right, losers. Zhang Jio, kill his barbaric dragon first. Rumble. Roar. Bang. Bang. Roar. Hee hee. Bang. Oh, no, this man is good at breaking force with his own. Black Tooth met its match. Black Tooth, come back. Roar. Qingzhua, go. Roar. Swish. Rustle. Whoosh, whoosh. Arg. Smack. Useless. Zhang Bie, go. Okay. Rumble, crack. Rumble, rumble. Rustle, rustle. Roar. Swish, swish. Thud. 
Mr. Zhu, do you have the time to spend the night with me? Humph, what's so great about a dragon tamer? I have one, too. Zhang Chi, go. Roar, Iron Cone Turtle Dragon, smash that green dragon to pieces. Black Tooth, you got to deal with this iron thing. I put a molten heavy armor on you. Just go. Roar. Crack. Crack. Zhang Lu, Zhang Wu, Zhang Si, go. Okay. Thud. Zhang Lu, Zhang Wu, Zhang Si. If I had Zhang San, Zhang Er, and Zhang Yi with me today, how could a pump like you compete with me? Since you have three more powerful men, why didn't you bring them here? Are you still thinking about going to the princess mansion? So what? Well, I'm afraid you have to suffer a little today. Black Tooth, throw this bastard out. I don't like him being arrogant. Grumble. Let me go. If you dare to hurt me, I swear to kill everyone in your clan with an army of 200,000 warriors. Ah. Yeah, I don't want such a loser either. That prince is incapable, so are his men. Just throw him out. I want Mr. Zhu, girls, you can choose someone else. Huh? What does she see in him? He just summoned two dragons, and they are not as strong as me. Maybe as Prince Liang says, he has a handsome face. Ladies, I just came to visit the well-known Dragon Lady Palace and see if there are suitable dragon scales. I didn't intend to get married. Well, a man like Mr. Zhu must want to get into the princess mansion. That's the way men are. Um, I plan to, but I just wanted to have a look. That was the only idea I had. I've heard men say it before. The grass is greener on the other side. Ladies, I think you may have misunderstood. We just came to exchange views with the sword sect in Meow Mountains, and it happens to be your festival. In fact, we don't even know how you will choose your husbands. I see. Every year at this time, men enter the capital to visit the well-known or ordinary families. Though the girls never decline, they won't choose right away. They would usually sit in the courtyard and test these men. If a girl takes a fancy to a man, she will write the man's name on the maple leaf with special ink and then present it to the Imperial Palace. To the Imperial Palace? Yes, if the man is excellent, his name will appear on the leaves many times. And we call such a man an ideal husband. Seven days after all the leaves are collected, we will bid for the ideal husband. The man will marry into the family that is the highest bidder. I guess many ladies of noble families will like a man with both beauty and talent like you. Maybe we'll have to fight those princesses for you then. I didn't expect that those princesses couldn't avoid this. Isn't it just buying men openly? Well, you can think that way. But the girls in the Meow Kingdom have all the graces. We never force men. If you're not ready to get married, you don't have to join, and we're not gonna tie you up. Men's roles are indeed very subservient here. The men had no choice but to wait for bids. Well, I have a general idea of it now. How about talking about buying dragon scales? Sure, follow me. Collection Pavilion, these are the dragon scales your soul cores can be exchanged for. It's all here. Thanks. What's that? You've got a good eye. It's the treasure at the Dragon Lady Palace. Please look carefully. Whoosh, whoosh. This feather can change from hard to soft with one blow and its form at will. It's like by Chi's Icy Fuzz. It's called the Eternity Feather, which comes from a rare sacred shapeshifter. It used to produce flames, thunder, and lightning. Unfortunately, we aren't good at taking materials, and when we got the feather, it was damaged. This feather is very light, and it can change freely with the change of Bai Chi's feathers. It's perfect for the dragon armor. Can you sell it to me? It depends on how much you can offer. How about this? The cloud fruit? It's filled with spiritual chi. Bai Chi has eaten too, anyway. It's not bad to trade the extra for this. The cloud fruit is a rare thing for us, too. Deal. And if you're willing to spend one night with me, you may get a 50% discount. Eh? Where did he go? The materials are ready, and Ling Sha has done the design. Chirp, how about starting making it now? Do we need a ritual? Like sacrificing some other materials, or making some easy, small objects? Chirp, the precious feather is only enough to be used once. We cannot afford to fail. Let me worship Mr. Koi first. Chirp, at least it is the mascot of the Zhu clan. I will invite him whenever I make the armors. Why can't I find him anywhere? Was he taken away by the cook to make soup? Ugh. No. How can I be superstitious about this? I can just ask Xinghua to predict whether I can make the armor successfully, can't I? Xinghua, are you in there? Knock. Yes, but. 
Oh. Mr. Zhu? Ahem, um, I decide to make an expensive dragon armor, but I'm not very skillful, which may leave a high failure rate, so I want you to predict. Oh, my god. She and Yun Zi are the same person. Why would God torture me like this? Ling Sha and Yun Zi are twins. Ling Sha and Yu Suo are the same person. This is the greatest torment. I can't keep calm. Sorry, I'm not Yun Zi. No, no, I'm the one who should say sorry. Pull, um, you may succeed on one autumn night in the extreme cold. Right. The materials I will use all have the ice element essence. The temperature must be a factor in success or failure. That's indeed a good idea. Thank you so much. You did me a big favor. Hum. I got to go. Bye. I can't control myself if I stay a little longer. I'd better go find some materials with the ice element essence to calm down. Try it on. Chirp, does it fit okay? Chirp, chirp, yes. Tomorrow night, in the extreme cold, I'll extract the inscription of ice from the Eternity Feather and add it to the finished dragon armor. This is a make or break step. I'd better invite Mr. Koi. The next evening. Why did you call me here in the middle of the night? I'm not interested in making the dragon armor. I've had a good time traveling around these days. Hee hee, don't worry. I just want to gain some luck from you. So that I can succeed. I'll get started. The feather has four kinds of fragments of inscriptions, including lightning, candlelight, flame, and ice. It's indeed difficult to extract the ice inscription only. Whoosh. Perfect. The hardest step is done. Next, I'll just integrate the wing, the feather, claw, body, and tail in the stove. What will the dragon armor be like in the end? Two hours later, Mr. Koi, I'll open the stove. You. Just go ahead. Do you want me to dance when you open it? I am a koi with dignity, not a mascot. Fine. Chirp, rush out. Treasures are supposed to blaze when coming out of the stove, but this dragon armor is not so radiant. Did I fail to add the inscription to it? Never mind. We'll know if it's good when Bai Chi puts it on. Chirp. Bai Chi. The mode of combat. Oh, my god. So radiant, I succeeded. It seems at least one of the five parts of the wing, feather, claw, tail, and body has the inscription. I can't believe it's a small sacred object. Why could a dabbler make one successfully? Can I really bring good luck? I guess that's the talent. I'm a once in a millennium talent. I can easily master sword cultivation, dragon taming, and forging. Eh. I think you just got lucky. Mr. Zhu. Wanfong? Why do you come to see me so late? The three masters of our sect have agreed. You guys can enter our sect tomorrow. You have been indulging in forging these days, and they are afraid that you might delay your arrival, so I was sent to inform you. Oh, and you'd better set off after you get energized. After all, our sect dislikes men, not to mention that you are from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. I guess you'll be challenged by many sword cultivators when you get up there. Got it. Thank you. Great. I can wash away that disgrace tomorrow. I want to let Consort one know I'm not that defeated, small sword cultivator anymore. And you haven't forgotten that arrogant woman, have you? Chirp. Though she may be as powerful as Master Shuahen one day, she's not so strong yet. Now I got the sacred dragon armor. Bai Chi should be able to compete with a powerful person at the high monarch level. But these are not so important. The most important thing is to get the ancient divine lamp jade to save Yunzi. The sword sect in Meow Mountains Hill Gate, everyone, we're now at the foot of Meow Mountains. Please look behind me. Our sect engraved the swordsmanship and motions on the stone ladders. You can take a look while climbing. I was too busy fighting to notice it the last time I came here. The carvings are really exquisite. We can learn different swordsmanship on the bypaths. Though each bypath leads to the sword pavilion in Meow Mountains, there are some tantalizing carvings, making people get trapped there. Do they make it difficult for us from here? If the swordsmanship isn't helping Mr. Zhu at all, you can follow us up the mountain. Your sect is indeed known for its profound foundation. The paths of swordsmanship must be the life's work of numerous predecessors. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Since it's a test, we might as well have a try. In that case, we'll be waiting for you at the sword pavilion. See you at the top, everyone. Let's go our separate ways. I'll take the middle one. Okay, I'll take the left one. Wait, there are some tantalizing carvings on the path you chose. 
Lingxia is indeed a painter. She saw a problem after taking a glimpse. Will I get lost in the mountains if I can't discern things in those carvings? Yes. Once you can't get the meaning of the swordsmanship, you'll go round in circles and even get obsessed about it. Oh? Then let's see who gets to the top first. Okay. Third. It's the sword burial. What's going on? Are there sword spirits, too? The two sects in Yao Mountains and Miao Mountains used to be one. Two groups fought in a separatist activity. We don't know how many top tutors died and how many famous swords were damaged then, Mr. Koi, you know much about it? To mourn their sword masters respectively, there was the abandoned sword forest in Yao Mountains and the sword burial in Miao Mountains. The descendants of the two sects might forget that long and enthralling battle, but these ancient swords still remembered it. There was no sign of a victor on one side or the other in the end. Dad said the sword spirits would only wake up under certain circumstances. Sword Spirit Dragon has so many swords in the abandoned sword forest. No wonder it resonates with these spirits, amplifying their obsessions and wills. Eh? Swish. What? What is it? Don't panic. It's just similar to a ghost market. Ghost market? Isn't this place haunted? Whoosh, whoosh. Firemark sword? It seems that the fierce battle activated the firemark inscription. Eh? I can't believe they're the Acheron inscription and the Acheron sword. The blood sword, the firemark sword, and the Acheron sword, I wonder if I can activate a few more inscriptions. Rising Sun Sword Pavilion. Haha, -ha, I finally got to the top. Please sit. Am I the first one to arrive? I wonder if I'm faster than those who once visited here. We had few visitors. I don't remember them, but this lady is faster than you. Miss Nan is not a sword cultivator, but she could understand the carvings on the stones more thoroughly than I did. She's not simple. This way, please. What the hell? Xiaoying is less powerful than me, and she's my junior. Why was she invited into the shade? Do they really treat men and women so differently in the Miao Kingdom? I'm Yun. Please sit outside. Mr. Wu, we came all the way and finally got up the mountain. How could they not take us seriously? Not exactly. Wasn't Xiaoying warmly welcomed? Just because we're men? They don't even give us water on such a hot day. This is bullying. When will the men be tough? Calm down. Why isn't Zhu Ming Lang here yet? Is he lost? Sai He has no sword cultivation. Maybe it's difficult for him to understand the carvings. Let's wait a bit longer. An hour later. Eh? Please sit. We have a rule. Men cannot enter. You can set your rules, and I can decide whether or not to follow them. Why are you so rude? Even the first disciple of your sect is deferential to me. How dare you tell me what to do? You're now at our sect. We don't allow a lowly man like you to act willfully here. Piss off. Awesome. You're the man. Mr. Wu, is your disciple so impudent and left unchecked in your sect? He's my junior, Xu Ming Lang, not my disciple. Discipline Zhu Ming Lang? Even the Grand Master can't control him. What can I do? We had this rule for 1,000 years. We won't start to exchange views about swordsmanship unless you follow it. I don't think it's necessary to know the old, boring, and impractical swordsmanship. Complacent girls like you who hide in the deep mountains think you're better than other cultivators only because you seldom go down the mountains. Humph. That's some tough talk. You're the second one to talk a bunch of nonsense after all these years. Oh? Who was the first one? A sword cultivator who broke into our sect many years ago. He could leave unharmed only because he's Master Ming's son, but I'm not sure you can. Well, I was the one who broke into your sect. What? Zhu Minglang? Zhu Minglang? I remember. Isn't he Master Ming's son? It seems like it's really him. I heard he broke into our sect and knocked down all our disciples many years ago. Fortunately, Consort Wen intervened and drove him down the mountain. Otherwise, we would be so humiliated. Mr. Wu, since he is your junior, he's my junior, too, so it's okay for me to fight him to learn from your sect and teach him our rule, isn't it? Well, let me teach you the rule of this world. The weak are humble, and the strong ones are respected. Well said. Let's fight. Sure. 
it's really good for you to fight an excellent sword cultivator like me. Humph. You might be a little too arrogant. Take this. The Roaring Sword. Outside the Meow Kingdom, outstanding men like me are gentlemanly. Because you're just a woman, I'll make it easy for you to win. If your sword can make me move a little, I lose. Just a woman? Consort when drove me down the mountain last time. I was so humiliated. I must be arrogant, or how can I wash away the disgrace? Now is the time to let these women respect us men. Break. Humph, I'd like to see how a blowhard can resist my attack. I learned a few motions from your simple carvings on the stairs along the way. Though our two sects are going to exchange views about swordsmanship, I don't think you are qualified to let me use the swordsmanship of our sect. Sword flash. Swoosh, hide. How is it possible? Even if those who are good at using the sword flash and hidden sword in my sect hide the sword in the dark, they will leave a trace. Why can't I feel the presence of his sword? Has he reached the level of the sword shadow? Ahem, Miss Lin. He's not using the flying sword sword flash. He just took his sword spirit dragon back to the spiritual domain. Ha ha ha, he's so cunning. I thought he would use some great swordsmanship when he was bragging. Oh, God, he's so funny that I can't help laughing. Zhu Minglang is no longer a sword cultivator. He's a dragon tamer now. Miss Lin, the sword he's using is a rare sword spirit that turned into a dragon and could use most swordsmanship of different sects for him. Damn it. I was just kidding Miss Lin, now I'll use the real swordsmanship of our sect. Keep on your toes. Humph, the swordsmanship of our sect is mysterious and profound. Did you think you can master it when you just arrived here? So ridiculous. What a person with a narrow view. Look carefully and see if my firefly sword is authentic. Firefly sword, rumble. How can it be? This is the real firefly sword, and it's the firefly flying river at a very high level. Zhu Minglang's dragon seems to be stronger. Zhu Minglang only looked at the carvings on the stairs and could use the firefly sword at such a level? This is unbelievable. Rumble. Moe devoured all the ancient swords at the sword burial in Miao Mountains. Now it almost reaches the high monarch level and can easily use the firefly sword. Be careful, Miss Lin. I'm really going to use the sword flash. Whoosh, humph, why should I be afraid of a liar? Can I sit where I want to now? By the way, where is Consort One? I'm not here to challenge you nobodies. Nobodies? You have pushed us too far. Since you're no longer a sword cultivator. Consort One, the leader of the sword sect in Meow Mountains, there's no need for us to compete. What the hell? Consort One had actually become the leader? Besides, in my mind, the only one who can compete with me is, your master, Zhu Shui Han. Is this what it feels like to be looked down upon? As far as I know, there are three leaders of their sect. One should be traveling. And the second one is my mom, who is cultivating at a far waterfall house in the mountains. And the last one is Consort One, who is presiding over the meeting here. There should be no powerful cultivators around the ancient divine lamp jade. Find a chance to distract them. I'll go steal the lamp jade. Okay. Since Master Wen is here, can we start exchanging views? Sure. I heard your sect is known for its 17 tricks of the sword attacking. Could you show UIS, Mr. Wu? Well, though I'm also specializing in fighting with swords, I don't know those tricks. How about letting Zhu Ming Lang show them to you? What the F asterisk CK? I'm going to steal the lamp jade. Can he stop screwing things up? I can't do it without cultivation. Just do some moves with the sword. It doesn't matter if it works. How many tricks does he know? Probably 12. I gave you a chance to show your skills. Am I nice? Since she looks down lip on you so much, you should show her something. 12? So powerful. There is no point in doing some moves. It's no different than a sword dance. Ugh, what a fool he is. Let me do it. Ling Sha knows my intention. Are you a painter? Master One, she once defeated Yun Zhongyi in a competition using the tricks of the sword attacking. In that case, let's see. Go ahead, Miss Ling Sha. Rumble. The first trick. Wow. She's so good. This is the place. Can't believe I got here so easily. They seem to be taking no precautions. There is not even a guardian. God is my help. The magic to hide things from heaven and earth, swish. He, he. Replace, done. Eh? What the hell? Is Ling Sha so powerful? I gotta go back quickly before she's done. 
Bai Chi, let's go. Chirp. Impressive. Clap clap. Good. Sure enough, the swordsmanship of our sect is the best. Huff thank God, I made it. Ling Xia is indeed good. She used our swordsmanship. Only a few people in our sect can use more than 10 tricks. I can't believe Miss Nan could use 12 tricks as a painter after she watched the formation for only a few days. This is incredible. She and Zhu Minglang are monsters. Ling Xia, you could only use four tricks the first time, but now you can use 12 at a time. I guess you won't have a problem reaching any divine realm. You lost. What? Oh, is it about who gets to the top first? Indeed, I lost, but that was because I accidentally entered the sword burial to devour the sword spirits. But it's not a shame to lose to her. Besides, she'll be more and more powerful and be of great help in the future. Next, it's our turn to show our swordsmanship. We have benefited a lot from your swordsmanship today and we'll send some disciples to learn in your sect. Thank you for coming to exchange views with us. It's getting dark, and we know your rule, so we should go down. Our sect has indeed been somewhat isolated these years, but there have been some changes since I was in charge, so. What does she mean? Stay tonight? No, no, I just stole the ancient divine lamp jade. I'd better run away now. But we have never let any man stay over. It's getting dark, and they must be tired after performing the swordsmanship for a day. It's unreasonable to send them down the mountain now. Consort One is really different from these straight-laced sword fairies. It seems I should do the opposite. Do you want us to stay tonight? Great. I heard the girls here are fragrant. Even if they just sit quietly, the fragrance is still intoxicating, not to mention after bathing. Oh, the greatest dream of my life is about to come true. Hee hee. How can we let a hooligan like him stay? This scumbag had that idea in the first place. Let them leave now. Master One, the men in our country are extremely gentlemanly. Of course, we won't break your rule, and you're welcome as a guest in our sect. If most sword cultivators in your sect are like you, only in thought, they will be much better than those proud sword fairies in our sect. Wu Fong, don't pretend to be a gentleman anymore. If you tell others in our sect after staying here for one night, they will envy you. Master One, keep persuading him. We'd really like to stay over. Zhu Minglang, even if it's what you really think, don't say it out loud. It's embarrassing. Why? Beautiful girls, gentlemen's desires, aren't those men from other faraway kingdoms here to pursue them? In that case, let the spirit birds we keep send you down the mountain. Then we won't bother you anymore, see you. Zhu Minglang. You stay. Oh, no, did they find it missing? So soon? Master One, did you change your mind? Great. I was planning to exchange views with the girls into the night. Master Ming wants to see you. Um, did she finally remember her son? Tell me. Ming Hanwu, Ming Bingxi's adopted daughter, Ming Bingxi, Zhu Minglang's mother and the leader of the sword sect in Miao Mountains, why did you take the jade? Well, mom took notice. To save someone. You can keep it. Huh? But you have to do something for me. What is it? To pursue Princess Luo Shue and become her husband. Huh? An arranged marriage? Why should I do such a thing with a handsome face? Well, mom, the one I'm going to save is my wife, your daughter-in-law, I just want you to be her husband, and I don't care if you will stay with her. Marry her and then run away. Sounds like something mom would do. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. It's unethical. Then stay here and cultivate for ten years. I'll be watching you. She's so heartless, no wonder dad failed to handle her. I got the jade, anyway. As long as I can leave here, then. Bye, mom. Whoosh. Oh, my god. Whoosh. Gasp what a high level has mom reached. Looks like I can't escape. Mom, I'm back. If you become her husband, the jade will belong to you, and we will let what you did slide. Can I run away after I become her nominal husband? Sure. Okay, no problem. I'll tell you where another ancient divine lamp jade is after that. Deal. Mom always leads a secluded life. Why did she pay so much attention to Princess Luo Shue? Is there anything special about her? Han Wu, send him down the mountain. Okay. The capital of the Miao Kingdom. Eh? Why don't you go back? I'll keep watch on you. We're a family, after all. Don't you trust me? Miss, I want to get one room. Sure. You're back. Why do you look unhappy? My mom wants me to be Princess Luo Shue's husband, but I can become one in name only. 
If I succeed, she'll not only let what I did slide, but tell me the location of another jade. Isn't that a good thing? We need at least four ancient divine lamp jades to cure Yunzi. Does this one work? It's very effective. Yunzi seems to be recovering, and her cultivation seemed to be greatly improved. I think this is why Grandma asked us to look for the ancient divine lamp jade. It can improve our cultivation. That's good. I'll go to the princess's mansion tomorrow, but you guys must back me up. I'm going there for the lamp jade, not to marry Princess Luo Shue. Then you must take your best shot. Girls here are quite hard to please. Don't worry, Yusua. No matter how excellent other men are, they won't be better than me. I'm the most eye-catching man, like every maiden's fantasy. So you should control yourself. Don't fall in love with me. After all, we'll see each other often, and I'll be sorry to turn you down. I've never seen a man as impudent as you. Fall in love with you? If you dare to look at me one more time, I'll gouge your eyes out. I just want to see Yunzi and you. I miss her when I see you. You miss her when seeing me? You, you busted. I seem to have seen such a scene. It seems that a certain prophecy is out of my control. Is it a good or bad thing? Gentlemen, please stay calm. Thank you for coming here for the competition. Please hand in your visiting card one by one before entering. Stand away. Stand away. Where does he come from? How dare he assume an air of superiority here? Doesn't he know Princess Luo Shue hates this kind of person the most? I heard he came from the capital, but so what? Any man who came to our kingdom should be in awe of the princess. Zhu Mingling came to visit. Do you know the rules? My master, Su Gongshan, and I arrived first. Get in line. Who the hell is Su Gongshan? Hanwu, throw that guy and his guard out of here. Does he see me as his guard? I'm trying hard to win. Will you please help me out? If we screw it up, how will you explain it to my mom? Humph. <laughs> Slash. Piss off. Clank. Isn't she a cultivator from the sword sect in Meow Mountains? Why is she helping a man from the Zhu clan? What a powerful sword cultivator. Su Gongshan is so pitiful. He was kicked out before he could even enter. No one will stop me, right? Meng Hanwu, wait for me here. Kick out those who come after me. Princess Luo Shue won't be happy if you do this. Are you the princess? Of course not. Then why do you tell me what to do? Doesn't she want some peace and quiet? Then I'll make this place less crowded for her. But if there's anyone who can defeat my guard, he can enter and compete with me. I'll go talk to her highness. You guys help him take his seat. Okay. What an idiot from the capital. He pushes people too far with his noble status. He'll get a problem when her highness comes. Her highness likes poems. You guys can write a poem to impress her while waiting. Test how literary we are. It seems that Princess Luo Shue wants to eliminate some rich but illiterate clods. Though I'm not good at writing poems. I can still write one. Eh? We all got white paper and black ink. But the things he wrote look imposing. It's like something with a special power. Is it some kind of divine power? The man on my left, even his guard, is a powerful dragon tamer. Two one of the two kingdom, and this man's power is unfathomable. I need to check him out. Hey, bro you're not young, aren't you? Why are you here to compete with least young people for the princess? I'm not proud of it, but I've been busy with state affairs and not married yet. Now I've increased security in my kingdom and heard about the competition in the Miao kingdom, so I want to give it a try. I'm Zhu Minglang from the Zhu clan, may I know your name? I'm Tu Wenhe from the Two Kingdom. The Two Kingdom? It seems I haven't heard of it. Where is it? It's normal for you not to hear about it. I just changed the name. My scholarship is superficial, so I simply named it after me. I'm forced to become, oh, my god. How relentless he is. He must be the conqueror among the dragon tamers. It's said that there are some top teams of dragon tamers in the Jiting Imperial Kingdom. They traveled from country to country, attacking cities and occupying territories. Planning a coup and taking the whole country as their own. The usurper became an emperor. Some conquerors will bring order to the occupied countries. But some will leave after taking all the resources, leaving the countries to fall. No wonder even his guard gives people an overwhelming feeling. Even the conqueror came to pursue the princess. Is it so competitive? Yin Yuan the Punch Clan. Who's from the Zhu Clan? That's me. Get yourself a powerful guard to watch the door next time. Get out of there. Let's fight again. This man defeated Meng Hanwu? He's indeed powerful. The competition is getting fiercer. 
Never mind. He has the power. Just let him in. None of your business. Miss, go back to the mountains and cultivate for a few more years. You're still not so good at swordsmanship. Um, no, just stop practicing. You're already cold and unwomanly. I'm afraid you won't be humane in a few years. You. That makes sense. Well, you take him as a rival, but he doesn't even see you as a person. Why are you still entangled with him? You're right. Just ignore him. I'm Yin Yuan from the Punch Clan. The guy from the Zhu Clan, if you write a poem for me, I'll forget that you sent a guard to stop me at the door. You can do that? Then what's the point of the competition? The guy from the Punch Clan can only punch but not write? Will you do it for me or not? Fuck off. You're dead to me. Oh, it turns out you can read. Silence. No fighting in the princess mansion. Okay. And it's time to hand in your paper. Two hours later, I'll announce who can stay and meet with the princess. The others can go back and wait for the final chance to be the first. It's good that the conqueror didn't get in. But that urbane man isn't probably because he's good at writing. I only wrote doggerel and I was chosen. What's going on? The princess is coming. Gentlemen, please wait silently. Sir, please. Please have some tea, everyone. Thanks, your highness. You are good at swordsmanship and your poem and handwriting are good. Are you talking about me? How did you know I can use a sword? At the sword pavilion in Miao Mountains. The weak are humble and the strong ones are respected, that's impressive. You were there that day? The two sword sects in Yao and Miao Mountains rarely exchange views about swordsmanship. Of course, I won't miss it. It's just. Since you have such a stunning woman around you, why did you come to my small mansion? She probably meant Nan Lingxia, didn't she? I'm in big trouble. I was seen as a field-playing juggler. Women in the Miao King will never allow men to sow their wild oats. Jerks will be spitted on. Your Highness, you misunderstood. She's just a painter and a divine mortal of my dragon tamer team. I'm not in a relationship with her. I remember several female city lords told me that day they were obsessed with that painter. I guess there must be a particularly beautiful face under her veil. You are traveling with her and you never fell for her? If I did, why would I come here? Well, you have a point. All right, I'll see you on the day of coming out on top, Mr. Zhu. Leave, everyone. The day of coming out on top? It's also called the day of buying a son-in-law. All men who compete to be the son-in-law will go up on stage. The man will belong to the one who offers to pay the most. Isn't that just selling men? You can also opt out of it. Ahem, how can I do that? I've made a promise to my mom. I'm an honest man. The stage in front of the palace. Hello, everyone. The flower gathering festival officially begins today. Yao Yao the hostess. Girls, let's hear it all for the ideal sons-in-law to come on up to the stage and show their charm. Woohoo! Okay, next, let's welcome the high-profile son-in-law, Mr. Zhu, to the stage. So many people. Zhu Minglang, relax. You'll get a good price. Zhu Minglang. I'll buy you. Well, girls. You just like young guys like him. While I only have eyes for easing going and sophisticated men. Don't compete with me for 210 when he's on the stage later. I'll buy Mr. Zhu with a city that can produce thousands of jars of honey, which is worth at least 100,000 golden grits every year. Mr. Zhu is my beloved. Please let me win, girls. You might be a little stingy. I'll offer a red diamond mine, which is worth 500,000 golden grits. The Martianess. Humph, Mr. Zhu visited the Dragon Lady Palace first. Who can compete with the Hua family? No matter who makes an offer, I'll bid 200,000 golden grits more. One zero 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 one two zero 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 one five zero 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 one seven zero 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 two million. It's easy for men to make money here in the Meow Kingdom. Just drop the useless moral integrity. This is a moonstone. A bishop of the court would like to buy it with three million golden grits half a year ago, but I didn't sell it. I wonder if Mr. Zhu is interested in it. That's a good thing. It's not only versatile, but can improve the level of Bai Chi's mystic arts and bloodline. The princess made an offer. I didn't expect that the one she preferred was the arrogant man, Mr. Zhu. Did she also see the force he got in the capital and want to have closer ties with them? Lingxia, the princess is on the hook. There is hope that we can get the second lamp jade. 
but Zhu Mingling must be so proud of himself about this for a long time. Lingxia? 3200000. Oh, no. Your Highness, please don't hate me for it. The Zhu clan is powerful in the capital, and Mr. Zhu is Master Ming's son. We must let him marry into the Hua family. Five million. Oh, crap. She's Yunzi. The Divine Lamp woke her up. Why are you standing on the stage? Is that woman insane? Though Zhu Minglang is brilliant, it's not worth spending five million. I'm not in a relationship with her. Then why did she bid five million? Five five zero 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 zero. Seven. Yunzi. Don't worry. Zhu Minglang just wants the lamp jade on her forehead to save you. Five five zero 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 zero. Going once. Any more bids? I'm okay now. Five five zero 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 zero. Going twice. It's good that Li Yunzi's action aroused Princess Luashue's competitiveness instead, or our plan would go wrong. Five five zero 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 sold. Congratulations, Mr. Zhu. You're sold for five five zero 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 golden grits and become Princess Luashue's husband. Let me tell you a secret. The bid for you broke the record in the history of our country. Hope you can reach a new high next time. Next time? I'll pass unless Yunzi is the highest bidder. Yunzi, I'll find all the lamp jades as soon as possible to cure you. Is it true that no one has ever seen your face? Do you want to see it? Then take off the mask for me. After I take off her mask, I will knock her out with an apologetic smile and then leave with Lingxia and Yusua. I got the lamp jade, haha. <laughs> huh. Girls, don't worry. Maybe something tricky happened to Zhu Mingling. Yeah, the princess is too beautiful and sexy. It's hard for him to get out of her bed so soon. Yusua. Lingxia, it's near dawn. How about we go back and have some rest? You can prepare some soup tomorrow morning and send it to the palace lest Mr. Zhu should be exhausted after the night. Wait for a while. I know him. He will never turn his back on you guys. We don't have any relations with him. No matter what he does with the princess, it's none of our business. We can look for the ancient divine lamp jade, too. Humph. Consort 1. It turned out Master Ming didn't tell you. How can I knock this woman out? Mom won't screw me up like this, will she? Consort 1 must have hidden the real princess. Master 1, I didn't expect you to be so vicious. As a master of the sword sect in Meow Mountains, why are you looking to take the place of a princess in a mortal kingdom? Where did you hide the real princess? You can give up the sword cultivation and learn to tame dragons. Why can't I stop being a princess and focus on sword cultivation? Yeah, such bad custom as the arranged marriage is something that we open-minded young people should resist, right? I'll give the money back to you, and let's pass on this. What do you think? It's not a game. Or do you care about the girl named Nan Lingxia or the girl who raised the price? No wonder mom didn't mind that I would run away. How am I able to run? Master One, we're not right for each other. Besides, you have never considered me your equal, haven't you? It was painful to spend a lifetime with a mediocre man like me. As a woman, I'm supposed to be better than you. Damn. I forget she's the princess of the Meow Kingdom. It's all for what? Mom and Dad are perfect for each other to screw their son. No wonder Mom didn't mind that I would run away. How am I able to run? Are you okay, Mr. Zhu? Sai so forget it. I guess it's time to be honest with her. All right, in this case, I need to tell you something, too. All right, in this case, I need to tell you something, too. I've never thought about being your husband. I need the ancient divine lamp jade on your silver mask to save my beloved. I just didn't expect you to be Princess Luo Shue. Your beloved? Do you mean I'm not as good as her? Zhu Minglang, the princess can inherit the throne in the Miao Kingdom. And my country is much richer and more powerful than those small kingdoms, and our kingship is also powerful in the capital. Besides, I'm a master of the sword sect in Meow Mountains. No one is comparable to me except Zhu Xueheng in this world. And you saw my face. The woman you love is just a few years younger than me. I don't think I'm less beautiful than her. So you can have better choices. I must be excused. Stop, Zhu Minglang. Master One, we don't have feelings for each other. Why do we have to be together? Thanks for your silver mask. I owe you a favor. I'll help you when you're in need one day. 
How many people's affections are sincere in the world? I've never expected to have any feelings for a man. I only hope we won't hate each other and it's okay to love each other later. It's just that you used to be a sword cultivator. You once got to the top and stood the world on its head. How many women would you appreciate then? Master one, get out more. You will find a good husband in the end. What if I persist in choosing you? Then I can only say, I'm sorry. There's someone else in my heart. You're already my rightful husband. Do I look like a conformist? Do I look like a woman who would give her husband to others? If you step out of this palace today, that painter will not be able to leave the Meow Kingdom alive. Are you serious? If I still have to concede to others after giving up my rich life, my royal power, and cultivating hard for 20 years in Meow Mountains, then what's the point of everything I did? I agree with some of what you said, but you're wrong about one thing. We have different ideas. There is no right or wrong. You said, no one is comparable to you except Zhu Xuehang in this world. Then take that. Fire Mark Sword Awaken. What's that? Sword Attacking, the 15th Sword, Vermilion Bird Sword. Oh, no. I can survive the attack, but the palace below would disappear instantly. All the nobles, maids, and guards could perish. Zhu Minglang, you are so vicious. Master One, don't threaten me with the one I love in the future, or... Your palace, your sword sect, and you will be crushed to dust by me. You can run away. But you can never escape our fate. Anyway, you're always a legend in our sect no matter whether it is about sword cultivation or love. Well, send the Grand Master my best wishes. Bye. Go. May you have a baby soon. Mom? Are you taking me back to marry her? They're good girls, but Consort One is better. My dad is good, too. You can get back together with him. I just meant to tell you where another ancient divine lamp jade is. Since you like to be Gabby, then find it yourself. Mom, I'm wrong. There's a city named Rain City in the direction of Nehi. The city seal was made of the lamp jade. Rain City? I happen to have the title deed of that city. So long as I hand it to the king there, I will become the city lord. This is the moonstone I gave to Consort One when she became the master. Mom still worries about me and knows it's hard for me to keep dragons. With this moonstone, Bai Chi can improve further. If this painter can defeat Consort One in two years, I will go to the palace to get you out of your marriage in person, or she will still be your nominal wife. You misunderstood. The painter is Nan Lingxia. I will do it if either of them can defeat her. Okay, in two years. Um, who made a promise so casually? Here, here. Didn't how you come with you? Where is he? Wu Fong told us you would go to Rain City, so how you went for some information about it? Oh. You guys get into the carriage first. I have something to deal with. I'll come back soon. Okay. What business do you have? Are you going for a girl? Do I look like that kind of person? Yes. Miss Fong, are Mr. Zhu Minglang and others here? How are you from the sword sect in Yao Mountains? They are in the carriage. You are? Hi, Miss Nan. I'm Hao Yi, a traveling sword cultivator from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. I'm not Miss Nan. I'm Miss Li. I've heard Zhu Mingling had a powerful painter whose last name was Nan with him. She even defeated Miao Zhu. Why did she say her last name is Li? Does Zhu Mingling have more than one girl whose last name is Nan with him? Looks like he has a lot of charm. No wonder Princess Luosherv likes him. Oh, where's Zhu Mingling? I heard about it from the traders. The situation in Rain City is a little complicated. I need to discuss it with him. He went over there. I was so busy enjoying the view on the road that I didn't notice that Black Tooth was going to advance. Black Tooth. Woo. Howl. Oh, God. What happened to me, idiot? You advanced. Growl. It turns out I can become more powerful while sleeping. The spiritual domain may have worked. Find a way to awaken the inscription on the molten heavy armor after stabilizing your cultivation. Then you can even fend off the attack of a dragon at the monarch level. Next, it's time to use the moonstone to restore Bai Chi's bloodline. Mr. Koi, why do we have to come to the top of the mountain? Only at a sunny place like this can we stimulate Bai Chi to take in the energy in the moonstone so that it can restore the bloodline of the black dragon. But while restoring, Bai Chi can't use its bloodline. 
It will probably be at the low monarch level then. How much will Bai Qi improve after restoring its bloodline? After restoring and with that dragon armor you made in person, it will be a strong one among those at the high monarch level. Okay. Now I'll help Bai Qi absorb the energy. Mr. Koi and M.O. Yi, please guard me. Don't worry. I was the first ancestor of all the dragons, and my strength reached the top, so I was transformed into a fish, the earliest form of a dragon. Zhu Minglang. Who are you? Is it Zhu Minglang's dragon, too? I'm Hao Yi, a traveling sword cultivator from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. Wu Feng asked me to escort you guys out of the Miao Kingdom. Oh, you're from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. I have a question for you. All right, go ahead. What does your sect feed you guys? Why does everyone look so grown? Well, I guess I may just look old. So who are you? Haven't I just told you? I'm Hao Yi, a traveling sword cultivator from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. Oh, you're from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. I have a question for you. Money will be rolling in. Huff, I finally got rid of Zhu Minglang's dragon. Who are you? So who are you? The sword sect in Yao Mountains, I have a question. Miss Li, Zhu Minglang is cultivating. I don't think it's okay to disturb him. Who are you? Um, haven't I introduced myself to her? Even if I'm not as outstanding as Zhu Minglang, I'm not so ordinary as to make no impression on others. No, I can't become discouraged. I'm okay. I'm capable and excellent, too. I'm Hao Yi, a traveling sword cultivator from the sword sect in Yao Mountains. Wu Feng asked me to show Zhu Minglang and Miss Li the way. Oh, I'm Miss Nan. Miss Li is in there. Mr. Hao Yi, what's up? What the hell? Twins? Zhu Minglang is such a field-playing juggler. Ladies, the situation in Rain City is very complicated. The city is the meeting point of four kingdoms, and it's in the center of the battlefield. It is possible that the flag of a kingdom hangs above the gate in the morning and the city becomes the domain of another kingdom in the evening. Is it dangerous? There is a path that is strictly guarded by soldiers after we pass the inn. I'm afraid you and Zhu Mingling have to hide in the carriage then. Got it. Okay. Rain City, this is the appointment of the Han Kingdom and the title deed. I was already offered the post of the city lord of Rain City. Go away. This city belongs to the two kingdom now. You must show me the appointment of our king. Well, this city belonged to the Han Kingdom two days ago. We went there to ask for the appointment, and the city just had a new owner two days later? Zhu Minglang, what should we do? It's hard to get Rain City. I don't know either. Now, the city seal is in the hands of the Divine Mortal Academy on this land, but they have a rule that the seal will only be given to the one who has ruled the city for more than one month. If I can't be the city lord, I can only look for the seal in the Divine Mortal Academy, but I don't know where exactly it is. I can't turn the academy upside down, can I? Asterisk, si asterisk. Let's enter the city and have some rest first. I'll think of something else. Okay. We could only find this shabby courtyard as a shelter after searching. Looks like we have to make a fire and cook our meal ourselves. What a desolate place. It would have been a ghost town if it hadn't been for its strategic location and the caravans. Just because of its strategic location, many forces contested with each other for the city and destroyed it in the end. This is also the reason why no one wanted to buy the title deed. If we give the title deed directly to the Divine Mortal Academy, can we get the city seal rightfully? But other forces stationed here may not agree. They don't want a city lord either. Humph, they're just a bunch of parasites. I will kick them out of here as long as I have a chance. Eh? Who bailing, you bums? Where do you think you are? Get the hell out of here now. Sorry, we didn't mean to chase you guys out, but this house used to be our residence, which was deserted because of the war. Now we plan to restore it. Hu Chongming. Humph, we haven't seen anyone since we came here, and you guys showed up just after we cleaned up this place. Good timing. This is the money for your hard work. Take it and get the fuck out. Who wants your money? We have the title deed of the city. We own every inch of it, and you're the ones who should get out of here. Title deed? You've got to be kidding me. It was sold a long time ago. Stop lying. We're from the capital, and we do have the title deed. You are the citizens here? This house used to be yours? This city was built by my father's generation. He eradicated a decadent dragon that had settled here for many years and built the first watchtower with an army. The battle was sensational in ten kingdoms. 
I heard the city was first founded by a man whose family name was Hu. Are you his clansman? Yes, I'm Hu Chongming. This is my sister, Hu Beiling. We were supposed to be the successors of the city, but for many reasons, my father's generation was forced to sell the city to the Divine Mortal Academy, it's just. The Academy should have the title deed. Why is it in your hands? Can I see it? If it's real, there should be my father's signature on it. No problem. It's really my father's signature, and there are a handprint. What's more, there's a seal of the capital. I can't believe they were sent by the Imperial Kingdom. See? I've said you're the ones who should get out of here. There are a lot of old houses next to the courtyard. You can live there after cleaning them up, if you don't mind. Sir, to be honest. The title deed doesn't matter that much now. This place is far more dangerous than you think. You'll die as a city lord here even if you have a team of guards. Not to mention you only have a few people now, just give it to me straight. How about you sell the title deed to me? My father's generation was so silly to sell the city then. That was why it was trampled on by many kingdoms. My sister and I have been recruiting men for years to regain control of Rain City and rebuild it. Do you plan to capture the city by fighting? With one or two hundred people? We are all elites and have enough provisions and good battle plans. Our plan is to gain a foothold in the city first and then slowly drive out those evil forces. What about the city seal? How are you going to take it back? Of course, I'll take it back after becoming the city lord. As long as I can defend the city for a month without any new owners, I can ask the Divine Mortal Academy for it rightfully. Since they can find the city seal, I can cooperate with them. Anyway, I don't want to be the city lord. We don't sell the title deed, but you can trade the city seal for it. Sir, the seal is just a status symbol. How about you give us the deed first? With it, we might rebuild the city and recruit men more quickly. We need it for use. It won't take that long with our help. I'm a dragon tamer, and they're all part of my team. Huh? But there are only five of you. Seven. Anyway, I have the deed, and I'm the rightful city lord. Your clan was the builder of this city, and you want to take everything back. Why don't we cooperate with each other and kick those evil forces out of here? As long as you can drive out the villains who dominate Rain City or the decadent dragons, I'm willing to cooperate with you. Hope we can work well together. Everyone, please enjoy yourselves. Why are you depressed? Are you still worried about Rain City? Yes, this place is very chaotic. Even the bandits dared to seize the territory brazenly. Half of the money taken by them was given to the armies of those kingdoms, and the armies became stronger. Thus, the situation in Rain City was getting worse and worse. I'm not very good at it in this respect, and I don't know how to handle it, either. How about? If only Zheng Yu were there. It was he who found a shortcut that led to the capital of the Rui Kingdom with an army silently, and that was why Yunzi could win a great victory then. But he's now in the capital of the Li Chuan Kingdom. We can order to eradicate all the armed forces that should be treated as rebels in the city, except the Hu army. This tone, she's Yunzi. After giving the order, we will kill all the bandits who seize the place here, and then we can follow up the clue to get rid of those dark warlords and create the illusion of killing all rebels. The armed forces that don't want to mess with you will leave. That's a good idea. Darling, you're awake. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Just a little tired. Go get some rest. Okay. Eh? That woman is his wife? Why didn't he mention it to us just now? Haven't been out for a while. Though this place is desolate, there will be beautiful scenery after it's rebuilt, and it would be nice to make it a part of the Li Chuan Kingdom. Take it as an expedition. Mark where you would like to go on the map. I'll go with you. The Miao Kingdom? Looks like she's still not fine with me striving to be the princess husband. Things change, which always makes people helpless. I don't like this kind of feeling. I'm so sorry that I became someone else's husband. I don't care at all. She doesn't care? Why? It happened because I was too weak, Yunzi. If I'm strong enough, I won't get hurt in the battle with the Rui Kingdom, and they won't be worried about me. And I won't let Zhu Mingling become a princess husband of the Miao Kingdom. Yunzi, I know you don't like failure, and you don't want those who you care about to make any sacrifices. Whatever happens next, I'll be there for you. Things always change. I nearly died just for a small kingdom like the Rui Kingdom. Then in the future, I can't let up before understanding how the world is formed. Darling, don't think about the future. What matters is now. Darling? You married someone else. Why don't you call the princess of the Meow Kingdom darling?
I don't care. You're my wife. She still cares about me getting married to the princess. Yunzi, stop worrying about the future. Do you like Rain City? If you do, let's take the city. Let's see what Hu Beiling and Hu Chongming are capable of. If they fail to defend the city, we'll go get the city seal and leave. Okay. She's so ambitious, so I must work harder. I have so many dragons and girls to feed now. I gotta work together with Yunzi. I gotta check it out in Rain City while Yunzi is having a nap. Though the city is very chaotic, it is a small society. The mercenaries, the guards, the armies, the hunters, the merchants, all depend on each other for their livelihood here. Well, let me see what bounties are there first. Maybe I can make some money? Collect the dragon's claws to make weapons. The renegade dragon tamer is wanted. A bounty. The princess husband who ran out on a wedding. Providers. The royals of the Miao Kingdom, Zhu Minglang. Eh? Isn't that me? The portrait and I are so much alike. Can't believe they can draw my masculine face unreservedly. Won't I be recognized right away? Is there something wrong with Consort One? She offered a bounty on her husband who escaped. Won't she feel embarrassed? Sir, you look familiar. You seem to be the princess's husband? It is him. He became her husband but ran away. It's unforgivable. The bounty is three million golden grits. Get out of the way. I'll catch him alive. This is ridiculous. Consort will only bid 275-0000. But the bounty is 3 million. Calm down. I have a bounty of 3 million golden grits on my head because I am a dangerous person. So I suggest you guys just quit. How arrogant. We're all professional mercenaries and bounty hunters. How dare you threaten us? Go. Take him down together. We can split the bounty. You won't give up unless you face death. Now, Black Tooth. Taste the wrath of the thunderstorm black dragon that has just reached the level of Dragon Lord. Kill him. Kingsweo, M-O-E, go. Roar. Oh, my god. It's Zhu Minglang. Miss Lee? Marshal Uncle asked me to tell you, he went to check it out in the city. If you wake up. Who's your Marshal Uncle? And who are you? One month. I've been with them for a whole month. Who are you? Who are you? Why don't they remember me? Am I so invisible? Something terrible is happening. Zhu Minglang got in a fight with a group of big giant guys at the market in the city. Let's go and see. She looks so vulnerable, but she's so powerful. By the way, I would like to tell you guys that I'm the city lord from today on. If you want to make a living in this city in the future, you better behave yourselves. Or I'm gonna be rude. A powerful woman is coming. See if Zhu Minglang will still be so arrogant. Miss, if you can help us take him down, we can share the bounty with you. The ones who will be taken down are... You. Yunzi, show them mercy. From now on, there will be no armed forces that are not authorized by me stationing in Rain City. Those who do not leave tonight will be regarded as rebels and killed. What's going on here? Nothing. I just had a spat with them. The princess of the Miao Kingdom, she offered a three million golden grits bounty for you. They won't be able to get me back to marry the princess. You know, I'm faithful to you. I won't agree with that. I don't think she will give up. I must meet with that princess one day. Hey! Ju Weikai Brass Saber Army, what did you just say? You want the armed forces to get out of Rain City? I beg your pardon? I didn't catch that. I'm the city lord. Get out of Rain City before tonight. Humph. You can't boss us with a piece of paper. See if our Brass Saber Army will move tonight. Brass Saber Army? One of the strong forces here. Hu Beiling and Hu Chongming mentioned this. This army is far more powerful than those local bad guys. Looks like they are not gonna leave here easily. 3,000 soldiers in our army are skillful with their sabers. Even the military of the city is afraid to confront us. You'd better leave here with your wife quickly. Don't think about being a city lord. Just a private army headed by some saber masters. Since you think your army is so great, why don't you take a city and station yourself there? It's easier to take a city than to defend it. We know nothing except killing shit. This city is not rich. Why do you have to stay here? Didn't you hear that the decadent dragons appeared again? We're here to catch them. A complete dead dragon can sell for thousands of golden grits and tens of thousands with a high level. 
Decadent dragons, where is your camp? Take us there. All right, I'll show you what we can do. The camp of the Brass Saber Army, hey. Yeah. There are Saber Masters and Divine Mortals in your camp, but there seem to be no Dragon Tamers? Dragon Tamers are proud and arrogant. Why do I hire them? I might as well save the money for my men. Commander, I saw the Dragon Tamers of the Hu Army. Looks like they're up to something big. What do Hu Chongming and Hu Bailing want to do? Go. Keep an eye on them. Hey, City Lord. Aren't you going to expel all armed forces? Why not drive away the Hu Army first? They were the first to come to this city. We're in league with them. Damn it. Then aren't you here to spy? You're the one who invited us here. I did so to let you see what we can do clearly, and then you won't provoke us. How much do you want if we hire your army? Humph, our business is to attack cities, exterminate clans, and destroy dragons' lairs and monsters' dens. We're not gonna be frail boys and girls' guards. How much do you want? Is Yunzi trying to recruit members and hire them here? It depends. We need a deposit of 1.5 million. If we're going to attack cities, join the war between kingdoms, or eliminate some stubborn forces, additional fees will be charged according to dangerous levels and our losses. After all, the Huss are just cooperating with us, not completely obeying us. If we don't have an army of our own, it's really hard to root out the mixed forces in the city. Yunzi's idea is great. It only cost me one million golden grits to hire the Hu army, and their dragon tamers are easier to be mobilized. How can those young guys be compared with us who have experienced many battles? One million. If you agree, you can continue to be stationed here and follow my command. If you don't agree, pack up and leave. When night falls, everything in this city is at our disposal, including your lives. The price is a little low, but we can't kill a dragon within one or two days, and it may not be profitable. So it's better to accept it, and there is a fixed commission. Deal. One million. I can't believe he agreed. She's indeed Yunzi. Look. The city lord wants to drive away those armed forces by issuing a new decree. The lord must be a blockhead. He'll get himself killed for that. Just wait and see. You'll be surprised. The new lord will die tonight. Those armed forces will treat him like dirt. I heard that the Hu family is back. I wonder if it has anything to do with them. Humph. This city was ruined by them. How beautiful Rain City was. But it's full of bandits now. Guys, how much is the meat? The meat is not for sale. It's for the soldiers in the Lu Battalion. Then there's no need for the delivery. Lad, are you a newcomer? How do you know? Mr. Huang, a hunter. People here don't spend a penny on meat. Some fierce men would even snatch it directly. The Lu Battalion is barbaric. We'd better send them the meat or we'll be killed. I'm not kidding. The Lu Battalion has been rooted out by me for colluding with gangsters and raking in illicit money. In the evening, they will be beheaded publicly at the fair. Don't talk big on this matter, or you'll die. Excuse me. May I know your name? Zhu Minglang, Lord of Rain City. I made the decree. Come on. Do you really think I'd believe your bullshit? Mr. Mr. Huang, they all died. The soldiers of the Lu Battalion all died. What? It turns out what you just said is true. We didn't realize you were the real city lord. Please forgive us. Rise. Could you sell the meat to me now? It must be the first time you've been an official. Officials don't buy meat from ordinary people. The meat is for you as our present. Well, what a seasoned middle-aged man. No need. How much is it? Don't you want your life to go back in order? Fairness prevails, then a new rain city starts with a rule-based market. In that case, I'll give you a 50% discount. 80 golden grits for the meat on the cart. What do you think? I didn't see that coming. What a cunning old man. You spent 80 golden grits on the meat? Did you burn a hole in your pocket? I can buy you a farm with this sum in Ancestral Dragon City. Ahem, daily necessities here are very expensive, and meat is even rarer than gold and silver. That old man gave me a discount for my title. The meat isn't enough for Black Tooth even for a single meal. It's for us. What about Black Tooth? It will starve, as it eats thrice as much as before since it reached the Dragon Lord level. Ordinary pork doesn't offer much energy. How ye? You remember me, Mr. Zhu. What happened to him? Is he out of his mind? I have no idea. How ye, your swordsmanship needs improvement. 
Go kill some demonic beasts or demons with good meat and bring back their lean meat. The more, the better. I'll go with him. I know what Black Tooth likes to eat. By the way, I'll see if there are any other resources. Yes, Mr. Zhu. Wu Yi, take Nian Yin with you. She'll tell you what parts to cut off. You must cut with pinpoint accuracy. No problem. I'll practice according to your instructions and make a name for myself as a sword cultivator. Yunzi, have a taste. Tear this place down and kill anything that moves. Su Tong, General of the Lama Battalion. What's going on? Didn't I send Hu Beiling, Hu Chongming, and the Brass Saber Army to wipe out those disobedient forces? How could a troop surround us? Who are you? You don't deserve to stay here if you don't even know the Lama Battalion. We control this city, and you're just a lord in name only. How dare you order your men to kill us? I'm appointed by the kingdom and I have the certificate of appointment. Killing me means revolting against the kingdom. Humph, don't threaten me with the kingdom. I've killed all the former officials in Rain City. Damn it! Yunzi, watch out! You don't need a sword? Flying sword. Sword flash. Fly back. I should wipe out these soldiers who kill people like flies at once. Firefly sword. Don't get flustered. He cannot kill us all with just one sword. Archers, have him riddled with your arrows. Roar, black dragon. The leader of the Lama Battalion has a solid cultivation base. No wonder he is so cocky as to intrude into the residence of the new city head and shoot flaming arrows. Black Tooth and Qingzhua, kill them all. Howl roar. Roar. Bang. Kill them all. Only violence works when one wants to build a well-organized society. It's of no use to talk about virtue and kindness with these hooligan soldiers. Kill them. Kill. Damn. Don't run away. Don't go after them. Just let the Brass Saber Army tear down their camps. Stop. Come back. Good idea. Just let the Brass Saber Army deal with the rest. I have killed the elite soldiers of the Lama Battalion anyway. I'm sorry for all this. I didn't expect these soldiers would dare to come here. These herbs were planted by Xinghua. She'll be sad when she wakes up. It seems that we are too lenient with the armed forces here. Rumble. Is someone else here to get themselves killed? Clump, clump. We ran back when we heard the news, but you'd already killed them all. No, some of them escaped. Let's go. They're vulnerable. We'll exterminate the Lama Battalion. Listen, all rebels. The City Lord's decree stipulates that you're allowed to leave in the daytime. We will continue to hunt down rebels at night. I hope you'll choose the right path. After the battle last night, there are still three tough and die-hard forces in the city. Which three forces? The first one is the Red Blade Corps of the Two Kingdom consisting of more than 50,000 soldiers and the decree doesn't work on them. They're the strongest regular forces here. Expelling them is tricky and it'll hurt national interests. The second one is the Grey Wolf Cavalry, a local faction that does both legal and illegal business. The organization is comprised of residents, businessmen, gangsters, and soldiers here. It's also powerful. The last one is the D family, a big family engaging in the jewelry business on the Brown Continent. Rain City, the family manipulates this city with enormous financial firepower and has its own armed forces, so you shouldn't look down upon it. It's basically safe to say that the Red Blade Corps is the mastermind behind the operation of the Lama Battalion. We eradicated the vast majority of gangsters and bandits, so the interests of the Grey Wolf Cavalry were harmed. The D family is so ambitious that they want to control the whole Rain City so it can profit from collecting road tolls. None of these three threats should stay in Rain City. We can join another kingdom. But we have to occupy a kingdom beforehand, right? It deserves consideration. If Rain City joins one of the other three kingdoms, the Red Blade Corps of the two kingdom will have to get out of here. Which kingdom should we join? We don't even have solid connections with those kingdoms. The Lichuan Kingdom, because I'm the Grand Counselor there. Isn't the Lichuan Kingdom the new kingdom that just merged with the Jiting continent recently? What a surprise. We've heard a lot about you. Are you the Grand Counselor who captured the Rue Kingdom's capital? 
I remember that the Jiting Imperial Kingdom has a decree that the Lichuan Kingdom is protected until the Spring Festival. Any country waging wars against the Lichuan Kingdom will be sanctioned by the Jiting Imperial Kingdom. Yunzi, do you want to use that? Yes. Then the Red Blade Corps must unconditionally withdraw from Rain City, otherwise it will be regarded as an invasion. That's right. Though the kingdom is too far away to be able to help, the Divine Mortal Academy is on this continent. It won't sit back and watch. Great. There are still three months before the Spring Festival. We have time to hire seasoned soldiers to stabilize Rain City. Flutter, too. Roar, roar. I'm Zhu Minglang, the new lord of Rain City. 100,000 soldiers of the two kingdom are here. So majestic. Su Tai, I've heard of this name before. I believe you've received the order from the order sustainer of the Divine Mortal Academy. Rain City now belongs to the Lichuan Kingdom, so you can leave. I have received it, but we can continue to stay here if you give us permission. I'm here to ask you to reconsider it. After all, I, Su Tai, am a ruthless conqueror. Another conqueror? Tuwana, the king of two I met, is a conqueror. What titles do the ruling class have for dragon tamers? In a city or state war, they're often given titles like War Shadow, War Hero, War Vanguard. War Shadow, War Hero, War Vanguard, and the most famous conqueror. Sutai must be a dragon tamer who earned the title of the conqueror. One conqueror is as powerful as an army. I see. Sutai, right? You're not allowed to stay here. Zhu Minglang, the armistice can only protect you for three months. I'll give you one last chance to reconsider it. Otherwise, you and the Lichuan Kingdom will be destroyed when it expires. You should be grateful for this armistice, or you won't leave alive. Leave with your stupid army now, otherwise, they'll die here by nightfall. Humph. Let's go. Wait. You can go, but Su Tong has to stay. I'm free to come and go. What can you do to me? You're courting death. How dare you kill someone in my army? Put down your spear. You're still on my territory. You will pay for this. Seeing that we drove away the Two Kingdoms army, the D family offers tons of money for their stay in Rain City. What a cunning family. At the same time, they have also demobilized their armed forces under our pressure while retaining only some of the strongest soldiers to protect themselves. Although it's not that easy to expel the D family, we can use their funds to maintain current economic activities here. Well, only the Grey Wolf Cavalry hasn't taken action. Mr. Zhu, the leader of the Grey Wolf Cavalry, is here to see you. Let him in. I'm ashamed that I didn't know you had come here. I'm here to ask for your forgiveness and present my humble gift. Yu Gaojia, leader of the Grey Wolf Cavalry. I thought you come here to seek revenge. After all, we've hurt your interests. It's not like that. I'm elated and impressed by your elimination of bandits. Some people say that we're the protectors of bandits and gangsters. I swear to God, I never wanted to seek illegal money. So we have a misunderstanding of your organization? Maybe not. There's a small gang that helped those bandits for ill-gotten gains. I've ordered to eradicate that gang before I came. Rotten flesh should be cast away. What do you think, Mr. Zhu? He's a wily fox too, but since the city needs manpower, I have to keep him under control and use his faction. You did a good job. But you should make another plan as soon as possible since the order has been issued. Well, I made some mistakes when I was young. Although I want to change myself, no one believes it. Later I founded the Grey Wolf Cavalry composed mainly of homeless people who have criminal marks on them. They're from different states, but they can hardly find shelter for themselves in any state. You don't have many places to stay except for Rain City, right? That's right. I know you don't allow any bandits or gangsters to live here. I can wipe out them across the brown continent. We won't hesitate even if you ask us to slaughter dragons. We just hope to stay here. It depends on what you do next. I'll see whether you'll cut off evildoers or just play tricks. Residents of Rain City will also wait and see. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Now we've wiped out almost all armed forces. We'll get the city sealed in a month. It's good to have a place to stay, and the weather is pleasant. We can go check the wooden billboard with Yunzi to see if there are any good bounties when we're free. Sounds good. There's a smell of blood everywhere, so we may as well go on an outing. Wooden billboard, I didn't expect such a thing to happen in the Pear Blossom Valley. It's really miserable. Yeah, no one expected that. Many people may die. Not everyone dares to accept this task. What are you guys talking about? Is there someone with a higher bounty on his head than mine? 
It's the city lord and her highness. Someone found many zombie dragons in the Pear Blossom Valley. They eat anyone they see. Although the task has been issued, no one dares to accept it because those dragons are fierce and they stay together. When I went out, I heard Hu Bailing and Hu Chongming quarreling. Over what? I think Hu Bailing wanted to take their men to kill those zombie dragons while her brother insisted on fortifying Rain City first. Hu Bailing must be very familiar with those dragons, there's no bounty written on that paper, but it must suit our level since no one dares to take it. I accept this task. Three million golden grits, praised it to my lord. Tell Hu Chongming to stay here. Hu Bailing will take us there. The next day. Swish. Hey, are you here to kill dragons or have fun? Eh? I'm sorry. Could you tell us something about zombie dragons? Zombie dragons hid in the Pear Blossom Valley when we tried to mop up dragons across the brown continent. After years of recovery and cultivation, they've gotten very powerful. Is there anything special about the Pear Blossom Valley? Why did they hide in there? The place abounds with aquatic gems and is home to an ancient tribe in seclusion. There are many hidden rivers, caves, demons, and monsters, so few outsiders go there. How many people does the tribe have? Between 20,000 and 30,000. They have seven large villages and hundreds of small villages. Although their overall strength is not weak, ordinary villagers can't protect themselves in the face of zombie dragons. I'm afraid thousands of people have been killed. How long will it take to get there? It's right ahead. I heard that for the fourth time. Be careful. No wonder it's still untouched though being surrounded by the four kingdoms nearby. The roads are too complicated. People are likely to fall into bottomless caves, valleys full of poison, or undercurrents if they're careless. Here we are. The first village in the Peach Blossom Valley. Look, this is the first village in the Peach Blossom Valley. Finally. I walked off my feet. San Luo, gatekeeper. Who are you? We're from Rain City. We accepted your request for help and came here to wipe out zombie dragons. I'll open a crack, and you should hurry up and come in because zombie dragons are spying on us somewhere. I didn't feel any dragons along the way. Even demons and evil spirits didn't show up. It's too quiet. Wait. The fact that no demons and evil spirits came out meant they were aware of some more dangerous creatures nearby. Damn it. Come in now. Ming Lang. Mr. Zhu. Hey. There's still one person outside. I'll go save him, but we cannot open the gate. Why not? That dragon hasn't gotten close. Although its odor is harmless to humans, it pollutes water. The walls and gates made of special wood can block its odor. If the odor goes through the crack of the gate, the whole village will die without water. Don't worry about me. Let me test its strength. Hey, don't go down. He's our city lord, and he's pretty strong. Strong? It seems you know nothing about zombie dragons. Ha! Will you look at that? Qingzhua. Roar. Demon Shadow. Power of Plant Flourishing. It's so fast. If Qingzhua soars now, he would be bitten by the decadent dragon and couldn't get rid of it until he died. Don't let it get close to you, Qingzhua. What a ferocious, decadent dragon. All its targets are Qingzhua's vulnerable parts such as his eyes, throat, and wings. Fortunately, Qingzhua has the bloodline of the giant forest dragon, so he is not afraid of close combat. What? There is another decadent dragon. The one that is fighting with Qingzhua is just trying to distract my attention. I was so careless. Since one decadent dragon can escape from my perception, there might be more. I can only summon one dragon pet from my spiritual domain now. Even if it is a sword spirit dragon, it can only block one decadent dragon's attack in an instant. What should I do? Bai Chi is awake. Chirp, bloodline awaken. Damn it. The decadent dragons are too fast. Chirp. Something is wrong. The demon shadow made the decadent dragons bite the living crazily like zombies even if they're reduced to skeletons. Chirp. Fortunately, I summoned Bai Chi instead of a sword spirit dragon. Or that decadent dragon would have bitten me even if I cut off its head. Qingzhua. Has he killed the decadent dragon, too? He's so powerful. He killed three decadent dragons. 
He killed three decadent dragons. Who killed three decadent dragons? This is Zhu Minglang, the new lord of Rain City. He came to help you after reading the rescue letter from the Pear Blossom Valley. Thank you so much, Mr. Zhu. We didn't know that three demon shadow decadent dragons were ambushed in front of the gate. If you hadn't come, I'm afraid all the patrols would be killed tomorrow. Head of the first village San Xuanchan, these decadent dragons are meticulous and work so well together. They're really scary. Decadent dragons are natural killers. According to the religious institutions, they used to be death servants. They have the bloodline of slaughters. They were born to kill. Any living creature is their prey. They pounce on it without hesitation even if they'll die. It's true. But the decadent dragons in the past were not so terrible. They seem to have evolved. Have you seen the demon shadow? It didn't exist before. Dirty Night Decadent Dragon, you said the aura of decadent dragons was toxic and would pollute the water. Are these their new abilities? Yes, that's the Dirty Night Decadent Dragon. Once people drink the contaminated water, they will be bewitched by the decadent dragons and help them kill. Pollute the water and bewitch people? We only know these abilities. Some decadent dragons are more terrifying and have a strong killing talent. It is said that they not only appeared in Pear Blossom Valley, but also in some towns and villages on the Brown Continent. Do you know the approximate number of decadent dragons? I have no idea. The situation here is not bad. At least we have guarded the water and have enough food. As for the other villages, we can't help them. Sir, bad news. I'm afraid something has happened to the guys who sent water to the second village. Only the eagle flew back covered in blood. What? What's going on? The water in the second village has been contaminated a week ago. All the villagers there can only get water from a few old wells. We sent a team to deliver water yesterday. Now it seems that they have been killed by the decadent dragons. If you are willing to help, please send some water to the second village. Otherwise, many people will die from dehydration even if we kill the decadent dragons. Prepare some water bags that are convenient for us to carry. We will go there overnight. Thank you. Please accept these gems as a token of our appreciation. Pear Blossom Valley is rich in gems. The D family has always wanted to do long-term business with them, but they failed. Mr. Zhu, we'll go all out this time. If Rain City can take charge of the gem business here in the future, it will add a large amount of income to our city's revenue every year. Saving lives is the will of an upright person like me. Gems are nothing important. But I don't want to refuse your kindness. I guess there are at least 200,000 golden grits. I can buy food for my dragons. Are you tired? Why don't you go back to the first village with Yusua and wait for me there? I'll deliver the water by myself. I feel more relieved to be with you. Did you make a prediction? Yes, many people will die. We will try our best. Don't worry. H help. Someone is calling for help. I'll go and take a look. Stay here. The astrologer is always kind. Why is she stopping me from saving that guy? Is it dangerous? Yes. The cries for help are getting weaker. Even if we go down there now, I'm afraid, all right. I'm San Luo from the first village of Pear Blossom Valley. I'm bringing you drinking water. Open the door. Don't believe them. Kill them. Are you crazy? We brought you drinking water overnight. Why are you shooting us? Humph. What a bunch of ingrates. Shoot him. Mysterious Chi door. Bang. Yusua, be gentle. They started the fight. Humph. Humph. Ouch. Stop. Ow. Don't hit my face. We are wrong. Ouch. Creek. Please come in. Square of Stone Village. She is so cruel. Ah. My belly hurts. My waist. My head hurts. I have a concussion. Mr. Huang, I'm San Luo. Why did you attack us? Second Village Huang Lu, before you arrived, a group of people who claimed to bring water to us attacked us with many decadent dragons after they came in. Many people died, and the last few wells were completely destroyed. That's impossible. The previous teams were probably eradicated. How could they send you water? Were they bewitched? Right. The first team members must have been bewitched. How about moving out? The wells have been contaminated, and you can't live here. 
Do you think we haven't tried? Once we leave the village, groups of decadent dragons would appear. There's no way to get out of here. You can't just hide in here and wait for death. Look at those walls, they can't resist the decadent dragons at all. Eh? There seems to be sound over there. Yusua, I think there's something wrong. I'll go check it out. Stay here and protect everyone. Okay. Don't worry. H help. Help, run. Is the sound coming from the well? I'm not sure. Are you asking for help or warning me? Run. Shirmairu. Help, ha ha ha. H help. It's imitating human cries. No wonder Xinghua stopped me from saving people on the way here. These decadent dragons are using human cries to attract people to fall into their trap. Damn it! Yusua, protect Xinghua and Yin Yin. This village is a trap. Yusua, what is Zhu Minglang shouting? Are you alright, Mr. Huang? Are you controlled by decadent dragons too? Ha ha ha. Damn it! Run! How could this be? Are they crazy? Turns out the stone villagers were bewitched, not the people who delivered water. This place has become a nest of decadent dragons. No wonder we didn't see any decadent dragons along the way. They were waiting for us to fall into the net. What about Master? Let's get out of here first. I'll close the door and lock these monsters inside. Mr. Zhu is so powerful that he's able to escape. Zhu Minglang, we're leaving now. Take care of yourself. Zhu Minglang Vachu. I know I have to run. But it's too late. I'm surrounded. Chirp, Bai Chi, stop them. Come with me. I'm a dragon tamer. I can protect you. You will die if you stay here. You were the one who reminded me to run away, right? Trust me. I'm not bewitched by the decadent dragons. My friends are waiting for me outside the village. It's not safe here. I'll take you out. Is that your dragon? Yes, it's Bai Chi, and it has reached the middle monarch level. Roar, roar. Are there more decadent dragons? We are attacked from the front and the back. MOE Shadow Armor. How dare you besiege me? I'm not a pushover. Is this your dragon too? Yes. With MOE and Bai Chi, we will both survive. But they all died. I should go to accompany them. I just don't know how to end my life. I was lying next to them and whispering. They told me to be quiet, but I didn't want to see anyone else end up like those who brought water. Chirp, you're too slow. Blaze a trail. Bai Chi is resisting the decadent dragons behind us. Let's charge out. Qingzhua, come out. Xinghua, come on up. I'll deal with the decadent dragons on the ground. You take care of the batwing dragons in the sky. No problem. Summon Fire Kailan. That's the dragon Nan Lingxiao often drew. So it is Nan Yusuo's dragon pet. Hu Beiling, protect Fang Yin Yin and San Luo. We'll take care of the rest. Okay. Giant elephant dragon. Nyin Yin, come on up. Got it. I have to prepare some drinking water for future use. We'd better run right now. There are so many decadent dragons behind us. Don't worry. Bai Chi is here. They won't rush over in a short time. Is Bai Chi a dragon pet of Zhu Minglang's? It's so powerful. Stay close to me. Charge. Howl. Don't be afraid. Qingzhua, land. Thud. Is it a coincidence? Why do I feel that this beautiful girl is controlling all this? Is she sad for the dead villagers? Don't be sad. Actually, they died when they were bewitched. I can't see their souls anymore. Are you a spiritualist? What is that? Could you see their souls? Yes. People's souls would linger for a while after they die. But their souls have long been missing. I told them that the people on patrol had lost their souls after they came back, but they all scolded me for talking nonsense. Later, I was afraid of being scolded, so I could only watch more and more people losing souls without saying anything. Miss, I shouldn't be so cowardly, right? If only I had told all the villagers earlier, the village wouldn't have ended up like this, right? It's not your fault. Something is wrong. It was too weird that I didn't even hit a single batwing dragon after so many slashes in a row. Boom. 
Are they better at dodging than ordinary creatures, or can they predict my actions? Or do they have some kind of group aura? Could it be? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Zhu Minglang. I knew it. They fly too neatly, or rather, exactly the same. Bang. If I'm right, there should be a leader among them, guiding all the batwing dragons. We must kill their leader first to break their formation. But which one is the leader? So weird. These dragons have been hovering over me, but they don't attack. Are they trying to stall me so that other dragons can have time to kill Yusuo? If I pretend to support Yusuo now, they will certainly chase after me. The one that responds the quickest should be the leader. I won't play with you anymore. Bye. Roar, they're beasts after all. Smart as they might be, they're no match for human beings. A beast is always a beast. Puff. Roar, roar, you've lost your leader. It's so easy to kill you now. By the way, I have to thank you for helping me acquire this amazing swordsmanship. Roar, the fire sword coilet dragon. I thought Zhu Minglang would die for sure. I didn't expect him to be so powerful. We shouldn't go back to the first village now, in case of leading the chasing dragons back. We have to make a detour. But the streams in the valley are all polluted. I was so smart to bring a few more water bags with me, or we would all die of thirst. I didn't expect the entire second village, sigh these damn decadent dragons. Don't be too sad. We'll solve this problem. The wounds caused by decadent dragons are corrosive, it's a little tricky to cure them. Luckily, after restoring the bloodline, Bai Chi became powerful. If Dirty Night Decadent Dragons broke in, we'd all die. Now we have to wait until dawn. The dragon's stealth ability will be greatly reduced then. The next day. We've run out of water. Many dragon pets haven't drunk water. If they're thirsty, their strength will be greatly damaged. Take a rest. I'll check if there are any clean streams. Master, let me go with you. No need. You can sleep a little longer. Humph, you have no sense of direction at all. How can you find water? You'd better let her guide you. Who said I had no sense of direction? Let's go that way. But I do have no goal and can only walk around the valley. It'll be much better to have an astrologer with me. There are ancient relics in Pear Blossom Valley. In the past, there might be a group of decadent dragons hiding in the valley and accidentally entering the ancient relics. So the whole dragon clan evolved into such a terrible form. I observed the stars last night and found that the relics are deep in this valley. If we can find the relics, maybe we can find a way to deal with these decadent dragons. Right. And the existence relics indicates there's a piece of ancient divine lamp jade in it. There may also be many other rare spiritual resources. Great. Hurry up. Let's go find the ancient relics. Achoo. This wind is so weird. It comes from the valley, but it's more piercing than the wind in the valley. Could it come from the relics? Maybe. The energy in ancient relics is disordered, so it may break the restriction and create space cracks. That's where the wind comes from. With this wind, we should be able to find the cracks and get into the relics. Are the relics a separate space? No, there's just a restriction that can isolate time. It was usually because of the collision between a huge floating continent and an ancient star, the huge shock caused by the collision disturbed the order of time. Because of the time disorder in the relics, some spiritual creatures might grow against time. In our world, it may take tens of thousands of years to become a sacred creature, but in the relics, it may only take a few years. 100 years to be a demon, 1,000 years to be a fiend, and 10,000 years to be a saint. In the relics, there may be 10,000-year-old spiritual resources, as well as 10,000-year-old sacred spirits. Maybe when I go to look for the ancient lamp jade, I'd be slapped to death by the dragon god. Ahem, Xinghua, can you predict what will happen to us this time? Are you afraid? Not at all. I'm just worried that no one will take care of you, decadent dragons are not extinct inside. It means that the relics are not murderous places. We'll be fine. You're an astrologer. How could you deduce it? Make a prediction. I believe in your metaphysics. It took me a lot of energy to observe the stars last night. The restriction will also interfere with the power of prophecy, I'd better use the coin. What are you doing? Predict our fortune. Which side do you want? Can't you be more professional? You look like a naive girl who predicts her love with petals. Just choose one. The side with flowers. Here, flowers. So, we're lucky here. Yes. Well, since this works, will petals also be useful to predict love? If the person you like really loves you, no matter how dull you are, you can also feel it from her words and actions. 
If you hold the petals with doubt, it means the one you love doesn't care about you, and the answer will be no. I didn't expect her to be an unpredictable emotional master. Crack, what a wonderland. The coldness seems to come from the stone cracks. The relics are right here. It's too narrow. How do we get in? Let me do it. Click, click, click. Boom, crack. They're really the ancient relics. We found it. There's usually more than one entrance to the ancient relics. Those dragons didn't find this crack, which leaves us a chance. Let's go in now and figure it out. Okay. In the secret path of the ancient relics. Could this crack be one way? Can we get out later? Don't worry. Some cracks may change and vanish, but it'll take decades, even a century. Ancient Longneck Dragon, we're now in the relics. There's a clean stream ahead. Great. I'll drink enough water this time and bring back three days water for everyone. Venomous flies. They're attacking the ancient Longneck Dragon. Buzz buzz. Puff. Polluted. Well. Venomous fly dragon. Watch out. There's also a translucent venom sac in the tail belly of the venomous fly dragon, the same as that of the dirty knight decadent dragon. As expected, the decadent dragons in Pear Blossom Valley come from the relics. The water here was also polluted. Let's go upstream. Look at the stream. It's amazing. The polluted water has become clear again. The stream had a strong self-purification ability. Nature has the ability to circulate and purify. The reason why the poison of Dirty Night Decadent Dragons cannot be purified is that it comes from ancient times. In today's environment, it is difficult to find the antidote. You mean, there's something that can detoxify the poison in the relics? Yes, such as the resin of this tree. By Chi, go scratch the bark. He, with these resins, the water in Pear Blossom Valley can be purified. Let's get ready to go. Squeak squeak, there are ordinary decadent dragons in the relics. I still can't figure out where the powerful shadow of demon shadow decadent dragons came from. Keep up and find their nest. Maybe we can figure out the secrets of the evolution of decadent dragons. Okay. What this is the place? Yes, look at those decadent dragons. They're biting the fruits of a vine. Weird. Dragons only eat living creatures. How could they come to eat fruits? Could it be? Does their demon energy come from these fruits? It's demon awakening fruit. I thought it had long been extinct. Mr. Koi, do you know this? Demon awakening fruits can summon the power of demon god, but this effect can only last a short time and the fruit is only effective for special dragons such as decadent dragons and sacred cyan forest dragons. I see. It turns out decadent dragons got their demon shadows from these fruits. What are you waiting for? Pack all these fruits. I'd rather give them to Qingzhuo than leave them to these dragons. Okay, I'll go then. Sword spirit dragon can protect you. No need. Don't hesitate. She's an astrologer. Even if you die a thousand times, she won't get hurt at all. I'd better leave two dragons. Qingzhua, Black Tooth, stay here and protect Qinghua. Since they're good things, I'll take them all. Bai Qi, M-O-E, let's go. Chirp. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Bai Qi, no big deal. They're just courting death. No. They're helping their companions eat the fruits on the sly. As long as one of them evolves into a demon shadow decadent dragon, with their large amount, they can fight against Bai Qi. Bai Chi, don't waste time on those batwing dragons. Chirp. Wanna play cat and mouse? You chose the wrong opponent. In terms of flexibility and agility, Bai Chi is much better than you. There are a lot of fruits here and few dragons. Let's pick one. Smell, smell. Chirp. Squeak, puff. Phew. Crack, chirp. I can't pick it off. Even you cannot pick off the vine ball by freezing it. No wonder only a few of those dragons got the fruit for so long. Chirp. I'll deal with other dragons. Master, you can find a way yourself. Okay, then try to kill all the decadent dragons who haven't gotten the demon shadow. Don't let go of any of them. I'll get Qingzhua. Chirp. No problem. Ugh. Ugh. Help. It's a voice transforming decadent dragon that can imitate a call for help. It's very evil and scheming. I must kill it first. M-O-E, kill it. 
Xinghua, why are you here with Qingzhua? It's dangerous. You'd better stay away. I heard the sound of voice transforming decadent dragon. It was calling for that thing. It's an ancient venomous fly dragon. How many years has it lived? It even has demon horns on his head. Qingzhua and Black Tooth are no match for it. Mo Yi, kill this ancient venomous fly dragon first. They're a team. Hiss, come on, avoid it. Run to the floating cliff. Okay. Buzz. No escape. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Mosiat has drawn the ancient venomous fly dragon away. Let's pick the fruits. These vine balls are too strong. Even magic is useless. Those dragons use their claws and teeth to rub the fruits little by little to get them. Look. Dragon whisper, buzz buzz. Is Qingzhuo communicating with it? It can be opened with a few words? So simple. It seems good. It must be tasty. I want to eat one. No. If a human eats it, a sky vine will grow out of his belly. I didn't expect the fruit to have such a strong delusion effect. The fruits can tempt some creatures that cannot digest them. Once they're eaten, they'll absorb nutrients desperately. Puff. When the time comes, they'll germinate and break people's stomachs. Got it. I'll ask Blacktooth to pick all the fruits nearby, and then we'll find a place to wait for Bai Chi. Kingsweo, can you eat these fruits? Cheap. I'll be okay even if I eat 100 fruits, oh. I'll also be fine if I eat it. Give me one. You're just greedy, you can't eat them on the sly. Once you lower your head, I'll hit your head. Remember? Oh. Zhu Minglang. Roar roar so annoying. Luckily, it's spacious enough for Blacktooth to fight. Before Bai Chi comes back, we have to protect these fruits. Follow me, Blacktooth. Qingzhua, protect Xinghua and the fruits. Watch out. Cheap. Master, you're so cool, there are too many decadent dragons, and they're too fast. Blacktooth can't deal with so many at the same time, Qingzhua, huh? Cheap. Is Qingzhua demonized? Cheap, cheap. After eating the demon awakening fruit, he has procured both sacred chi and demonic power. As I said, this is of great help to a sacred cyan forest dragon. I can tell Qingzhua is making huge progress and becoming more powerful. Swoosh. Cheap. Qingzhua is controlling the sky vine. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Plunge, plunge. Cheap. Roar, 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 feasting. Roar. Plunge, plunge, plunge. Qingzhua is way stronger than he was. Feels like most deities or demons are no match for him. Swish. Plunge. 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 Massacre. Because of his damaged constitution, Qingzhua failed to enter the maturation stage. But the demon awakening fruit fixed this problem. With the power of demon god, he is nearly as powerful as Bai Qi and Mo Yi. When will the demon awakening fruit stop taking effect? Soon enough, but after this fight comes to an end at least. Is there any side effect? Will this kind of fruit be useless if Qingzhua takes too many of them? That won't happen, or you hadn't seen those decadent dragons so crazy. That does make a point. The power of the demon shadow will be gone soon enough, but I've got a pile of demon awakening fruits. Qingzhua will become a mighty dragon monarch once he has won before any battles. He has found a way to level up from the ancient relics. There are almost no demon shadow decadent dragons left. How is it going with Bai Qi? Patter. Roar. Run. Roar. Where should I go? The Skyvine is under the sacred cyan forest dragon's control. We have nowhere to go. Chirp. Chirp. I finally found you. Time to end this. Roar. Chirp. Roll. Swish. Roll. Destructive power. Crack. Roar. It's dissolving my body by using some kind of unknown power. I've got to run away ASAP. Swish. That dragon gets in my way. But I can't step back in case the Skyvine will kill me. Better rush into the forest. Dashing? Trying to run away? That forest will be its grave. Cheap. Roar, roar, roar. Swish. Plunge. Well done. 
Cheer Chirp. Voice transforming decadent dragon and ancient venomous fly dragon soul cores are mine. I'll make 200,000 golden grits at least. Hooray. Why don't we head out to the floating cliff? Maybe there are some treasures we've not found yet. All right. It's merely a tiny island without any treasures. We came to a dead end thanks to this cliff. Shall we climb over it? Better not. Have you seen those ancient worm nests under the cliff? None of them is a pushover. So let's come back. There's surely another access to the relic. We can ask some elders in the Pear Blossom Valley. Maybe they're aware of it. Sure. Perhaps we can ask Hujiarui about decadent dragons since his ancestors had fought against them for ages. Those dragons used to take command of the Brown Continent. But their origins still remain unknown. Maybe they're from the ancient relics. Coming out from the cracks of the relics, they kept destroying the land around them. Good point. But without demon awakening fruits, those dragons stand no chance of continuing their sabotage. It's also such a relief to villagers in the Pear Blossom Valley. Exactly. And I'll head to their nest and deal with all of them in a while. Here you are. Lim? That's odd. Is Nan Yusuan not supposed to ask what we did before we came back? Thinking I might take advantage of Xinghua, she used to investigate me once seeing us come back together. What's going on with her? Why did you return here again? We were only gone for a while in their eyes. That explains a lot. Time in the ancient relics is not the same as one in the world we live in. Quite amazing, isn't it? Let's pay another visit there as long as we manage to purify the wells. I've got lots of treasures from the relics this time. There are surely something undiscovered. By the way, what's your name? You've not told us yet. Shirmairu. That's a good name. Who came up with it? Sure. Is Shirvoi your grandmother? Yeah. You lived in the village alone, didn't you? Mrs. Shir got injured in the middle of easing the tension among villages. She was a hero in the Pear Blossom Valley. Sure she was. If it hadn't been for her, the Pear Blossom Valley might not have existed. San Luo, where is the stream in this valley from? An underground cave where it's strewn with crystals. The water from there is mixed with mud and gem pieces, which sustain our life. The stream with gems? What a rich place. But no matter how rich they are, living a peaceful life is daydreaming. I got some resins able to purify the water. Can anyone take me to that cave? Actually, that cave is dark and easy to get you lost with watercourses in all directions. We have no idea where the water exactly is from either. I can go with you. I might know the exact location. Don't be ridiculous. Even the best patrol in our village stands the slightest chance of finding it, not to mention a little girl. A person who fell over the Rift Valley told me a dark lake in that underground cave was filled with gems. That's likely to be the place you need to go. Where is that person now? The grave back in the village. He said he hated water that ruined everything he had. Until the storm washed away the cave he was trapped in, he managed to get out. I buried him properly. And in return, he shared that secret with me. Don't tell me it was a corpse who fell into the river. It was. I've been able to communicate with the dead since I grew up. Communicate with the dead? How does that work? It's true. She's a spiritualist. The soul of the deceased lingers in the world for quite a long time. And seeing it is what spiritualists are capable of. They can talk to the soul and even control it. Soul? Is that spirit? How horrifying. So do you know where to find that dark lake in the underground cave? Sure. I walked along that way once. But I stopped when I saw the rift he told me. I didn't go down there. We should split up. Shu Bailing you will stay here to protect Nyan Yin and San Luo. The rest will head for the dark lake with her and take all treasures, uh, pour the resins into the lake. While I'll kill decadent dragons in the stone village. All right. You will kill dragons on your own? Are you sure about it? Don't worry. I might have needed help earlier. But this time, I can handle it. Qingzhua is nearly a dragon monarch with his demonic power. And demon awakening fruits are mine now. Those dragons have lost demon shadow. I can deal with all in the right way. Yusua, let little Chang'e go with him and offer some help. Humph. Fine. If it hadn't been for Xinghua, I'd have come back to village and dealt with dragons. Swoosh. I want to travel, not fight. Do you know any magics to help us return to being our best? We just had a fight in the ancient relics. Nope. I'm not as omniscient as you think of me. So there's only one way for me. 
Find their leader and kill them all. Stone Village, holy shit. Decadent dragons are guarding the gate. How should I get in there and find their leader? I wish an observant dragon that is skilled in hiding itself would sneak in there. Alas. I need more dragons. Sure you do. You only have four now. But you don't raise any young spirits. Just have some, for God's sake. You're the only one I can share all I've got with. Slap. That's because I've not found a young spirit I want to raise. Well, just hunt one. You can come to some sacred mountains and search for the supreme dragon. If you keep one under your control, that will save you lots of golden grits to tame it. Hunt a dragon? An adult wild dragon is too mature to respect people like us. Signing the soul contract with it is not easy. Not to mention a rookie like me. Any recommendation, Mr. Koi? It will take so long to find a rare one. A purple dragon is a good choice for you. A purple dragon? That's incredible. It's just a matter of time to have dragons with all kinds of colors. How Shoutsong has a demonic goat like purple dragon, doesn't he? Do I have to find another one in the purple forest sect? Exactly. Purple forest sect is the leader of four sects in the g Ting continent. They can discover purple dragon's descendants from common young spirits and help creatures transform into dragons. I see. Once all of this is finished, I'll get one. Let me make up an excuse to start a competition in the Purple Forest Sect. And as long as I win it, I'll demand them to give me a Purple Dragon as the reward. There are various Purple Dragons, with some of them having a less pure bloodline than your Black Tooth. So you need to find a Supreme One. Roar my bloodline is not pure. Keep your mouth shut. Among those Black Crocodiles in ancient times, you are the only one making such huge progress. We often call it a miracle, got it? Well now, food is the only thing you focus on. You totally waste your amazing tongue. You will be the first one fighting against decadent dragons then. Roar never mind, Black Tooth. You will get better with the molten heavy armor as long as I manage to awaken the inscription on it. Those dragons are still there. How do we get in? I know a way in. Shake. Is this the way you found? How did you know the secret place? Say thanks to my instinct. Back when we came to the second village, people who were controlled were just like anyone else. They even pretended to defend against dragons. That young spiritualist said they lost their souls. If they're dead now, how are they acting like they're still alive? Who is me controlling them? Commander assistant capable subordinates errant dragons, let's say decadent dragons constitute a hierarchical tribe. Which kind of dragons is supposed to control those people's minds? Despite their awareness, Ancient Venomous Fly Dragon and Dirty Knight Decadent Dragon are incapable of bewitching people. Unless they're guided by a clever one who is also aware of everything about people. But even if there is one matching my description, the living is all it's able to control. The dead are not included. The only one who can talk to the dead is that spiritualist. No wonder I found her words a bit weird. I've got to check the grave where that spirit was drowned as she said. This is supposed to be the grave she told us. Um... Elder Shirhua? In memory of Elder Shirhua. She lied to us. Here is not the grave of that drowning person. I thought that girl survived by hiding among the dead in the well, which kept decadent dragons from getting her smell. But the reason she hid there was probably, she didn't want people to realize she was controlling those corpses. She is the leader of those decadent dragons. We were deceived by her. Xinghua and Yusuo might get in danger. That spiritualist could tell them to head for the nest of decadent dragons. Find your master, change. We need to catch up with them ASAP. Sure. Follow my lead, you idiot. Hope it's not late. Here we are. That rift I told you about. Stay here with Myru. We'll get down there. All right. I guess Zhu Mingling has also realized something is wrong. That way. Thanks to me, you could find them so soon. It was Xinghua who told change to go with me. Did she find this fraud out and want me to come back in time? What a complex terrain. The dark lake in that underground cave could be where decadent dragons live. Yusua is not powerful enough to protect everyone. I gotta speed up. Miss, ladies outside the village are as pretty as you. Have you never come out of the Pear Blossom Valley? My granny didn't allow me. She ever blamed me for walking out of the village. Was she hard on you? Not really. She kept me from telling anyone that I saw spirits or talking to them. She always said what I saw were not spirits. But you could have left here after her death. Why are you still here then? Because Granny said there was no way I could get out until every villager was dead. 
Is that why you attempted to kill everyone in the village from the start? Decadent dragons are an excuse you made up, right? I'm confused, miss. Damn it. There are only two of them. Xinghua might get in danger. Does that mean I need to wait here? Let me put it simply. Did you control those dead villagers? I did. They also lived in the Pear Blossom Valley. Why did you kill them? I didn't get them killed. I meant to drive you away by controlling them. But you were way more powerful than I imagined. So did those decadent dragons end their lives? Neither did they. Swish. You slaughtered every villager. You were way more ruthless than decadent dragons. We didn't kill them. I checked the grave you said. It was not for a drowning spirit. I want no more tricks from those dragons, or you'll regret this. Regret what? Didn't you see anything? She came up just like that? Sure I did. I found numerous gems and poured the resins into the lake. In a while, people in the Pear Blossom Valley will have clean water. No sign of decadent dragons down there? I wish I would find some. But Dirty Night Decadent Dragons didn't find this place. And there was no trace left by decadent dragons in the dark lake. Were we wrong about her? But she admitted it. Take your eyes off Myru. You've not answered my question yet. You got me wrong. I was asking if she met any clever decadent dragon ever. In my view, I thought there was a mastermind behind all this. If we know its features and capabilities, we may have a chance of getting it. Phew. Anyway, let's take a look down there, by Chi. There are lots of gems, as she said. Chirp. Any nest of decadent dragons? Chirp. Nope. No decadent dragons came here. What about gems? Chirp. I put them in my tail. We're unlikely to find decadent dragons even by searching every corner in the Pear Blossom Valley. That's it. Let's come back and join Yin Yin. There you are. How did it go? The water has been purified. And those decadent dragons outside the stone village were gone, with a few of them hiding far away from here. Really? That's brilliant. Sorry for underestimating you. I truly didn't expect you to find where the water was from. Myru, you played a great role in repelling decadent dragons around the villages. You're a hero as your grandma was. That was what I should do. Thank you for purifying the water and getting rid of decadent dragons. Here's to you. You barely eat, Zhu Minglang. Something is weird with the Pear Blossom Valley. I'd better leave here ASAP. Tell you what. A childhood friend of mine fell ill last year and was sent away for proper treatment. But since that, I've never heard from that friend, so I'm so sorry to hear that. But I also want you to know everyone is meant to die. Sure we are. I was told you knew the secret to extending your life expectancy. Is that true? No one is allowed to leave here because what you want is to isolate yourselves from fights, which is the best way to stay safe. Haha. Ha. That does make sense. Cheers. We're leaving then. Still got things to do. In the days to come, you'll fight against decadent dragons on your own. All right. But I do hope you have this bag of gems. We all appreciate what you did for us. Thanks. You seem different, Zhu. Are we really leaving here without dealing with all the decadent dragons? Huh. I don't want to stay here anymore. What's going on? Actually, have you found everyone there a bit weird? We'd only talked to a few people since our arrival. They also didn't show us around. At the idea of our intention to leave, they walked me out. Anything else? And their houses. Despite the light in them, none of their houses felt like home. One in an isolated place is not like that. No kids hang out or women chattered. There were no vendors selling stuff. I even didn't hear clucks or barks. That's creepy, Nyan Yin. There's something we don't know about why the Pear Blossom Valley is an isolated place. Precisely. It's supposed to be a village controlled by spiritualists. A village controlled by spiritualists? More specifically, it's a village full of the dead. It's said about 30,000 people lived here. But only people we've seen are alive. And they're all spiritualists. Those dead villagers we met in the stone village were not bewitched by decadent dragons. Instead, they were controlled by Shermiru. Did she guide those decadent dragons to slaughter the whole village? No, they're dead from the outset. Are they ghosts? Really? 
Not every spiritualist is able to control the soul except the powerful ones. They can even make the soul look alive. The Pear Blossom Valley is where the spiritualists live. They manage each village by controlling souls. That's why people outside think it's merely an isolated place, isn't it? Oh, my. The girl I hang out with, is she a spiritualist or just dead? But those decadent dragons, they're under our control. Those dragons are basically our pets. It's you, Song Luo. And, we prefer you to call us gods of death than spiritualists. Decadent dragons are servants of gods of death, that refers to you. No wonder those dragons are not extinct yet. Turns out you're behind this. Since you figured out our secret, there's no way you can leave here. Is he controlling corpses? Howlett's trap strewn with graves here. That's why they didn't ask us to stay longer. Howl. Roar, roar. Swoosh. Eat this, Qingzhua. And deal with those decadent dragons. Cheap. Chirp. Howl. Freeze them, by Qi. Chili Frost. Damn it. I knew Zhu Minglang is rather powerful, but didn't expect my ghouls to be so weak when fighting his white dragon. Have you asked people from the third and fourth village for help? I have. They shouldn't have disrespected us. Once our reinforcements are here, they have no way out. Boom. Boom. Ghouls formation howl howl. They're improved in defense. Fire might work on them. I can give it a go. Let me burn you to ashes. Go incinerate them in their graves. Jeez. Such a violent woman. Roll my ghouls. How wicked she is. Where are our reinforcements? They're probably still on the way here. Probably? Did you tell them or not? You did double-cross us. You lied to us that you took them to the wrong place because you forgot where the demon cave was, didn't you? You're a shameless traitor just like your grandma. We should have killed you. Please save that girl, Mr. Zhu. Unlike them, she's been helping us leave here. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Watch out, father. There's a sword coming to you. What? Cough. Ugh, father. I'm gonna kill you all and make you my puppets. Roar, roar, roar. You bring this on yourself. He fire sword collect dragon. Pay a price for ending my father's life. Flying sword. Sword flash. Plunge. Flop. Bite. Instead of acting as your pets, those decadent dragons took advantage of you to kill more people. Boom boom. Destructive eyes. After restoring the bloodline, Bai Chi has mastered an unknown mystic art. Swoosh. Those bathing dragons are running away. I can tell them to come back. Is she controlling Song Xuanshan who is already dead? Swish. Look back. They're flying back. Leave them to your Kailan, Yusuo. All right. Send them to hell, Fire Kailan. Roar. Were those decadent dragons raised by your clansmen? No, what we used to do was learn how to be a spiritualist. Some spiritualists able to communicate with decadent dragons just came out of nowhere. The goings were merely gatekeepers of our village. There are more professional spiritualists. Get out of here before they get back to you. What about you then? I don't know. Could she leave with us? Staying here seems unlikely to her. All right. Off we go then. But why did I never find anything out of ordinary? The Pear Blossom Valley used to be a peaceful shelter rich in resources for spiritualists. But one day, the deceased was transferred to spiritualists instead of being buried properly. Looked like they were still alive. My granny was killed for disapproving of what they were doing. I tried to leave there. But those elders grounded me in the stone village in case I would reveal their secret. Was the request for help also one of their traps? Exactly. As the gatekeepers of the first village, the Songs wanted more people to feed decadent dragons. So they asked for help. Before your arrival, a few groups of people died. Although I led those souls to stop you from getting into the village, you still came in. 
Since that, Soning Luo had kept an eye on me. I was also afraid to speak out the truth. That explains a lot. Didn't expect Soning Luo and his father to be so vicious. Rain city, rain city. How lively this place outside our village is. Your clansmen might look for you without finding your body. You'd better have a new name. Great. What about G. Ro? I love that. Thank you, Miss Lee don't lie to us anymore. We forgive you because you're still a kid. You fooled everyone but me. I won't. Lord's Mansion. Ha ha ha, I'm super rich now. I did get 700,000 golden grits from the D family. Don't be too smug. Your dragons are gonna have nothing to eat. The food for them is running out again? Yeah. How you can hunt demonic beasts for Black Tooth. But you gotta buy some juice for Qingzhua. And the money spent on Bai Chi's food for two months is about 150,000 golden grits. I chose Moon Crystals for it this time. It prefers this kind of crystal with its bloodline restored. 75,000 golden grits for one month? This line of work really needs so many golden grits. I got some decadent dragon soul cores, which could be rather valuable. Perhaps we should sell them. If specific channels for selling soul cores are allowed in the rain city, the freight charge will decrease by about 40%. Apart from that, I can also collect taxes as the city lord. That's incredible. I heard that the Grey Wolf Cavalry had put an end to their terrible past. They didn't only take care of bandits, but also escort trade caravans on the Brown Continent. We've applied to use the city seal. With that seal, we'll carry out our plan. A month later, Rain City. Who is the city lord? Lian failing an administrator of the Divine Mortal Academy. They're supposed to be from the Divine Mortal Academy, judging from their outfits. It's been one month. Are you here to return the city seal? No, we covered for the order sustainer and came here to have an investigation. Covered for the order sustainer? A while ago, you declared that the Rain City began to be under the Li Chuan Kingdom's management. You are suspected of staying out of the war between kingdoms and occupying a city without a leader on the behalf of the Divine Mortal Academy by using the law loophole. That can't be true. All we have done is legal. Turns out you came here for causing us trouble. Don't be ridiculous. We just obeyed the order. A teacher of the Divine Mortal Academy. So do you have my city seal? If we find any problem, we won't give you the city seal. I'm the city lord. If I can't have it, who else will? Cute the crap. We need to ask the Grand Counselor some questions. She's sleeping. It's daylight now. My wife and I stayed on the roof to watch the moon and have drinks. We didn't go to bed until this morning. Stop talking nonsense. I won't buy your story about watching the moon all night long. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course they didn't watch the moon last night. What else would they do at night? Anyway, they obviously had a fun night. How shameless you are. Why did that old man say that? I'm more like a horny guy thanks to his words. Are you Zhu Minglang? During the competition in the capital, you defeated royals and first disciples from the Purple Forest sect, the Haochi Martial Arts sect as well as the Sword sect in the Miao Mountains. That was rather impressive. I'm flattered. But except for them, I beat hundreds of powerful disciples from the Black Dragon Palace, the family, and your academy. Picking on the weak is not what I do. I prefer to handle my enemies on my own. That was a competition set up for disciples. What's the big deal? I'm only stating the truth. I've done so many incredible things over these years, not to mention I won the first place in that competition. No more bragging. There's no way you can have the city seal unless you pass our test. Mortal Academy, we won't permit the rain city to be managed by a kingdom where lowlifes live. The city seal belongs to the academy. Offer two million golden grits, or you can't be the city lord. Are you picking on me? That seal is mine. I just needed you to keep it for a moment. But now, you did refuse to give it back. Give me the seal in one week. Otherwise, I'll come to your academy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do then. Huh. How dare you give us an order? Since you're reluctant to protect this city, get out of here. I'm thinking about. Who will have the authority over the rain city? If I'm not mistaken, did he just tell them to get out of here? What a bold move, isn't it? Ha ha ha. You're such an idiot, Zhu Minglang. Without our academy centered here, the four kingdoms on the brown continent will not exist anymore. And there will be no authority in this city. There's no way you could be the owner of the rain city. We won't let that happen. Do as I said, or piss off. And you'll lose everything you've got. Listen up. Starting today, the rain city is not under the Divine Mortal Academy's protection. It's a sinful city now. 
M leave here, or you will be regarded as a criminal. Any clans unwilling to move out will be viewed as evil gangs. Here is the note written by the order sustainer. Read it word by word. Who is the order sustainer? Mr. Yen Guang, the headmaster of our academy. What's your name then? Lian Failing, the administrator of the Divine Mortal Academy. Look. From today on, all spiritual energy in the Rain City will be withdrawn. If you don't leave here ASAP, we'll wipe you out as we did to those bandits. Don't you dare. Do you know why I left the capital? Prince Ong, Zhao Inga. Does this name ring a bell? What do you want to say? He lost his limbs, remember? I cut them off. By the way, tell that order sustainer how petty I am. And let him wait for me. Piss off. What the hell did you say? Off we go. There's nothing we can do to an idiot. This isn't over, Zhu Minglang. That's too kind of you to say those words. And you shouldn't have let them go. There she is. Still cranky and bad-tempered. In the Lord's Mansion at the moment of the Rain City being viewed as a sinful city, those clans craving the resources here are surely expecting looting. With this order, the Rain City will be put into hell by those greedy bastards from the whole brown continent. People from the academy won't even get involved in it. There are two order sustainers at least on the continent. Having the approval from another one, we could avoid this crisis. Only if they have differences on this kind of matter or don't get along with each other. So does anyone know who another order sustainer is? No. Even you are unaware of another order sustainer? That's surely a mysterious person. I even have no idea who Yin Guang is. How could that be? Don't you work in the same place? Maybe I know something about another order sustainer. One day, my grandma came back and said the order sustainer had found out the secret in our village and meant to wipe us out. Any lead about that order sustainer? Not meeting the order sustainer, my grandma saw his dragon. A dark purple one with a gray tail. Right in the green cattle mount. Green cattle mount in the kingdom? It's not far away from here. A dark purple dragon with a gray tail? That sounds familiar. Right. It's the first choice among the dragons I recommended. Go get it and keep it under your control. That belongs to the order sustainer. My sister and I are going to the green cattle mount. Hope the order sustainer will cancel the punishment on the rain city. All right. But you only have one week. If you fail, people here will be viewed as criminals and their lives will be on the line. Moo. Moo. With the sleeping adder on us, this strong cattle will fall asleep. Then we'll take it away. Catch. Rumble oh no. They're startled. Get out of the way. Rumble. Phew. That was dangerous. We were almost trampled to death by cattle. Who are you? We're hunters from the Rain City. Hunting is the way we make a living. Bei Yinchang, the young master of Bei's manor, so you're just a couple of criminals. Kill them. It's not like that. We used to live in the Rain City. Wanna have some fun, guys? Sure. What's your plan? Ha ha ha. Go get him. Shriech. Ah. Help. If he falls at this height, I bet 1,000 golden grits that he'll die. What do you think? Please spare me, mister. I bet he'll get seriously injured and partly paralyzed. Ha ha. If his head touches the ground, the paralyzed part will be, no, if so, he will leave this world right away. I also bet 1,000 on this situation. Ah. Bam. Mr. Huang. Breathe. Crack. You lost the bet, bet. Time to keep your word. What a tough guy. I thought he would be dead. You won. Here you go. We just got lucky. Well, we need more cases to prove it. Is killing him not enough for you? There are four left. They may not as lucky as that old man. If the way they fall down is a bit different, he he. Get away from them. Ah. Rain City. The next day. You will bring those bastards to justice, right? Sigh they were tortured in the middle of hunting. I can't even imagine what they went through. Exactly. Some of them were tied up to the horses and dragged to death. As the Rain City is a sinful city and we'll end up being criminals, we could lose our life at any moment. Mr. Huang. Take down what they did, Fong. How ruthless they were. Monsters. There are three days left when this city will be viewed as a sinful city. But people living here have been abused like animals. Mr. Zhu, eagle-clawed half-dragons are clearly from the Bay's Manor where they raise dragons for armies. 
and the man they call Bei is supposed to be Bei Yinchang, who is the young master of the manor. Bei's manor? Mr. Zhu, the rain city is more important than you think. Each kingdom tries to hold it, and it's also where the academy gets the golden grits from. Turns out the academy is behind the plot of putting the rain city through hell. Zhu, people escorting the trade caravans were taken away, and the kidnappers wanted 4,000 golden grits for each of them. Give them the ransom, but we must keep them safe. Go raise the ransom. Take down this, Fong. You've got a pile of things to deal with, Mr. Zhu. As for what happened to the Grey Wolf Cavalry, we can handle it. Seeing you suffer is not what a city lord does. I will bring them to justice. Thank you for saying that, Mr. Zhu. But I think you'd better leave here ASAP. People outside the city has known what we'll end up with. Whatever those bastards did, people won't blame them. And in three days, no one can even do that. But I will. Tell me the way to the Bay's Manor. I'll start by letting them pay for the most horrible thing they did. It locates in the bamboo hill where a huge meadow is centered in. The Bay's Manor. Look at our purebred eagle-clawed half-dragons. How we keep and tame them is shown to everyone. Believe it or not, our dragons are even stronger than some dragon masters. The Master Red Eyebrow Manor. Sir, Mr. Zhu from the capital is here to see you. Don't you see I'm talking to our honored guest? Honored? Is your guest as honored as his majesty? Who the hell are you? That doesn't matter. I'm here for fun. Tell you what. I'm gonna attack you with my sword. If you survive, I'll give you 1,000 golden grits. But if not, I will also spend 1,000 buying a proper coffin for you. Ha ha ha. I can't believe I'm looking at a moron standing up for those suckers. How ridiculous. Look. I will give you some golden grits so you can find a doctor for them. Suckers? Huh. Are you ready, Mr. Bay? My sword is aiming at you. Don't you dare. Who do you think you are? Don't you know where you are? I'm Zhu Minglang, the city lord of the Rain City. There are two choices for you. Come back with me to be punished for what you did. Or put a bet on your life. Get rid of that lunatic. Damn it. That guy is crazy. Watch out, Mr. Bay. You brought this on yourself. Roar Plunge. It's so close to me. Your safety is at a cost of a bunch of your people and one golden eagle dragon. How crucial you are in their eyes. Hey! Receive my 1,000 golden grits. I lost this time. But who knows the winner of the next round? Give him all the golden grits we have in the manor. Hurry up! I'm not here to rob you. What I'm doing is bringing you into justice as a city lord. May I ask what Mr. Bay did? He did nothing. It was some hunters from the Rain City who did things wrong. Tossed by Mr. Bay's eagle-clawed half-dragon in the sky, they crawled back and accused Mr. Bay. They totally forgot they made Mr. Bay lose the bet. Did you abuse them for fun, Mr. Bay? The Rain City has been known as a sinful city. People in there are disgusting mobs. You want more rounds, don't you? Well, let's have a more fascinating one. Stand up and take my sword for your master. Don't worry. It won't move around you. I know what the rule is. Please help me. Could you please spare him this time, Mr. Zhu? The Bay's manor is rather renowned. His family is probably also the reason for his horrible behavior. As the master of the Red Eyebrow Manor, I beg you to. Either you stand up to protect him or you keep your mouth shut and pick your dragon. Those survivors whose bones are all broken are aware of what he did, not you. So save your mercy. Let's go. I know you're powerful enough to save me, miss. In return, you'll have a batch of tamed golden eagle half-dragons for free. Piss off. Here we go, Mr. Bay. Go take this for me. I'll give 1,000 to each of you. I won't do this again. Please spare me. Take this. Sigh, I lost again. You want to win this, don't you? Just kill me then. Kill you? Torturing you is exactly what I want. Ah. Ah. Let me move on to them. Herb Hill Hust Lou Bustle. Crack. Who's there? Are you parasites? Shut up. We're from the Divine Mortal Academy. This is the forbidden place where we plant herbs. You have no access to it. This is in the Rain City, which means it belongs to me. 
Since when did it become your forbidden place? It's you. Get out of here by dawn since you know who I am. Or you'll regret it. Get back to work, all of you. If this batch of herbs won't be ripe in seven days, I'll chop you off and fertilize the land. Leong Siphon, a member of the Divine Mortal Academy, what's going on, MS fan? Just a mob from the Rain City. Listen up. The Herb Hill is still under your management by dawn. So pack up your things and leave here. Until then, everyone in my Herb Hill will be regarded as bandits. In your dreams. The Rain City is a sinful one. And all spiritual energies belong to the Academy. Stop twisting the truth. There are three days left, right? So they still belong to the Rain City. Is there any difference? It's merely three days left. Ha ha. You're the only one I can get reasonable with. Well, I'm looking for a place to have a rest tonight. Leave here by dawn, remember? MS Fan, his white dragon is rather powerful. We'd better not go up against him. But we can't let him grab away our herb hill. Maybe we can come back to bring our backup here. If so, you must stall that man, MS Fan. Actually, I think we should leave as members of the Academy. Ignore her words. Get back up from the punishment department here by dawn. What the hell are you doing, Leong Siphon? Reaping the spiritual herb as much as I can before dawn. This place won't be under our control then. It's he who means to hold our herb hill. Once our backup is here, there's no way he can continue his plot. But we once held his herb hill, remember? Aren't we the same as those villains? Siphon, are you questioning the decision made by Mr. Yen Guang as well as the Order Sustainer? If the Rain City is not under our control anymore, we should return all the spiritual energy. That's what a decent person does. I think returning the Herb Hill is the way to support his decision. But you still use their spiritual energy, misleading people to think that we still protect the Rain City as ever. You're the one making things difficult for Mr. Yen. Here you are. Are you visiting my Herb Hill? This place is ours. Well, if you die here today, it's surely your grave. Ice the world, Bai Chi. Chirp run. This can't be true. How come he becomes so powerful? This can't be true. Uncle Liang. Who? Liang Quan from the punishment department, what's going on? This is the city lord of the rain city, Uncle Liang. Our people just. That's all. I see. Sir, could you please let them go? Sorry. I've told them the consequence. I'm sure they also know what's coming for them if they keep holding my place. Anyway, they deserve it. Even if they made a mistake, you shouldn't have bullied them. Please come to the academy. The dean will surely handle your conflict. Siphon, sounds like your uncle is also being ridiculous. Come back and fetch a person who is able to beat me or I can be reasonable with. But those guys will stay here for a while. I can assure you that I won't kill them. Uncle Liang, it was MS Fan who did something wrong. Shut up. No one from our academy can be insulted. Dragon imprisoning spell. Huh. Turns out you're all spell masters. Clatter tie up chirp. Don't panic, Bai Chi. Use your chili withering to take away the power of those spells. Keeping trapping this white dragon in the chain. I'll take care of that dragon tamer. Boom. It's your time, Qingzhua. Have fun. What's going on? Swish, swish. Ow. I feel so itchy. Cough, damn it. The poison in the lantern herbs is coming out. Ah. What's happening to me? I'm covered with poison marks. Help. How miserable they are. Trapping in the ice like MS Fan is better than this. Is that all you're capable of? Cheap how cocky you are. Mr. Zhu, you might as well freeze them. I'm going back to find reasonable masters. Siphon, why are you begging this devil? Uncle Liang, you can't defeat him. Besides, if Mr. Zhu is a devil, all of us would have been killed. Humph. He must have set up the poison trap before we came here, or he wouldn't be. Damn it, I forget his white dragon. How could the punishment department be defeated by such a young dragon tamer? I don't expect there are many reasonable people in your divine mortal academy. Bring your administrator Lian failing over. I'll smash all his teeth. Okay, 
I'll bring him over. I'll be waiting for him in the cabin. There are so many fruits from Nehi, including my favorite coral grapes. They all belong to me now. Um, I also want to eat. Um, um, if you can't peel it, eat it with its skin. Um, fine. These are not enough for me at all. Foods like grapes have little nutritional value for sacred cyan forest dragons. They can just satisfy the dragon's appetite. But your dragon's cultivation base has reached the limit. No matter what you feed them, it won't work much. It seems that I can only visit the ancient relics again sometime. Zhu Minglang, get the hell out. Mr. Zhu, I have explained things that happened in Rain City to the Academy, and the Academy will issue an announcement. If anyone hurts residents of Rain City again, we'll severely punish them. Zhu Minglang, you challenged the authority of our Divine Mortal Academy. You must pay for it. Even though you are the city lord, you couldn't lynch the people of our academy. I thought I could since I defeated them. The Divine Mortal Academy has always followed the principle that might is right, hasn't it? Everything your academy does is right and proper. Whoever disobeys you will be eliminated immediately. You must have enjoyed such a comfortable life, right? It was decided by our academy and the order sustainer. It was decided by our academy and the order sustainer. As a mere city lord, you are in no position to judge us. Humph. When did the order sustainer become the ruler? And who the hell do you think you are? In terms of status, you are just a lackey. In terms of cultivation and character, you are the worst. Zhu Minglang, you, you. You're stubborn like a savage. Let's cut the crap. Give me the city seal and get out of my territory with your people. No way. Then I'll smash all your joints and ask you again. Didn't he say he'd smash all the teeth of the administrator? He didn't keep his word. M-O-E. Sword cultivator? Isn't he a dragon tamer? Why does he have a flying sword? No, it's not just a flying sword, but a dragon transformed from a sword spirit. No wonder he possesses strong power that's even comparable with that of a sword cultivator. If I fend him off passively, I'll definitely lose. I must turn into an attacker. Rushing bird. Want to have a close combat with a dragon tamer, huh? All right. Bai Qi, Qingzhua, attack together. The white dragon is on your left, and the green one is on your right. Good arrangements for you. Ugh, damn. That brat should have told me about Zhu Mingling's strength in advance. M-O-E, Bai Qi, Qingzhua, make sure the administrator has a good time. Zhu Minglang, don't look down upon our Divine Mortal Academy. Oh? It's interesting, but what a pity. Buzz hmm. Whatever you are, I'll just make a hole in you. There are thorny vines all over the ground. It seems that I can only fly up and hide in the clouds. Then I can have a chance to take a break. But why is it colder than ever in the air? Why is there a wall? Chirp! The clouds are my territory, so you'd better go down. It's the mystic arts performed by the white dragon. Oh, no, my bones were broken by the glacier. Now my whole body is frozen. I'm doomed. Oops. I'm so sorry that my dragon even took off your pants. But you're really powerful. Zhu Minglang, you've gone too far. Miss Liang, it seems that you need to go back to the Divine Mortal Academy again to find someone who can defeat me. Your administrator didn't satisfy my dragons. I'm the administrator of the Divine Mortal Academy. How could I be defeated by a disciple? Damn it! The administrator is already very powerful. Only headmasters are better than him. But the senior headmaster doesn't care about this. The second headmaster is the order sustainer and is out. The junior headmaster. That's enough. Aren't you embarrassed? The Divine Mortal Academy's dignity is inviolable. I'm not the one who lost, sir. And judging from what you've done, our Divine Mortal Academy has long been without dignity. You. She not only sides with the enemy, but she seems to be joining them. Mr. Zhu, those who can defeat you in our academy should not be able to come. How about I bring my father over? He's a reasonable man. Okay. The round trip will take me a lot of time. Could you unfreeze my masters and classmates first? No problem, but I'll keep them detained. Okay, I'm going then. Bai Chi, unfreeze them. 
You're such a scoundrel, Zhu Minglang wants people from the punishment department come, you'll be hacked to pieces. Oh? Really? Ahem, MS fan, people from the punishment department are over there. They were just unfrozen. Isn't that Liam Kwan? Even he and his spell masters lost? So what if you defeated the people from punishment department? Don't be arrogant. Our administrator has heard about this. He won't let you off. Put it there. Isn't, isn't that the administrator? Did you lose to this devil as well? Turns out even the administrator was no match for him. Then I guess it was not a shame that the entire punishment department was defeated. Woo, stop it. Mr. Zhu, this is my father. He retired from the Divine Mortal Academy, and his position was, the position is nothing to speak of. Although the Divine Mortal Academy has declined these years, it is powerful. But you defeated them all by yourself. That's amazing. Shame on you, Quan. Tut. So many people have been defeated. Don't just criticize me. Why do I feel he's here to gloat? Sir, this man is so unreasonable that he doesn't take the authority of the Divine Mortal Academy seriously. He even attacked us viciously, acting like a member of the evil sect. Well, I think Mr. Zhu is still a sensible person. If he were really a member of the evil sect, he would have killed you all. How could he give you a chance to talk? Are you from the Zhu clan? Yes. My name is Zhu Mingling. Do you know Zhu Tianguan? He's my father. Huh? Does Zhu Tianguan have a son? Why hasn't he ever told me? Well, as long as I wasn't in the capital, my dad would pretend that he didn't have a son and barely mention my affairs to others. He's always indifferent to me, anyway. But I didn't expect this man to know my dad. Mr. Liang, as the city lord of Rain City, I can understand that the Divine Mortal Academy is unwilling to protect us. But I won't show mercy if the Academy grabs the spirit energy by using its reputation. Who do you think you are? How dare you challenge our Divine Mortal Academy? Quan, now the Zhu clan is at the top of the six great clans. It's no worse than us. You're even embarrassing yourself talking about the Academy's reputation. Look at Ming Lang. He is younger than you and never says anything about his power. You were defeated and even wanted me, a retiree, to intercede. I'd be ashamed in front of the kings and sect leaders if the capital knew about this. And I'd have to make a detour if I came across Zhu Minglang's father. Minglang, since you've already beaten them and vented your anger, could you let them go back to recuperate? Students can leave, but the people from the punishment department and the administrator must stay. I won't let them go until I get the city seal of Rain City. Mr. Lian, why do you want to keep the city seal? There's something you don't know. Ahem, Minglang, the city seal is now in Yin Guang's hands. How about making other demands? Does Yin Guang refuse to hand the city seal over because he also found the ancient divine lamp jade in the seal? I didn't expect it would be so complicated to get this piece of ancient divine lamp jade. I thought it was the easiest one to get. Without the city seal, it'll be hard for Rain City to revive. I won't change the demand. Sai, I will negotiate with Yen Guang about this matter in person. You don't need to go. Since Yen Guang is cold, you are prone to come into conflict with him. Humph. Indeed, his style is really disgusting. Now the brown continent is in chaos, and it's really difficult for Yen Guang to take care of everything. Here's the deal. I promise you to try my best to get the city seal for you, and you let them go. They can leave except for Lian failing. He has to go to Rain City with me. Why? Why don't you go with us together? Then you'll know why. Okay. I'm going with you. Lian Failing, you think I side with him, right? And you do, don't you? I'm the administrator. How could I be pushed around by that brat? As a member of the Divine Mortal Academy, you don't even assert the dignity of the Academy at all. You've been on the Brown Continent for too long. You should come outside. Everyone in the capital knows that Zhu Tianguan is a man of uncertain temper. He exterminated lots of sects just because of some trivial things. How dare you hurt his son? What? If you want to survive, you should apologize to him immediately. Otherwise, you might wind up dead without rhyme or reason. Well. Rain City, oh, my god. Mr. Zhu really brings the administrator of the Divine Mortal Academy here. Rain City, it's incredible that the Divine Mortal Academy would yield to Mr. Zhu. Sorry about the announcement before. We mishandled it and failed in our duty. The Divine Mortal Academy has issued another announcement to punish those who hurt residents of Rain City. 
Please rest assured. But I still suggest you move out of this city as soon as possible. As for the spirit energy, the Academy will pay compensation. You can distribute it to the residents who are suffering. Now that the matter is settled, I'll leave. Thank you, Mr. Liang. Lord's Mansion. The Divine Mortal Academy sent the compensation just now. It's all thanks to you this time, Mr. Zhu. Unfortunately, if it weren't for the Order Sustainer, Rain City might have revived under the leadership of Mr. Zhu. Hu Bailing and Hu Chongming have gone to discuss with the Order Sustainer. It's about time for them to come back. Mr. Zhu, there is still a chance. Look at this. What's this? I just touched it, and now I even find it a little hard to breathe. A feather has such an overwhelming force its owner must be very powerful and terrifying. It's the feather of the Devil Star Dragon. As a variant of Decadent Dragons, the Devil Star Dragon is said to be the evilest. Where there is a Devil Star Dragon, there is a disaster. It is said that the persistent conflicts on the Brown Continent are related to this kind of dragon. The Devil Star Dragon? I've never heard of it. The Order Sustainer of the Green Cattle Mount discovered a Devil Star Dragon half a month ago. He intended to kill the dragon, but it was just injured and fled. And the Order Sustainer's dark purple dragon with a gray tail was also injured, but he didn't want to give up, so the Order Sustainer said that if we can help him hunt the Devil Star Dragon, he will help us protect Rain City. That's it? Are you kidding me? How could it be so easy? Mr. Koi, do you know something about the Devil Star Dragon? Of course. The Devil Star Dragon is related to disasters. The plague is raging where it exists, and the land where it inhabits is even more chaotic. The Devil Star Dragon is definitely more terrible than you can imagine. If ordinary people like you want to hunt it, you are living in a dream world. But the Order Sustainer of the Green Cattle Mount said that it was seriously injured. Its strength must have been greatly reduced. Then let me ask you. If a dragon god is injured, do you dare to hunt it? Mr. Koi, is the Devil Star Dragon a dragon god? Dragon god, I dare not hunt it no matter how bold I am. If it is more than 1,000 years old, then it must be a dragon god. For the sake of this damn city, it would be easier to directly kill the Order Sustainer Yan Guang than to hunt a Devil Star Dragon that can be a dragon god. Besides, how could a mere Order Sustainer injure the Devil Star Dragon seriously on his own? I don't think he's sure if he hurt the Devil Star Dragon. He just wants you to risk your lives to check. Well, the Order Sustainer may have concealed some information, but he won't just let us risk our lives. Xinghua, did she see something? Recently, I have always seen a picture of a village where countless rats get out of the barn and locusts cover the sky. This vision seems to be related to the Devil Star Dragon. And, a few days later, I think it's true that the Devil Star Dragon has been hurt seriously. Maybe we should investigate first before we decide whether to go hunting or not. Anyway, to show his sincerity, the Order Sustainer of the Green Cattle Mount managed to buy Rain City more time, so we'll have one month. Okay. Humph. Unless it's an underage Devil Star Dragon, or we'll never make it. By the way, we found an ancient relic in Pear Blossom Valley. Most special abilities of decadent dragons come from there. I'm afraid Devil Star Dragons also have something to do with it. Unfortunately, the valley is sealed and no one can get in. Do you have any clues to other entrances of the valley? My grandpa's brother once told us the story about the decadent dragons, as for clues to the entrances, I need to go back to ask him. Okay. Thanks. If I can enter the relics again, I may be able to improve my dragon's cultivation base again. Commander, please take some elite soldiers north to investigate the villages that have suffered from ice. Got it. Mr. Zhu, I want to go to the places suffering from plagues of rats and locusts in person. Both these disasters shouldn't have happened in winter. I think it's probably because of the Devil Star Dragon. Okay, I'll go with you, no need. I'll go with Lingxia. You and Ji Ro should go to the capital of the Yao Kingdom. Something stranger happened in the Prime Minister's mansion there. But I can only see some very blurry pictures now. Exactly. The Devil Star Dragon is a rare dragon of prophecy. Its arrival is a warning to the world from God. But astrologers like me can only see information fragments. Only by checking and resolving them one by one can we make the connections clear. I see. The Grey Wolf Cavalry also wants to help, Mr. Zhu. You can look for the footprints of avaricious dragons near Rain City. Avaricious dragons? This kind of dragon will take the opportunity to make trouble when disasters come. Their saliva is poisonous and can make peaceful farmers restless and greedy. Their appearance is probably related to the Devil Star Dragon too. Okay, we'll handle this. Xinghua is getting more decisive. 
capital of the Yao Kingdom, the Yao Kingdom is small, and it has survived by squeezing its inhabitants. Now it's dying. Look, there is a strong evil aura around the Prime Minister's mansion. No wonder Xinghua let Ji Ro follow me. It seems I'll need Ji Ro's help as she's a spiritualist. How about this? We pretend to be exorcists and get in to ask about the situation. Now tell me something that I can use to bluff them. Hmm, three cooks died here within a month. How do you know that? The spirits of the three cooks are right here at the door. I'm asking you to say something I can use to bluff, not something so terrifying. I'm such an extraordinary man, it's just a piece of cake for me to bluff those ordinary people. Don't hang around in front of the Prime Minister's mansion. Get out of here. As expected, he is an ordinary man. He's not observant at all. No wonder he is just a doorkeeper. I'm an exorcist. When I traveled here, I saw a strong evil aura around your mansion. Do you feel an evil aura around the threshold? Or do you feel someone entering and leaving the mansion without seeing anything? Yeah, we do. Many people have died in your mansion this month, especially in the kitchen, right? Wait a moment, sir. I'll go tell the butler. Push. Could you please tell me more details? Then I can see whether you really have the ability to exorcise evil spirits. Butler of the Prime Minister's Mansion. Can you take us to the backyard? Several dead kittens are buried under the tree. That's impressive. Come in and take a seat, please. I'm going to bring my lady over. In fact, I only said half of the truth just now. In addition to the kittens, there is a man buried under the tree. Do you know who the man is? It's exactly the butler we just met. So creepy. Is there also a spiritualist who's manipulating the butler's body here? No, someone killed the butler and pretended to be him. The spirit looks exactly like this young butler. Can the spirit of the butler tell you the whole story? No, not all spirits can communicate. It turns out that I'm here to be a detective rather than an exorcist. But what does this have to do with the Devil Star Dragon? Hello, guys. Please keep every word I'm about to say secret, or I'll kill both of you at all costs. The Yao Kingdom daughter of the Prime Minister. I always forget the earthly things right after I hear them. The butler found my affair with his younger brother, so he threatened that he'd make it public unless I slept with him. Therefore, I wanted to poison that greedy butler. I see. Come on, isn't it crazy? That sounds too immoral. So you put the poison in the kitchen, and it was first eaten by a bunch of kittens. Then the poison was spread around, killing three cooks by accident? Yes. In that case, how did the butler die? The butler is still alive. Didn't you see him just now? My plan failed because of the kittens. Miss, you don't have to hide it. We know the real butler is dead. The incumbent butler should be your lover, the original butler's younger brother. Wait. Doesn't she know it? If not, is the butler now the elder brother or the younger brother? Since the butler is not dead, where is your lover now? He was drowned. Was it an accident? Or? I sent someone to do it. I can't let people know this, so I killed him. Gee! How cruel this lady is. To keep her reputation, she not only poisoned the butler who knew about this, but also murdered her lover. She did it so neatly that she didn't need any help from us at all. She must have some other reason to let us in. What do you think, Ji Ro? Miss, recently, you always hear the meow of a cat and light footsteps by the bed when you are sleeping, right? Yes, I woke up in the middle of the night and even saw a pair of green cat eyes. And I felt something licking my cheeks and palms. So I always have trouble sleeping these days. Tut, how can you sleep well after doing so many immoral things? Would you mind showing us your room? Of course not. The dwelling of the Prime Minister's daughter. There is a faint smell of a demon in this place. Miss, do you have a cat? Maybe it's the cat playing at night. No way. My cat is dark-eyed, and it never meows. Your cat has become a demon. How is that possible? My master is right. The cat knows its children were poisoned by you. So it has been torturing you. We'll help you get rid of that cat, and your problem should be solved. No. Why? The cat has been with me for ten years. I said no, you guys can leave now. See them off. Please. It is strange that the young lady could even kill her lover but feels pity for a demon cat. How twisted her mind is. Is it her original personality or is she affected by something? We're kicked out. What should we do now? Deal with that demon cat first. Since it has a tendency to hurt people, we can't leave it on the loose. The backyard of the Prime Minister's mansion, the smell of the demon is so strong. 
It should be around here. Little Demon Cat, no one would notice that you were special if you kept being a pet. But you showed demon arts, revealing your nature. Minglang, something is wrong with this cat. Black Tooth, roar, roar, jump, roar. This demon cat is so powerful. Without a 10,000 year cultivation base, it would never be able to fight a sacred beast like Bai Chi. It's Zhu Minglang, this cat is a sin beast. It's the same type as Little Change. Sin Beast? Black Tooth, catch it alive. Let's take it back first. What about the young lady? She did so many bad things. She will pay the price afterward. Did you see the spirit of her lover? No, she didn't say where he drowned. The butler we saw just now was probably her lover. The poison didn't kill the original butler, but the lady and her lover drowned him together. I thought she didn't know before, and then I realized that she was lying. Right, the hair of the butler's spirit was wet. By the way, Mr. Koi, what is the sin beast you just mentioned? There are several kinds of omen beasts that can bring misfortune to people, such as the bluffing beast, sin beast, avarice beast, doom beast, sorrow beast, and disaster beast. The bluffing beast is the least harmful ancient beast. People in contact with it are usually cunning and good at sophistry. It looks like a rabbit. The sin beast looks like a cat, which makes people become sinful and even commit crimes. There are other omen beasts. These omen beasts look like livestock. They can hardly be recognized as they usually hide among people. Since the small omen beast appeared, it won't be long before the big one shows itself. It seems that the devil star dragon has truly appeared. Mr. Koi, what are the small omen beast and the big one? In general, only one omen beast will appear in a certain area, and its impact is very limited. But if two or more beasts appear at the same time, it indicates that a big omen beast is about to appear. And once the big omen beast appears, it will cause a big disaster. That will be a true catastrophe with deaths and destruction. So the recent ice disaster and plagues of locusts and rats are all related to small omen beasts? Yes. One beast stands for an omen. If we can find the omen beast and kill it as a sacrifice before the disaster that the bad omen indicates, the disaster can be avoided. And the devil star dragon is very likely to be the big omen beast that heralds the extremely bad supreme omen this time. Your second wife is an astrologer. She should have seen many sporadic signs. Ahem, she's my sister-in-law, not my second wife. If we count the bluffing beast of your fourth wife Nan Yusua, there are too many small omen beasts this time. Nevertheless, you can ask your second wife to seal the omen power of this sin beast. Astrologers have the ability to change the future, anyway. Well, I can accept that you misunderstand my relationship with Xinghua. But I have nothing to do with Lingxia and Yusua. Rain City, we're back. We've got a beast. What did you find? We've, Mr. Zhu, the two kingdom declared war on the Yao kingdom just now. What's going on? It is said that the ambassador witnessed the adultery of the daughter of the prime minister, who should have married into the loyal family of the two kingdom and her butler at night. The loyal family of the two kingdom felt insulted, so they declared war. No wonder the young lady lied to us. She doesn't want anyone to know. The incumbent butler is not the original one, but her lover. Sir, I'm afraid the cat you caught is not a sin beast. It's a hate beast standing for war. Hate beast? I never expected Mr. Koi would even make a mistake. Yes, it was exactly this cat that led to the war between the two countries. But this cat just kept disturbing the lady's sleep. It didn't make any other trouble. Why did it lead to the war between the two countries? This hate beast just got the prime minister's daughter to have a nightmare with its demon arts, which made her unable to fall asleep, so she wanted to have trysts with however, its existence her lover. Means that what the lady did would be discovered for sure and would endanger the relations between the two countries. You asked me to go to the Yao Kingdom just because you wanted me to find this omen beast, keeping it from causing more wars. Yes. I have sealed your omen power. From now on, you are not an abominable beast, but a likable ordinary creature. Meow. Mr. Zhu, we have killed a few avarice beasts, but the farmers of the village where the beasts appeared didn't want to turn in food. The officers are preparing to send troops to suppress them. Avarice beast, this kind of beast made the farmers greedy, but how can they resist the soldiers? It seems there will be bloodshed again. Mr. Zhu, the ice disaster is really serious, so the demonic beasts and devil spirits have to find water down the mountain. They have eaten a lot of livestock and even living people. 
The ice disaster caused the beast disaster. It's another big omen. After seven big omens like this appear, the devil star dragon will show up. I'm afraid this land will really become a living hell. Are there any other big bad omens? War, civil commotion, plague, ice disaster, beast disaster, pest disaster, meteorite fire. The first six bad omens have already appeared. The last one should be the meteorite fire heralded by the devil star dragon. Do you have a way to find the devil star dragon? I sealed the magic power of these bad omen beasts and turned their omen power into my own to foresee something farther, therefore, I guess the devil star dragon is hiding right in ancient relics. Your speculation is right. The decadent dragons are indeed from ancient relics. The decadent dragons are indeed from ancient relics. We couldn't find any clues to the devil star dragon because it is hiding in an unknown relic. Is there any clue to another entrance of ancient relics? Yes, there is. Actually, the Yao Kingdom Blossom Valley Snow Peak City Rain City that entrance of relics is probably in Rain City. My ancestors exterminated the decadent dragons. In memory of the victory of this great battle, Rain City they used the bones of decadent dragons as the cornerstone and built Rain City on the nest of the dragons. Rain City has been coveted just because of the nourishment of the dragon bones. It can make everything prosper and create spiritual earth and auras. The ancient relic crack is in Rain City. Does that mean the Devil Star Dragon may be hiding right under our feet? Exactly. Bad news. The Brown Flag Army of the Two Kingdom is heading here. They're going to attack the city. Damn it. We have just found the clue to the Devil Star Dragon, and it took us so much effort. The Army of the Two Kingdom will reach Rain City in a day. We have to discuss the countermeasures quickly. If we find the Devil Star Dragon in the Ancient Relic and inform the Order Sustainer of Green Cattle Mountain Time, I believe that he will not allow the army of the Two Kingdom to enter Rain City. One day should be enough. We go to find the Devil Star Dragon, and you stay in the city. If we can't find the Devil Star Dragon, you can abandon Rain City. As long as we are safe, there is still hope. Okay. Be careful. Rain City's deserted forest. It should be here. Suf. Whoosh. Whoosh whoosh. Let's go inside to check. I go first. Let's follow her in. Ancient relic crack. It's a little dark. Don't worry. I'm with you. Why can't I hear the footsteps of Lingshot? Lingshot. Oh no. Did something bad happen to her? I'm going to have a look. Sir, don't go. Why? Probably Lingshot went into another crack because of the space fork. Will I lose you too if I walk a few more steps? Yeah. Lingsha may have already been in the relic. Sigh, I hope so. I didn't expect there would be such a trick in the small crack. Ancient relic. We are finally here. This place is like the relic valley we entered before. Everything here is bigger than it is in the ordinary environment. Rumble. There seems to be a fight over there. It should be Lingsha. Boom. Bang. Spurt. Lingsha. Lingsha, we were worried that you might be in danger. It seems our worries were unnecessary. I found this. It's the scale of the Devil Star Dragon. The dragon is really hiding in this relic. The dragon is very strong. Thump. Whoosh. Want to run? Swoosh. Thud. A. Eh? Starlight Marrow. Zhu Minglang, collect the brain marrow of the decadent dragon. What do I collect it for? It can be used to strengthen by Qi. This is a good thing. It can absorb the power of stars and turn it into magic power for some special creatures. Such a good thing can't be found outside. Really? Then I should collect as much as I can. Zero. There seems to be a small nest of black-fired decadent dragons in the tree. I'll go deal with them now, no need. It's all here. Wow, turns out you have already collected it all. Thank you. She is so capable. Haha, uh -huh. it feels so good to gain without hard work. I'm like being kept by a rich woman. I found this scale of the Devil Star Dragon in that nest. See if you can find the dragon. Okay. Dark Star Grass. Splash Mountain Top, Waterfall, Crescent Moon. It's the Crescent Moon. It seems that these scales have just fallen off from the Devil Star Dragon. I think I figured out where the Devil Star Dragon is. Great. Take us there now. An ancient relic, deep in the jungle, the Devil Star Dragon. Devil Star Dragon. 
Even if this Devil Star Dragon is not a Dragon God, it is not far from the Dragon God level. And it doesn't look like it's injured. The Order Sustainer of Green Cattle Mount really tricked us. Xinghua, what's the light on you? It's Ancient Divine Lamp Jade. There is also Ancient Divine Lamp Jade on the tail of the Devil Star Dragon. That's called Lamp Jade Glow. If the Ancient Divine Lamp Jade is broken into pieces, there will be Lamp Jade Glow once the pieces of the Jade approach each other. Great. As long as we get the piece of Ancient Divine Lamp Jade from the Devil Star Dragon, plus the City Seal, we will have four pieces of the Ancient Divine Lamp Jade in total. By that time, Yunzi can be awakened. Oh no! Be careful not to be found by the Devil Star Dragon. Watch your hand. This Devil Star Dragon's power is immeasurable. I'm afraid we're no match for it. For now, we'd better leave here and make another plan. The Gate Tower of Rain City. It took so long to enter the relic this time. The Two Kingdoms Brown Flag Army is about to arrive. Wait. What's wrong? There is an overwhelming aura around. That man is at the High Monarch level at least. Nyin Nyin, we're back. Hu Bailing and Nyin Nyin used to love chatting, but today they're so quiet, there's something weird. May I know your name? Order Sustainer Chang Hong. I'm Chang Hong from the Green Cattle Mount, an Order Sustainer of the Brown Continent. Mr. Chang. I've heard a lot about you. Looks like they're under his control now. I'd better wait and see what he's up to. Did you see the Devil Star Dragon? Come on. Zhu Minglang, look at us. We're held hostage. Twitch. Nyin Nyin, have you got a cramp in your eyes? Zhu Minglang, you fool. Yes, I did. I'm really impressed by how well informed you are. Where's the clue? Don't let me repeat my words. Mr. Chang, here it is. Very good. When the Hu family came to me, I knew that you'd find the clue about the Devil Star Dragon. You're such a traitor, Zhu Minglang. Dark Purple Dragon. Come back. Is this the Purple Dragon Mr. Koi mentioned? It looks so extraordinary. No wonder they have done anything to fight against him. Mr. Chang, since I have given you the clue, please protect the Rain City from the Two Kingdoms Brown Flag Army. This order sustainer from the Green Cattle Mount is also a bad guy. Do you think the Two Kingdoms started a war just for this deserted city? Could it be anything else? Bang. What's going on? Turns out these forces came to the Rain City for the Devil Star Dragon. I should have thought about it. It's all my fault that I was so eager to revitalize the Rain City. How did it go? Did our young and promising city lord find the thing we want? This is the feather he got, so I think he'd have seen the Devil Star Dragon. He's Yin Guang, the director of the Divine Mortal Academy. Here came two order sustainers of the Brown Continent and the Two Kingdoms Army. What a pomp it is. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yin. Please forgive my previous offense. He's so obedient now. Is the rumor that he's an arrogantly not true? Now that you have the clue, hurry up and show is where to find the Devil Star Dragon. What's the rush? We need another person to join us. Do you still remember me, Mr. Zhu? Sir, he is that jerk who got the damn appointment. Me? Sorry. Mr. Zhu, I'm sorry if my person got on your bad side. All right. All are here. Please show us the way, Mr. Zhu. Okay, come with me. Now that you all want the Devil Star Dragon, then I can use you to test the dragon's strength. I just have trouble finding someone to help me deal with it. Let us go with you. That won't be necessary. With these two powerful masters, I'll be fine. Don't worry, Mr. Zhu. I'll make an arrangement to help people evaluate from the city. You're on your own now. Ancient relics. Knowing the Devil Star Dragon hides in the Rain City all the time really blew my mind. The Devil Star Dragon is hard to deal with, but our academy can trap it. How is your deployment? Everything is already put in place. We're waiting for you to lead the dragon out of the relics. But the Devil Star Dragon is a clever top ancient dragon. It's no pushover. Humph. That's why we'll use this. The city seal? Exactly. Back when decadent dragons were raging in the brown continent, some ancestors from the Hu family killed a female star dragon, scraped its jade scale on the tail, and made it into this seal. But they didn't know that female dragon was pregnant, and its son is this Devil Star Dragon. There's also a jade scale on the Devil Star Dragon's tail. As far as I know, it didn't grow on that dragon. They probably got it from the ancient relics, put it on their tails, and then had some special powers. 
Yin Guan is aware of the connection between the jade scales. Turns out he's not that stupid. All I need to do is wait for them to take a move. Hope they'll consume its energy as much as they can. The Devil Star Dragon doesn't know his mother is dead, so it will come to us once the jade scale lights up and then fall into our trap. Shall we figure out how strong it is? As long as it hasn't become a dragon god, there's no way out for it. The seal is flashing so rapidly. Crap. Roar. Such a terrifying aura, the rumor is right. The Devil Star Dragon has the potential to be a dragon god. Off we go. Roar. It's running so fast. Cast a gravity spell on it. Gravity spell. Boom. Here's the exit. Hope they have evaluated people in the rain city. Everyone is out of the city. Good. Lingxia, let's go to the stone tablet to help Mr. Zhu. All right. Rumble. Rumble. Rustle. Shoot the scaled hearing arrows when I count to. Hold on. It's us. Roar. Oh no. The devil star dragon has been completely infuriated. Roar. Ah bam. Set the formation, all of you. Dragon trapping formation. Roar roar no. Dragon trapping formation is not fully effective. Be careful. Ah. Help. You will step back. Howl high level dragon god. Off you go, my giant fierce dragon. Crack. Roar. Rumble squeak. Rumble. How's that possible? Don't let your dragon out now. Let the army tucker it out. Arg. Rumble. That's ridiculous. A low-level monarch dragon stands no chance of overmatching one who is nearly a dragon god. The strong are always in charge. Mr. Zhu. Xinghua. Why are you here? There's something weird. I didn't sense any bad omen power on the devil star dragon. It's not the seventh bad omen beast. What? So, there could be a more horrible one. It's time. Let your dragons out. The high monarch level. Roar. Dark purple dragon, go. Skeleton dragon, come out. Roar ghost skeleton dragon. Two one is ghost skeleton dragon looks so familiar. It looks like the devil star dragon. This is a skeletonized devil star dragon. I get it. It's that female star dragon. Someone cast spells on its skeleton and turned it into a ghost skeleton dragon. It will cost tremendous death chi to maintain a ghost demon's power. That's why the two kingdoms started wars over and over again to expand its territory. Mr. Zhu. I feel the bad omen from that female dragon. What? Could a dragon tamer's dragon become the omen beast? Or was the way Tu Wenha controlled his dragon not used by a dragon tamer so there's a bad omen on it? Ghost Heavenly Fire. Boom. The female ghost star dragon can reach the top monarch level at most. But the devil star dragon is likely to become a dragon god. If I can control it, the world will also be mine. Not arrogant anymore, are you? Still in your mother's shadow even after you grow up? Growl. Death is coming to you. Growl splash. What's going on? Something's coming out from the deep earth. Swish. Rain City was built on the nest of the decadent dragons, with their bones as the cornerstone, this is the ghost chi. Swish. No, it's the dragon soul. Tuwena, your dragon has such an amazing power. Go kill that devil star dragon. Kill the devil star dragon. Oh no. My dragon, it doesn't listen to me. It betrays me. What? Boom. That bastard wants to kill me. You will come back. Crack. Spurt. Bang. Phew. Damn it. The bond of our soul contract is breaking, fuck. What a shame. This is not what I want. Growl. Growl. Boom. The meteorite fire is falling. It's the seventh bad omen. Growl. That's dragon tribulation. This devil star dragon is going through the dragon tribulation. Bang bang bang. I see, the female ghost star dragon turned its soul into the heavenly fire and led to a heavenly fire tribulation so her son will go through the tribulation and become a dragon god. A dragon god will show up on the brown continent, but it holds a deep grudge against people including the rulers here. So its appearance could be a crisis for the continent. Help! Now the seven bad omens all turned up. Boom boom. M-O-E. 
Go absorb the meteorite fire. Swoosh. We must stop its tribulation. Swoosh. Divine thunder spell. Rumble. Howl. Growl. Divine shield spell. Crack. Boom. Swoosh. Cough you're laughing at me, aren't you? To see me end up so badly, it's normal to go up against the will of God to pursue what you want. Your dragons are the most promising ones to be a dragon god on this continent. But no one will survive tonight except for that dragon. But the point is once it becomes the dragon god, those people will lose their lives. They're innocent. Rain, what you really want is the city seal. You led us to the devil star dragon on purpose. The city seal is mine. And it was you who intended to find the devil star dragon. Only after I get the last one, can Yunzi wake up. Rumble. I'm sorry, Mr. Zhu. If I had anticipated this scene, we could have stopped it. But I'm too weak. Give me the jade. There's only one way for us. I will use soul-burning power. No. If so, you will fall asleep like Yunzi. Give it to me. We've been looking for the ancient divine lamp jade at great cost to wake up Yunzi. If you end up like her, what do I do then? Don't worry, I won't take action until its power is weakened. Besides, the fire mark inscription is absorbing the flame to refine itself. At the right time, the fire mark sword will reach its best state. He's way stronger after his sword awakened. Half of the ghost fire has been extinguished by him. Protect Xinghua. I'll take care of the rest. You could lose your life on your own. But with my soul burning power, at least you. You didn't handle a dragon god, did you? So did you? Sure. But at great cost, luckily, I met you guys. When did he fight a dragon god? Was it in the last fighting before the falling of the sword cultivator? I even slashed the earth vein back then in exchange for only one arm of that person. With the barbaric land falling down, I slipped into the void sea vortex. Fortunately, the devil star dragon is going through its tribulation this time. With my swordsmanship and top-leveled monarch dragon, I stand a chance of beating it. Sword spirit dragon. Clank. Swish. Fire Mark Soul. The sword awakening power of this time is much stronger than ever. Maybe I'll manage to kill it in the middle of its tribulation. M-O-E, kill it. Is that Zhu Minglang? He's just a dragon tamer, but how is he as powerful as a sword cultivator? When I was at the mountain of the Grave of the Nine Armies, I had the sword cultivation base, but my body was not good as ever. But now, I've got a stronger bond with the sword spirit dragon. And with the Fire Mark, my body feels like being rebuilt. I also have a more comprehensive sword awakening power. Once I stab the Devil Star Dragon in its tribulation, restrain its move and use the Vermilion Bird Sword based on the tricks of the sword attacking, I could kill it. Glisten Sword. Growl. Light Swallowing Power. Damn it. I can see nothing. In that case, let me find a way out with a wide range attack. Firefly Sword. Coiled Dragon. Break. Growl. What a cunning beast. Want to use the power of Coiled Dragon to go through the Tribulation Vortex? No way. Sword Attacking Tricks, Vermilion Bird Sword. It's the 15th move of the Sword Attacking. What the hell? He once used the same attack in the Palace of the Meow Kingdom. Is he human or not? Bam. Screech. Ha ha. Here comes my chance. Dark Purple Dragon, kill it with the Optical Balls. Purple Fireball. There is no way you can avoid the attack as you're already seriously injured. Rumble. No. By Chi, go after it. We have to stop it. The meteorite fire is really powerful. Without the protection of MOE's fire mark, we would have been burnt to ashes. Bai isn't as powerful as a dragon god, so it can't defend itself against the meteorite fire. Chirp. All right, bye. You've done a good job. I'll take care of the rest. Leap. Chirp. Go for it. Swoosh. Growl. Devil Star Dragon, I'm coming for you. As it is already seriously injured, it only has small hope of succeeding now. MOE, we have to stop it. I can cut off that ancient divine lamp jade with one attack from this distance. Oh, no. I'm afraid that the Devil Star Dragon can't defend itself against the meteorite fire, and I'll be burnt to ashes as well if I don't try my best to defend against it. Come out, my sword. Devil Star's Flame. Moon Sword Swish. Boom. As the Devil Star Dragon is already badly injured, it will die instead of becoming a dragon god if it keeps flying up. 
Even so, it still doesn't give up. What a stubborn creature. Wait. Devil Star Dragon, I will help you go through your tribulation if you sign the soul contract with me. Growl. Looks like it doesn't want that. It even thinks it's a great shame to sign the contract. But without my help, it'll certainly be burnt to ashes. I can still get the ancient divine lamp jade after it dies. Anyway, I won't suffer any losses. As long as you sign the soul contract with me, I'll lend the ancient divine lamp jade to you. Do you want to become a dragon god or die a humble death? That is all up to you. Its mother was turned into a skeleton dragon and used by humans, so it doesn't trust humans anymore and is afraid of being enslaved. Bang bang. Are you afraid of being enslaved? You're the devil star dragon that represents rebellion. Do you have no confidence in yourself at all? If I hold you back someday, you can just break the contract. I won't beg you to stay. Hurry up. We can negotiate about the rules, preferences, and welfare later. Bang bang. The next meteorite fire will kill us both. The soul contract ring is shining. It has agreed to sign the contract. The soul contract. Its soul has connected with mine. I can feel its pain now. Ever since its mother died, it has been drifting in this cruel world alone and never felt safe, but it is just a kid for its age. Let's look after each other from now on. I'm going to help you go through the tribulation. Glitter. How? Swoosh. The ancient divine lamp jade has healed your burnt skin and flesh. Now that you have such strong vitality, recover. Let's just rise up to face the meteorite fire together. I'm sure that we'll be able to go through the tribulation. Come on. We're going to reach the top soon. Swish. Rumble. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Fizzle. Come on. After you go through the meteorite fire, you'll be able to reach the peaceful holy land where you can embrace a brand new life. Swoosh. Fizzle. Rumble. This is the Heavenly Devil Star Dragon. The seven supreme omens have all come true. Heavenly Devil Dragon. The dragon is my partner now. I'll be the one to decide if the omen is a good or bad one. Swoosh. Dash. Bai Chi, I'm back. Where are you? I finally found you. Chirp. I look so ugly now. I don't want anyone to see me like this. It's all right. You've done a great job. We have a new friend now. Chirp. Ha ha. I thought you would have the ability to stop the supreme omen, Zhu Ming Lang. But you failed like all of us. We're all going to die here. All of us are just nothing but pathetic worms. Everyone, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have been so greedy. Mr. Zhu, we can go hide in the relics. Probably, Mr. Zhu, are you all right? Fly. Ah. Run. Um, just calm down, everyone. You're so useless. Didn't you go kill it? Why did you let it go through its tribulation anyway? You're such a loser. Everyone, I have a dragon god now. Howl. Do you have any good names in mind for my heavenly devil dragon? Whoosh. Mr. Zhu, just stop pulling my leg. A name for your dragon? Wait. What did you just say? You have a dragon god now? If I hadn't tamed the heavenly devil dragon, you would have all been killed by it now. I signed the soul contract with it. It's my fifth dragon now. He, he actually has a dragon god now. I'm screwed. I just cursed a dragon tamer who has a dragon god. Oh no. Does that mean we'll all survive? Sure. Everyone, although the heavenly devil dragon destroyed Rain City before I tamed it, I'm still going to apologize for that on its behalf. Rain City will stage a comeback and all the people here will live peacefully from now on because I'm your protector. I swear in the name of the city lord that I'll never let anyone trample on this land again. Whoever dares to attack us will have to survive the attacks of my dragon god first. Hail to my lord. Mr. Zhu, I'm so sorry for misunderstanding you before. We're willing to help rebuild Rain City to express our apology. The two kingdom will be your friendly country from now on and will always be loyal to you. I'm willing to help Rain City build a trade route to Nihai. Thank you. Humph. They start to play up to you after you have a dragon god. They're so shameless. That's normal. After all, only the strong will be respected in this world. Zhu Minglang's spiritual domain. Black Tooth, Qingzhua. We have a new friend here. Growl. Howl. It looks even fiercer and colder than Bai Qi. Roar. She's right next to us. It just got here, so it doesn't know you well yet. 
it'll be nicer to you after a few days. By the way, where is Bai Chi? Howl. She's sleeping now. Bai Chi, thank you for what you did. Russell. I hope you're just a little tired, and it's not what I think. Rain City. Mr. Zhu. How do you like the new gate tower? Well, good. Please repair the houses in the back of the city as well so people can settle. I'm on it. My lord, the Divine Mortal Academy said they would take care of the spiritual energy for us and would only take 20% to cover the costs and the maintenance fee. They'll deliver the remaining 80% to us in person. Use these spiritual resources to strengthen your Dragon Tamer team. Thank you, my lord. The Bay's Manor sent some eagle-clawed half-dragons here. What do you want to do with them? Give them to the Grey Wolf Cavalry and Brass Saber Army. I need them to help protect the city. They must become more powerful. Beyond that, Red Eyebrow Manor, Lone City, Eagle Peak, Chen's Castle, the D family, and all the other forces around us have sent some precious gifts here. I'll just leave this matter to you and your brother. You don't need to report any of that to me. Yes, my lord. Don't worry. We'll help you manage the city well. I believe you. Please wait, my lord. There are three 1,000-year-old lucid. Lady Yunzi can eat them to improve her health. This is good. Everything is going smoothly for the moment. I've gathered the four fragments of the ancient divine lamp jade. As long as Xinghua wears the jade every day, Yunzi will recover little by little and even become stronger. Then I'll be able to watch the moon with her happily again. But. Spiritual domain. Roar. Roar. A dragon god is indeed different. The soul contract can't fully suppress the heavenly devil dragon. Roar roar what should I do? Oh. I can ask Mr. Koi for advice. What did you say? You signed the soul contract with the heavenly devil dragon? Didn't I ask you to tame a purple dragon with a gray tail? Why did you tame this heavenly devil dragon that has a very bad temper anyway? You just reached the high monarch level. There is no way you can suppress a dragon god. Free it now. What's done is done. Besides, I helped it become a dragon god. It might betray you one day. Do you want it to thank you for helping it? In your dreams. The only thing it will do is remind you not to eat too much garlic. Why would it want to remind me of that? Decadent dragons don't like the smell of garlic. It will spit you out if it tastes garlic when it chews you. Then it will get angry and trample you to death. It's a dragon god, not a fool. If it had no confidence to defeat you, it wouldn't have signed the soul contract with you. I know that. It's just that it is much younger than I thought. It feels angry at and hostile to me indeed, but I know it doesn't want to kill me for the moment. Mr. Koi, is there a way to stop it from betraying me? You'll have to become more powerful. It needs about one or two years to recover from the injuries it got during the tribulation. Does that mean I have to reach the god level within one or two years? That's almost impossible. Um, there is another way you need to have a dragon that can subdue it. Given the current situation, only the Sword Spirit Dragon and Bai Chi might have a chance to become a dragon god in such a short time. Oh, right, speaking of Bai Chi, I'm afraid it is. What's wrong with Bai Chi? It's been sleeping for two days. I can't wake it up no matter what I do. Isn't it a good thing? Why are you worried about that? It was hurt by the meteorite fire before. I'm going to check on it in the spiritual domain first. Spiritual domain. Whoosh. I have seen something like this before. Right after I signed the soul contract with Bai Chi, it turned into an ice pupa from a white dragon. At that time, the whole city was almost covered with the ice produced by Bai Chi and the ice didn't melt until the second day. That was when I started to wander. According to Mr. Koi, Bai shouldn't have another metamorphosis through reincarnation so soon. Is it because of the heavenly devil dragon? I feel empty at the thought that I might not be able to see Bai for some time. Bai Chi? Whoosh. Bai Chi. Cheap. Whimper don't worry and just go to sleep. Blacktooth, Qingzhua, and Moe are here keeping me company. The Heavenly Devil Dragon won't betray me within one or two years. When it does, I might need your help to suppress it. Whoosh. Freeze. I don't know what kind of dragon Bai Chi is. Unlike other dragons, it degenerates again and again. Freeze. But thankfully, my spiritual domain is at a high level now. Sleeping here for one day equals sleeping for 100 days outside. Mr. Koi, Bai Chi has started its degeneration. Really? Yes, I can feel that its breath is becoming faint. It's very dangerous to go through a degeneration, but your soul contract can always keep it alive. 
When it wakes up again, it might become a dragon god and even become stronger than the heavenly devil dragon. My spiritual domain can help it finish the degeneration almost 100 times faster. It won't take too long for it to wake up again, right? No, if you're still worried, you can use a phoenix's nest to accelerate its degeneration. The phoenix's nest is made by a phoenix over 10,000 years old using its saliva and some other materials. Being a treasure for the phoenixes, it is made for young phoenixes. Made by a phoenix over 10,000 years old and a treasure for the phoenixes? You really have overestimated me. But I'll try my best to get it for Bai Chi. Good. I grew up with Bai Chi. We always stick together and help each other in difficulties. I'll feel provider of it if it becomes a dragon god. It became an icy white dragon from a white dragon last time. I really want to know what kind of dragon it will become next time. Oh, the whole spiritual domain is covered with snow and ice because of Bai Chi now. I wonder if other dragons are affected by that. Spiritual domain. Is Blacktooth also going through its degeneration? It even has ice threads on it. Freeze. Qingzhua is having a metamorphosis through reincarnation as well. Is this an infection or something? Freeze. MOE. MOE is a sword. Why is it generating threads too? Howl. Phew. Thankfully, the heavenly devil dragon is still awake. Otherwise, I will have no dragons left. Probably it's because it just went through its tribulation. Sniff sniff. Are you hungry? Um, why don't you look for some food in the relics yourself? Growl? Growl. Don't you provide food for me? I'm going to betray you right now. I was just kidding. Why don't you tell me what kind of food you like first? Growl. The blood of a 10,000 year old sacred spirit? Four of my dragons are sleeping now. And the heavenly devil dragon is not capable of tracking down sacred spirits. Looks like I have to go hunting myself. I need to find out where there are 10,000 year old sacred spirits first. Then let's go there, kill them, and get you fresh blood. Roar. Be patient. I'm looking for food for you. Huh? What is happening over there? Let's go take a look. Roar. OMG, it's a river ghost. Swoosh two women are trapped by it. We have to help them. We can defeat it if we fight it together. It is the reincarnation of a river god. If you piss it off, we'll be punished. Who is causing trouble here? Heavenly devil dragon, you must be thirsty. Do you want to eat the river ghost? Growl. No. Roar. Swoosh. But looks like it wants to eat you instead. Growl. It must have a death wish. Puzzle. Splash. Inhale. Miss by? Miss one? Heavenly devil dragon, catch them. Swish. Miss Bai, you woke up? What happened to you? We encountered some ghosts. I heard those people shout something like River Ghost, but I don't think it was a threat. No, you don't know what it can do. We received a ghost sealing order and went to a branch of the Purple Forest sect on Mount Wang to discuss how to kill those ghosts. But unexpectedly, we were ambushed by a mountain ghost and the branch was destroyed by it. Everyone there was killed. Only one and I escaped alive. Then we encountered a river ghost when we ran for our life. Does that mean the mountain ghost is much stronger than the river ghost? Yes, every ghost has a unique ability. They can attach themselves to mountains, rivers, grasses, and stones. River ghosts, forest ghosts, and earth ghosts are at the monarch level at least. Mountain ghosts can tear apart a master in the purple forest sect with ease. Zhu Minglang, please send a message to sect leader Ming for us and tell her about this. Don't worry, Miss Bai. I'll be going right away. I didn't expect those ghosts to be so powerful. Thankfully, I have a dragon god now. Push. Ouch. Um, Master Zuhen. Punishing, I need to talk with Zhu Minglang alone. Why don't you go look for traces of the ghosts by the water? I see. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Please don't get mad at me. Do you know where Li Yunzi and Nan Lingxia are from? They're from the Nan clan of the Ancestral Dragon City. Why do you ask? Why did she suddenly ask me that question? There are some horrible forbidden places around the Li Chuan continent. Those places are probably the lost lands of some unknown continents. Do you mean continents are splitting and getting closer to each other? I thought about that too. We found some important clues that can prove they're extraterrestrials from one of those forbidden places. What's wrong with them being extraterrestrials? 
To those people from the Jiting continent, everyone on the Lichuan continent is an extraterrestrial, and vice versa. You know what? If I keep practicing, in three years at most, no more than ten people can defeat me in this world. You're in the primary grade of the god level, and I'm sure you can achieve that in three years. My master is just as arrogant as me. Li Yunzi and Nan Lingxia are also capable of doing the same thing. They're just like me. You have to stay away from them. Just like you? What do you mean? You don't deserve to ask me this question until you can see my true cultivation base. She's so arrogant. But do they have another identity or something? Do they come from a powerful family and have a great mission to finish or are they fairies from above? It's him again. I've never seen Master show concern for anyone else except for Zhu Minglang. Master, I found one ghost. It is heading to the forest in the west. It's probably a river ghost or a forest ghost. I'll leave it to you then. Only mountain ghosts deserve to see my sword. I heard that you killed a river ghost. I didn't expect you to become so powerful in such a short time. I'm a fast learner. We're tracking another ghost. Judging from its fur, I think it must be about 13,000 years old. You want to cooperate with me? Okay, but after we kill it, I want its blood and we can split the rest 50-50. The heavenly devil dragon is going to betray me if I can't find food for it ASAP. Deal. What did Master talk about with you? She looked a little worried. Swoosh. It's nothing. She just showed concern for me and asked me to take good care of myself. Ahem. She may look indifferent, but she's actually warm-hearted. Warm-hearted? She's always cold to others. Are they really just relatives? Are you really related to her by blood? Why do you ask? I heard some rumors that Zhu Shuahen is a natural daughter of his majesty and was placed into foster care in the Zhu clan. I don't go back home often, so I don't know about that. However, his majesty and the imperial concubine value Master Shuahen a lot. Does that have anything to do with her identity? The leaves on those trees around the temple have all fallen. Clearly, something is hiding in the temple. It might be a ghost. Let's go take a look inside. Just come out. We know you're hiding here. People come here to worship you, but you keep causing trouble for them. You really live the good life here, huh? Rumble. The door is going to close. Let's get out of here now. Run. What's this? One of the ghosts, probably. It has lived for 13,000 years. It is the ghost that we're looking for. Divine Purple Dragon, let's kill it. Roar. Clack. Titan. Crunch. Roar. Bang. Zhu Minglang, hang in there. I'm gonna call for help. What the hell? I'm sure that he's even capable of killing a ghost at the top monarch level. Why is he running away now? Is he trying to get me killed? Did I offend him before? Whatever. Heavenly Devil Dragon, I found food for you. If you don't come out now. Swoosh. Whoosh. The helper came so soon? Whoosh whoosh burrow. Buzz. Boom split. Gurgle gurgle. Is the earth bleeding? Did anyone just kill the ghost? Whoosh. Well done, Master Shuahen. Master, it turns out you were near us. Thankfully, you came here in time. Otherwise, we would have to take great pains to kill it. Did you just try to get him killed? How is that possible? I just wanted to see how powerful he has become now. As you can see, I didn't go too far. If he were in danger, I'd come out to save him. Whoosh. What? I'll kill you if you dare do that again. Clang. I will never do it again. She nearly killed me. I've been working with her for years, but she just threatened me with her sword for Zhu Minglang. Clearly, he wanted to get me killed, but I have never offended him before. Is it because of Master Shuahan? I guess Mr. P.U. was just being curious. Anyway, he used to be a talented cultivator who was more powerful than all the people in the capital. It's normal that he wants to know how powerful I am now. Master Shuahan, please forgive him for that. Okay, it's dangerous here. You'd better get out of here now. You should be careful too, Master Shuahan. Not everyone is as kind and simple as me. You need to be wary of those people around you. They're holding each other's hands. They really have no shame. Zhu Shuahan, you've ignored me for years, but you care so much about the loser Zhu Minglang. You'll pay for that.
I'll just leave you two alone. I'm going to look for other ghosts now. Just as I thought, he loves Master Shuahen but can't have her. That's why he got jealous of me. Looks like he has lost his head. It's probably because he's been living in grief all the time since his relatives in the branch of the Purple Forest sect on Mount Guan were killed. Sai looks like she doesn't know anything about love. All right, I'm going to look for other ghosts now. You should get out of here ASAP. I will leave here after I get what I want. Come on. It's time for a meal. Growl. Flo. How will Punishing feel if he knows that I have a dragon god? You've eaten your fill now. Can you help me with something? Someone wants to kill me. Are you not going to do anything about that? If I die, the soul contract will break. Then you will probably return to your original form because you're just a new dragon god. Growl, let me think about it. That's settled then. You can have a good sleep after we kill him. Growl? I haven't said yes yet, all right? Haha. Ha. Come on. How shameless they are. Shimming, why do you ask me here? Did you find out anything important? Black Hand. I need you to deal with someone for me. The leader of Black Hand Hall of the Purple Forest section now? How powerful is he? He's just a loser. I need you to leave no trace. It's best to make a ghost our scapegoat. By the way, don't kill him. Make him a totally useless man. Do you understand? Yes, this isn't the first time that I've done something like this. His name is Zhu Minglang, Zhu Tianguan's son. It's him again. Prince On once asked us to kill him, but we refused him. Then he asked the Cell Sword sect to do the job. The Cell Sword sect failed and Prince On was exposed. Those people in the Cell Sword sect are all losers. There is no way the Cell Sword sect can compare with your hall. If you can kill Zhu Minglang, we'll be able to build a relationship with Princeling. You've got a point. Prince Ong has always wanted to suppress the Zhu clan. I'm sure he has always wanted to join hands with your family, but he never had the chance. If you get rid of Zhu Minglang for Princeling, he'll surely lower his guard and treat your family well. But isn't Prancing in Snow Peak City right now? We need to deal with Zhu Minglang first if we want to build a relationship with him. Hey, he's just a weak dragon tamer. We have hundreds of ways to make his life living hell. Besides, it's getting dark earlier today and we can do our job better at night. Is it already dark? Something is wrong. The sun hasn't set yet and no one in the town has lit lanterns. It is only dark here. Whoosh. What's that? Ah. Divine purple dragon, dark purple dragon. Roar. Find it. It's heading to the bamboo forest. Boom. Did they get it? Hey! Are you alright? I can't believe his body has been terribly contorted. Is there a ghost in the darkness? It can't be. Ah! Uh, haven't you caught it? What's wrong with you? You wild dragon, how dare you try to attack me? Growl? Growl? Wild dragon? I'm gonna kill you! Bang! No! No way! Dark purple dragon, use the mystic art. Rumble. Howl. Ow. Mr. Ghost, please forgive me. I can give you anything you want as long as you spare my life. Humph. Mr. P.U., I didn't expect you to believe there's a ghost as you're such a powerful cultivator in the G Ting continent. Zhu Minglang? It's you. Are you happy that I'm not a ghost? Why did you pretend to be a ghost? I was not pretending to be a ghost, but taking my dragon out to look for food here. The stone ghost's blood was just for filling my stomach, but the purple dragon's is tasty. A dragon god. Do you think it'd be better if I were a ghost? No. No way. This is impossible. I've always wanted a dragon god. With it, the PU family and the purple forest sect will give me as many spiritual resources as I want. Such a dragon god is supposed to be mine. How could this be? Anything is possible. I've given you one chance, but you didn't cherish it. You can't kill me. If you do, you will start a war between the Zhu clan and the PU family. The kingdom won't let you off easily. Roar. Don't worry. I'll make a ghost my scapegoat. Anyway, so many people in the Purple Forest sect died here before and you're going to join them soon. Wait. I forgot to ask you something. I know you have a crush on Zhu Shuahen, but why do you want to kill me? Hey. You know why. You really think too much. Try to be a broad-minded person in your next life. If you can't do that, just don't mess with me because I'm also a narrow-minded person. Ah. 
The blood was from the ghost I killed. Master Shuahin, are you angry with me? I said give him a chance. I was worried about you and hated to see him keep bothering you. You can go now. Take care, Master Shuahin. How did Zhu Mingling kill Piyu Shiming and his powerful fighter? I don't think Zhu Mingling is that powerful at the moment. What is he hiding from me? My dear dragon god, I've helped you get the food and you have eaten your fill. You can't just go to sleep right after eating. Can you take me back to Rain City first? What a disobedient creature. Whoosh. Sigh it's so hard to lead these dragons. Looks like I have to get to Snow Peak City, the nearest city from here, and hire a dragon there to fly back to Rain City. Snow Peak City. Snow Peak City. I can't believe I had to walk for so long and have to hire a dragon when I already have so many dragons. If I had known this would happen, I would have asked Master Shuahin to take me back on her sword. Hmm? The branch of the outer court of the Zhu clan in the Snow Peak City. Oh right. I forgot that there's a branch of the outer court here. This is so great. Mr. Zhu, we've prepared a dragon for you. I need to meet Prince Ong later, so I can't escort you back in person. Meet Prince Ong? Yes, Prince Ong asked me to forge gold ox shoes for a divine ox for him the other day. He said it is for an honorable extraterrestrial. Today is the deadline. I have to send them to him immediately. We've found some important clues that can prove they're extraterrestrials from one of those forbidden places. Extraterrestrial? The extraterrestrial inn mentioned by Master Shuahan? I have never seen any extraterrestrials. Why don't you take me with you? I want to broaden my horizons. Anyway, I'm in no hurry to go back to Rain City. Splash. Sure. Then let's go meet them together after you get dressed. Prince Ang's mansion. Your Highness, these are the gold ox shoes you want. We finished them overnight. Please have a check. Mr. Bai, extraterrestrial. Mr. Bai, I prepared a small gift for you. Please take it. The Zhu clan has the best forging technology on the G-Ting continent. Things forged by them are all of the finest quality. Hmm? He looks so familiar to me. Mr. Bai? Oh. It's so kind of you, your highness. I came here this time to look for an enemy of mine. I was thinking about him, so my mind just wandered. Does he only have one arm? It's him. When I was young and impulsive, I came here alone for adventures, but that despicable man attacked me sneakily and hurt one of my arms. I've become more powerful now. I have to kill him or he'll always be a scar in my heart. And that will affect my following cultivation. Huh? As far as I know, when you first came here, you already reached the god level. I'm afraid that only someone from the four major sects or the leader of some ancient sects could hurt you. What did that man look like? He looked very young, less than 20 years old. He used a sword and must be from a sect focusing on swords here. If I hadn't let my guard down and given him a chance to attack me sneakily, I would have ripped his head off. What a shameless man. He was no match for me, but he just lied that I attacked him sneakily. Huh? Is he absorbing the spiritual energy? Ah. Sir, you should have asked those people to leave first before you absorb the spiritual energy here. They're all innocent. They don't deserve this. Those people who live on this continent are like rats to me. They live on this spirit island, but don't even know how to use the resources. It doesn't matter if they're dead or alive. Just stay out of this and don't disturb me, or I'll kill you as well. He doesn't care about other people's lives at all. Beyond that, he's even draining away by spiritual energy. I have to stop him. In this case, I'll have to make you stop then. Wield. How dare you? Howl howl. You're just a sword cultivator. How dare you try to fight me? Rumble. He's so powerful. I'm afraid he has reached the god level. There is no way I can beat him if I fight him in an ordinary way. Clang. In this case, just take my most powerful attack. Ah. Boom. Oh no, he has absorbed the spiritual energy on this island. The land has become a barbaric one. I'm afraid my attack will destroy it. Damn it. Go to hell. Pizzle pizzle. His attack destroyed my cultivation base as a sword cultivator and then I fell into a swirl. That's how I came to the Lichuan continent. I'll take my leave then, your highness. I didn't expect to see him here again, but four of my dragons are sleeping now. After they wake up, I'm going to ask them to tear him apart. Rain City. A dozen days later. I'm finally back. I didn't expect this place to become so prosperous in such a short time. I can finally have a good time with my wives, no, my wife and her sisters now. Autumn Yard. Bump. Ouch. 
Hey! Watch where you are going. Um, my lord, you're back. Be careful. Why were you in such a hurry? Where are my wife and her sisters? They left to deal with something urgent. They left a letter for you. Minglang, my grandma is seriously ill. In the letter, she said there is something very important she wants to tell us. We waited for you for three days and wanted to go back to the Lichuan continent together with you, but we were worried that our grandma might not have too many days left. Therefore, we left without you. We hope you can catch up with us and meet us at the east border ASAP. Something important? Is it about extraterrestrials? However, four of my dragons are sleeping now. The heavenly devil dragon doesn't want me to ride it. It'll take months for me to catch up with them if I ride a horse or something. Growl. Growl. I'll never let you ride me. Never. By the way, I have something for you. What's this? It's a phoenix's nest. Someone picked it up on a mountain. I heard it's a precious treasure. So I bought it from those unscrupulous merchants for a high price for you. I heard that the nest can be used to accelerate the dragon's degeneration. It's really useful. It said the nest is from a 30,000-year-old phoenix that lives on a mysterious island in Nihai. It's a pity that some big families and nobles in Nihai have gotten the other nests, or I could have gotten you a bigger one. Nihai? The resources there are very rich. It is a good place for my dragons to recover. Anyway, it'll take me a lot of time to catch up with them. Why don't I go to Nihai and let Bai and the others recover there first? After they wake up, I'll ask them to take me to catch up with Yunzi. Thanks. By the way, have you gotten the blood of the sacred spirits as I asked? We've ordered the blood from all the forces on the brown continent, but we can only get a little every month. You can come back here to get it termly. I see. I'm not going to meet Yunzi and the others now. I'll write a letter to them. I need you to send it to them ASAP. Ask them to wait for me after they arrive at the Lichuan continent. I'll go back there after some time. Okay. Zhu Minglang, why don't you just capture the whole continent with your wives? It'll be more efficient if you have all the people on this continent to help you collect the treasures. You just need to have Flynn with your four wives every day. Then you'll become the strongest person in this world. We need to take it slow. Tell me how to use the nest first. Is it for external or internal use? Who should eat it, me or the dragons? You, of course. How are those dragon pupies supposed to eat it? You need to figure out what kind of element the energy is. If it is ice, wind, star, or something like that, it'll flow to Bai Chi. If it is with light and the like, Qingzhuo will absorb it. MOE will absorb a metal or rare stone element, while Blacktooth will absorb a water, beast, or blood element. Spiritual Domain It's the wood element, one of the natural elements. Looks like Qingzhuo is going to wake up first. How's it going? Did you absorb the energy? What kind of element is it? It's a wood element. Qingzhuo will absorb it. Beyond that, my cultivation base has improved a lot and I have gotten a new soul contract. Purple Dragon You have to tame a purple dragon this time. All right, all right. Purple Dragon Mr. Koi, you are so persistent. Growl? What? So you didn't want me in the first place? You've been planning to betray me all the time, haven't you? Why do you suddenly start to care about how I think of you? Cheap. Qingzhuo just made a sound. Looks like I'm going to see the new Qingzhuo soon enough. Just go back to sleep and grow up quickly. Ten days later. Xian Chao in. This is the unconnecting Nihai. I'm going to take a rest here. This is the first time that I have seen someone ride a horse here. Ha ha. Luo Xiaoyan, from the Great Mountain Sect. Are you one of those so-called bards who came here to look for an ill-bred sugar mommy? Who is this chatterbox? He really has a foul mouth. But he must think I'm handsome, or he wouldn't have thought I'm here to find a sugar mommy. I'm a dragon tamer. Ha <laughs> ha. Would a dragon tamer ride a horse? Are you a worm tamer or something? Many worm and snake keepers also think of themselves as dragon tamers. Sai he's just a dumbass. I'd better stay away from him. Cheap. Hmm? Spiritual realm. Yan Wo, Qingzhuo got out so quickly. Motel. I have to feed my dragons, that's the only way I can find my wife. Ha ha ha. Don't try to fool me, you're feeding your worm. I know you're trying to seduce women. My friend, I know life's hard, but let me buy you a drink. It looks like he's stupid but still has respect for me. I'll leave him alone, then. This is an azure dragon and it's going to transform soon. 
Fella, every living creature has a chance to become a dragon, but that chance is even lower than the possibility of getting hit by a shooting star. Stop dreaming. This is just a caterpillar. It's cute and perfect for the sugar mommies. What's your name? Luo Xiaoyan, what's yours, pretty boy? I'm Zhu Minglang. Oh, stop staring and eat. Eat with me. Judging by your clothes, you are not that poor. It must be because of the dragon transformations you're chasing. You've bought too many expensive books, but still got nothing in the end. Learning about dragons is important. You can't just see a creature full of vitality and think it's going to become a dragon. It could be an elf in disguise or maybe a really old animal. You study Dragon Awakening? Of course, my Luoshan sect was once a glorious clan. Some of Zi Zongling seniors even came to our place to learn about dragons. The Zi Zongling's esoteric Dragon Awakening technique was actually stolen from us. We were just too kind and humble to say anything about it. All right, then tell me when this sweet boy is going to transform and become a dragon? Are you kidding me? That thing? If it could transform, I promise to drink lip the entire Nihai Sea. Oh, looks like your dragon knowledge isn't that good after all. Nonsense. I came here to enroll at the most prestigious dragon academy. When I become famous in the academy, you'll still remain a boy trying to get women to love him. Don't call me your old friend then, and don't go telling people we sat together for a drink. Right, the Nihai Dragon Master Academy. I don't know if a Lichuan Dragon Academy student could get accepted. I should pay that place a visit, maybe I can meet the headmaster there. Belch my brother, be realistic. If you still have some savings left, buy a baby dragon replica. That would be more trustworthy than your caterpillar. Don't believe the words of those merchants. Their medicines and herbs that are supposed to be good for cultivation are mostly useless. Knowledge is the key. It can take you through every dragon gate and far beyond that. You can never go wrong with it. This is... Rebirth? You're already reborn? That's way too fast. It took me and Xiao Baichi years to be reborn. Of course a 30,000-year-old phoenix nest is effective. If you put it inside your spiritual realm, your cultivation speed will be 100 times faster and the cocoon will break open in a few days. Oh, now I'm looking forward to seeing what Shao King's wheel will become after the rebirth. I didn't think it would only take a day in the spiritual realm, but Qingzhu's transformation has succeeded. It's just, its appearance has changed. Roar? Why does his vitality feel so intimidating? He's turned into an Azure Eagle Dragon? That's not an Azure Eagle Dragon, it's an Azure Tsongawan Sacred Dragon. It has the blood of the Azure Phoenix. I told you long ago that you'd stumbled upon a treasure. Every time it's reborn, the bloodline will become even more divine. An Azure Tsongawan Sacred Dragon's bloodline can rival Tianchalong. After some training, you can easily step into the Dragon King level. He used to drink lime juice, but now he can eat leaves. That's right. The flaws of his old bloodline have disappeared. Thanks to the combination of the Azure Phoenix and Azure Sacred Wood bloodlines, Qingzhua has become the true king of nature. I'll consider his hard times to be over. We should go get some more Phoenix spiritual dew. He's going to be able to control many powerful racial abilities soon. We'll have to go to Nihai Man City for that, and we can pay the Academy a visit while we're there. Nihai Man City. What is this? Did I come to the wrong place? This place looks like it's been contaminated by something. Come get the best young spirits. Your dragon is right around the corner. Don't miss this chance. Get Millennium Ice Blooms for only 2,000 gold. Dragon Eggs. Dragon Eggs. It's only 1,500 gold for one dragon egg. 1,500 gold, and you can become a respected dragon master. Neon Coral Fruit. It can strengthen your dragons. The price can be negotiated as long as you truly want to buy my stuff. Sir, how much does this Phoenix Spiritual do cost? 900 gold per bottle. I'll buy all of your Phoenix Spiritual do. Yes, yes, it's all yours. Haha, -ha, we've got time. Slow down. Dragon Master Academy. Excuse me, is Master Duan Changqing here? Name. Zhu Minglang. Please wait. Zhu Minglang. It's you. Madam Duan Lan. We don't get news from the Imperial City here, so my father and I couldn't find out anything about you. Is everything all right? It's going well, of course, it's mainly Li Yunzi's doing, but Zulong City finally has peace. Right, she's the woman who helped Li Chuan. I wonder how she's doing. By the way, you've arrived at the perfect time. What? 
The Lichuan Dragon Master Academy has been cut off, and although the students are taken in by the Jiting continent, Nihai Dragon Master Academy is quite reluctant to accept them. My father and I have been running back and forth. We managed to win a chance. He's been away for too long and doesn't hold enough power to stop them. Our old enemy is still the Nyaman court, so... You want to challenge them? Yes, and we have to make it a harsh one. They must be completely satisfied. You're still our student and this is your chance to teach those arrogant men a lesson. Well, I don't want to scare them, but it's not impossible. Good. The Lichuan Dragon Master Academy could be considered a foreign force, so it's too unfair for the students there that we can't obtain more resources. Now that you're here, we won't have to worry about them pulling any tricks. You can stay here for now. Tell me if you need anything. Okay. I'll get out of your hair now, Madame Duan Lan. Zhu Minglang, you can now start honing the essence. It'll remove the impure elements left in his body and even better, guide him to stronger powers. Isn't he too young for that? Humans and dragons are very similar. Their ability to learn new things is extremely good at the young and growing stages. You must take advantage of it. Now is the best time to awake your legendary techniques. Go find a training field. We'll decide what to hone according to the Azure Tsongawan Sacred Dragon's abilities. That makes sense. Dragon Master Academy's training field. Qingzhua, you've grown so fast. Excuse me, brother. Lu Fong, student of the Dragon Master Academy. What breed is your dragon? I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, he's an Azure Tsongawan sacred dragon. Zhang Liang, Dragon Master Academy graduate. What nonsense. What sort of dragon has sacred in its name? A sacred dragon must be at least at the monarch level. Your Azure dragon looks beautiful, but calling it a scared dragon is ridiculous. Screw him, your azure dragon is gorgeous. It took me a month to finally meet my godless at the training field, and now she's more interested in your dragon. Right, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Zhu Mingling from Lichuan. Lichuan? I've never of that before. Oh, isn't it that crappy private school on the Lichuan continent? Now you're trying to get validation from our academy. You must be from that circus. It looks like your dragon is only a chicken after all. Since you think he's just a chicken, how about we let him and your dragon have a little match? What makes you think your chicken is worthy of my eagle dragon's attention? How embarrassing. A student of the Dragon Master Academy is afraid to fight a chicken. I can't even believe it. You. Who said I was scared? I just don't want my dragon's claws to get dirty. Zhang Liang, are you scared? I'm not scared. Damn it. I can't embarrass myself in front of her. Eagle Dragon, Upper Dragon Lord, be careful with that dragon of yours. My Eagle Dragon is not forgiving. Qingzhua, go play with him, but don't hit him too hard. Damn it! Use your claws and attack. It's just a tiny dragon, so how could it be this strong? Is it actually a sacred dragon? He's too strong for his age. This dragon is not a normal one. That's all I could do. We're just some pricks from a crappy private school. He beat your eagle dragon with an infant dragon. He used his own strength to prove his words. This dragon truly is an Azure Tsongawan sacred dragon. You should apologize to him. Yeah. Very well. I can't let her think I'm a rude, blind man. I was too arrogant. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm a generous man who doesn't hold grudges against those who are weaker than me. Don't get too confident. I'll tell you what, my master designated me to deal with Lichuan peasants like you, and I will use dragons even stronger than my eagle dragon. Okay, I'll wait. Huh. Ignore him. Hey, brother, you're here too. Luo Xiaoyin, it's you. Luo Xiaoyin is a bit of a loudmouth, but compared to the guy I just met, he's much more pleasant. Oh, whose sacred dragon is this? Why is he with you? He's mine, you've already met him. Yours? It's that little caterpillar? What what nonsense? Where did this Zhu Minglang guy find such luck? A caterpillar that turned into a dragon? And it's a sacred dragon at that? That's right, it's him. He's a dragon now. I remember that you said that if he could become a dragon, you would drink the entire Nihai Sea. You should start here, right now. Hey, I wasn't thinking when I said that, but it's not entirely my fault. Who would have thought that a caterpillar would actually become a dragon? How about I buy you another drink, and we can forget that thing about that sea? All right, your wine wasn't bad at all, and we're going to meet a lot in this academy anyway. We'd better not, you've humbled me. 
I should have bought some beautiful worms back in Day Lily Garden. They could have become phoenixes by now. This guy really thinks I picked up Qingzhuo by accident. Duan Chan Qing's residence. Long time no see. I've heard about your actions in the Imperial City. Now that you're here, I feel so much more relieved. Don't worry, I'll find a way to make the Nyaman court accept Li Chuan. Zhu Minglang? Why are you here? I was just passing by. I heard from Duan Lan that some people were messing with us, and I wanted to help. Everyone's here. Did anything bad happen on your way here? We're fine. Since Li Chuan is now a part of the Jiting dynasty, as long as we have our travel documents, those guards won't cause us any problems. Very well, your rooms have been prepared. The test is in seven days. Be careful around those people from the other side. When Duan Lan and I came here, there was quite the conflict. Sir, there was a man named Zheng Liang who claimed to be a student of the Supreme Academy. He was rude to me, so I defeated him in a fight. Now that you mention it, please pay attention. Our first move against the Academy must be made by our former student. The people from the Supreme Academy are the most talented young dragon masters. I'll buy you all some materials to make sure that everyone's dragon strength is improved before the test. Go get some rest, we'll start training tomorrow. The fate of our Lichuan Academy is in your hands. Thank you, sir. Zhu Minglang, where's my sister Nan? I haven't seen her since she left with you. Her mother is very sick, so she's on her way back to Lichuan. I heard that you were already a general when you left school. What's your rank now? Has your little sacred dragon reached monarch level? I'm a king level dragon master now, but Qingzhu's situation is a bit unique. He's not a dragon monarch yet. King level. Faisong student of the Lichuan Dragon Master Academy. What a shameless liar. Who's he? That's Faisong. He's new to the academy and is always practicing outside. He's stronger than all of us. I can single-handedly fight all those Supreme Academy students. Everyone else is just here to look pretty. You look sleek. That's very fitting for a male wife, but you should forget about being a dragon master. Is it my fault I look this handsome? The barren wetlands near the sea. Aside from having nature powers, the Azure Tsongawan Sacred Dragon has another ability called Light Control. Its body can produce sacred azure light. This is Azure Phoenix's Nine Skies, an extremely powerful ability that lets its feathers absorb sunlight. Did you tell me to find the origin of nature and sacred light to strengthen those two bloodlines to their extremes? That's right, but he also needs to fight other monsters to accumulate power for his next breakthrough. Qingzhua, don't go over there. That's a thousand-year-old water lizard. In the past two days, Qingzhua has killed hundreds of water lizards over 500 years old, but a thousand-year-old monster is still too dangerous for a young dragon like him. Chirp chirp, I'm not afraid. Thousand-year-old water lizard. Gods, this one has scales and thorns. It looks so much like a dragon that I'm afraid it's only one step away from becoming one. Are you sure you want to fight it? If you really want to kick its ass, you can wait until you're a little older to slap it around. Chirp! I want to fight it now. A thousand-year-old water lizard can create tides. This place is sinking, so find somewhere else to stand. I know. Qingzhua, be careful. Qingzhua is already this strong? Is it dead? Qingzhua. I'm burning. Qingzhua, watch out. Stay away from it. Its blood is viscous and touched lots of sand. That's going to slow down its movement. Qingzhua, get to the dune. Not bad, we couldn't kill it, but the challenge was successful. Have some Phoenix spiritual do. He's leveling up? I thought it would take three to four days to reach adulthood, but it's happening way sooner. It looks like fighting overpowering enemies can help with Qingzhua's growth. This is a Phoenix spiritual leaf, and it can boost your magical powers. Take it, and go back to the spiritual realm to rest. He's still growing up, but his strength is incredible, his vitality is also much better than before. And then it looks like I can count on you during the test. Roar. The light is going to blind me. Let me out. I want to stretch my limbs. Okay. 
since we're in Nihai, we can take a stroll. Roar. It's so beautiful, I've never seen a beach before. Let's go farther out. I heard that there's a spiritual island out there, maybe we can see a phoenix. Hmm? It looks like there's someone over there. They must be from the Dragon Master Academy, since they're wearing the Academy's hats. It looks like they're fighting, let's go take a look. Roar all right. Han Wan, superintendent of the Manching Dragon Master Academy, why are you here? When I flew past here, I saw lots of bloody dragons lurking around. You shouldn't stay here too long. We're from the Manching Dragon Master Academy. I'm the Academy's head instructor, Lin Zhao. These two are superintendents. You Lin Zhao, head instructor of the Manching Dragon Master Academy. We were investigating the pollution here in Nihai, and a thousand-year-old great sea eagle attacked us. My friend was wounded, and we tried to stop the bleeding. The eagle can still detect us. That's why you can't leave? Yes, great sea eagles are extremely good at tracking their prey. Our dragons have been marked. If we call them, it will know our location even from thousands of miles away and come to kill us. Could you please take us back to Manchang? We'll return this favor. Oh, that's... I should talk to my dragon first. Eh? I've never seen any dragon master like him. He even has to ask for his dragon's permission to help us. My dragon and I were going hunting. He only drinks the blood of over 15,000-year-old spirits. If we help you, we might miss our chance to find food. Holy spirit blood? That's easy too easy. Our academy still has some in storage. As long as you can help us, we'll give it all to you. Hey, if you give them a ride, you can get the blood of over 15,000-year-old spirits. What a steal. Roar okay, I'll give them a ride just this one time. Everyone, come. Thank you. We're so lucky to meet you. If we couldn't leave, I'm afraid Han Wan might have, that's alright, my dragon isn't easy to push around either. Roar. We're being followed. I can feel it too. It's like something is staring down at us from the sky, it must be that great sea eagle. It looks like the great sea eagle is afraid of Tianchalong, it stopped chasing us. Thank you for taking us back home. We would have died on that island without your help. Please follow me to the treasure house to get your Holy Spirit blood. You're welcome. Holy Spirit blood is really hard to collect, Supreme but our Manching Supreme Dragon Academy has a tradition of master finding the rarest treasures academy to gift to the best treasure students and elders. Tower. And of course, to return the favor that guests like you have done for us. Can you exchange credits for Holy Spirit blood? Absolutely, but very few students can afford it. It's usually the elders that have spent years accumulating wealth. Then I want night dragon blood and thousand-year-old beast blood, is that okay? Yes, but I'm afraid there's a limit to these treasures. I'm only allowed to give you two portions of them. Otherwise, I would have given you all of our thousand-year-old blood. Two should be enough. If there's nothing else, goodbye. Farewell, should you need anything, come find me. You are a kind man, and it's an honor to be friends with you. Thank you. I can't tell you my name right now, but I may need your help in a few days. You are our savior. Whatever you need, I, Lin Zhao, will do everything to help you. Sir, who do you think that man is? He's a young man with a dragon king. I've never heard of anyone that extraordinary before. I can't tell what his identity is either. He seemed interested in exchanging credits for Holy Spirit blood, so that mysterious man could be one of our students. Are you saying that he's a master in disguise? Yeah, it looks like I have some things to prepare. Let's get you bandaged up first. Miss Duan Lan. Zhu Ming Lang. Miss Duan Lan, what's wrong? You look so upset. It's nothing, I'm fine. The Supreme Academy's test is starting soon, so I should get going. Really? I'll come with you. My father loves this academy. He's done everything he could for it, but I don't know what to do for him. Duan Lan, don't think too hard. Calm down. I'm here, and we'll get through this. Zhu Mingling, I heard that you and the monarch were really close. That's... Weird, why is Duan Lan asking about my relationship with Yunzi? Is she trying to tell me something? Why are so many people in love with me? Am I actually a legend? No. Zhu Mingling is a righteous man, with the deepest respect for his teacher. My wife and her sisters are my one and only. Honestly, I admire her a lot. I can barely keep a small academy running properly. Lichuan is enormous and has so many states, but she can protect it with her own strength. Every time I compare myself to her, I feel so useless. 
I want you to tell me more about her and how she could face an entire army or nation without any fear. Oh, so that's what you meant. Why do I feel a bit hurt? Talking about her makes me both in awe and in pain. Isn't it just a test? Why is there such a large audience? This is supposed to be the Supreme Academy test for us, so why did it turn into this public competition? What are you doing? If you want to become a part of the Supreme Academy, you need more than the teacher's approval. The Sun League students' opinions matter super just as much. Intended of the Supreme Dragon Master Academy. I'm a superintendent now, so whatever I want the test to be is how you're going to do it. Keep our bad blood out of others' business. This test is completely fair. No one could say otherwise unless they're scared of us. Just get out of here if you're no better than a bunch of chickens. Stop embarrassing yourselves. Ha ha ha. Look around you, everyone thinks it's fair. If you don't want to fight because you're afraid of losing, you can admit it before it's too late. Don't waste our time. What are the rules? It's very simple, we'll take turns. Each side has seven people and will send one to fight in each round. The winner continues fighting in the next round, while the loser leaves and is replaced by another student. We'll stop when one side runs out of people. With this format, he wants to test the strength of both sides, and there could be a chance that all seven of us can't defeat one person. If that happens, our dignity will be destroyed. We'll become a laughingstock for everyone. What, are you scared? Back then, you took away my chance to stay in the academy without even looking back. You just disappeared. You took my only chance to be an instructor. I begged for your mercy, but you never even looked at me. And at that moment, I, Sun Lee, swore to make you suffer the same things that I went through. Now that I'm here, you and your stupid school will never get accepted. We're not scared. Today, I'll show you the true strength of our Lichuan Academy. Sir, please let me be our first fighter. Jiang Zi, you'll go first. Jiang Zi, Supreme Dragon Master Academy. Don't worry, sir, I will not disappoint our friends. Do your best, and don't hold back. Even if Lichuan stops existing after this, we have to make everyone remember our name. You and your dragon safety still comes first, of course. Don't risk it. You can count on me, sir. Summon all your dragons. Let the dragons fight one another, and don't attack the dragon masters. Round 1, begin. Ancient Ape Dragon Upper Dragon General. Our Lichuan Academy isn't yours to push around. Go! Green Forest Dragon Middle Dragon General. Earth Dragon Lower Dragon General. Sickle Dragon Young Dragon. You think you can rely on those tricks to beat me? I'll show you what true strength looks like. Your tricks are hilariously underwhelming. Sickle Dragon, now. Huh. Your sickle dragon is just a youngster. Its most powerful weapons are its claws, which can only get through the ancient ape dragon's bare, unarmed feet. My ancient ape dragon can annihilate your sickle dragon with one punch. Slash. You have to wear it out. You think you can defeat me by being a smartass. Your dragon won't get away with this. Ancient ape dragon, come on, kill them all. I don't plan on defeating you. I'm only trying to make your dragons tired. I surrender. Damn it. The Supreme Academy wins this round. Send out Lichuan Academy's next student. That arrogant boy who wanted to fight everyone has changed. It's good to see that they've grown up. Very good. You now know to back off at the right time. Now it's Li Xiaoying's turn. Lichuan students aren't weak at all. The ancient ape dragon should have had the upper hand, but now it's wounded by three lower ranked dragons. Jiang Zi underestimated them. Yeah, he knows the strengths of those three dragons and used them to his advantage. That Lichuan guy's strategy was so good. I wonder if there's anyone stronger than him on Lichuan's team. I expected this to be boring, but now it looks like there's hope. Look, the second Lichuan student is here. The ancient ape dragon is too stubborn. I can't keep it up anymore. I'm sorry, sir, I was too nervous. It's all right, it's a draw. Let's send in the next student. Sir, it was a mistake, next time I'll. Shut up. Huh. You losers won't be so lucky in this next round. Zhang Liang, it's your turn. Don't worry, sir, I'll teach those peasants the lesson for our great Supreme Academy. Peasants? Sir, they're disrespecting us. 
We can't let them do it. I have to stop them. Please let me fight. Faesong has reached the Dragon Monarch level. Maybe he can put an end to their attitude. Okay, you'll fight this round. Remember to always be careful. I'll be the one teaching them the lesson. You can take my word for it. Oh, it's always easier said than done. You're rubbish to me. Lower Dragon Monarchy Shamlong burn in hell. Lower Dragon Monarch Storm Blood Shark Dragon Huh, trash. Open your eyes and see what the Supreme Academy's strength looks like. The Supreme Academy doesn't seem that strong. I'll show you true despair. Lower Dragon Monarch Yellow Sand Demon Dragon. Roar. Ain't Shamlong. Stop. No. Inspector Sun, are you really allowing your students to do this? That's not fair. Ha ha ha. The dragons are allowed to fight however they want to, and injuries are inevitable. Zhang Liang didn't attack your student directly, nor did he break any rules. So tell me, how is this unfair? Your students are just losers, accept it. You. Sir, let me fight this next round. I won't let Sun Li get away with this. Please teach Zhang Liang the lesson for me, Zhu Minglang. It's you. Yes. We meet again, weakling. Is this your true strength? Tell me, which one do you prefer, my Storm Blood Shark Dragon or my Yellow Sand Demon Dragon? What's he doing? I'll fight your Yellow Sand Demon Dragon. Qingzhua, come out to play. Whoa. It's such a beautiful dragon. Gods, is that the Azure Tsangwan Sacred Dragon? I didn't expect a Lichuan student to have a sacred dragon. This is going to be fun. Why is that young dragon so huge? I'm feeling carnivorous today. Kill the yellow sand demon dragon. Chirp. Not a problem. Huh. That's just a big crappy dragon, and I'm not a vegetarian either. How could you? What goes around comes around, but it's not yet painful enough. Stop. Tell your student to stop right now. Recall your dragons. What are you waiting for, you stupid bastard? Yellow Sand Demon Dragon, come back. If you open your spirit realm now, the Azure Sacred Light will burn your soul. You'd better think this through. Do you really want to save your Yellow Sand Demon Dragon? Damn it! If I let my Yellow Sand Demon Dragon inside my spirit realm, the power of his Azure Sacred Light will damage my soul directly. The consequences would be devastating. Screw it, it's just a dragon. Why should I care? I'll just get another one. Moo. I'm sorry, Yellow Sand Demon Dragon. Qingzhua, stop. Chirp. A man like him is not worth dying for. This is Xianchalong saliva, and it'll help with your wounds. Yellow Sand Demon Dragon. Yellow Sand Demon Dragon, where are you going? Come back here. Come back to me. Ah. No, Broken Soul Bond. If you tried to open your spirit realm for him, I would have stopped and spared your life. What a shame, you're too selfish to think of anyone but yourself. That Li Chuan student is such a gentleman. I thought he was going to kill the Yellow Sand Demon Dragon. I feel so bad for Zheng Liang. His dragon left him. He deserves it. Ruthless men like him should be punished. You failure, get down right now. Su Huan, student of the Supreme Dragon Master Academy. Inspector Sun, please let me fight. If you only have one little Azure Dragon, it's not too late to surrender. I'll admit that I'm not a benevolent man, but I still have some sympathy for other people. Your Azure Dragon is still growing. I don't want to make it a cripple. That would be cruel. Chirp! I am not a cripple. Hey! My dragon doesn't like the word cripple. You'd better watch your mouth. Cripple. Cripple. What's wrong? Are you satisfied? It's been so long since I've met anyone this stupid. You really don't have a single thought behind those eyes. You'll be perfect for target practice. Black Dragon's Lower Dragon Monarch. Snow Dragon's Middle Dragon Monarch. Coral Dragon's Lower Dragon Monarch. Target practice. You and your crippled dragon will be target practice. You're too ignorant. It's just a crippled dragon that's not worth nothing. Go. Chirp. You're dead to me. Damn it. Snow Dragon, attack it. 
I told you, my dragon doesn't like the word cripple. You brought this on yourself. Chirp. You're all pathetic cripples. Damn it. What dark magic are you using? You're just too weak. I'm not using any dark magic. Feel free to use it if you can. Whoa, Zhu Minglang's Azure Scared Dragon is so great. It can deal with three different powerful dragons. This dragon's bloodline is extraordinary, and he's mastered so many legendary skills. A dragon's skills can be divided into many categories. There's bloodline heritage, racial gifts, learned skills, spiritual material awakening, and elemental honing. Dragons with elite bloodlines are born with some legendary mystical arts. After years of training, they cultivate more and more valuable combat knowledge that suits them. This gives them an advantage even when fighting against enemies that are the same level as them. Salvation. Light Vortex. This dragon looks like he's still an adolescent. Adolescent. Are you kidding? Zhu Minglang's dragon isn't some random dragon that got lucky and became a dragon monarch? Sigh, they've been living under a rock, it's just a dragon monarch. I even have a dragon king. I surrender. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Stop fighting, we surrender. Useless brat. Guan Wenqi, go up there and destroy those peasants for me. Don't worry, Inspector Sunday Eye, Guan Wenqi, promise to bring victory to our academy. I won't make any mistakes. Whoa, that's Guan Wenqi, I heard that his dragon reached the peak of monarch level. That's right, none of the academy freshmen could defeat him. Now that he's fighting, there's no way Li Chuan can win. Are you the last one? Yes, and I am the strongest one as well. If you could beat me, there's no need for any further testing. My dragon is at the peak of monarch level, and we're really close to having a breakthrough. You should surrender before it's too late. Qingzhua is only a lower level dragon. Now that we're fighting a high level monarch, that's too big of a gap. Chirp, I'm not afraid of a dragon at any level. You want this challenge? I get it. It wasn't easy to bring him back to life, and now he's no longer broken. I can feel your desire to grow stronger. Go on then, Qingzhua. If that's your decision, don't blame me for this. No matter how bright your sun and moon shine, everything will be covered by clouds. Nimbus Dragon, Peak Dragon Monarch, what a shame. My dragon just happens to be your Azure Sacred Dragon's nemesis. That's bad news. Not only is Qingzhua overwhelmed by his level, that dragon's elements are a huge disadvantage as well. Be careful, Qingzhua. Don't underestimate him. You could dodge my two quick attacks, little bird. Chirp. Chirp. Qingzhua, you tried your best. Chirp. Chirp. No. I can do this. What's going on? Why is that dragon transforming? My dragon finished warming up. How's your Nimbus dragon? Nimbus dragon, don't be scared. You are a peak level monarch. His transformation won't be enough to defeat you. Fallen daylight. You're just a devil fish dragon. How can you still call yourself a Nimbus dragon? Useless. Useless. You're all useless losers. Damn it. Where did Duan Changqing find this degenerate? So, did our Lichuan Academy pass your test? Duan Changqing, you used an outsider and pretended that he's your student. This is shameless. I knew you would say that. You're still an old despicable man, aren't you? I have my official documents here. Zhu Minglang started school last autumn, and there are records of his performance in the academy. Zhu Minglang. He really is a Lichuan student? How could a freshman be this strong? They must be hiding something from us. Our Supreme Academy lost to those peasants. How can you still call them peasants? The Lichuan Dragon Master Academy is going to become an institute soon. Zhu Minglang is so strong. I feel like he's going to become the strongest student in our academy too. Sai. People are going to find out about this real soon. I wonder how big of a laughing stock will become then. The Duan Changqing, don't be so smug about it. I don't care if your students win, your stupid school won't receive our approval. Sun Li, do you really think I'm that easy to push around? What? You're telling me you can fight the entire Supreme Academy? I may have lost this time, but I won't make it any easier for you. Huh, just wait and see. Sir, we did it, but they still don't want to accept our Lichuan Academy as an official institute. This test was just the preliminary part of an examination. 
they're going to give us a much harder final test later. The Supreme Academy has four inspectors in their final test. Inspector Han Wan and Inspector Lin are more likely to support us. But Sun Li and the other inspectors seem to be on the opposite side. So that means that we have to get one more inspector to be on our side? The last inspector is on Sun Li's side. Can we really do it? Sun Li will probably try to persuade Inspector Han Wan and Inspector Lin. If he succeeds, then there won't be any chance for us left. Dragon Master Academy's Beach In today's match, we managed to prove our strength to the Supreme Academy. The decision to make us an institute belongs to other people. What if I find a trainer to help Lee Chuan? That Lee Chuan student is so powerful. He defeated Guan Wenqi, he broke one of Zhang Liang's soul bonds too. That Zhang Liang guy is such a bully to new students, and he's always trying to get our sister's attention. Zhu Minglang really taught him a lesson. You're talking about Zhu Minglang? Everyone's talking about him now. I'll tell you what. Zhu Minglang and I are brothers, and we usually drink together on Daylily Mountain. He he he. My ladies, do you want to talk to Zhu Minglang? I can give you two some help. Ah. Oh. Brother Zhu. Hey, Brother Luo's such a poet. Are you stargazing too? Zhu Minglang. It's really you. Zhu Minglang. Whoa. Zhu Minglang, can I get your autograph? You're so handsome. Can I see your Azure Dragon? Zhu Minglang? Minglang. Damn you, just shut up next time. I didn't expect them to go this crazy for you. Where did Zhu Minglang go? Don't let him get away. I'm sorry. How about I buy you some dinner to make up for what happened? No, I have to find an instructor now. We have to discuss some things. Do you mean Instructor Lin Zhao? How convenient. The dinner I was talking about is at his place. My father and Instructor Lin are like brothers, his son, Lin Klang, and I are quite fond of each other too. I was on my way to his house for some good wine. Didn't you say you would pay for dinner? What a liar. In Zhao's palace. Brother, you have no idea how arrogant Lin Klang is. This is actually a betrothal party where the man and the woman are supposed to be engaged. They're hosting it for the family members and guests to meet in advance. If it's just a betrothal party, then what does that have to do with him being arrogant? Because that girl is not interested in Lin Klang at all. She's actually a bit disgusted by him. Lin Klang told her that he would host an engagement party anyway and invited guests over. If she doesn't come tonight, Lin Klang will be humiliating himself in front of the entire Manching city. Someone that delusional actually exists? He's just outright forcing her. Exactly. I came here for the wine, but I'm also curious to see whether or not that girl shows up. It's been so long, I don't think she's coming. Luo Xiaoyin, come on. I need your help. Lin Kuang. You're not kidnapping her, are you? That's too evil, I'm not doing that. It's too late now. If she's not here, then that's it. She's just not interested. What are you talking about? Do you want to humiliate me too? Calm down, we're just going to talk to her. Even if she doesn't want to marry me, we still need to talk about the matter. Aren't you afraid your father's going to find out? He's busy working in the office, he's not going to care about these things, so are you with me or not? All right. You can stay here and drink, I'll be back soon. Are you going to kidnap a woman with him? Who do you think I am? I'm going with Lin Klang to stop him from doing that. Don't worry, brother I'm a righteous man and my grandmother can guarantee that. Never mind. Now that I know Instructor Lin is in the office, I should go find him first. Lin Zhao's office. Hey, I'm from Li Chuan Academy and I'd like to speak to Instructor Lin Zhao. Li Chuan Academy? Do you want to get into Supreme Academy? Greasing my father's palms won't work because he only cares about your competence. Lin did Lin Zhao's daughter. Instructor, do you remember the island? Hey! You! Ha ha ha, you are trying to befriend him? Just go back, this is useless. Oh, you're already here. I'm sorry we didn't greet you, but please come in. I came for the banquet, so please consider me one of your guests, Instructor Lin. Xiaoda, what did I tell you about our important guest? Didn't I say you had to prepare for everything? Why didn't you recognize him? I've never met him before, so how could I know that it's him? It's okay, Instructor Lin. I'm actually here to ask for your help. Don't worry. If you need Lin Zhao for anything, I will do everything I can to help. Instructor Lin, let me introduce myself. I'm Zhu Minglang from Li Chuan Academy. The Supreme Academy gave our Li Chuan Academy a test recently and we passed. 
Some of the people in the Supreme Academy don't want to accept that we passed. You're from Lichuan Academy? Are you the Zhu Mingling that defeated Guan Wenqi? It's true that I defeated Guan Wenqi. Ha ha ha, I figured you were hiding somewhere in the Academy. I guess I was right. A man like you got stuck in some fool's game. I'm not asking you to favor us. I'm only hoping that you can give a fair judgment to everyone, including Lichuan Academy. What's wrong? Is someone trying to obstruct you? Father, speaking of Lichuan Academy, I'm not sure if I should tell you this. What is it? Isn't Quang hosting a banquet tonight? He said it was a betrothal party with some girl that he wants to introduce to our relatives. Huh, I don't care about whatever that spoiled brat is up to. That girl seems to be a teacher in the Lichuan Academy and he's your disciple. Klang knows about Lichuan Academy's situation. That's why. That's why Lin Klang is using it to coerce her. That goddamn bastard. Is Duan Lan the Lichuan teacher's name? Yes. Duan Lan's expression back then makes sense now. Instructor Lin, Duan Lan is my teacher. That pig of a son. He's trying to force your teacher to marry him. I'll drag him home right now. Lin Klang must be on his way to Duan Lan's now. Let me come with you. Please don't worry. If that bastard dares to do anything lousy, he'll get my worst punishment. The bell is going to toll, and the party I'm hosting will going to end soon. If you don't show lip, they'll laugh at me. Then it'll be impossible for Li Chuan to survive, let alone be recognized. Duan Lan, think this through. There's no one else on this earth that can help you but me. Mr. Lin, please be reasonable. Lin Klang, a lady deserves a gentleman. She's a talented woman and should be treated with respect. Just go back and explain everything to your guests, stop harassing her. Luo Xiaoyan, whose side are you on? I shouldn't have wasted time asking you for help. I could have taken her home much sooner. I want you to be my woman, and no one can stop me now. You're very confident, aren't you? What if it's your father? F.A. Father, why are you here? Bastard. Ah. Get on your knees and apologize to her right now. Father, I was just I only wanted to talk to her. I didn't force her. Now you're looking for excuses. You think I know nothing. I, Lin Zhao, have lived my whole life with dignity. I've never done anything to be ashamed of. Why on earth did I get a son like you? Hey! Please stop, I'm sorry. Please let me keep my handsome face. I'm so sorry, don't hit my face. You think being my son would allow you to do this? You forced her to get married and even hosted a banquet. What the hell was going on in your head? They didn't hurt you, right? Why didn't you tell me about this? I've been here for so long. I'm used to this kind of stuff. I didn't want to say anything bad to Lin Kuang since he and instructor if you were friends. I didn't expect him to be this shameless. Thump. Kneel and apologize. Sniff I shouldn't have lost my mind over your beauty. I beg Miss Duan Lan and your excellency for forgiveness. Apologize until His Excellency and Miss Duan are satisfied. I'm so sorry. Instructor Lin, I think you've done enough teaching him. Lin Klang hasn't really done anything to me yet. Instructor Lin, it's all right. I can see your son's remorse now. But always remember, the Lichuan Academy isn't for you to mess with. It's my fault. I was too busy working and worrying about the Supreme Academy. I didn't pay enough attention to my son. I'll take him back now and I'm going to check on Instructor He as well. Once everything is over, we'll give you a formal apology. Please take Miss Duan Lan back to get some rest. Thank you for helping me today. I'm a dignified man, so of course I wouldn't condone such things. Zhu Mingling, you really are full of secrets. You even got Instructor Lin to beat up his son for you. I didn't have a choice. I did what I had to. Sister Han, help me. Sister Han Wan, I was wrong, but I'm still my father's son. I haven't done anything to hurt her, please help me. What did you do to get beaten like this? He showed instructor. He show, I know what you and my son did. Don't you ever call me your teacher again. I'm going to tell the council to reevaluate your instructor title. Sir, I didn't abuse my position for such thing. The Lichuan Academy isn't qualified to be an institute. Nonsense, now piss off. Everyone, out. Headmaster, the Lichuan Academy passed the test, but their teachers aren't qualified for their jobs. Hmm, Duan Changoing, your academy has many unqualified teachers. We're hoping to make some changes. Headmaster Man Cheng Dragon Master Academy. Please withhold your judgment. Instructor Lin. Instructor. There's no need, I just have to tell you something. 
Okay. I will now give you my final decision on the Lichuan Academy matter. The Lichuan Academy has been strictly following the ethos of the Dragon Master Academy for several years. Their curriculum is well prepared, the students are good people, and the teachers are highly respected. From now on, Lichuan is officially the 142th member of our Dragon Master Academy. How could he? Didn't he just say the teachers were unqualified earlier? What's going on? Headmaster, the problems we were addressing. They're nothing. We'll tell them to send their teachers to our place to train every year. Train? They have the right to be trained? Are you Sun Li? Yes, I am Sun Li, how can I help you? The public fight you arranged between students really opened our eyes. You let a student like Guan when she fight him, and even he couldn't win. He lost pathetically. Since when did our Supreme Academy's test become such a joke to you? If you want to fight people in public, that's fine. You can have whoever you want to join your team, I don't care. But that test was not the place to get your personal revenge. I would never. People like you shouldn't be in charge of anything. Go look for another position in the academy. Maylene's Tea Room Miss Duan, I'm here to apologize for my son's actions. Please take this. This. Instructor Lin wants to apologize. He feels guilty because of what Lin Klang did, and you don't want to make it more awkward for everyone, do you? Thank you, Instructor Lin. I'll accept it. Duan Lan, you've been traveling so much lately, but I suppose you haven't been to our Supreme Academy yet. Do you want me to show you around? Okay. Is there something else you want to tell me, Instructor Lin? Yes, back when we were followed by that great sea eagle, it was because we were looking for an artifact called the Oceanic Seal. A man offered to help us, but then got injured and still hasn't recovered. I don't want to miss this chance. So I'm asking for your help. Please help us get this artifact. We'll definitely return his favor. You can tell us if you need anything, and we'll do our best to satisfy you. If that's what you're asking me for, I'm more than willing to help. I need a phoenix nest. If you can give me one, I'll go with you. Yes, there's an old phoenix nest in our storage. I've accumulated some over the past few years, and I can go get it for you. Thank you so much, Instructor Lin. It looks like I don't have anything else to do for now, so I should go find a decent young dragon spirit. Ha ha ha, my brother, what a coincidence. Are you going somewhere? It's you again. I was about to go look for a young dragon spirit. That's what I'm best at. Want to play some extreme sports with me? Dragon Hatcher Camp. Is the extreme sport you were talking about? I've heard about dragon gambling before, but it's not for everyone. Ha ha, I'm here with you, aren't I? Let me take you through one round, you'll love it. Places like this can make people go bankrupt after just one night. I've seen many aristocrats leave here naked, ha ha ha. Okay, please enlighten me then. It's time I gave these noble men's pleasure a try. Thank you all for coming here today. We'll show you our dragon eggs later tonight. For now, I can give you some spoilers. There's one thunder dragon egg that was taken from the top of the demonic mountain not long ago. The Queen of Xiaoyu. The thunder dragon was a dragon king, and its offspring will either be a mixed thunder dragon or an orthodox one. We can't be sure, so it's going to be your mission to figure it out. You can take turns coming up here for a closer look and then decide whether or not to place your bets. Now, the first dragon egg came from Day Lily Garden. It was found by a dragon master when he was passing by. Some dragons like to eat highly nutritious monster eggs, and this egg was initially bought at the same price as those. After being examined by many scholars, it's confirmed to have a very high chance of being a young dragon egg. It also has a great reputation in the halls of Badian Street. There's no way to know its race or its bloodline. We'll have five observation rounds. You can only look closely at it for one minute in this first round, and the price is 5,000 gold. Here's 5,000 gold. Can anyone actually see things by staring at it like this? Time's up. Hey, is that all I get for 5,000 gold? Time's up. Sir, do you want to keep examining the egg? That'll be another 20,000 gold. Yes. Brother, why did you do that? You just spent 25,000 gold for looking. I don't think there's anything rare about this egg, and you can't tell anything by just staring at it. That's why, you should learn egg-eyeing, it's one of the dragon awakening techniques. Egg-eyeing? And there's also egg-touching in the third and fourth rounds. Okay, then tell me, what do you think? This egg may look normal, but it's actually very unique. The eggshell looks thin, but it's absorbed a certain amount of the Earth's essence. The patterns on this egg are messy, but that's mostly because it was placed in an area with an unstable aura. 
So now we're going to continue to the next round and use our spiritual sense to check it? Yes, this is a spiritual egg, so there's a chance it'll give us a beast. That beast might become a dragon, which is no worse than a dragon egg. Dragon eggs only have a slightly higher chance of hatching a newborn dragon anyway. Many of them just end up being beasts. That makes sense. That's the charm of dragon gambling. You'll be the one paying the 20,000 gold since I only gave you the first 5,000, hee hee. Sir, the second round is starting. You can use your spiritual sense to check the inside of the egg. This egg has spiritual frost inside it. It must have been born in a place with a strong aura, and it's absorbed lots of essence. It looks like it's worth the risk. The price is now 100,000 gold. Do you want to keep going? It's 100,000 already? Mr. Han raised his bet. He wants this egg and has offered to pay more for it so that the others will stop trying. It's your first time coming here, so let me pay for this round. Why would you do that? When I visited Miabwa in the fall, many noble family's daughters were charmed by your face. I think it's worth paying 100,000 gold for you to look at me. I'm done gambling. Why wasn't I born with a handsome face? What's wrong with my parents? Come on, it's your parents' fault after all. I didn't expect Mr. Han to raise his bet. We'll need 200,000 gold for the next round. I don't have that much money, so are you sure you want to keep going? That's fine, I'm just here to have fun. That's so generous. If you want to keep playing, then let me tell you something first. This egg is going to be either worthless or a real treasure. Not all creatures can absorb essence before they're born, some even grow too old and die before they can absorb any. Yeah, I could feel the spiritual frost on the inside of its shell. What? How can you do that? I couldn't see anything, are you really that strong? Do you have any dragons even more powerful than that sacred one? Do you have a dragon monarch? Be humble and keep it down. I'm not as handsome or as rich as him, and now I'm weaker than him too. How could I say such things to him back in Day Lily Garden? I'm a fool. Han Su. Is someone else really entering this round? Young master, that man entered this round, but still hasn't decided. This egg is surrounded by the Earth's essence. That's probably because it was put in a place with a strong aura and not because it has the ability to absorb energy. Are we giving up? If this creature can absorb essence even before it's born, then 200,000 gold is worth it. We should wait and see what the others think. What is it? I can feel it absorbing energy, but its pulse isn't as strong as I expected. It's not transforming the absorbed energy into vitality. It's like a sick person who eats without digesting anything. It's absorbing energy without transforming it into vitality? That sounds really sad. Yeah, but it might be able to after hatching. We can't be sure. We should give up and save some money. There's still a thunder dragon egg waiting. I'll pay 150,000 more. Hey, brother, you can't just throw away your money like that. Why are you still trying? I'm gambling because I can. This is nothing, and I'm willing to pay more. Please keep quiet. Oh, it's the third round, and only Mr. Zhu is left. You can have this egg for 275,000 gold. We'll remove the seal and open it right now. Watch closely. So it's yours now? You're the last one remaining, huh? This egg was originally brought here to attract people's attention. If you just look at it a bit more carefully, everyone can clearly see it's just a scam made by some merchants. I didn't expect there would be someone stupid enough to fall for it. I paid for it, and now it's mine. You lost your money and got nothing in return. As a nobleman, this is just a game. Seeing others get fooled is peak entertainment. I can't wait to see your face after finding out how trash it is. Mr. Zhu. Drop some of your blood on it so that you and the creature can have a connection before it's born. It'll be even more loyal to you. Those drops of blood will only give you a connection. It's not a soul bond, so you won't use a spirit contract. Azure Glowing Firefly Is this a young spirit? Whoa, it's so cute. What is that thing? It doesn't look like a dragon, so it can't be a young dragon. It's just a young spirit with some magic? Ha ha ha, you spent 200,000 gold for a fur ball. What a joke. Zhu Minglang, you got a firefly spirit. It's considered to be a lucky charm in our Xiaoyu kingdom. Yeah, it looks adorable. I love it. But what does this thing really do? Let's try giving it some energy. Eh? It absorbed the energy, but nothing changed. This isn't right, the energy disappeared into its body. 
That's weird. Haha. <laughs> If I were you, I would have smashed that thing on the ground and stepped on it. At least the sound of it being crushed would have eased my anger. I wouldn't have to be pissed off every time I'm reminded of the money I wasted. Cluck. I'm not useless. That's alright, don't listen to him. I don't believe you're useless. Huh. This so that's what it is. Not only can this little guy absorb energy, but he cleanses it too. Can he also return the purified energy to me? This thing is a mobile well. I didn't waste my money at all. What a steal. Brother, I'm so sorry. I'll find a way to make some money to make up for half of your loss. Cough, there's no need. I love this cute little guy. Brother, you can cry if you want to. Maybe I can help you pay some more? You paid so much and all you got is this cute useless fur ball. I would have bawled my eyes out right on the spot. Come on, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. I should give this glowing firefly's abilities some more testing. Sigh, it's all my fault. I shouldn't have taken him here. Great, now he's lost his mind. Sigh. You don't have to give it back to me. It's yours, keep it. You need to develop your body. So you can absorb energy too. You were keeping it in your fur just for me? You're one generous boy, you know. Daddy. I know you're tired. You can sleep well now. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Dude, stop brooding. Come on, have some drink. I'll take you to the best tavern in Manching, and we'll have fun there. I'm fine, really. Damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Stop right there. You're a terrible prophet, and your eyes should be fed to livestock. Rot in hell. Please calm down. I told you to stop bidding, but you wouldn't listen. It looks like there's someone even more unlucky than you. It must have been a trash egg. You. You scammed me. What you told me about the Thunder Dragon egg was bullshit. It's just a snake's egg. You shy you people deceived us. Go soak this shitty snake in wine and give me back my money. Dragon gambling is risky in its nature and Mr. Han must know this well. Please stop disturbing our peace. Farewell. Let go of me. Xiaoyu is full of scammers. You're all snakes and nothing more. Are you leaving now? Yes, I had lots of fun today. That firefly spirit will bring you good. I hope you can take good care of it. Take this one with you and release it when you're outside. That way you can do everyone a favor. Okay. That woman's smart. She acted as if she pitied it, but she didn't care about the whole thing for one moment. This poor thing was abandoned right after it was born. Fate is so cruel. Why wasn't you born a thunder dragon? The entire mansion would have lost their mind over you. You're just a tiny snake and you almost got soaked in bottle of wine. What are you doing? Why aren't you releasing it? Why are you washing it? Don't tell me you're going to skin and eat it? Of course I'm not. Do you really think a newborn snake can survive for long in the wild? That's a matter of luck. It could grow up if it's lucky enough. If it's not, then it'll become some other creature's meal with nothing left behind. A newborn is a newborn. If I want to release it, I have to wait for it to grow up a bit more. I don't want it to get eaten alive by the sea. No way. That thing doesn't have any magic and is even weaker than that furball. Now you're taking it in? Wow. Zhu Minglang's house. Okay, little guy, we have a connection, so I'll protect you for now. You have to learn and train, so that you can protect me in the future. Eat this, and don't be sad. Not all creatures are born as dragons. I have many friends, and they were even weaker than you when they were born. As long as you don't give up, there's still a chance. You'll make a name for yourself in this world. So, so where's your purple dragon, I? I haven't found a suitable one yet. Let's just take care of these first, as our spares. Look, this one has some purple in its skin, so maybe it's a purple dragon. You're right. We should keep some young spirits, and those two aren't too bad. If we take care of them, maybe they'll lose their wildness over time and start gaining consciousnesses. Right, Koi, why do you insist I get a purple dragon anyway? There's an elemental chain among dragons, their elements complement one another and give them an advantage when fighting enemies. A purple dragon is the most fundamental combination of dragon's elements. 
It includes metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. They're linked by soul bonds to create the five elemental seal. So you've been nagging me to get a purple dragon because it has the elements that can complement my other dragons? Yes. Having a five elemental seal is like putting on golden armor for your dragons. Of course, apart from the compatible elements, there are other effects caused by the bloodlines, races, and many other things. That's why you have to get a purple dragon. The final result of a dragon chain is greater than the sum of their parts. Purple dragon. Purple dragon. Purple dragon. Purple dragon. Next time, I'll have to get one. Next time. Whoa. That's a white witch moth. We hit the jackpot. They're mine. Go, my dragons. Catch them all. They're mine. Go, my dragons. Catch them all. Quick, go tell my people to capture them. Why are they risking their lives like that over some white witch moths? The white witch moth is a unique nocturnal species in Nihai. Their wings can absorb the moonlight when there's a full moon, causing them to grow a stamen for their tails. Every white witch moth is equivalent to a moon blossom stamen. Your baichi will need their energy. If they're that valuable, then I should go catch some too. Do what? What's wrong? Cluck. 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 Zhu Minglang, wait for me. Are you really going to let me get soaked in the rain like this? Slow down, boy. Little S Ain't's Peninsula. Whoa, the aura is much stronger here. There could be a spiritual pond in there. It's strange. How come there's no one guarding this place? Cluck. 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 Hey boy, where are you going? Master Koi, you were right. There's a spiritual pond in here. It's a pity that I've got a river spirit realm, and my cultivating speed is already 120 times faster than an ordinary person's. This spiritual pond won't help much. It doesn't help you, but it's perfect for your little fur ball. That little thing don't tell me he's going to drain the entire pond's power. Damn. He really drained it. That's way too fast. Good job. The power that he's storing should be enough for a 9,000-year-old spirit to break through to the saint stage. Zhu Minglang, are you sure you can afford to pay for what he did? No, no, I can't. Then why are you still here? There's no one near us, run. You're right, this won't end well. I'm leaving. Slow down. You bastard, take me with you. It's been so long, and no one's suspected anything. Great, what happened to the pond stays at the pond? Huh? The rain stopped? What? Why are the white witch moths flying up into the sky? The rain is gone. Gods, is that a white phoenix? A creature that big and strong actually exists. It looks like that white phoenix is protecting the white witch moths from the rain. What I thought was colossal is just the tip of an iceberg. Okay, I'll take you to a safe place now. You can stay there for a while. Duan Lan's house. Miss Duan Lan, are you home? Zhu Minglang? Oh. You too, stop. Stop running around. Gotcha. You can't run away from me. Zhu Minglang? That's these two are quite a handful. I was telling them to. You came to my place. Do you need my help? Miss Duan Lan, these are my new young spirits. I have to be away for the next couple of days, and I was wondering if you could take care of them. Of course, I'll take good care of them. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Miss Duan Lan will take care of you. Don't forget to train while I'm not here. Nihai Coral Island There's a strange plant growing on this island. Its leaves give off a strange fragrance after absorbing sunlight. It covers the entire island and makes everyone unable to breathe. Only people who've lived here for years are unaffected, but everyone else can stay for at most an hour. These grass beads can reduce the effect of that fragrance. If we run out of beads, we won't be able to leave this place. We don't have much time, so make it quick. The effect of this fragrance doesn't depend on the cultivation level. If we're stuck here, we'll all die. Apart from these things, there could still be other threats on this island. It looks like finding the oceanic seal won't be that easy. The oceanic seal is hung on a jade bronze devil tree in this strange forest. 
If it's an artifact, then it could be related to one of the ancestors. How did it end up on an island like this? I don't know the details, but the fragrance on this island seems to have something to do with that seal. This is bad. It's the Great Sea Eagle. We're running out of grass beads, so we can't waste time with it. We have to get rid of the Great Sea Eagle. If Zhu Minglang goes after the eagle, it's going to know we're trying to lure it away. We've encountered it before, and the Great Sea Eagle definitely remembers us. That's why I'm suggesting we go distracted while Mr. Zhu finds the Oceanic Seal. Okay. Be careful. We couldn't go near the Jade Bronze Devil Tree last time, so I can't tell you if there's going to be any danger. Of course, you're the only one that can possibly succeed in this mission. Tianchilong is a Dragon King, so those threats won't be a huge problem. Fortunately, Qingzhu's Azure Sacred Light can keep the ghosts away. It can't get rid of the fragrance from these trees, otherwise, I could have ruined free around this island. Is this the Jade Bronze Devil Tree? Could the Oceanic Seal be the bells hanging on this tree? No, treasures usually have beasts to guard them. There's nothing around this Jade Bronze Devil Tree, not even a bird. Something's wrong. I have to make sure I have a way back. Cough, cough. Dragon King, I found some delicious food. Do you want some? Roar, roar, boy, you just want me to come out to protect your ass. You can't fool me. You've been staying in the spirit realm for so long. Don't you want to stretch your limbs a little? Are you sure these are edible? Roar. Roar. Aren't they just fruit? Do you think I can't eat fruit? Roar. Roar. You lied to me. These are made of steel. My teeth. They're real bells. How am I going to find the oceanic seal if there are so many of them? These two look different from the rest. They must be at least 1,000 years old. These could be the ones Instructor Lin talked about. If the oceanic seals are here, there must be beasts surrounding this place. They could be cursed or something. I can't let my guard down. Hmm? That's it? I was prepared to start a fight, but that's it. I should go back and find Instructor Lin. Where's Instructor Lin? He's busy dealing with the Great Sea Eagle. Let me take you to the shore first. Look, is this the right one? It is. Since it has three colors, it's the perfect seal. You were gone for so long. It must have been treacherous there since that tree probably had beasts guarding it. Those beasts were quite difficult to get past. I had to struggle a bit to collect them. I can't tell them the truth because that would make them think they shouldn't have asked me for help. It's for the sake of my phoenix nest. Is that the Great Sea Eagle? Why is it here? Tianchilong. Roar. You're so noisy. Shut your damn mouth. Squeak. Huh? There's a dragon king. The great sea eagle is gone. Where's Instructor Lin? The great sea eagle must have sensed that we took the seal and came back to kill us. Maybe Instructor Lin hasn't caught up yet. Whatever, we should leave this place first. My grass beads are withering. You two can go then. I'll get there later. Okay, don't waste too much time with the eagle. It knows this place too well, so killing it won't be easy. This is strange. Why do I keep getting the feeling that something's wrong? Squeak. So what if you're a dragon king? I'm no vegan either. Blood? You're drinking its blood while fighting it? That's my Dragon King. Good job. Roar. Are you going to fucking let me finish this or not? No, the Great Sea Eagle's been wounded, but its stamina still remains intact. Is Tianchilong running out of strength? Right, how could I forget? This whole thing isn't normal. Tianchilong, the Great Sea Eagle is trying to keep you on this island. Once you've inhaled too much of this fragrance, you won't have any strength left to fight. We can't stay here to fight it. We have to leave. So that's what was happening. The Great Sea Eagle took advantage of the fragrance to fight Tianchilong. I'll let you live this time. Roar. Look, in front of you. We should go take a look. Instructor Lin. Ju, be careful. This is your phoenix nest. Run. Instructor Lin. Roar. 
There's someone watching us. It looks like we're not the only ones hunting for the oceanic seal. Whoever killed Instructor Lin must be extremely dangerous. This isn't good. Han Wan and the others are still on that island. Go, get back to the island. The air in this place isn't good for you. Stay high above the poisonous air. Watch out for the eagle. It's a cunning one. Roar. I'm not scared. I can kill it with one slap. Mr. Zhu. Mr. Zhu. He's dead, he's dead. Instructor Lin's been killed. What's going on? Something's off. How could Liu Yu and know what happened to Instructor Lin? Did he leave the island and come back too? Where's Han Wan? Is she gone too? It's Han Wan. She betrayed Instructor Lin. There's no way anyone else knows we're on this island. Everyone in that Han family is the same. Han Wan is a traitor full of endless greed. Where's the seal? She took it. I managed to escape back to this island, but an assassin followed me, and I couldn't see their face. If you weren't here with Tianchilong to scare him away, I would have been killed. My dragon was hurt fighting the great sea eagle, and the fragrance also weakened him. He can't fight anymore. Without Tianchilong, I'm just a normal man. I can't do anything about this. Oh? I'm going to have to be in charge then. Yes, let's find somewhere to hide first. We can't leave the island like this. Poisonous Red Crown Dragon. Okay, let me summon my dragon to protect us. Poisonous Red Crown Dragon, kill him. Ah. Instructor Lu, what are you doing? You're too nosy. You brought this upon yourself. Once I'm done with you, they'll think Instructor Lin's death was an accident. You're the one who betrayed him. Are you serious? Someone this stupid can actually get to king level? Poisonous Red Crown Dragon, tear him apart. You your dragon was. That's why we're not on the same level, Lu Yu Enchuan. I didn't believe a single word you said, but you thought you could fool me. At first I wasn't sure if the traitor was you or Han Wan, but I guess sometimes the bad guy is also really stupid. Mr. Zhu, please have mercy. Please forgive me. Who's that guy outside? It's Yan Jin. He's the head of the Yin family, one of the nine great clans in Nihai. Yes, his selfishness got the better of him. He slaughtered all the cursed witches, causing the poisonous gas to be unleashed and leading to various diseases. Where's Han Wan? Is she alive? She she jumped into the great sea eagle's nest. Maybe. She's more alive than you. Yin Su Yan Jin's son. I didn't think they would get someone at the level of that eagle to help them. Yin Jin head of the Yin family. That bastard Lu, he didn't even tell us. Don't worry, we'll wait outside. Don't do anything yet, the great sea eagle will take care of him. Father, did you say that the oceanic seal could control the poison gas? Of course. With this, all of the kingdoms in Nihai will have to respect our Yin family. Those lords, kings and queens will have to kneel before us. This looks like the great sea eagle's nesting place. I hope Han Wan is still alive. Chirp! Han Wan. Damn it. Its wounds have healed up, but Tianchilong hasn't recovered and is still suppressed by that fragrance. Tianchilong. Roar? How many more times are you going to call for my help? Can you be a bit more gentle? Please let me sit on your back. Roar? You sure are asking for a lot, aren't you? This is bad. Help Han Wan. Holy shit. Phew, we're fine. Who would have thought there would be a branch hanging off of that cliff? What an experience. Tianchilong, give that bird a good beating for me. Roar. Don't tell me what to do. Squeak. This is my land. Roar, I don't care. Look at what I... Are you serious? That's it? Where's your dignity of a Dragon King gone? Squeak? Squeak? Huh, Dragon King? That's all you've got? Squeak. 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 I've never eaten a Dragon King before, so I might as well do it now. Roar. 
Roar. You're the dead one. Boo-hoo, how could you? Roar. 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 Don't you dare run away. Do you know how long I had to pretend I was weak? Roar. You shouldn't mess with a dragon king. He's such a tough guy. Tianchalong must be really mad now. Bottom of the fissure. It's a 25,000-year-old soul orb. We're rich. The Holy Spirit blood works wonders for you, doesn't it? Roar, roar. Huh, it's not too bad. See, I was right. If you'd shown your strength too early, your enemy could have scurried away at any time. That's why you should wait until it lets its guard down and then finish everything off with one strike. Roar. Humans are too cunning. Of course, it's because of my award-winning performance. It's not cunning, it's being smart. I'm not saying you're stupid, but you should learn to fight with tactics. It helps to know strategies and what your enemy's thinking. Being a Dragon King is one thing, but becoming the world's champion is another. Look at the Great Sea Eagle. It's not as strong as you, but it could survive for so long. I feel like there's something really important, but I can't remember what it is. Roar. The woman. She's still down there. You're right. Han Wan. I got you. Good, she's still breathing. Roar. 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 You're allowed to give me orders today, so tell me what you want. Go down there and find a way out. Luckily, I pillaged lots of grass beads from Instructor Lu, otherwise, I would have died here. I should leave this place as soon as possible since I don't know where that Yan Jin guy is. If he wants to kill everyone on this island, I won't have enough grass beads to deal with him. Chances are I'm going to be dead. Is the smoke flowing out of that cave? Is there another way out? That's an underground well. It's salty. If we follow the flow of the water, it must lead us to the sea. Instructor Han. Instructor Han. Where am I? Ah. A monster. Calm down, it's me. The great sea eagle is dead and can't harm you now. There's someone watching us outside, so we have to leave while it's still dark. Mr. Zhu killed the great sea eagle? We're still on the island? We'll talk about this later. Do you have any dragons that can help us travel underwater? I do. What's your plan? We'll follow the current. Bottom of the Nihai Sea. This path obviously leads to Nihai. It's a mermaid dragon. That's rare. The mermaid dragon clan isn't evil, but it's considered a menace by people in Nihai. They say mermaids cause their ships to sink, call tsunamis to destroy their homes, and even lure men to drown in deep waters. Poor things. Those rumors are just unfair. It's worse than unfair, their kind is a rare one, and yet they're slaughtered like those innocent witches. I get it. Right, did Yin Jin kill Instructor Lin? Yeah, Instructor Lu and Yin Jin made a deal to steal the Oceanic Seal and kill Instructor Lin. We can't let Yin Jin take the seal, if he gets control of the toxic gas, it would be a disaster for all of Nihai. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. Do you have an idea? My idea is to use another Oceanic Seal. There were actually two of them on that tree. You guys told me you only needed one, so I kept the other one for myself. Sharing is caring, that's what they always say. That's amazing. With this, Yin Jin won't be able to control the toxic gas. Yeah, yeah, now let go of me. I can't breathe. Mr. Zhu, could I borrow your oceanic seal to deal with Yin Jin? Once everything is over, I promise to give it back to you. Here, take it. We can't let ruthless people like Yan Jin run around freely and do whatever they want. We're finally out. Mr. Zhu, please make yourself at home at the Supreme Academy, and I'll make Yan Jin pay for what he did. Okay. If you need my help, just tell me. Supreme Dragon Master Academy's Zhu Minglang's residence. That's strange. This phoenix nest doesn't look like it has any special elements. If there's anything abnormal about this, there's the faint breath of an ancient creature. Huh? Haya, you want this phoenix nest? Okay, okay, bye chi and. Alright, I've lead everything to your cocoon. Wait for a few more days and then you can come out. Father, let's go back. I can't do this anymore. It's been ages, and I don't want to eat any more wild fruits. They give me diarrhea. I've sent people to look for him. We have to make sure everyone's dead. 
Father, they did. Breathing the air on this island will kill everything. Their corpses must have become some other beast's meal by now. Son, keeping your head cool isn't enough. You still need to be careful. Always be careful. I have to finish what I started, that's how I kept my place in Nihai for so many years. You can't let your guard down just because your enemy did. Master, Han Wan has gone back to Manching. She's accusing you of killing the witches, and she seems to have evidence. What? Father, please keep calm. With the help of this little firefly, my spirit produces much purer energy 140 times faster. If everything goes according to my plan, Qingzhuo will be able to stay still in the middle of a storm. After that, the dexterity and toughness of his wings will increase significantly. The strength and stamina of that little snake are also better now. It's all going well. I don't know how my wife and the others are doing though. Is Haya breaking out of the cocoon? Bark! Bark! Your boy is back! Bark! 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 Master Zhu! I missed you so much! Congratulations on your rebirth! I got you some 25,000 year old great sea eagle meat! Cough! Cough! Stop licking my face! Eat first! Slow down, it's really big! It must be enough for a few days! Um, forget what I just said. This is he's digesting the meat that quick? My gods! He's going to mature in just a few days. Okay. Okay. Now show me your strength. Bark. Bark. Let's see if there's anything for me to hit. Brother A? Jew. Bark. Take this punch. Haya, no. Are you okay? Cough, I'm so sorry. I was training with my young dragon. He thought you were an enemy and attacked. That's a young dragon. Damn. That's brutal. Are you heading for the academy? Of course not. I'm here to make up for the last time we went gambling. I'll take you somewhere even more thrilling. Have you ever heard of the Yen family in Nihai? Are you heading for the academy? Of course not. I'm here to make up for the last time we went gambling. I'll take you somewhere even more thrilling. Have you ever heard of the Yen family in Nihai? Yes, I've heard of them. They hold a hunting competition every year. Are you interested? Is it to see who can hunt down more beasts? What's so great about it? No, 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 it's not for hunting beasts. They're hunting people. People. These people aren't normal civilians, of course. They're either prisoners on death row, guilty of treason, or the most wanted criminals. They're the worst kind of people you can imagine. Have you participated before? He, he no, I've been talking to a girl, and she's really into this kind of stuff. She said something like real men should enjoy these activities. I prefer peace, thank you. Is that a black ancient dragon I see? I'm pretty sure the reward for this competition is some elite black dragon blood. We have to bring justice to the world, let's go. Cough. You're definitely tempted by the reward and couldn't care less about justice. Ancestral Dragon City, the Lee family's palace. Are you missing that bastard again? Huh. When we left Ruin Yu, I told him to come find us. Now he's in Nihai, and there's loads of rich women there. He must be having some real fun. He has his own business to take care of. Young mistress, there's a problem. A woman named Wan Linfei is at the door, and she's looking for you. Wan Linfei? That's weird, why is she in Lichuan? Wan, why are you here? Li Yunzi, I'm here to tell you to stop bothering Zhu Minglang. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind training with your swords? You're the one that's not supposed to be here, but now you're telling his wife what to do. What if I say no? You can watch my army wipe out the entire Lichuan continent. I will. What are you doing? Couldn't you at least find a more normal way to approach us? We're on a mission. We want to get some more points to exchange stuff in the treasure house. Sorry, sorry. What mission? We're going to a place near the shore. It's a large wetland that's swarming with water lizards. Sometimes they attack the nearby Huangya city, so we're planning on ambushing their nest. The deeper you go into the land, the more lizards you're going to encounter. There could also be lizards that have become dragons, so this won't be easy. Yeah, that's why we're working together. Afterwards, we'll decide everything equally. Count me in, I have a young dragon that needs some training, and water lizards will make suitable targets. 
I still have a few more days until the hunting competition with Xiaoyan, so I can train Hayat a little more. Yes. Now we have someone to protect us. The wetlands near Huanye. Keep quiet, boy. The water lizards are dangerous. Ah. There's, there's a dead body. He was killed by a water lizard. They must be around here. There's so many of them. We're surrounded. There's water lizards everywhere. Watch out. Zhu Minglang, what are you doing? I'm doing what I have to do, of course. Haya, go. Let me teach you all a lesson. Bark. Take this black dragon's tail swipe. You want to hit me from the back? Black dragon fall. Ancient technique flamethrower. Zhu Minglang, didn't you say it was a young dragon? Why is this one so strong? That's the looks like a young dragon, and I think I've seen him before. How could it be? No matter how strong it is, a young dragon can only deal with a three or four hundred year old water lizard at best. How could he be this powerful? I would have believed your black dragon was fully matured if he was a bit larger. He's the young dragon that I talked about. Yes, he's a little crocodile, but he's been reborn. I knew it. So he's really Haya. Sai. We all go to the same school, so how are you so much more talented? Where's Baichi? Baichi is still hibernating. Doesn't that require having a breakthrough? Is Baichi getting into the monarch level? Monarch level? Yeah, that's right. You're my brother-in-law, I can't correct your speech. Damn. I can't believe it. How can we catch up with that prodigy? My self-esteem is destroyed. Zhu Minglang, watch out. What? Hiss. Leave it to me. Ye Jiao. Don't be so arrogant, little worm. Hiss. Goodbye. Yelp. Dive. How dare you? You trick me. I didn't know Ye Jiao could hide underwater. He's so smart. He might even be able to beat this water lizard. Hiss. You coward. Come chase me. Now I'm angry. Hiss. Hiss. I did it. Hiss. Whoa. You're so strong. Hiss. I'm still too weak. Bark. Bark. Come on, you did so well. The first time Haya fought, he had to rely on Zhang Jialong's help to kill a devil fish that was over 200 years old. You defeated a water lizard on your own, that's amazing. Hiss. Yeah, I'll try harder next time. Bark. Stop reminding me of my past. Collecting the soul orb. Haya, don't scare him. This is your first reward for winning a fight. It has water attributes, so it's perfect for you. Hiss. Hiss. Thank you. Zhu Minglang, your little snake is incredible. Now we can get to Huanye and find the water lizard's nest. Okay, let's go. Huanye City. Just let me in. Why don't you trust us? I've never done anything to hurt anyone. Ji Zhong Commander. Our lord was killed, and they said you're the one that did it. You even murdered everyone that went with him to cover it up. Ji Zhong, other people might not understand me, but do you really think I did that? Lord Yen was my savior. Now that he's dead, how can I sit here and do nothing? I have to find out who did this. Sai. Okay, just go inside. We're still investigating his death. Thank you. Yen He. Have you seen the fugitive? Fugitive? No, sir. He has to be here. Your Huanya city is our Yen family's vassal. Do you know what the punishment for a felony charge is? Both your property and family will be gone. Please give me the description of the criminal. There are lots of people going in and out of this place. Twat. We've come all the way here, only to find out that you couldn't catch the wanted criminal. Why do you even get paid for this job? Sir. Please calm down and forgive us. We were sorry. Take these useless bastards back and interrogate them. Sir. Sir, please have mercy. They're from the Yen family. 
Who would have thought they could be this savage? How could anyone act like that? Keep our Yin family's name out of your filthy mouth. We're from the Supreme Dragon Master Academy. We're on a mission to get rid of the water lizards plaguing this area. You should have some respect. Huh, I don't care about your stupid academy. Watch your mouth. This is none of your business piss off. My classmate isn't good with words, so please forgive us. We'll leave right now. Come on, it's for your own good. Okay. Ah. If you hold back information, you should die. Thank goodness, we left just in time. The Yin family is full of brutal people. This is crazy. Those guards look miserable, but there's something much more worrying. What is it? All of Huangye City's guards were killed by the Yin family's goons. Those water lizards don't have to hide in the mud anymore. They can get inside the city at any time now. We'll report this to the Supreme Academy, but we won't get any rest tonight. There's a few towns quite far from here. If we want to protect everyone in Huangye, we'll have to get them all close together. It's too late now. Each of us will defend one town. I'll guard the gate to Huangye City. Go ask the people around here if there's any other way to get inside the city. Don't let the water lizard sneak in. Okay, I'll go now. Huangye Fort Lookout. Huangye City Mayor. We've assigned some people to help your friends, on behalf of the city, thank you. We're Dragon Masters, so protecting people is our duty. Qingzhua, fly up there, if you see any water lizards, kill them. Chirp, don't worry, I can do this. There are lots of ponds and swamps in the area. Some of them could be connected to the rivers outside. If the lizards use those. Qingzhua, pay attention to the ponds and swamps. Chirp. Okay. Bark? Bark? What about me? What do I do? You guard the gate. No matter how many water lizards there are, don't let them break in. Bark. Bark. Ha ha. You can definitely count on me. Bark. Bark. Tell the water lizards to come faster. Bark. Bark. Are there any other monsters around here, apart from the lizards? Did you see something else? I saw a rotting corpse with mud all over it. A water lizard couldn't have done that. Bark? What the hell is that? We're screwed. It's a swamp ghost. I heard that dead people left in the swamp will become swamp ghosts. They carry baleful hatred in their spirits that's even worse than water lizards. Shut up, you old bloody hen. It's midnight, so let people get some sleep. Ah, uh, you're. What a powerful man. That swamp ghost is one of Huangye City's five nightmares. We've spent a ton of money and effort to get rid of it, but we still couldn't. You freed us from it. That's amazing. Yeah, that swamp ghost was thousands of years old. It's too dangerous for your people. Hiss. Hiss. Roar. Come here. All of you, come and try me. Ancient Dragon Technique Flamethrower. Roar. I'm coming for you. Fucking. Roar. Ancient Dragon's Wrath. Roar. Who's next? Hiss. Continue the attack. Kill it. Kill it. They seem to have a leader giving them orders. Could it be? That bastard is the mutant lizard that the Supreme Academy was tracking. I didn't expect to see it here, but that explains why there are so many water lizards in Huangye. You must be at least 4,000 years old, huh? That's great. I can use this 4,000-year-old monster as a stepping stone for Qingzhua to reach adulthood. Qingzhua, kill them all. Lightning arrow. Roar. Good job, Qingzhua. Yelp. Bark. Silly Zhu, look at me. Crap. Qingzhua, help Haya first. Yelp. You're squeezing me, and I can't breathe. Roar. Damn you lizards. Get off of me. Black Dragon's Awakening. 
Black Dragon's Purgatory Claw. Roar. That's so cool. That's my Haya after his rebirth. He's strong. He almost hit me too. Are you trying to escape? Qingzhua, you're free to fight that monster. Chirp. The land gives this mutant lizard advantages over Qingzhua. Qingzhua can only fight with his magic spells here, so this is going to be difficult for him. Bark! 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 I'm coming! Let me solo him! Haya, watch out! Roar! Thank you, old friend! Yelp! Damn! Take aim before you fire that thing! Chirp! Huh! That's for stealing my kill! Yelp! I just wanted to help! Stop shooting, or I'm going to fire back! Chirp! Chirp! You started it! Now that my target practice is gone, you have to make up for it! They haven't changed at all! Sir, we're very grateful for your help! Please take our humble gifts! Your people need them more than I do, so you should keep them. I understand your kindness. The water lizards in the other towns are gone too. I'm so thankful for what you and the Supreme Academy did. It's alright, everything's okay now. It was a chance for us to practice as well. My savior, you can't leave this place empty-handed. That would make us feel so guilty. I have to give you something. Please don't deny us of this favor. Sir, this is the largest brewery in Huangye. Please come this way. Please take a look, sir. Is this a giant white witch moth's tail? It's so hot. Why does this thing kind of look like Qingzhu's fifth tail when he entered Nirvana? Is this the white phoenix's tail? Where did you get this from? It's from Wanya's herb garden. Everything was covered in white that dawn, so we thought it was snow. As soon as the sun came up, the snow started flying up. That's when we realized it wasn't snow, but white witch moths that came from the sea. I found this feather laying in the middle of the garden. So the white phoenix escorted those white witch moths all the way here. I don't know why it left a tail here, but this thing definitely belongs to a white phoenix. Sir, I'll tell you the truth. This is what the Yen family's been searching for. Our lord died because of it, and the commander took the blame. He was also executed for it. I know it's troublesome, but I want you to have this treasure. It might bring you unnecessary inconveniences. But please take it, so that our Huangya city can live in peace. Get up, I'll take it. Oh, it's such a hot potato, but I like that, hee hee. Zhu Minglang, thank you so much. If you hadn't helped us, I'm afraid we couldn't have destroyed those water lizards' nest. That's right, each of us can get 1,000 more points now. We're classmates, so everyone is equally important. I'm more than willing to help my friends. Those points don't matter much to me. I got the phoenix's tail, and that's the real prize. I wonder what the oldest spirit's age is. This thing can definitely help Baichi Breakthrough to King level. I heard that you can exchange points for lots of things in the treasure house. Do you have anything in mind? I want to get Yulong's wisdom from a former King level Dragon Master. I'm not sure if I have enough points though. I'm planning on leveling up my Dragon Monarch. I've found a perfect armor suit for mine, ha ha ha. Zhu Minglang, how about you? I'm going to get some Flood Dragon Soul Orbs to help Yejiao break out of his mortal body. Hiss. Hiss. Thank you, sir. You're too kind. Haya's black dragon state isn't permanent yet, and he's back to his old form now. Sigh. I should get you to adulthood first. Chirp. Really? That's amazing. Boy, Qingzhu's breakthrough depends on you now. Cluck. Click. Don't worry. Look. Cluck. Cluck. Come here. Chirp. It feels good. You did well. Thank you. Cluck. Cluck. I like Qingzhua, and helping is fun. I can't believe the power from this little firefly could actually help him break through. That's incredible. Azure Tsang One Dragon Mature Middle Dragon Monarch. Chirp. I feel much stronger now. I love it. Ha ha ha, this little boy absorbed an entire spirit pond and gave all of its energy to you. If you keep up this speed, your upper monarch level won't be far away. Do you want to take the Great Sea Eagle's Soul Orb too, since we're on a winning streak? The attributes aren't exactly to Qingzhu's liking, but it's still taken from a soul beast. It must be effective. No, 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 don't. Master Koi. 
The Great Sea Eagle's soul orb is at the king level. Even though it's a soul beast and belongs to the same race as Qingzhua, there's a limit to the amount of energy Qingzhua can absorb. What do you suggest I do with this? I think you should anonymously sell the soul orb in a large auction in exchange for a full set of magic items. You'll want some Azure Bloodline's essence, a wood beast's soul orb, high-grade light crystals, some peat-grade leaves, and parasol immortal dew. That sounds great, but why do we need high-grade crystals? Hey, your father would be disappointed to hear that. You've forgotten your origins. Oh, right, I'm a blacksmith too. If I want Qingzhu to be stronger, then I'll have to forge him a sacred dragon armor suit. Zhu Minglang. Zhu Minglang. The hunting competition is starting soon. Come with me, quick. Oh, that's is that your little azure dragon? He's in his adulthood now. Yeah, he just got there recently. Damn. You've got some real talent there. I thought you were just some kind of women's lapdog, but now I'm actually starting to believe you're a competent dragon master. Come on, drop it. Don't be a smug about it. You're just lucky you stumbled upon a gifted azure dragon. Unless you can get another one of your dragons to reach adulthood this quickly, I won't believe you're a prodigy. Bark. Yes, he will. Look at me. Goodness gracious. You, you're that idiot that attacked me. Why are you so big? Get down, I'm only interested in women. Ha ha ha, don't think too much. I only like women too. Let's go. I'll take you to see some girls. Hunting competitions hall. Hey, I've got another one with me here. Let me introduce him. This is Zhu Minglang, the one who defeated the Supreme Academy's genius, Guan Wenqi. Nihai noblewoman Kuning. Who's Guan Wenqi? I don't know either. Ha ha ha, Guan Wenqi is famous among students in the Supreme Academy, but he's a nobody to these noble families and clans. Anyway, now that we're here, you're safe to hunt. We'll protect you. Watch your mouth. I'm right over here, so can't you at least keep it down and try to act polite? Oh hey, it's my dear brother Guan. Are you here to participate in this dangerous hunt too? Shut up, Luo, this matter is between me and Zhu Minglang. Why are you sticking your nose in it? Everyone could tell that I was just too careless in that fight. I didn't even summon any of my other dragons. Oh, okay. Try harder this time, and don't embarrass our Supreme Academy, okay? You, you're just another goddamn Luo spoiled brat. You don't have the right to insult me like that. Do you dare to face me in a fight? I don't think you're strong enough. What about me? Am I strong enough, young master Luo? It's you. Greetings, young master Yen Su. Long time no see. Miss Ku, don't waste your time with this Luo moron. Come sit at my table. Okay. Farewell, Mr. Luo. The Yin family is hosting this hunting competition, so I can't turn down his kind offer. Are you Yin Jin's son, Yin Su? I am, what about it? It's nothing. I'm just a big fan of yours, that's all. You and your daddy were the ones that tried to kill us on that island, huh? Wait there, and I'll deal with you later. Mind your own business. This hunting competition isn't a fight between your school's stupid man children. You'll fall into the hands of those barbarians if you make even a single mistake. You're going to wish you never existed. I wanted to introduce you to some of the noble family's women. I thought we could get some protection from them if you succeeded, but it looks like you're not interested. Whatever, I prefer to be left alone. Excuse me, is this seat taken? You're. Eh? Aren't you the Xiaoyu Queen's maid? How kind of you to remember my existence, unlike that other guy, he forgot me right after that day. It's no wonder the princess husband went missing. Are you here to get back your four million reward? That's right. Are you going to give it to me, or do I have to snatch it from you? If you're in need of money, I can give you back the money you paid for my dragon gambling. If you want to take my reward, I'm afraid I can't give you that. I thought you were either too righteous to take Luo Shue as your second wife or so stupid that you refused that marriage. It turns out I was completely wrong. Oh, so you're saying I'm. Yes, you're scum. You misunderstood everything. I didn't expect to witness Xiaoyu's beautiful queen here in the hunting competition. I could die happy right now. Can I have your autograph, my little queen? I'm your biggest fan. Ah. Everyone, take turns. Little queen. Jingyu Xiaoyu's second queen, let me introduce myself again. I'm Xiaoyu's second queen, Jingyu. I'm honored to meet you here. Please have a seat, your majesty. Sister Jingyu, why don't you come sit with me? Don't you have a sweetheart with you already? No, 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 compared to you. How could anyone be worthy of my attention? Kuning, he's no good for you. 
Let's go. Huh. You, get out of here. This is my table. No one's ever disrespected me in my entire life, let alone spit in my face. Do you have any idea what you've done? What? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Have you thought about the consequences your words might have? Men. Knock his teeth out and cut his tongue. Put him in our dungeon. He's on our death row. Yen Su, he's a friend of mine. You're in the wrong here, so don't blame him for what you've done. I don't care who he is. He insulted the wrong person. If you keep talking, you'll be insulted even more. Are you trying to get yourself killed? How dare you mess with me, Yen Su? Is this how your Yen family treats their guests? These are all respectable people participating in your competition, and they're not your prisoners. Ha, huh, so you're taking part in the hunt? That makes this easier. You're Zhu Minglang, aren't you? Keep eating those grapes, since this is going to be your last meal. You should still be careful, Yen Su isn't a normal man, so it's best if you stay out of this hunting competition. That's alright. We've got some bad blood anyway, and I want to settle everything for good. Yen Su is a horrible person, but he's not as simple as you think he is. He would do anything to get what we want. Do you think I'm simple? Don't worry, Jing Yu. Brother Zhu is really smart. Do you want to join us in this competition? I can't fight at all. It's okay, we'll protect you. Watching a game from the outside isn't be as good as actually playing it. Hmm. Okay, but I'm going to have to change my clothes. Wait for me, I'll be back soon. Why did you drag her into this? This isn't a game. A beautiful woman wouldn't hurt anyone. I'm trying to get you some insurance, remember? What insurance? That prick Yen Su will definitely play dirty to get to you. If the little queen is fond of you, then you'll get her protection. Plus, a noble woman like her always has a guardian on her side, especially when going out for a hunt like this. I know you're just crushing on her. You're so oblivious. The little queen likes you, idiot. If the hunting competition is held in such a huge mountain range, aren't they afraid prisoners will escape? Nope. All prisoners have devil eggs put in their bodies that are controlled by a magic flute. Once the flute is blown, devil worms will break out of the eggs and eat the prisoners from the inside out. The worms also increase in number if their victim has any contact with water, they'll get thirsty, drink water, and get diarrhea. Even so, this mountain range is so big, so finding them would be really difficult. Why does this hunt feel more like a game of hide and seek? Are we going to track them by scent? Of course not. Every team will get a golden hound. These golden hounds are extremely sensitive to the smell of devil worms in the prisoner's discharge. They can lead us to them. I understand now. Okay, let's get down here. Do I need to repeat that? Knock out his teeth, cut off his tongue, and break all of his bones. Xing Kuan makes sure he's alive, bring him to me, and then skin him. His name is Zhu Minglang, and here's his picture. There's also a man named Luo going with him. Break his legs. No killing? I haven't had any raw meat in so long. We should stay out of any unnecessary trouble. Just do what I ask, and we'll be better off that way. Click. Click. Keeping people alive isn't how I normally do it, but it's your order, so I'll do my best. Miss Jingyu, I heard that all your Xiaoyu warriors are extremely skilled. Where are they hiding? I didn't bring any. What? That Yen Su will definitely try to hurt us, and you're saying you don't have any guards. We're all dead now, aren't we? Didn't you say you'd protect me? Follow him. Whoa, are we going to find the first prisoner? You seem excited, don't change your mind later. I murdered those two men, because their faces weren't what's drawn here. Boy, is this you in the picture? You are you Shin Kuen? You know my name? Did I accidentally kill one of your acquaintances? Click. 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 That's so lucky for you. You can join them now. He's a murderous monster and a pervert too. There used to be a time when he was a wanted criminal in every city across Nihai. The bounty for his head was two million gold. That's still one million less than yours, so you should be able to deal with him. Good luck. I ran away from my wedding, and he's a serial killer. Are those the same thing to you? You all know that there's an egg full of devil worms inside every prisoner. As soon as the magic flute is blown, they'll break out and eat them alive. Before those worms finish their meal, the prisoners are still alive. That feeling click. Click. I quite like those worms because they're just like me. 
So you're saying that you're actually a maggot? Damn you. How the hell did you come to that conclusion? What I meant is that we both enjoy eating human entrails. I don't think you know what the consequence of your actions are. What are you trying to say? Now I understand why he wants to cut your tongue off. Die. Why? Huh. White feather blades. It didn't even hurt. This Shinkuin can't be underestimated. Haya, don't disappoint me. Roar. Don't worry. Take this punch. Are you a beast master? Huh, you're quite observant. Now let's test your strength as a dragon master. Dragon masters are nothing without their pets. Pathetic. Roar. Don't you dare. That little boy of yours is tough, huh? I'll just get rid of him first. Roar. Try this dragon flame. Get down, now. Ha ha ha. Useless, it's useless. You're such a loudmouth. Are you seriously trying to beat us with those sloppy techniques? That's what you deserve. Zhu Minglang did everything, so why are you talking on his behalf? He's too unimportant to be my opponent. If Zhu Minglang could deal with him, then why would I even bother to lift a finger? That beast master was quite difficult to fight. If all prisoners on this island are at his level, they'll be quite a handful to deal with. We've got one metal collar. Take us to the next one. Bark. Bark. There's nothing here except for a dried skeleton. Are you sure it's here? We've been wandering around for half a day. Can we actually trust this hound? Phew, I'm so tired. Is this dog fooling us? We've searched everywhere and couldn't find a single soul. If you keep taking us to these empty places, I'll feed you to Haya. Just be careful. Eh? Where's the golden hound? Pup, where are you going? Ah. How does my new whip feel, huh? Huh? Sneaky bastards. You damn bitch, you led us into an ambush. I should have stewed you sooner. Shut your mouth. Do you know who rules this place? Show some respect. Cough, cough. Just kill me already. If you're too scared to do that, then you're just Luo Xiaoyan's little nephew. Ha, huh, you want me to kill you? That would be too easy. I'll humiliate you in front of your entire Luo family and everyone else. Yin Su, you son of a bitch. Wait until I get my revenge. Have you still learned nothing? Oh. You Nihai people are quite disrespectful, huh? You two, run. This guy doesn't have the balls to kill me. We meet again. This is more interesting. Yin Su, be reasonable for once. Your Yin family aren't the only people here in Nihai. Are we alone? There's no one around here, sir. You can do whatever you want, and nobody will have any idea what happened. You what do you want? Miss Jingyu, there are many things I want to do with you. I just don't know which one you'd prefer, ha ha ha. You're shameless. It's bad luck for you, boy. You picked a fight with the wrong person. I'll make sure you're beaten to jelly. Ha ha ha. It's not my first time messing with you anyway. Huh? Then how come I don't remember anything? You and your father were flying around while I was struggling to survive on an island. It was the Great Sea Devil Island, and you had quite a lot of fun blocking us. You're not that forgetful, are you? You, you're the one who helped Lin Zhao to fight the Great Sea Eagle. I couldn't find a chance to get revenge, but you just gave me the perfect one. The fact that we're in a secluded place is really just icing on the cake. I'll make this nice and clean, you can take my word for it. It'll be so clean, in fact, that even after you're done burning in hell, your daddy still won't know who or what killed his son. That's ridiculous. I'll crush your jaw right now. Shut the fuck up. Sir, please don't listen to his nonsense. Spitting in your face suddenly doesn't feel so bad anymore, does it? It's my honor I'm honored. Please forgive me. I was too foolish to realize my wrongdoings. I'm sorry. It's a shame. I'm not that benevolent, so no, there's no second chance for you. Sir, please spare me just this once. I, Yin Su, am a reckless spoiled brat. There won't be a second time. I won't repeat my mistake. Ah. Are you a king level? Don't. Don't kill me. I've been calling this absolute badass my brother. Is that the man Princess Luo Shue is dying to get? Clean up the mess, I don't want any traces left. 
Roar. Don't worry. That's what I'm best at. If you take us to find other prisoners, I'll let you keep your body in one piece. Yelp. Please spare my life, and I'll do whatever you ask. Are we going to find another prisoner? That's... Whoa, haha. -ha. Give me your metal collars. Come on. Hand over your metal collars. That's we had to try so hard to get those metal collars. Hunting competitions Hall Zhu Minglang, Luo Xiaoyan, and Jing Yu's team have won first place with 33 metal collars. This is your prize. Thank you. Shameless, you're all shameless people. What do you want? I want to report their cheating. These people didn't play by the rules, they robbed us of our collars. Look at my wounds. This is what they did to me. It's them. They stole our collars. You can't let them win. Isn't it normal for teams to fight one another? You could have taken our collars too. T Brother, drop it. Let's go. You can leave me high whenever you want, but the little queen and I are going to be in real trouble. Weren't you the one most excited about the robbery? Cough, I was just collecting them. You were the one doing the robbing. Everyone, I'm Yan Jin. My son went missing after the hunt, and we suspect someone tried to harm him during the competition. Please stay in our Yan family's palace to help us with the investigation. The hunting competition is notoriously dangerous. Your son is no exception, so don't you think this was inevitable? Are you unwilling to cooperate? What do you mean? Do you really think we came here to harm your Yan family's people? Men, take him away. Don't stop until he tells us where my son is. Yin Jin, what are you doing? Do you think your Yin family can control everyone in Nihai? Shut up, you old pig. Ah. This is a matter of my son's safety, so you'd better help us. Once we've figured everything out, you can all go back to your homes. If you try anything funny, then don't blame us for what happens next. Zhu Minglang, now what do we do? Are we going to calm down? They won't find the bodies. Shouting is the best they can do. Sir, before the hunt began, a young master got into a fight with a group of people. He's the man that started it. This is bad. Now he's got his eyes on us. Don't worry. Just deny everything at all costs. I don't think we've met before. I killed him. What the hell? Didn't you just tell me to deny everything? What? Your son, Yen Su, is dead. I killed him. No way. This can't be true. Don't believe me? Hmm, imagine this is his neck, and then I did this. You. Die. Ha. Animals. Perish. Wu Law Enforcer Xiao of Nihai Silver Flame King. It's the Silver Flame King. Wu Xiao. Damn it, why is he here? Is it because he knows what I did? Are you alright? I'm okay. He's too small for my Dragon King's liking. This is our law enforcer here in Nihai, Wu Xiao. Thanks to your oceanic seal, we were able to find evidence of the Yin family's massacre of the witches. Ha ha ha, I'm glad you made the devil so angry he came out. Otherwise, we would have had to wait ages to catch him. His son was killed. How could he keep hiding as a father? What? Yin Su's death was a part of his plan? Who are you? What? You still don't know who kept you from leaving that island. It's you. You made us stay on that cursed island for two weeks. I almost became a caveman. I should have gone all the way in to kill you. Impudent. You killed Instructor Lin of the Supreme Academy and caused the genocide of over 8,000 innocent witches. So he actually killed Instructor Lin. Even death won't be enough to punish him. People like him shouldn't have survived this long. Someone's backing him lip. Ha ha ha. Karma comes quickly, huh? This is for what you did earlier. Ah. Now that we've figured that one out, you all can go home. I'll take him to the Supreme Academy, he still owes us some explanations. Hey, it's yours. The Oceanic Seal will come in handy for you. Thank you for helping us. You bastard. I'll remember this. I just tricked him into exposing himself, the rest was Enforcer Wu's doing. So you plan to kill Yin Su from the beginning? Yeah, how could I not? Brother, how did you get to King level? Give me some tips. I'm not that strong. I was just lucky I adopted that dragon. Adopted? And lucky. His feelings got hurt again? I was telling him the truth. Roar. Boy, did you say you adopted me? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I begged you to be my companion. Hayes. I still don't know how Yunzi is doing. 
but Tianchilong is sulking, Qingzhua and Haya are still too small to carry me. You little shit. Does any of your women look like she's easy to push around? Do you think they need your help? I'm only married to one. Whatever. Now you need to get Qingzhua and Haya to level up as quick as possible. And you have to get to the Zhu clan's palace to forge armor for Qingzhua. I know, but the closest branch of the Zhu clan is in Qing City. If I use Phylong to fly there, it'll take four to five days. Maybe Qingzhua can fight some flying sea monsters on our way there. That way he can get more practice. Once Qingzhua's a bit older, he can give me a ride. Huh, couldn't you've at least waited until I got there? I have to find somewhere to wait this out. This must be the nest of a sea eagle, but it's not home. I can stay here for now. Is this thing really as great as they said? Am I using it wrong? Let's try giving it some spiritual energy. Called it. I need spiritual energy to activate this thing. Let's see how powerful it is. I could stop a storm with it. But there's something wrong with the noise. Eh? Are you kidding? Damn, close call. That's the toxic tides? What a disaster. If that thing hit a city, how could anyone make it out alive? What a surprise. This small oceanic seal could control such huge waves. It has the strength of a dragon king. This is a treasure. Phylong, let's get out of here. We'll be in real trouble if anyone finds out. The wind is strong. I'm afraid the holy beasts are angry with Chain City. We have to check if someone is disturbing the storm beast. But the holy beast didn't leave any footprint, and I can't smell it either. Great, two dragon kings were alerted. Luckily I left in time. Ha! Here we are. This is where my uncle Zhu watching lives. It looks so much more trustable than that courtyard in Imperial City. Is he the one sitting here? Are you the young master that my servant talked about? Yes, it's me. I'm the young master of the Zhu clan Zhu Minglang. You? I came to the Imperial City once when I was 13. There was a really handsome cousin, you kind of look like him. What do you mean I look like him? I am Zhu Minglang. But then that little cousin of mine lost his mind. He went from being a genius swordsman to an ordinary man. You don't look ordinary at all. I'm not a swordsman, I'm a dragon master. A dragon master? Really? Me too. That's, young mistress, I've never met our young master before, this man. He's my cousin. I remember him. Yes, I recognize this face. Didn't you say I was just some kind of lookalike? I'm going to visit a princess of our neighboring country. You should go with me to see her. Miss, our young master has just arrived. We should let him get some rest. That's fine. It's my first time being in Chain City, and I haven't got the chance to go around yet. My cousin and I can go for a little walk. Li family's manor this is the city in Qin Lord's manor. City mistress Li Kamo is a close friend of mine. She invited me here today for a tea and flower party. She said there's an important guest that she wanted me to meet. Hello, sisters this is my cousin from Imperial City. He's just arrived in Qin City, so I brought him here to meet you all. What a coincidence. The guest I told you about is also from Imperial City. Li Kamo eldest mistress of Qin City. Eldest mistress of Qin City. It's you. So it's the one and only Zhao Inge. How unlucky. Is young master Zhu here to see these beautiful women too? Zhao Yu prince of the great Qing dynasty. I'm just passing by. Do you know this gentleman, little prince? There was a thief that tried to break into our palace. I set my dragons after him, but he got away. I found out much later that the thief was the Zhu clan's young master. I never understood why a genius swordsman like young master Zhu would do something like that. I was drinking with your sister until midnight and got lost in the palace. I flew up there to navigate, and now you're telling people I was trying to break in. Ha! If it weren't for my sister, I would have skinned those dragons alive. Whatever. We were young back then, but it's a shame the once genius swordsman has fallen from grace. It's not easy to find myself a worthy opponent, Sai. Your Highness, he's a dragon master now. Oh? You're a dragon master? Zhu Minglang is a dragon master? That's right. I still have a lot to learn from the prince. Don't say that. Zhao Yu is just a little runt in the royal family. How could I ever compete with someone like you? I thought seeing Zhao Inga here was bad enough, but now you're here too. I'm starting to believe that Storm was trying to protect me from bad luck in Qin City. What a shame. How insolent. 
You are talking to a prince. It's okay. I like his boldness anyway. Plus, he's the Zhu clan's young master, which could be considered the same as me being a prince. Kamo understands now. You are both gentlemen from Imperial City. Let me raise this toast to our friendship. D Miss Li, it's my honor. Something's off. Why is Zhao Yu in Qin City? Outside the tea and flower party. Why is he here? Did the Zhu clan find out about our plan? And Qin Feng, son of King An. I'm not sure even if Zhu Taingyuan did know, he wouldn't send someone useless like Zhu Minglang. Do we do everything according to the plan and get rid of him as well? Huh, do you think I care enough to kill an amateur dragon master like him? Then leave that useless brat to me. Rong Rong, why is Zhao Yu in Qin City? I heard that his coronation is going to happen soon. A princess must be chosen at the ceremony, and Sister Kamo is one of the candidates. According to the Great Qing Dynasty's rules, he must reach king level to be qualified for the coronation. With Zhao Yu's talent, it makes sense that he'll become the king, he seems to be hiding his strength. Hey, do you think Sister Kamo will become the princess? You said there were other candidates. I'd have to see the others before I could give an accurate answer. We're not going shopping. It's the royal family after all, and they'll have to take lots of things into consideration since it's the prince's marriage. For example, can Qin City give the new prince? This is bad. If Zhao Yu chooses Li Kamo, then Qin City would become a part of his land. The Zhu family has recently risen in Imperial City. Is Zhao Yu targeting the Zhu clan's inner court? Sai, I was looking forward to going to Li Chuan and seeing my wife. It looks like I'll have to put off my plans for now. Hey, why do you look so upset? What's wrong? It's nothing. By the way, Rong Rong, where's my uncle? My father? He's in Imperial City, oh, I almost forgot. He told me to collect some wind crystal dandelions for him, but I haven't found any. Why does he want wind crystal dandelions? It's to strengthen the furnace fire. The crushed wind crystal seeds can create a strong wind, allowing the fire to achieve the desired effect. Wouldn't that help us forge better weapons? Yes, and we can add wind marks to them for special effects. I want to forge a suit of light spirit saint armor for my azure dragon. Then you'll need wind marks. They help your dragon control the wind better and save more stamina when flying long distances. You wouldn't have to worry about your precious dragon running out of strength anymore. I have to get those. Haha, <laughs> let's go find some wind crystal dandelions together. You just want me to ruin errands for you. Huh, the wind crystal dandelions are hard to catch because they're flying so fast. They're just dandelions, so couldn't I just use my hands? Try it, then. Eh? Chirp. No problem. Qingzhua, go. It's your chance to practice, too. Huh? Why are they so difficult to catch? What? They're playing hit and run, too. Qingzhua, use your sacred light to paralyze them. Watch out. I forgot to tell you. The dandelions will break if they're attacked, and they release a gust of wind that can cause an explosion. How could you forget that? I didn't know you'd be so reckless. Sai. My bad, my bad. Qingzhua, stop attacking them. You have to lower your dragon monarch's ego. Those tiny things are your dinner, and there won't be anything else to eat if you can't catch them. Chirp. Got it. There used to be a dragon monarch who spent an entire day here, but still couldn't catch any dandelions. I know you can do it. Don't worry, look at Qingzhua. Your azure scared Samoan dragon isn't bad at all. With the help of the wind marks, I believe he can surpass a king level creature in no time. Yeah. Roar. Are you trying to leave me out of this? Never. Pop pop. Is there a spirit vein nearby? You're sensitive. You could even sense a spirit vein. That's right. There's a Zhu clan spirit vein over there. I see. Let's go take a look. Qingzhua will stay here to catch the dandelions. Okay. Zhu clan spirit vein wind gorge look. Strong wind comes through this crack all year round, and it forms spirit crystals with wind attribute after brushing against the molten lava. At least a thousand of these spirit crystals are formed every year. If I'd known my clan had a spirit vein full of crystals, I wouldn't have spent so much money on materials to level up Qingzhua. Cluck. Cluck. I want it. I want to eat it. There are family's crystals, so don't empty this place. Cluck. Cluck. I know. Hey, look at this crack. There are more spirit crystals in there, 
but we can't go inside. We don't dare to destroy the structure of this place. We're afraid that the spiritual wind won't blow anymore, so we just have to pretend there's nothing in there. Isn't that perfect? Cluck. Cluck. Time to eat. Time to eat. Cluck. Cluck. What do I do? I'm stuck. How much energy has he absorbed? That's because you've eaten too much. Give Haya the excess energy. Cluck. Click. Okay. Middle Dragon Lord. Roar. Roar. Chaha. I'll have to sleep more often from now on. Sigh. Why did I get a dragon this stupid? Pop. Pop. We should go back, since I don't know how Qingzhui is doing. Traceless Phantom. Is that a new technique? If this flashing technique is combined with Qingzhua's other techniques, the results will be unimaginable. Qingzhua. Come back. Is this enough for you? Yes. Yes it is. Then let's go back to your house. Yeah. Sai, if only I could live a day this carefree with Yunzi and the others. I don't know how they're doing either. Today Haya's cultivation base has increased by a whole level, should I shape his bloodline now as well? I wonder what this evil dragon's blood essence will do to Haya's bloodline. Come out here, Haya. Roar. I'll take this one. Is this purgatory? Wait, it looks like I can stay inside this dragon's purgatory. Young master, we're coming. Don't come in. Collapse. Roar. Roar. Whoa. I'm truly invincible. It's the purgatory domain. Flowers and plants aren't affected, but other living creatures will get burnt to a crisp. I'm sorry, I was training my dragon, and I didn't know you two were coming. If they'd stepped in just then, it would have been a disaster. Wang Xiao, sir, we were the once traitors that came here uninvited. And the I'm Zhu Hua, the great outer deacon of the small court inner court. Zhu Hua, great deacon of the inner court, this is Wang Xiao. He's in charge of the trade system in the outer court. May I ask what brought you here? Young master, Wang Xiao has always been a big fan of yours. We've booked a banquet in the Moon Pavilion and invited Qin City's most beautiful women to welcome you. Please come this way. Lu Mu Qin City's courtesan ha ha ha, drink with me. Young master, we've drunk a lot. Please excuse us. Okay, I understand. Go on. Mr. Zhu, do you think I'm pretty? You're all right. Just all right? If you hadn't pointed that right at me, I would have said something nicer. Ah. You how did you know I came here to kill you? Believe it or not, you're quite good looking. But I can find dozens of women more beautiful than you on the streets of Qin City, and I haven't even mentioned my wife yet. Calling you the most beautiful woman in Qin City is such an insult. Ah. You can't do this. I couldn't even enjoy my wine without almost getting assassinated. The Zhu clan seems to have traitors now. Which one of them is the traitor? Could it be both of them? Young Master Zhu is such a ladies' man. I heard her scream and thought someone was murdered. That's right, that's right. Her eyes were so pretty. If it were me, I would've. Did either of you feel anything when you came to my door? There was a scorching fire that seemed to belong to the devil. I thought we'd stepped into hell. Yes, yes. It was very scary. That's how the courtesan died. Do you want to try it as well? Young, young master, if there's anything we messed up during the preparations, then please forgive us. Are you really running away? Haya. Roar. Here I come. No, no. Roar. Care you still trying to run? Young master, please forgive me. I don't know anything. Then go figure out who did this. This is your only chance, so you'd better give me a real explanation. Otherwise, I'll report this to the inner court's elders, and you know what will happen after that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I promise to find out the truth within three days. Okay, now go. Ronrom said that Uncle Zhu will be back in three days. He'll have to tell us the truth by then, and I can ask Wanqing more about controlling the fire's temperature. Three days later. Young master, I found the culprit. Is it Zhao Inga? You're right. Zhao Inga was the one behind that assassination attempt, but I've discovered another name that's even more important. It's King An's son and Qingfeng. King An? 
So that bastard's son is in Qin City too, huh? And Qin Fong has some bodyguards with him, so I couldn't investigate any further. What about Wan Xiao? He was recruited by the steward that greeted you when you first came here. I think he's a spy in the Zhu clan too. He's also the one that suggested holding the banquet and asked Wang Xiao to prepare everything. It looks like King and has started to infiltrate the Zhu clan's inner court. The suspect has been captured. Do you want to interrogate him? I'm not interested. You take care of everything. The steward is easy to deal with, but Mr. Zhao, if you can't handle it, go ask Third Master for help. Young Master, I'll do my best. Just make sure Zhao Inga is taking care of you don't need to worry about in Qing Fong. Oh. You've grown so tall, huh? I used to cradle you when you were a baby. Third master of the Zhu clan Zhu watching, small inner court master. How could I forget that? Long time no see. My uncle watching still hasn't aged a day since then. I was wondering if you've heard anything about our big family recently? Sigh. Our clan has grown much bigger now, so of course there ought to be more problems. I live far away from them, but our family in the imperial city your father seems happy there, but I would have gone mad if I were him. Why are we talking about this? Ask him about forging your dragon's armor. You're right. I wanted to ask you about forging dragon armor. Follow me to our secret realm, and I'll explain everything to you in detail. Father, can I go with you too? Did you do as I asked? Of course I did. Here's a full bag of your dandelions. Okay, I should start training you to take over the family too. Yeah. We're going to the secret realm together. Zhu clan small inner court great hall. Where's brother Zhu Hua? Isn't he always here? I asked him to do some more important things. Young master, Zhu Hua is a rare talent. Our Zhu clan should keep investing in training him. Elder Yuan, grand elder of the small inner court, it's all right for you to give him orders, but this matter of the secret realm. Elder Yuan, it's Zhu Hua's honor to work for Minglang, so please consider this a normal test for him. Uncle, apart from Zhu Hua, do you have any other candidates to train? I do, but... I'm glad you do. I hope you can find someone better than him. Did Zhu Hua do something wrong to the Zhu clan? By the way, Uncle, can you tell me about the secret realm? I'm curious. Why are we going to the sea to look for fire? Is it because there's something unique that I don't know about? That's right. This furnace fire isn't normal, nor is the place where it's burning. We have to go there to collect the flames every now and then. Is the fire burning underwater? No. It lies under the seabed and is much deeper than you can imagine. Thank you, Elder Yuan. Don't mention it. This path leads straight to the bottom of the sea. Let's go. Are we in the secret realm? See, it's the bottom of the sea. This abyss dragon king is so powerful that it could even split the sea in half. Gods. Is that the furnace fire? Yes, we call it the earth vein fire. This flask is used to contain the flames. Do you want to try it? Isn't that just a normal flask? The earth vein fire isn't like ordinary fire. As long as you don't shake it up, it'll remain a liquid, just like water. It's magical. Now watch me do it first. Go on, please. What's this? He's showing his respect. It's nothing to worry about. That's what our Zhu clan has always believed in. The earth vein fire liquid is very stable today, so I think we can take a little more than normal this time. We've been blessed. Oh, why can't this earth vein fire even burn a stick? If I'm right, then maybe this thing works like the wind crystal dandelions. Unless there's an external force affecting it, it'll stay still and harmless. Once triggered, it'll release a huge amount of power. Ming Lang is right. We'll take only one flask today and bring it back for some testing. If the energy is too strong, it can damage the materials and may even cause the smithy to explode. So we're not here to officially collect the fire? That's right, but we'll come back for it once we've finished testing. That must be that 30 thou sand year old evil dragon. I'll make it go away. We might as well get rid of those undersea devils today. Are those three masters all at the king level? Our Zhu clan's people are mostly blacksmiths. Not many of us are cultivators, but our great forging techniques also attract many powerhouses to our place. Although they're not completely loyal, as long as they provide us with their protection and clean up whatever that's hindering us, we're still in good condition. The Earth Vein Scar is also home to some powerful ancient beasts which can affect the stability of the Earth Vein Fire Liquid. 
We come here regularly to clean up the mess, because we can't let the powerful holy beasts get too close. One hour later, Master, we vanquished the surrounding holy beasts. Thank you so much. If that's the case, we've got what we came for, let's go back now. Young Master, I found out Zhao Ying is exact whereabouts. I'm planning on finishing him off tonight to get your revenge. Good, do it. Do Zhao Ying isn't completely useless, so how could his location be so easy to find? Zhu Hua, are you hiding something? Mountain Tea Garden. You're so naughty. Shit. It's a trap. You worthless worms. Huh. Were you testing me? You bastards. You have no right to disrespect me like this. Don't you run away now. Ha. Stop underestimating others. The Zhu clan is full of little surprises. My puppet is no pushover either. What? Zhao Ying is a puppet, and this woman is the puppet master. Go get him. Catch him alive. We only caught Zhu Minglang the lackey. Won't show his face before he finds out for sure what's going on. Still, Zhu Hua is being trained as their small inner court's heir. He's not a small fry that Zhu Minglang guy is very cunning otherwise. He would have been killed in the Moon Pavilion. He's completely worthless. They didn't even let him go to their secret realm. Sai, I think Zhu Minglang is being too patronizing this time. He sent a piece of trash like this to kill me? I knew it someone was backing Zhao Inga, that woman and her puppets are a handful to deal with. Luckily, I still managed to find out lots of information. I didn't expect Zhao Inga to know about the Zhu clan's secret realm, there must be a spy among our companions. It seems that Zhu Hua is off the hook for now. Now, let me show you the power of wind crystal dandelions and earth vein fire liquid combined together. Damn it. I couldn't do what young master asked and even fell right into their trap. If this is how I'm going to die. Are those wind crystal dandelions? Run. Young young master. I'm sorry for not trusting you. Those wind crystal dandelions will get us out of the fire. Don't move or you'll fall. Young master. Damn it. This is getting out of hand. Ah. My puppet. What's going on? Young master, we should go back and kill them. Now's the perfect chance to kill Zhao Inga, and we might even get rid of Enqing Feng too. Don't go. Zhao Yu is nearby, so we should leave. Young master. Sacred Torch Dragon. That's a Dragon King. It's too dangerous. If young master hadn't stopped me, I would have been killed. Zhu Clan Small Inner Court, what? There's a traitor in the Small Inner Court. Yes. Wang Xiao and the servant were just bad luck. The real traitor is one of the eight people that went to the secret realm. We don't have any evidence, and I don't know how to tell my uncle about the problem. I found some other things when I was investigating the case. I figured you cared more about getting rid of Zhao Inga, so I decided not to look in further. If you could trust me, please let me work to solve this mystery. You're still wounded. This is a serious matter, I have to ensure that the Earth Vein secret is protected, otherwise our Zhu clan won't be able to survive in Nia. Okay. I'll stay in the limelight while you work in the shadows. That way, it'll be easier to find out the truth. Young master, I've completed your mission. I had two plans to assassinate Zhao Inga this time. If I failed, then my brother in arms would strike when Zhao Inga lets his guard down. Really? So you were just a decoy, and your brother was the real assassin? Yes. My original plan was to test the waters before making a move. I wasn't sure if the tea party was a trap or not, but the enemy never would have come out if I hadn't taken the risk. I was prepared to die there, but you came and saved my life. Is Zhao Inga still alive? Yes, he is. I'll take you to see him. Sob? Sob? How are you feeling? Ha ha ha, young master saved me. I'm fine. Young master, this is Wu Peng, my brother in arms. Wu Peng. We're all brothers, so there's no need for pleasantries. Wu Ping, how did you manage to catch him? Ah. Da. Did this, and this, and then this. Oh, I see. That's my brother, Wu Ping, for you. This man is mute. Young master, Wu Ping said that he knew Zhao Inga would see a doctor after he got burned. He ambushed the most famous clinic in Qin City and waited for him to let his guard down before kidnapping him. He would have taken in Qin Feng too, but it was too risky. 
You've done an excellent job, so I'll give you a huge reward. Now, it's time for torture. Douse him. His limbs are all fake, so splash water on his torso. Ouch. Who are you? How dare you abduct me? Do you know who I am? I'm Zhao Inga, prince of the dynasty. Let me go. Zhao Inga, this is an imperial city. You aren't a prince here. Juju Minglang. You what do you want? Are you really going to kill a prince of the royal family? You're courting death. It's not my first time assassinating someone, so keep those words to yourself. You can regale the entire underworld with them. Zhu Minglang, we settled the grudges between us long ago. I'm just one of their pawns. You know who's behind all this too well, so killing me won't do you any good. I'm giving you one last chance. Are any of the elders in our small inner court one of your spies? If you don't answer me, then I'll pour this acid on your skin. I don't know. I really don't know. They only talk to Zhao Yu, and even in Qingfeng doesn't know who they are. Young master, it's quite cold out here at night. Maybe we should burn this little prince to warm Wu Peng up. No, no, no. Please, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know anything. W that person won't show up before everything's figured out. Please spare me. Boo hoo. If that's the case, then you're useless now. Don't do it. Tell him to spare my life, Zhu Minglang. Zhu Minglang. The gods won't forgive you, Zhu Minglang. You'll die a more painful death than this. When I went to the secret realm last time, I couldn't find any landmarks. There's no way to pinpoint that place's location. How do your people usually find the secret realm? I'm not sure either. Among everyone in the small inner court, only the third master and the four grand elders know exactly where the secret realm is. Does that mean that if any one of those four elders is a traitor, he can take his people to the secret realm? Not really. Those four grand elders only know a part of the secret. What do you mean? I can't tell you for sure, but there's some kind of map, and each grand elder has one-fourth of it. This means that no one can find the secret realm unless all four of them become traitors. If that's the case, can we postpone the fire-making ceremony? No way. You know we can only take the earth vein fire liquid when it's calm. If we miss the chance, approaching the fire is impossible, let alone taking it. It looks like we can't stop the fire-making ceremony without concrete proof. That's right, and we can't send more people to that place either. We have to report this to Third Master as soon as possible and give him time to make his decision. Don't tell my uncle yet. Keep investigating this matter, and I'll keep an eye on Enqing Feng and Zhao Yu. Canceling the ceremony would be devastating for us if this turns out to be another trap they set. That's a great idea, young master. Zhu Min Blang Small Court. Rong Rong, was that your first time going to the secret realm too? Yes, my father never let me go with him before, he was afraid I would fidget and make the gods angry. I have something important to tell you. You have to promise me you won't tell anyone, not even your father. Oh? What is it? It's about the fate of our Zhu clan. Then I can't refuse. Please tell me. It all began when I was almost assassinated. This what should I do now? I need you to steal the location of the secret realm from your father. You're the young master, so couldn't you just ask him to give it to you? No. This can only be done in secret. Zhu Clan Fate Drink Tea Theater. I'll try my best. Yes, I'll count on you this time. Small hut near the cliff young master, Wang Xiao was the one in charge of the outer courts trading. A large amount of money disappeared into thin air not long ago, and no one knows why. Hall Master Xia Han's people have covered up this matter. Hall Master Xia Han? She's the Hall Master that went with us to the secret realm last time. Are you saying that Hall Master Xia Han and Wang Xiao are somehow connected? Yes. Apart from that, Miao Xing's son committed a crime and was almost beheaded by Qin City's law enforcers about three or four years ago. Hall Master Xia Han saved him too. Auntie Xia is all on her own and very devoted to the Zhu clan. She doesn't look like the kind of person who can be paid off. What about the other Hall Masters? Did you find anything? Grand Elder Yuan is my savior. If you have faith in me, then you can trust him too. Okay. Continue searching for what happened in the past, especially the things that are related to outsiders. And I'm planning on stealing the earth vein fire liquid before the fire making ceremony happens, so please help me with that too. You want to steal the earth vein fire liquid. What do you mean you want to steal our own family stuff? I'm doing it to fight the bad guys, and it's not like I have any bad intentions. Why does it feel like I'm on the wrong side now? Alright, you should go ready yourselves. 
I have to catch some wind crystal dandelions just in case we need them. He he he. The power that these wind crystal dandelions combined with the earth vein fire liquid would have is. What an elegant man out here training his dragon. Even I wouldn't have suspected that you had anything to do with Zhaoing going missing. What? Did you forget me already? Your flames burned me to ashes. That's so cruel, don't you think? That's so charming of you. Wind Crystal Dandelion Garden. Are you a ghost? How can you say I'm a ghost? Mr. Zhu, you don't know how to treat the fairer sex at all. You should have known that she was my favorite musician puppet, but you burned her anyway. It makes me so upset. Is this your real body? Take a guess. Why are you even uglier now? I love women, and you're indeed one. You're as special as a fish in the Pacific Ocean, and it also didn't help that you were trying to murder me. Why do you expect me to be kind to you? I came here to take back Xiaoinga and to flay you alive. I'll use your skin to make a new puppet. Did you come alone? Isn't Qing Feng around? That's enough. You're nothing but a worthless scoundrel to me. Die. Great, luckily I'm wearing my illusory attire. You have nowhere to run now. The feng shu here is good. It's very suitable for your burial. You're shameless. Damn you. You're not playing by the rules. What rules? Who's following them? Are you? Qingzhua, kill her. Damn it. Hefty servant, deal with it. Ha ha ha. Be gone. Chirp. It looks like Lu Mu was a puppet too. Where's the real puppet master? My dragon isn't as weak as he looks. I told Qing was to pretend to be weak, otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make the real master come out. That's enough provocation. It's time to retaliate. Qing you can fight now. Chirp. Watch this. Trace less shadow. Ring of Feather Blades. Zhu Minglang, are you seriously relying on this one dragon to protect your goddamn precious life? Chirp! Shut up! The feng shu here is perfect here, just like you said. Don't worry, I'll bury you so deep that no one will find a single bone. Rumble! 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 Die! Ha ha ha. How unlucky. You almost succeeded. Do you think you can pull off your little tricks right under my nose? I'm just an assassin. You can kill me, but they won't stop hunting you. Aren't you here to look for Xiaoinga? I have some bad news for you. He was thrown off a cliff and eaten by alligators. You're welcome to find me at any time. Those alligators are probably waiting for their next meal. And Qing Feng forced me to assassinate you. I can tell you whatever you want to know, so just spare me this one time. Zhao Inga didn't have any valuable information, so what could you have to tell us? How about this? Wu Ping captured you, so beg him instead. If he agrees to let you live, then I'll spare your life. Please. Ming Yuan Jai Tea Garden Mountain. Did Zhu Ming Lang kill them all? Yeah, it's confirmed that he came here alone. No one from the Zhu clan is backing him up. I was actually hoping he'd stir up some trouble. After his failure, he's no longer a worthy opponent of mine anyway. That's right. Very few people can compete with us now. I just don't understand why on earth one Lingfei would choose that loser over anyone else. The Su Kingdom still doesn't want anything to do with Imperial City, especially the royal family. I'm not surprised by Wen Lingfei's attitude at all. It's foolish, after all, she thinks she's invincible, but she'll regret this. Should we destroy Zhu Minglang as well? Li Kemo isn't a terrible candidate, but Wen Lingfei is still better. Ha ha, do you think I'm the kind of man that would see others trash as his treasure? That's not what I meant. Of course she can't be queen consort, but keeping her as your plaything isn't a bad idea. Doesn't that depend on King Anne's palace? Don't worry. I promise that before you leave Qin City, there won't be any traces of Zhu Minglang left in this world. Okay, then I'll wait for your good news. Huh, Zhao Yu is definitely in love with Wen Lingfei, but he's still pretending not to want her. 
He wants to kill Zhu Mingling and blame it on King Ant's palace, that's too condescending to me. Did you let in Qing Feng deal with Zhu Mingling? It's just common sense. If I'm not siding against Zhu Mingling, then how could I make in Qing Feng trust me? Calm down. Queen Zhu asked me to help, so of course I'll do everything to get rid of King Ann's, people both inside and outside of the Zhu clan. The fire-making ceremony is in four days, and we might still need your help, young prince. Don't worry. King Ann's palace will definitely be damaged this time. They won't be a threat to your Zhu clan anymore. Hey, I recently heard some news about the secret realm from my father. Small inner court Zhu Min Glang's residence there's good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Tell me the good news. Do you know why we have to wait for the right time to go to the secret realm? Our Zhu clan believes in metaphysics and has to check the almanac whenever there's a big event coming. No, it's because not even my father can find the secret realm unless the time is right. Oh? What do you mean? We need to know the tides, the wind direction, and the air pressure. There are four factors to locate the secret realm. Four factors? What's the last one? That's the bad news. We still lack one last piece of information. We don't have much time left, so let's find the first three factors first. Spirit realm come on, let's go hunting. We have to find a 20 thou sand year old spirit for you this time. You'll have a real decent meal. What's the most important thing between dragon masters and their dragons? It's trust. If you don't trust me, then how will we ever survive in this cruel world? I've found out some crucial information about the sacred spirit. It's all for your own good. I trust you, but do you still doubt me? Roar. That's enough. Are you done being annoying? I'll come with you. Nihai Sky. If there's nothing wrong with the direction in which we started, then there shouldn't be any changes in the wind direction either. It's not here. Roar. You bastard. Didn't you say you had information? It's not here either. Roar. Boy, if you do this one more time, I'll throw you down there to get eaten by sharks. Sigh, I've spent a whole day searching. There's only one place that meets the requirements of tide's wind direction and air pressure. Unfortunately, there's still one missing factor, so I can't be sure if it's the right place. Roar. What? Are you messing around with me? Bloody Shark Dragon. An evil spirit. An evil dragon spirit that's almost 30,000 years old. It's even stronger than the great sea eagle. Is this the evil flood dragon we met back in the earth vein scar? That means that I can follow it to find the earth vein fire liquid. See? I told you I'd give you a decent meal. Is this one satisfactory for you? Roar. I've been waiting for this moment. Hiss. Why are you following me? Roar. You want to stop me? That's impossible. Hiss. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you chasing me? Roar. Don't run away. Let me taste your blood. I found it. Ominous silence. Go play with that evil spirit while I go take a look down there. Don't be so rude. Here it is luckily I didn't cause too much noise, otherwise, the fire liquid would have incinerated me. Ha ha ha, there must be enough fire liquid flasks for the small inner court to use for years. All the fire liquid comes from this earth vein fire pistol. If I could take this earth vein fire pistol home with me, then... Do you want to come out? Does MOE want the earth vein fire pistol? The earth vein fire liquid is used for forging weapons. MOE is a magic weapon, so it might be reborn faster after being refined by this magic fire. The earth vein fire pistol is currently my best option. Gods. MOE, you should have asked before doing anything. Now we're screwed, and the entire earth vein scar is in trouble. I don't want to be the first person to be killed by his own blade. My earth vein scar. My dragons. Eh? There's a crack over there. I have to get in there. Phew. That's so dangerous too dangerous. M-O-Y-E. M-O-Y-E, answer me. P, it's not broken, but I hope M-O-Y-E is doing all right. The fire is still searing. It looks like I can only go forward to explore this crack. I didn't expect to find another cave here. 
Why is there a woman sitting inside this place? Darling, what are you doing here, my dearest? Kid, wake up. Open your eyes and look again. Ouch. Is that a demonizes dragon? No. 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 That's a new wa dragon. A new wa dragon? Blessed you've been blessed, Zhu Ming Lang. A new wa dragon is an omen of success. More importantly, cultivators consider new wa dragons to be signs of immortality. You're going to become a saint. Immortality? A saint? Why'd I see my wife earlier? Under normal circumstances, this type of good omen makes people see what their hearts are longing for. Huh? What does that mean? Aren't you always a smartass? Why'd you become so stupid all of a sudden? To put it simply, you miss your wife. Ah. I miss her so much. Family's palace. It's alright, girls. I'm too old now. An old woman like me has seen enough of this life, you should be glad. Don't be so upset. Mistress what? My lady it's okay, just say it. I just received news that our people have discovered a door in the ancient ruins. It's emitting a yellow light and is surrounded by a holy aura. It's heaven's gate. Heaven's gate? What's that? Every living creature has a soul, and it's said that those who've crossed heaven's gate will become dragons. Legend has it that there's a gate for our world as well, once you step through that gate. The bodies and the minds, even those of plants of billions of creatures, will be changed. Our world has a gate? It's true. It's Heaven's Gate. Now that the Heaven's Gate has been discovered, our time has come. It's going to happen soon. Grandma, can you talk? Can you talk? Mr. Koi, she can talk. Mr. Koi, she can talk. Why are you mimicking me? Why are you mimicking me? She can't really talk. She's just repeating what you're saying. She's repeating my words? Does that mean she doesn't understand what I'm saying either? If that's the case, then it's much easier now. Do you want some mint candies? What's he doing now? It tastes amazing. Mr. Koi, have one as well. Yes, it does taste amazing. This is human's mint candy. We made it using sugar and mint. Try it, it's delicious. Delicious. Hmm. What's going on? What did you give her? It's wine candy. Gods. What have you done? She's a literal ethereal godless. Are you seriously trying to kidnap her? You will be punished for this. What do you mean I'm kidnapping her? I made that cantankerous Tianchalong become my pet, and that's enough punishment for this life. Fate has led me to this innocent Yuwa dragon, and it must be because my destiny is to take care of her. Zhu Minglang, you know what? You'll never master those dragon awakening and taming techniques. However, your dragon scamming skills are unmatched. He he, he took my candy, so she's my dragon now. Let me try creating a soul bond. Why? Do I feel so painfully lonely? Is this the earth ridge that's supporting all of Nihai's earth veins? Ah. Cough. 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 Zhu Minglang, are you alright? I'm fine. How long has it been? Three days. You completely passed out, and I was almost scared to death. It's been that long. So what did you see? I, I saw. Sigh. I saw Nihai crumbling down and billions of lives being lost in what seemed like an apocalypse. The new Wa Dragon's soul has become a part of the Earth Ridge. Earth Ridge. Are you saying that her soul is intertwined with the Earth Ridge's divine root? Yes. Mr. Koi, she agreed to have a soul bond with me, but once the bond is created, my soul will become trapped inside this earth ridge just like hers. Is there any other way, Mr. Koi? Your current cultivation base isn't enough to move the earth ridge. But you might be able to help her cut off one of the soul strings. We'll see if that will be enough to free her from this place. You want to cut off her soul strings. Wouldn't that just kill her? She won't die, but she lose her divinity. Divinity? What's that? You can think of it as a god being demoted to a mortal. She'll no longer be allowed to go to heaven? Are you really that powerful? Are you a god? Of course she is. What you're seeing is just an avatar born from her desire for freedom. Her real body has probably matured and become one with the Earth Ridge. Anyway, try to talk to her. 
Ask if she's willing to lose her divinity. Can you take me to the Earth Ridge's divine root that's trapping your soul? Lala. Lala. This way leads to the Earth Vein Fire Pistol. I want you to be free, but I didn't tell you to get me out of here. What? Is the Earth Vein Fire Pistol also the Earth Ridge's divine root? That means. Mr. Koi, her soul has transformed into the Earth Vein Fire Pistol. It looks like her true form is still a god level Nuwa savior. If that's the case, then it'll be easy. Why do you say that? She turned her flesh into the Earth Vein Scar and her soul into the Earth Vein Fire Pistol. The Nuwa Dragon was born of the remaining unread part of her soul. Do I just have to cut off the umbilical cord that's attaching her to the pistol and she'll be free to leave this place with me? Yes. You bastard. Is someone here? Has the fire-making ceremony already begun? What's going on? There seems to be more than just the Zhu clan's people. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Wait here. I'll go cut off the soul strings and you'll be freed. Zhao Yu, this is despicable. I trusted you. Zhao Yu, do you think Queen Zhu will let you get away with this? Zhue Wangxing, I promised Queen Zhu to get rid of all of King An's people for you. Look around you. Haven't I done enough? I believe I didn't say anything about not killing your Zhu clan's people either, did I? You crazy traitorous bastard. Is Zhao Yu a double agent? Do you think you can look down on the dynasty once we're dead? Ha ha ha. Aren't I already doing that? Let me show you how much contempt I truly have for your people. You all know that I have a sacred torch dragon, but you had no idea that my fireworm dragon is the one with the strongest bloodline. Dragon Monarch Fireworm Dragon This earth vein fire pistol and its godly essence are perfect for helping my fireworm dragon level up even faster. Then, your Zhu clan and king of palace will have to quiver before me. What's that sound? Roar it's probably some sacred spirits guarding the earth vein scar. Go take a look. You don't have to fight them, but just make them go away. Father, look. There's a crack over there. We'll hide you in there as soon as there's a chance. My organs are crushed, and my soul has been damaged. I can't run, sigh. I thought I could help the small inner court this time, but now I can't even protect our own sacred flames, Father. Father, what are you doing? Zhao Yu, your understanding of the Earth Vein Fire Pistol is very limited. If you can't control the fire, your fireworm dragon will be burned to ashes. I'm a cultivator. If I let this kind of thing scare me, I would have kept being a prince and preened myself to death. Why should I trust you anyway? I can tell you the fire tide's rhythm, but you have to let Rongrong Rong go first. With my help, your chance of successfully ascending your fireworm dragon will be much higher. Look at those endless streams of fire liquid. They formed an extremely high temperature vortex surrounding the center of the fire fist hill. Once agitated, they'll cause enormous fire tides that not even dragon kings can withstand. The pistol is also shielded by. Zhu Minglang, why is he here? Is he the one that lured the sacred torch dragon away, shielded by what? Go on. Let Zhao Yu peel off the caustic stems. The bottom of the pistol is protected by a solid substance even stronger than the fire liquid. You have to let your dragon peel off that layer of caustic stems first. Haha, uh -huh, very good. Fireworm, destroy the- Gur, do you think an illusion is enough to stop me? G-R-R-G-H. Get out of my way. It's the divine pistol. That's the treasure that only creatures with a divine fate can have. What's going on? Why does the divine pistol look so much like metal? Is this a trap? Ju Wanshing. What does this mean? Who? You sneaky bastard. Show yourself, cousin, run. Zhao Yu has a dragon king. You can't fight him like this. Don't worry. Stay here with your father and don't come out. Zhao Yu. Zhu Minglang? I didn't expect it to be you. Of course you're still a thief. You stole the fire liquid, didn't you? Zhu Minglang, how about we play a little game? You can start running now, but you have to run fast faster than my fireworm dragon can fly. Otherwise, you, Zhu Minglang, will be my fireworm dragon's first meal as a king. You've always been good at hiding, but I wonder if you can make it out alive this time. That little pet of yours isn't bad at all, but I prefer another game. If your fireworm dragon is so powerful, can he take a single one of my blows? Ha ha ha. 
Are you seriously trying to threaten me? Do you think that I can't see right through you? You don't have any cultivation base left at all, I told you already. I'm a dragon master now. Ha ha ha, yes, right. If you're a dragon master now, then where are your dragons? Tell them to come and help me open my eyes, please. As you wish. Sword Dragon Soul. MOE. Yuan Sword Technique. Vermilion Bird's Blade. Fireworm, stop him. I'm going to be honest. I could kill 10 fireworm dragons with one strike of my sword. To hell with you, Golden Demonic Dragon King. That's why you're so confident. You have two dragon kings. It's a shame that I'm your opponent. Zhu Minglang. You killed my fireworm dragon and destroyed my path to a breakthrough. Even without my fireworm dragon, I'm still a king level dragon master. Do you think your stupid dragon soul sword is enough to defeat me? That's ridiculous. Ha. What do you think is keeping your sacred torch dragon so busy? What? Ha. That's my king. You beat the sacred torch dragon even though he's the same level as you, roar, roar. Huh, he's nothing. This can't be real. You're barely a Zhao Yu, you're nothing but my whetstone. That's a domain. Ha ha ha. You no. I can't move my body. This is bad. I can't move at all. Tianchilong, thank you, Roar. You're welcome. Now it's my turn. Watch this. Slow down. This is just the beginning. I'll scrape off all of your scales and stew them. Crap. Tianchilong is a blood-sucking monster. We'll lose if he keeps doing this. I can't fight anymore. Zhu Minglang, one of us has to die now. Are you leaving? Quick. Did I give you the permission? Run faster. You'll die today. Golden Demonic Dragon, stop it. Ah. Damn it. I've already lost two dragons. I can't let Golden Demonic Dragon die too. Golden Demonic Dragon, go back. Keep running. Summon some more dragons so that I can practice a few more slashes. Zhu Minglang, I've paid my price. If you stop now, when I get back to my home, I promise to do everything to make sure your Zhu clan's number one position is impervious. You said one of us would die today, so you'd better keep your promise. If you can't do that, then maybe I can help. Damn you. You're courting death. Golden Demonic Dragon. Very well, that's the right attitude. Now let me show you what I can do. Huh. How's this be possible? Its body's been smashed to smithereens. Why is it even more furious now? Ha ha ha. My golden demonic dragon isn't that easy to kill. Golden demonic dragon, evolve. Roar. You dare touch me. It's disgusting. Roar. Now you've done it, Roar. I can't stand this anymore. Tianchilong has this ability too. I was lucky to have signed the contract with Tianchilong, otherwise, the entire living world wouldn't have survived if he used his great lantern tail. No. All three of mine are dragons. Zhu Minglang, don't kill me. Please don't do it. You want me to spare you? You don't deserve such kindness. No. No. I don't want to die. Stop. Don't you dare hurt the little prince. This is bad. This man is a grand ancestor. I'm already worn out by those dragon kings and can't push myself any further. It's too dangerous. Which sect does this man belong to? He's too young to have this much strength. Luckily, I could dodge his direct attacks. Otherwise, things would have been so much more complicated. Good fight, brother. Please show mercy and don't be too strict to your junior. I can't refuse since you've asked me to spare him so politely. He's a prince of the dynasty. Until next time, your excellency. 
You still snuck up on me and humiliated me. I'll kill both of you if there's a second time, you old dog. Old dog. Now I feel hurt. The cave containing the earth vein fire pistol. We're so lucky Shaolang came to save us. I trusted that Zhao you prick. Sai, what a mistake. Uncle Wangxing, don't feel guilty. Stay here and rest. I'll go explore the earth vein. Is one of the Yuwa dragon soul strings in there? Zhao Yu's fireworm dragon was of great help, getting rid of all these stems myself would have been so exhausting. If we kept the pistol's divine root, we might have been able to help it regrow in the future. Why did you destroy it, Elder Yuan? This place belongs to the gods. We've been taking it for granted for too long. It's time we returned it to them. Uncle Wangxing, there are some more things I have to do here. Please take everyone home from me, okay? Just be careful. La. Thank you for helping me, you're freed from this place now. You can go wherever you want. Lala. You saved me, so of course I have to follow you. This new odd dragon can control the ocean, and she's also the holy mother of the land. Her power is endless. I'm so glad she wants to stay, he he. Zhu Minglang, it looks like you're going to have to search for the ancient jade lantern once again, why? At first, I thought cutting off her soul strings would also make her divinity disappear, but it looks like her divinity is still there, her soul is just too weak, do we need the ancient jade lantern to help her recover? Yes, she's already absolutely immaculate, but her weakened soul is limiting her cultivation and magic, you only need to heal her soul. Everything else will fall into place without the need of any other materials. Why are you crying? Don't cry, please, you're not weak at all. You're a peak monarch level now, and are still considered very powerful. It's okay. Ancient jade lanterns aren't that rare anyway. Just ask Tianchalong, he even had one attached to his tail too, Roar. Boy, don't interrupt my sleep. Roar. And don't you touch me either, Nyuwa. Roar? Huh? This little Nyuwa is a healer? Hee hee. Her healing technique is different from the immortal rabbit dragons. It's more like therapy and encourages Tianchalong to heal himself, see? You're so powerful. Qin City, the Zhu clan's small inner court, Zhu Minglang's residence. Hey, is this a dragon and a goddess? She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, whoa, she can talk too. Rong Rong, our inner court would have been in so much trouble if Zhu Minglang hadn't collected the fire liquid for us. You should thank you, cousin, for saving us. You're right. Thank you. Uncle Wangxing, I still don't understand. Why were you working with Zhao Yu, your great aunt, Queen Zhu, told me to? Uncle Wangxing, I have another question. Is my great aunt actually related to me by blood? Years ago, your great aunt and little aunt got an accident. Your father took them in and treated them as his sisters. They took our family name too. When your great aunt, Zhu Yuji, became the queen, she also started taking command of many major factions. It's all thanks to her that our Zhu clan has its current status. That's why when she introduced Zhao Yu to me, I didn't think much at all. I just thought King Anne's palace was still our biggest enemy, Am Zhao you must have tricked her too, that phony bitch. Please don't blame everything on yourself, uncle. Uncle Wangxing, thank you for guiding me. I've completed forging my dragon armor. Now that everything's under control, I'll be heading for Manching later this afternoon. I can't. I won't stay in Manching for long either. I have to go back to Lichuan soon, are you leaving already? Why don't you stay a little longer, if that's so, then Bon Voyage. Manching Dragon Master Academy. Zhu Minglang, soul orbs can help increase the cultivation base, but without enough potential. You won't be able to get past peak monarch level no matter how many soul orbs you consume, potential. Yes, but let's just put that aside for a moment. You need three to get from monarch level to king level. First, you'll need king level soul orbs. Second, you'll need a mystical treasure similar to the earth vein fire pistol to help you ascend. Tianchalong's ascension was assisted by the seven great evil signs. What's the third thing? Third what? You said there were three things I'd need to break through to king level. What? Did I say that? There's only two. Mr. Koi became forgetful right at a critical moment, judging what he said earlier, the third one might be related to potential. The Academy's arena is over there. Oh, right. The Academy's spring ranking competition has begun. You still haven't reached monarch level yet, so let's go training. We can find some more credits to buy more cultivation materials too. Bark. 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 I want 10 matches. Yes, go. Come on. Zhu Minglang. Zhu Minglang, we're here. Zhu Minglang, are you going to fight too? Do I need to sign lip in advance? 
just tell the supervisor when you get inside the arena, it all happens inside the ring. People will keep coming up to challenge the current winner until there's only one person left. Zhu Minglang, there's no limit to the number of challengers in this ring. Do you mean that it might go on forever? Interesting, wait here a bit before you go. Tom Weixing is still up there, he's won 13 times in a row and is very powerful. It's okay. I don't care who these little students are. My Haya just needs a punching bag, Tom Weixing has a dragon monarch. Isn't your Haya only a dragon lord? I'm going, and he's going to play by my rules. Do you want to fight, yes? What's your rank on the student list, since the current winner is too strong, we can only let the top 200 students fight him. I'm number one. Isn't that Li Hu? Why are you in first place now? What's your name, Zhu Minglang? Oh? Hmm, I don't see any Zhu Minglang on these first pages. Hey, get down right now. You're not permitted yet, don't worry, I'm number one. Since you insist on being so arrogant, I won't try to stop you. I've never met you before. Are you at least within the top 50, Tong Huixing Supreme Academy student? Do you have any dragon lords? Give me something decent to fight. Of course I do. Summon it, I have a little black dragon that needs some training, fighting a dragon monarch would be quite difficult for him right now. Get the hell out of here. I don't think you understand, I'm trying not to bully you. Qingzhua, take him down. What the- Ha ha ha, I found it. Zhu Minglang's ranking is below 13,000, he dares to call himself number one. How shameless. Zhu, what? What's going on, little red, what's wrong with you? Stand up. My friends, I, Zhu Minglang, am here today to train my Haya. I'm now making a new rule. Everyone can only summon dragons below monarch level. If you can defeat my Haya, then I'll quit this competition. What makes you think that you can make the rules? Who do you think you are? Who the hell is this prick? He's so insolent, how arrogant. You're the kind of person I hate most. Sir, he's the man that helped us catch Yen Jin, oh? He's the owner of that Dragon King? Then his rule really makes sense, otherwise this is too unfair. Students, this is our academy's opening competition. Everyone is encouraged to prove their strength, we can't let this contest become an event for monarch-level students to show off. That's why I find Zhu Minglang's proposal very reasonable. From now on, students aren't allowed to summon dragons above monarch level to fight Zhu Minglang. How dare he? How could they change the rules just because one man said so? Hey, headmaster, what about the academy's rules? I don't agree with this. It's written in the academy's rules, and you can't just change everything. I've made my choice, so keep fighting, stupid kids. I'm trying to protect you. Without that rule, you'd have been facing a dragon king. You. Yes, you. Didn't you say you're not satisfied? Come here and fight me. Your Azure Sacred Samoan Dragon isn't an Lipper Dragon Monarch, is it? Fan G College Ranking Number 5. Great observation. Your Black Dragon's level hasn't been honed to its peak. The Monarch level requires six features. Your Dragon only has three of them. It has the scales, teeth, and breath, but the other three features are still somewhat missing. Honing, Mr. Koi said that I had to strengthen my Dragon's bodies part by part. This is what he meant. Why does it have to be six features? There's only one feature for a normal dragon, three for a general, six for a lord, and nine for a monarch. The reason they're called dragons is because of those characteristics. The more features they have, the stronger they are, even though increasing a dragon's cultivation base can boost its features and make them evolve, not all of them improve as the dragon levels up. This is when a dragon master's honing skills come into play to make everything perfect. Really? Then my Azure Sacred's- What? Your Azure Sacred Samoan Dragon already has seven features? No, I don't think my Azure Sacred Samoan Dragon only has nine features. There must be at least four untrained ones, eh? Why do you look so pale? Come here. I can't lose to you at Lord level. Yelp! It's freezing. My cultivation base may not be as good as yours, but I'm not scared of any lord level dragons. Is that so? Be careful. Roar. He's opened up a domain. I surrender, you're a good sport. Does anyone else want to fight me? My dragon hasn't even finished warming up yet. Damn. How could he be so arrogant, I can't stand him anymore. Everyone, take him down.
Yelp. We're screwed, silly Zhu. Cough. Cough. Come on. I know you can do it. Roar. Come fight me, losers. You could at least spare us some dignity, he even has dragon armor. This isn't fair, my dragon monarch doesn't have any armor, and he's letting his dragon lord wear it. What a waste. Vice Principal, do you think this is too, it's okay. Zhu Minglang is our student, after all. It's nothing to feel embarrassed about. Those student spirits might even be lifted after this tournament. What do you find so motivational about this, don't worry. I see that Dragon hasn't reached adulthood. We'll find out who the winner is after a few more students. Mortifying this is mortifying, adult adulthood. Roar. Damn it. Let go of me. Finally, he's all tied up. Let's go. Yelp. Hey, they're crushing me. Help. I know you're not in pain. Stop whining, chirp. Don't worry. I'll help you if there's anything dangerous. Roar. Curse you. To hell with these losers. Roar. Roar, you did it. Come here, Xu Minglang. We'll show you the power of our big five. My boy is tired now. Later. You all keep playing. That's really cool. You make yourself famous everywhere you go. Am I famous? Stop that. I know you're an old fox, so stop pretending to be so humble. What's this? We've known each other for a while, so I know this isn't much. This 13 Luo Sex Secret Dragon Awakening Techniques book is yours. I look forward to your success. Uh, I'm going back to Lichuan soon. What? You're leaving already? I was about to ask you to have some drinks together, but now we can't. Don't worry, we will. That's right. She doesn't need to cultivate, so why would she need to understand this book? Do you understand this? Do you have any special abilities to show me? Do you have any powers that won't hurt me? La, yes, I do. Hey, why did you take me to the spirit realm? Gods. Roar? What's going on? Cough, we're making your home cozy, Roar. I want it quiet. I'll leave if you mess up my place like this. Can you give Tianchelong some private space? La, okay. Roar, he wants a floating dragon cliff. Roar, he says he wants it to be covered in star grass. Roar, can we have a starry sky too? It's amazing, Xiao Ao. La, it's just an illusion, it's not the real world. Now the cultivating speed, it's increased from 100 to more than 200, you call this an illusion, duh, I can create real objects in the outside world, but my magic is too weak now. I've decided to collect all of the ancient jade lanterns in this world. I'll help you get back to your peak. Both Bai Chi and Yuwa no chaos magic. We can even have a barbecue in the middle of nowhere now that we can store more items. It's strange. Why does my chest feel hot? It's as if there's a flame burning. It's not a flame. It's the spirit key. Did you actually read any of the books I gave you? Ah. So it's that thing. The books also say that spirit keys can unlock certain abilities. Do you have any suggestions? Do you even need to ask me that? Of course you should get more soul bonds. Your current number is too low. How many soul bonds can a spirit key unlock? It's actually not that many. One key will give you two soul bonds. A successful dragon master must always have some spare soul bonds. If you come across another treasure like this Niwa dragon, then you're going to regret not having any empty slots. Okay, then let's upgrade the soul bond tree. Dragon's Awakening Wisdom is for detecting the potential and hidden characteristics of young spirits. I already have 13 Luo Sex Secret Dragon Awakening techniques, so this one isn't that helpful. Art of Communion allows one to use their bonded dragon's abilities. For example, I can use Highest Purgatory Domain. Chi Condenser can make the spiritual energy in your spirit realm richer. I have Nyua, so there's no need for this one either. Additional Soul Bond, I finally found it. Alright, let's go find a purple dragon now that we've got some empty slots. Things. Excuse me. There are some people following me, but they haven't seen my face. Let me stay here for a while, what? Over here, our white rope sword sect is looking for a member of the demon sect. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? Lin Zhong white rope sword sect, Ming Xiao white rope sword sect. No, we haven't. Is this woman the cultist? Are you, Chief Lei white rope sword sect? We're lovers. Oh? I'm Zhu Minglang, a minor swordsman from the distant mountain sword sect. 
The distant mountain sword sect, where's your sword? I'm a master of flying swords. It's my honor to meet a fellow of the famous distant mountain sword sect here. We can't let you two sleep in the open like this. Please come stay in our manor as our guests for a few days. I can't refuse such a kind offer. These people won't recognize her anyway. Sleeping in their place would be better than this wilderness. Let's go, Tanwa. Let's take the beef with us too. We don't want to waste our food, Tanwa. How could you just name a stranger like that? Lin Zhong, Ming Xiao, take them to our village and look after them well. The others will keep searching for that cultist with me, yes. You too, please stay here tonight, White Robe Sword Sect. I'll show you around our sect tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. May I ask if you two are really dating? Not really, she's my family's head housemaid. The elders think that her status is too low to be with me, so I had to take her out of there, damn it. Why am I a maid now? You're a great man. I wouldn't have dared to go against the elders' wishes if I were you. It's fine. Once she's pregnant, my family will have to accept her for the sake of our child, you're the pregnant one. Your entire family is the pregnant one. Damn it. We'll leave you two alone now. Good night. Phew, they're gone at last. Thank you for covering for me. Goodbye, wait. Don't be so naive. If those people trusted us, then why do you think they escorted us all the way here? I'll tell you what. Their swords will slice you into a thousand pieces the moment you try to escape from this place, that makes sense. If you're a swordsman, then why are you helping me? I have my own moral standards. I'll never do anything to endorse or protect you if you're really a bloodthirsty maniac. What are you really? I'm a phantom summoner, what? Isn't phantom summoning a normal divine art? Why did it become a cult? It's a long story. I'll tell you when there's a chance. Okay, I told them you are a maid that I laid with, but it's just a made-up story. Take two chairs and put them together. You can sleep over there. I'm a righteous man. What? Do you think that you're a righteous man and I'm just a woman with loose morals? Calm down. Calm down. I'll keep the moon robe you stole just in case you cause us any more trouble. Damn you. That's my mother's robe. Where are you hiding it? I folded it. They're going to secretly search our luggage. I didn't steal it. He's definitely hiding the robe under his pillow, and now he's feigning sleep. What a prick. Outside of the white robe sword sex court, you're here already. Our people are training. Do you want to take a look? Please lead the way. I've heard lots of praise for your white robe sword sex flying swords. Now that I've had the chance to witness it, it's not bad at all, isn't your distant mountain sword sect also famous for flying swords? Do you want to give it a try? What's the rule? There's a total of 86 wooden poles in the valley, you have to main liver your flying sword to the finish line within a given amount of time while also hitting as many poles as possible. Do you use this hourglass to count the time, exactly? You can't exceed half the time of this clock. We have a leaderboard as well to keep a record of people's performance. Let's get started, Brother Zhu, please don't underestimate the difficulty of this test. The farther your flying sword strays from you, the harder it is to control it. You need to concentrate first. Moxie, remember to hit all the wooden poles on your way there. It's so fast. It's so accurate. Uh, Mr. Lin, he hit all 86 poles, he's two times faster than Chief Lei's best performance, no way. Senior Zhu, you must be a grandmaster at the distant mountain sect, right? I'm not. I'm actually quite far away from being a grandmaster. My sword is just a bit special. Mr. Lin, Chief Lei is back, and he's wounded, what? Chief Lei, why did you go back alone? Where are the others, Chief Lei white robe sword sect, they're dead. We were ambushed by the demon sect. How could they? I was too careless. I shouldn't have followed them. We must seek vengeance. I'll report this to the master. We have to get justice for our fallen soldiers. Isn't the cultist right in front of us? She stayed here the entire morning, so there's no way she could have planned an ambush. What's going on? They said the demon sect ambushed them. Did your people do it? Why would I ask for your help if my people were still out there? Come on. Let's go find our master, yes. Just go with them. Stay quiet and keep an eye out, okay. Zheng Mei, white rope sword sect, what's the matter? We found a demon sect stronghold inside a roadside inn. My junior brother was ambushed when he led our people there to investigate. I was snatched away by an arm coming from underground. By the time I could get rid of it, everyone was. Are those cultists still staying at the inn? They definitely are. It seems that they were performing some kind of a ritual and can't leave yet. 
Are you sure it's them? I'm sure. That arm belongs to the forest demons, so it has to have something to do with them. Oh, why? This is an emergency. Tell everyone to go to the roadside inn. Yes. Yes. We can't let those hellspawn get away this time. Burn the cultists. Burn the cultists. Brother Zhu, since you're a fellow swordsman, would you mind helping us kill the demons? Okay, but let be clear. I don't kill innocent people. I only act against evil cultists. Thank you so much, Sai. It's your job to exorcise for those people, not mine. Whatever, I can't just stand here and watch. That would make the distant mountain sect look bad. White Rope Sword Sect Court. Hey! Little girl, why did you call for your people? I don't know anything. If you don't tell me the truth, then I can't help you at all. The White Rope Sword Sect and your Phantom Summoners are ready to slit one another's throats. Are you seriously going to give me the silent treatment? Phantom summoning isn't dark magic. Our phantom summoning sect doesn't do anything to harm people either. That woman thinks that we're cultists and told her people to hunt us down. She thinks she has the right to say you're cultists? What kind of megalomaniac does that distant mountain sword sex master, Ming Bingsi? Blimey! What on earth is going on? Cough. Cough. There must be a reason for that, right? What did your people do? They're just afraid of the power we hold. They're scared that we can't control the ghosts. They're worried we'll destroy all the four great sects and want to get rid of us, ghosts. Was your phantom summoners doing? If you're working with ghosts, then it's really your fault. Don't tell me you have no idea how many cultivators are killed by those ghosts. Not all phantom summoners give offerings to ghosts, and not all ghosts are ruthless. All cultivators are scared of ghosts now, so do you really think they're going to ask a ghost if it's evil or not, I? If you could summon a harmless ghost for me, then I might be able to think of a way to help you. Help us? How? Are you a master from one of those four great sects? Ming Bingsi is my mother. Ha, huh, so she's your mother. Do you know how many of my family members died because of her? It's thousands of times less than the number of cultivators killed by ghosts. Let's talk about the ghost stuff first. I won't be very kind to you if you hold back any information. Since everything's gone this far, I'll have to trust you. The huge arm that sprung up from the ground Chief Lei talked about actually belongs to a ghost that we worship. They were staying in that inn for a ritual to free the ghost from its seal, necromancy. What's wrong with you summoners? Why can't you just do normal magic? Have you lost your mind? If that's your view, then I don't have anything else to tell you. Okay, no more prejudices. Keep going. There are currently two phantom summoner factions. The first one is completely devoted to evil ghosts and follow them to massacre the sex. I'm from the other faction. We make the same agreements with ghosts that dragon masters make with dragons. You control ghosts? Is that really possible? Summon one to prove it, I can't do that here. We must be inside a sanctuary and receive the power from certain worshipping rituals. Why haven't I seen any ghosts around? I can tell you why if you follow me to the inn. Roadside inn. What? We need offerings to summon ghosts too, shoo. Keep it down. Once the offerings have been received, the ghost will rise, and thousands of white robe sword sex swordsmen will be buried in that place. What do they use to summon the ghost? It's normally a black moon child. It's a child that's born during a lunar eclipse. Legend has it that the child will be filled with hatred after being sacrificed and become a ghost too. Yeah, I see. Is that why you want me to come here? Is it to save the child? Are they partying? They seem to be having fun. They're imitating a traditional ritual for ancient gods. Over there. Get in there and kill them. The white rope sword sect is here. I'm Jing Mei. You demon sect people, show yourselves. Jing Mei? Everyone, follow me. Yes, red-haired protector phantom summoner. Kill them. Ha. Holy light, lend me your strength. As your slashing swords. Damn. There's a real earth ghost here. That thing isn't any weaker than a dragon king. The consequences will be unimaginable if the earth ghost gets fully unearthed. Stay here and guard this place. I'll go look for the black moon child, okay? That's weird. Where did they hide it? There's a strange aura here. Check that room. Venerable Lu Jian Phantom Summoner. Why does he look so strange? He's definitely not an ordinary man. Have you found the black moon child, no? There was someone with two red dots between his eyebrows and his eyebrows were long like a woman's. I had to get back before he saw me. He's Venerable Lu Jiang. 
He's the one that came up with the sacrifice. There's no child inside this place. I'm telling you the truth. The two factions are completely against each other. I'm not their accomplice. Never mind. Let's go back first. You would have ditched me much sooner if you were one of them. White Rope Sword Sect. Senior Zhu. My girl wasn't feeling well, so I had to take her back to rest. It's okay. We caught some of the cultists alive, but it's a shame we couldn't get the red-haired protector. Did you catch Lu Jiang? Who's Lu Jiang? Oh, we've been searching around, and he seems to be the cult leader. Damn it, they couldn't catch him. He ruined the Phantom Summoner's reputation. Senior Zhu, we're going to the Spirit Stone Cave to train tomorrow. The cave is very useful for all kinds of cultivators, since you've helped us so much. Do you want to come with us to the cave? Please don't say that. I didn't do anything. Senior Zhu is our guest. We really appreciate you agreeing to- That's too kind of you. I'm not Tanhua. My name is Yi Yuying. Spirit Stone Cave. The chi here is very strong. This place is a treasure. Stay here to cultivate while we guard the entrance. Farewell, farewell. You can walk around and improve your strength. Little Ing, slow down. Don't absorb too much energy. Pop. Slow down. Do you want to give me all this energy? Thank you. You're too kind. Pop. Pop. You've both exceeded the dragon child level, so how come I don't see any sign of dragon features on you? Hiss. I'm the descendant of a dragon, so my dragonization should be easier. Pop. 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 I don't want to grow up. Bark. 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 You have to eat more meat. Meat gives you strength. Pop. I don't like meat. Hiss. Really? Come back. Why do you keep these young spirits if you're a swordsman? I thought you were a dragon master when we fr My cultivation is one level higher thanks to your little firefly. You're welcome. He loves helping others. Ghosts used to do that too. Ghosts used their powers to protect people who got lost in the forest. I was saved by a ghost once. Judging from last night's situation, some of your phantom summoners have joined the cult. Do you really think that you can do this all alone? I. I'll prove it to them that not all ghosts are evil. Yeah, do your best. Even though you failed to convince me, I still believe that you'll find a way out for your fellow phantom summoners as long as you keep searching. That moan robe belonged to my mother. She was killed by the white robe sword sect. She tried to protect a ghost that's been protecting people for generations. Now that makes sense. I thought you were a demoness when you were wearing that moan robe. Where's my moan robe? Give it back. We'll talk outside. So let's go back first. What? It smells like blood. It seems to be coming from the sex mountain. I can feel a ghost nearby. It's over there in the Sex Mountain. Where's everyone? Why are there so few people in the manor? That's Lin Zhong and Ming Xiao. Let's go ask them. Ming Xiao, why are you wounded? What happened? It's the demon sect. They're raiding the mountain, and we couldn't stop them. Where are the others? The masters took them to the demon sect's place. They aren't back yet, and we only have 100 people here now. They all seem so eager. Only 100 people. We have to leave this mountain. No. This is our sex mountain. We might die here today, but we can't let those cultists take it from us. That's right. I packed all my things and was ready to leave. It looks like I can't stay out of this now that the summoners are making a mess. There's a back door inside the mountain chamber. Please leave quickly and help us inform our white robe sword sect about the situation. Hey, you fed me for the past few days and I've used your stone cave to cultivate. I can't leave you here without feeling guilty. Ming Xiao, tell your sex people to retreat back to the valley. I'll protect this village for you. Mr. Zhu, our people are already prepared to sacrifice their lives, but you two don't have to die because of us too. Stop talking. It's my decision to stay, so just do as I ask. Are you crazy? How are you going to stop all those expert summoners? If we can make them leave this mountain, then I won't need to stand here anymore. How about you talk to those summoners? If you can persuade them to stop, then maybe people would change their mind about summoners. There's no other way. It's time I talk to him. I can't let everyone think that all phantom summoners are bad people. Is Missy a phantom summoner? Yes, but she's a good-hearted phantom summoner. Hey, Yu Ying? Why are you with the white robe swords? It's a long story, but you have to stop this. You're making things difficult for us summoners. What happened with the Purple Mountain sect was just an accident. If you invade the white robe sword sect's mountain today, wouldn't that make us everyone's enemy? Do you think your dead mother would be happy to hear that? How could we console our fallen brothers and sisters if we don't kill these filthy swordsmen? My mother wanted phantom summoners to be respected. Childish. 
We all know what she got from compromising with those sex, respect? I'm sure these obnoxious sex will know how to respect us after I wipe them out. We've got the ghosts with us now, so we don't have to kneel before anyone. Kill them all. I have to make these white rope sword sec bastards regret opposing us. You can't kill innocent people. Get lost, spare no one, yes, sir. His mind is clouded by bloodlust, and he won't listen to what I say. Now what do I do? Help me. Tell them to retreat to the stone cave. Don't scatter, it'll only get them killed. Isn't that cave a dead end, it's okay. I'll protect you. How are you going to do that? No matter how strong you are, you can't stop all these demon sect disciples by yourself, don't worry. I have someone here to help me. It's the perfect time for my dragon soul swords comeback. Who are you? Tell me your name, we don't kill nameless people. This nameless man advises you to piss off, unless you want to try his blade, ha ha ha. You're just a little boy, and those feeble dragons of yours don't scare us. Your skin looks nice. Let me soak it in wine, necromancer's avatar. Where did you find this adorable bull? A nose ring would suit you well. Do you want to go plowing too? Don't be impudent. This is the immortal ox lord, so either surrender or die. Go, eastern sword launch. My body is full of ghost Q. Really? He broke my ghost chi barrier so easily. Ah. You're still alive. The phantom summoner's protector is quite tough, huh? That venerable vitality and defense are at king level. Who are you? I'm Zhang Mei's teacher, and I retreated to this mountain long ago, Shang Hao Swordsman. I see. If he's at king level, then let's add a few more blades. I need somewhere to hide. What level is this man? Are you running? You can't, fiery blade, coiling dragon. This this, Brother Zhu's strength is too terrifying. He was definitely being humble back then. I didn't expect him to be so strong. He looks like the only person that can get us out of this situation. Summoning a ray. They're joining hands to summon demons. Even weak phantom summoners are able to summon powerful beasts by using others' strength. Those blood centipede dragons aren't any weaker than dragon monarchs or dragon lords. They can also hide underground when there's danger, so it'll be extremely difficult to deal with them. Boy, do you have any other solutions if your blade can't fight these underground monsters? They're annoying, but not impossible to deal with. You're new to flying sword techniques, so there are still many that you haven't learned. I'll teach you one. I believe that with your strength, killing these centipedes will be just a piece of cake. Really? Honored Elder, please educate me. Do you really think this is the right time to teach him sword techniques? We're quite literally dying right now. Grand Elder, we're in an emergency. There's no time to teach him, I suggest you destroy those monsters by performing the technique yourself. Time flies. I'm no longer the man I used to be. I don't even have one-tenth of this young man's strength. We don't have much time, so please get started. Okay. Look at that wooden pole. This technique is called suppressing sword. It's also known as Grand Tomb Blade, since the blade cuts deep and goes to the very bottom of everything. Watch closely. Sword Chi converges, and prayers sink to the ground. Heaven's Great Sword, Grand Tomb Blade. Got it? Got what? There weren't any instructions from the moment he drew his sword to when he finished, he didn't even explain his movements. What was he expecting? There isn't much time left. Let me do it again. There's no need. I was zoning out earlier, but I get it now, I couldn't understand a single thing, but he got it. He must be a genius. Very well. Use your sword to drive them away. Go. Sword Chi converges, and prayers sink to the ground. Heaven's great sword. He summoned such powerful sword shadows. That's so cool. This is even stronger than what our Grand Elder did. He's not done yet. How, how could he possibly kill all of our demon puppets? Grand Elder, I thought one grave wouldn't be enough to bury all of these maniacs, so I made a mass grave for them. Your technique is wonderful. I love it. Thank you for teaching me, you're a talented young man. I created this technique and never thought anyone would be able to improve it right after learning it. You even raised it to a higher level than I could. It's because of your thorough explanation, no one could have learned the technique without your careful instructions, you are the only one that understood it. That's Venerable Lu Jiang. You have to be careful, it's no wonder he's the leader of those cultists. What a competent man. Where's his demon puppet? It's not a demon puppet. It's an immortal ghost. 
An immortal ghost? The immortal ghost is right under us. Tianchalong. Over there. An earth immortal ghost is even stronger than the river ghosts and temple ghosts I met back then. Look. Its arm. That's the arm that fought Master Zhang Mi. It's too powerful. In front of the earth god, you're nothing but animals waiting to be sacrificed. You look like a maggot hiding in a pickle jar. It's disgusting. Ha ha ha. Mortal. Mortal, have you ever seen a mortal kill a god? Die. That's the war sword school's technique, that's why his swordsman's cultivation level is high, but his flying sword techniques are very limited. He's just learning it for fun, he has a tianchalong too. What on earth is this man cultivating? It's useless, moron. My earth, ah, tianchalong. Roar. Phew. We're saved. Desolate earth sword. What the hell? Hell? It's my gift for you. Dragon Soul Sword, go! Damn it! Your immortal ghost isn't that tough. Ha ha ha. Don't be ridiculous. I don't care how great your swordsmanship is. The immortal ghost's power comes from this land's soil, are you kidding? He's still alive. Did an ancient demon puppet turn into an immortal ghost? That's really rare. Wait, what if something triggers this thing? You are? What are you? La la la. If we give the Earth's power to other creatures, then the Earth Immortal Ghost won't be able to take it anymore, oh. Doesn't that mean you won't be able to heal either? La la la. Where's that sound coming from? What are you doing? I'm showing you this land's true power. What's going on? Before you ghosts could call yourselves gods, you should have asked for my permission first. I told you that a maggot couldn't become a dragon. Fallen Sword Art. Take this. Heaven's Shadow Fusion Sword. Ah, ugh. My blood and bones have become one with the Earth Immortal Ghost. I can't die. My body can't be destroyed. Why? Why isn't it healing? Earth Immortal Ghost, you're the god of this land. Heal yourself. Heal my body. Useless prick. What are you? Ha! That thing is just a gremlin without the land's power. You're just a filthy pile of trash. This soul orb has an aura of divine power, and there's even a faint streak of the Jade Lantern. Is it because of the Earth's power? Your boss is dead. Stop loitering and get out of here. Outside the mountain. Those phantom summoners have left. Did he just casually kill an earth immortal ghost like that? He's definitely strong, but why is he still acting so cautious? Senior Zhu must be a sword god disguising himself as a traveler. Grand Elder, I have a feeling that the phantom summoners will take revenge for today. You should teach me some more flying sword techniques to scare them away. He's tricking me into teaching him new techniques. I can only teach you one. Give me some more. I'm forgetful, we can't afford to make mistakes. How could these apprentices stop those cultists, even though you're here, at your age? It was Senior Zhu, of the Distant Mountain Sword Sect. He did it alone. It's true, Master. Our White Robe Sword Sect pledges allegiance to the Distant Mountain Sword Sect, we'll help you. The White Robe Sword Sect's outer court, goodbye, Senior Zhu, you're always welcome here. Sigh. See? I left that place, with not only their technique, but a maidservant as well, I'm not your maidservant. Give me back my moan robe. I'm not your maidservant. Give me back my moan robe, you pervert. Be serious. What are you going to do now that the evil phantom summoners are gone? I'll rearrange the phantom summoning sect, of course. What about you? I have to get home. My wife is waiting for me, wife. Then let's part ways here. Until next time. I wonder what's hiding in the Lichuan ancient ruins, who's the otherworldly guest Zhu Xiuhe and talked about, what's making my wife so anxious? That place looks crowded. 
Hey, is this Golden Tree Immortal Mountain or something? How stupid. There's a door right in front of you. Door? Yes, a door that leads to heaven. There are holy dragons, celestial fruits, and spirit veins everywhere. What? Have you been there before? I haven't, but Lichuan is the real paradise on earth. Those things ought to exist there. It looks like Lichuan really isn't mediocre. The dynasty must have noticed it too. Ancestral Dragon City, the Lee family's courtyard, we're finally here. Young master, Schwammer, is Yunzi home? She hasn't gone outside much lately. She seems to be pondering some things. Take me to her, okay. I must be able to tell if it's Yunzi or Xinghua before she speaks. Li Yunzi's room, sir, here we are. That gaze. It's really Yunzi, my darling, I'm back. I missed you so much. Give me a hug, shut up. Weren't you taken to Sioux country? Who said that? They're definitely trying to separate us. Don't worry. I'd travel all the way from Lichuan to bring you back if you were actually held hostage in Sioux country. Unless you were having too much fun there, that's impossible. You're my one and only. I didn't handle the thing with Wenlingfei well. I'll go to Sioux country in a few days to get everything settled, and I won't let her bother you anymore. She's in Lichuan, what? Sir, that one Lingfei woman was ridiculous. She ran here and said to our mistress's face that Sioux Country would wipe out all of Lichuan if she didn't end everything with you. Oh, did one Lingfei's swords hurt her brain? I'll deal with her people, so you won't have to worry about her. I need you and Lingxia to take care of the Dragon Gate. I heard that there's a gate to heaven in Lichuan. Is it the World Dragon Gate? Every living creature has its own Dragon Gate and will become a dragon after passing through it. There's a gate for this continent as well. Once it's crossed, the souls of billions of creatures and humans will be transformed. Does that mean that the Heaven's Gate can elevate reality? Yes. How are we going to cross it? Who's going to cross it? I don't know. The Heaven's Gate's power is unimaginable to us, and that place also affects our vitality. Do you think that people like us are only tiny fireflies that have never seen the light of the sun? Yunzi. It's okay. I'll be by your side no matter what happens. I'm no longer the old Zhu Mingling. I don't care if it's the Dragon Gate or Rebirth. I can handle it. You'd still better handle your fame in Lichuan. What do you mean my fame? You're famous for being a sissy. Huh. I've been told I'm a women's lapdog, but what do you mean I'm a sissy? Some people said that you were, and then the rumors spread. Now everyone believes that it's true. Ha. Huh. You didn't even show yourself when young mistress was harassed. Harassed? Who harassed you? It was the rebels in the ancient mountain, of course, she led troops to fight against their invasion and almost lost her life. Is that true? Did they hurt you, Yunzi? Show me. I wasn't hurt, but the flying dragon camp's general, your majesty, he sacrificed himself to save me. It's all my fault. I should have come back sooner and prevented that. The damage has already been done, so there's nothing we can do about it, there are some places that we need to watch out for. Which ones? There's a fog island not far from the wasteland state. Some people have discovered a civilization called the Divine Bird. Its people can control birds, and they eat wastelands mining city civilians. And there's also a demonic tribe living on the ancient mountain. A thousand-year-old flower is said to have bloomed there, and the dynasty wants me to attack that place. Will it be just you and our people? It'll be a genocide. The Zhu clan, the distant mountain sword sect, and other factions that recently lost their territories will also join us. Okay. I'll go to the front lines with you, since I have to stop people from misunderstanding me. Yes, I know you can do it. Don't let those words get to you, I value my reputation, dear. That's fine. We'll attack the mountain together. Okay. I have to go feed my dragons now, but I'll see you tonight. Inside Li Yunzi's room, darling, darling, I'm back. Young master? Young master? Only Xinghua calls me young master. Cough, cough. Miss Xinghua, welcome back, young master. What's going on? Why did my wife turn into Xinghua, and why is she acting like we're close? I've been back since noon. Are you sleeping here tonight? It's better if you do. You haven't been here for so long, and we can't let you sleep outside. Yunzi may not come back later tonight. I'm so sorry, young master, for waking up like this. It's fine, really. I'm just here for a visit. No, it's my fault. I'm a dead person, but my soul is staying inside Yunzi's body like a parasite. Things weren't this bad at first. I didn't stay for long and wouldn't bother you too too much. My consciousness has been lasting longer as time goes by. Neither Yunzi nor I can control it. Sir, my lady, there's only one bedsheets left. None of the others have dried yet. 
Get some rest. I'm leaving now. Young master, hmm? I know you're not a weak man. Why, why are you telling me this? That night in the dungeon. Cough, cough. Is that so? I didn't expect Shingawa to remember that night so vividly. Uh, it's getting late. Get some sleep, and I'll sleep on the floor. It's really cold at night, so please stay in bed with me. Oh, okay. Time flies. What happened in that dungeon feels like a dream now. I don't know if the one lying next to me is Yunzi or Shingawa. It doesn't matter anyway. I'll believe it's Yunzi. Good night, darling. Ha! What a good day to be alive, Zhu Minglang. Hmm? I'll be bored to death if you keep going away. I thought you were going to say you missed me. Of course I missed you, and I missed Haya too. I bought some ancient dragon gallbladder from a small shop. Tell Haya to come out, I want to feed him. Haya, come have some food, Bark. Where? You bastard. Haya's bloodline may not be elite, but he's not this goofball. You dare to call a different black dragon to embarrass me. Screw you. I'm not your housekeeper anymore. We're over now, you misunderstand. That's Haya after his rebirth. Are you sure that's Haya, Bark? It's me. It's me. I've become mightier. Haya isn't the only one that's changed. Qingzhuo is also very different now. Is this because they're affected by the World Dragon Gate? Uh, I don't think so. Can the World Dragon Gate actually affect a dragon's bloodline? Absolutely. I ate a peach created by the World Dragon Gate the other day and got a spirit pack two days later. Is that possible? I can be considered a spiritual being now. If you want me to buy a kitchen dragon, please pay me money first. A kitchen dragon? We wouldn't have to worry about cooking anymore, that's great. You'll no longer be a housekeeper feeding our dragons, but a head chef instead. That's awesome. I can have my own dragon now. I'll be away for a few days, so please help me take care of Little Ling and Little Jiao, head chef. Whoa, they're so cute. Don't worry, I'll make sure they're all plump and soft when you come back. What do you mean plump and soft? Oh. That little firefly can absorb energy, so keep an eye out for him, otherwise, he'll drain an entire spirit vein. Wow, that's so cool. Don't worry, I'll look after him carefully. Did you tell Lingxia that you're back? You shouldn't neglect everyone else and only pay attention to Yunzi. You have to treat them all equally. Don't say that. There's nothing going on between us. It's normal for a man to have many wives. It's not like, now that I think about it, a kitchen dragon doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm so sorry, young master Zhu. I'm glad you are. I'll go see them now. They don't like staying with the Nan family, so you should go look for them in the Academy's bamboo forest, okay? Huh? You said there's nothing between you, but now you're scurrying to look for them. But Miss Lingxia, I'm back. Are you painting my portrait? Yes. I can paint Li Yunzi holding a sword and give her a spirit. She'll come out to help me fight my enemies, but I can't do the same thing for you. What did I do wrong? If you want me to help you fight your enemies, you only need to ask. There's no need for such complications, you are not as obedient as him. I sense killing intent. Their wind is blowing, but the bamboo leaves aren't moving, am I inside your painting? That's why Ling Xia mentioned killing enemies earlier. They're right in front of us, those guys are mistaken. They thought they did a good job hiding themselves, but they didn't even realize that they were stuck inside a painted world, who are they? How dare they commit such horrible crimes like this? I stole their sex cultivation fruit back in the North Mountain Range. Okay, so this girl is the one who started it, I'm on her side, so I can't call her out for what she did. The entire Lichuan continent belongs to the Li family and the Nan family, so they don't have any right to accuse you of stealing. They're the thieves in this. Damn you. Where did this boy come from? You took our stuff, and now you're saying we're thieves. How shameless of you. Are you from the Rat Scorn Temple? Give us our fruit since you already know who we are. I'll kill everyone here if you don't. Go ahead and try. Cut the crap. My patience is running out, so tell that goddamn woman to give us back our cultivation fruit. You're courting death. Ha ha ha. You can't scare me with that. You should know. Hey, your hand. Ah. My hand. My hand. Do better in your next life. All done. Okay, Miss Lingxia, what's that fruit they're talking about? Is it that important? It can help people and their dragons get to king level and consolidate their cultivation base. Did you break through to king level? We don't break through. 
Once our cultivation base has accumulated enough power, we'll automatically get to the next level. Well, at least don't offend me like that. They've discovered the Heaven's Gate. Did you know that? Yunzi told me about it. Have you ever thought about how the Heaven's Gate is a test for our world or what consequences it'll bring if we fail? The world we're living in will be destroyed if we fail. If we fail, then the spirit veins will run out, the land will become barren, and there will be destruction everywhere. If that happens, then all living creatures will have to hunt down one another for survival and the dragons. Even if we manage to pass the test, war will still break out since everyone wants the best resources. You must know some secrets since you brought up the Heaven's Gate like that. Please give me some clues. Truth be told, the continent will undergo changes as the time wave sweeps out from the gate, time wave? Every time a time wave comes, it'll bring changes to the entire world. The first time wave only accelerated the plantation's growth. The second time wave is happening now. It's made the world become full of energy, and even the rain has some spiritual power now. The third wave will come tomorrow at midnight. Some spirit plants will instantly distill the thousand-year-old time wave. Many factions are waiting for the third time wave to come and are already guarding those plants. What do you plan on doing? I'm interested in a 10,000-year-old parasol tree that bears cultivation fruit, but the Zhou clan took it. The Zhou clan, huh? Are we robbing them? Cough. Sorry, are we going to protect what's ours? We'll divide everything equally. Are you in? Absolutely. It's not just that. We can create a network, I have many dragons, and we can work together to guard as many spiritual items affected by the Heaven's Gate as possible. There's a rain pond with a spirit jade inside. Its power is quite strong, and a small forester below king level is guarding it. Okay, I'll let Qingzhu protect that place. We have to hurry up. Shall we go to the Heaven's Gate first? Is this the Heaven's Gate? It's gorgeous. The third time wave is coming, isn't it? Yeah, the area that it covers is becoming wider. The entire continent will be affected if this keeps happening. Damn. This place really does look like heaven. The cultivation fruit must have ripened, so let's go take a look, okay? Is this place the land of mortals? Just standing here already makes me feel sick to my stomach. Your Highness, the cultivation fruit has transformed. Please take a bath, and you'll be able to harvest it by dawn. Josian, I'll have two of them, and you'll get one. Do you have any objections? All three should be yours. It's all thanks to you that we could find this place. Ha ha ha. All right, I'll go get them. Who are you? Thank you for guarding them. I'll invite you over for dinner later. Damn it. A mortal peasant like you dares to defy me, Zhou Xian. Kill him for me right now. Bastard. Iron crossbow army, kill him. Huh, do you think those little arrows can hurt me? Wouldn't that make my swordsmanship useless? Dragon loops. Your Highness, the iron crossbows can't do any damage to him. Watch this, mortal. Why are you bouncing around? I thought you were some kind of genius. Why is your army so useless? They couldn't even kill this scoundrel. Scoundrel? Didn't your parents teach you how to talk to people? Palm strike. You bastard. How dare you hit me? You're dead meat now. Oh, you have a jade talisman too. You're no ordinary person, are you? I can tell this talisman only works when his life is in danger because of my many years of the Zhu clan's trading experience. I just slapped his face, so how could that possibly be threatening to his life? What's wrong with slapping you, you lowly son of a bitch? First you called me a scoundrel, and now you're saying I'm a son of a bitch. What are you, then? Stop acting tough in front of me. Did that one hurt? His Highness has a jade talisman. Don't worry, we'll tackle the bandit together. His Highness? Let me drag you down, ah. Uh. Master Chen, take some people with you to rescue him. The rest of you, follow me and kill this bastard. Void Dragon. Be gone, purple light arrow. I'll spare your life just this once if you give me the cultivation fruit. It's another eye domain. Split sword technique. Young Master Zhou, go cry about it to your parents. I'm done playing with you. What are you looking at? Follow him. Stop. Stop running. What's going on? Well, where is he? Uh, we chased him to this spot. We saw him fly into a mirage and disappear. Useless. You're all useless. Your Highness, I have an idea that may be able to make up for your loss today, Rat Temple Scholar. 
Do you think we should work together? On the boat, this cultivation fruit can help divine mortals break through to the king level, right? Can dragons eat it too? Hmm, you should give it to Qingzhua. He has attributes that are compatible with the fruit. Qingzhua is still in the rain pond. Go back to the city first, and I'll find some more spiritual items in other places. Okay. Outside the Nan family's sacred forest. What's with all the commotion? Chief, you're back at last. These people want to take over our sacred forest. They're impossible. Are you the Nan family's chief? Ancestral Dragon City has rules, and you're trespassing on the Nan family's property. Do you all have a death wish? Huh, some little natives are standing against us. Run before it's too late, unless you want this sacred forest to become a cemetery. You talk too much. I'll show you what the Zhou clan is capable of. Ha ha. Master Chen, don't be so angry. Just leave this lady to us, and I promise that she won't cause you any more trouble, humph. My lady, you killed our people, so our rat scorn temple will definitely take revenge. I can let you get away afterwards if you're willing to amuse me for a little while. Ah. Take all of their corpses and hang them outside of the Nan family's estate. Yes, madam. Nan family's estate, trespassers of the sacred forest, that's the punishment for attempting to rob the sacred forest. Haha, <laughs> those people really made a fool of themselves. It's true, they didn't even care to find out who the Nan family's leader was. I heard that Nan Lingxia and the Empress are twins. They look identical. Really? Doesn't that mean they're both beauties? Miss Lingxia's corpse hanging method is so effective. Master Chen's body still hasn't been taken yet, so should I take him to greet Zhou Xian? Do whatever you want. Zhou Xian's house, I'm Zhu Minglang. Greetings, young master Zhou Xian. Oh, it's Mr. Zhu. I've heard a lot about you. May I ask what brought you here? This guy's healing speed is incredible. It looks like I was too lenient back there. Technically speaking, the Nan family and my Zhu clan have quite a good relationship. I believe you're aware of the corpses being hung in the city. Your Zhou clan is rich and famous in this city, so your people couldn't have possibly committed such a monstrosity. I don't want people to get the wrong idea that your Zhou clan tried to rob us, so I've personally brought Master Chen's body here for you. I'd be lying if I said this came as a surprise. When he was still staying in our Zhou clan's home, Chen Hui used to work for the cultists and had very evil intentions. H now he's causing trouble for the Nan family. I'm glad you killed him. If I were you, I would have done the same thing without a second thought. Damn it. He failed. He also vandalized the Nan family's estate. I see. Although my Zhou clan has nothing to do with what he did, it's still our fault that for not paying enough attention to him. I, Zhou Xian, will pay for the damage done to the Nan family's estate. You can count on me, young master Zhu. How could I ever doubt you? I trust everyone in the Zhou clan with my whole heart. I especially trust you, Zhou Xian. I can tell you're a kind person just from your name. I found the cultivation fruit because of you, after all. Men, take the gold out and give it to Mr. Zhu to repair the estate. Sigh, with my deepest respect, I can't refuse such kindness from young Master Zhou. I'll leave now. Have a good day, young Master Zhou. Damn it. Now I'm the one being robbed by Zhu Minglang. Who was that guy just now? He's Zhu Minglang, the Zhu clan's only young master. Why does his silhouette look so much like that flying sword bandit from behind? Uh, your highness Ming Ji, you've been accusing everyone of being that bandit. We've killed five innocent men already. Zhu Minglang is backed by the Zhu clan and the distant mountain sword sect, so you don't want to mess with him. He looks exactly like him. He's the least likely one to be the bandit, he used to be a swordsman, but he only practiced battle sword techniques back then. Now he's just a loser living off of his slightly rich family. Your highness Ming Ji, please don't worry about him. Huh, you're all useless, you'd better find out who that flying sword bandit is. I'll skin him alive, cut off his tendons, then scoop his eyes out and crush them. Of course we'll catch that thief, but there's still no clues or evidence yet. Please guide us, your highness Ming Ji. There's an ice-bound ancient city on the mountain range that must have many treasures inside. There's also a very powerful group of soldiers guarding the mountain. The royal family has given the order for the rulers of various factions to work together and destroy the mountain city, so it'll be difficult for us to get a share of their treasures. Huh, they don't even know the mountain city was built by the traitors of my divine Ming clan. Their strength is multiplied by the ability to control giant mountain generals. As long as you can join their league and follow my guide, you'll surely become a hero. Ask for half of the treasures, the other half will be divided among those idiots. Thank you, your highness. Ha ha ha, we've really been collecting a lot these days. Split the spoils. Split the spoils. 
There's one cultivation fruit for you, and the remaining two will be mine and Yusuo's. The silver kathaya holy dew combined with this cultivation fruit will be able to help Qingzhua immensely. These items are good as long as they have a mutant similar to that of the azure scared Samoan dragon. Qingzhua's king level breakthrough is feasible. Mutants will definitely appear under the influence of the Heaven's Gate, you can ask Xinghua about it. Zhu Minglang, they're selling something perfect for Tianchelong. What thing? Avoid crystal. I heard that it's produced during the collision between continents, the extreme heat makes dew evaporate and form a transparent crystal. Tianchelong can control the power of the void, right? Not many dragons have this ability. The seller seems to be in a hurry, and they want to exchange it for a king-level dragon soul orb. Go tell them that we'll trade anonymously. Oh? It's really hard to find a king-level dragon soul orb on such short notice. Don't worry, I have two king-level dragon soul orbs here. Okay, I'll go immediately. Somewhere in the ancestral dragon city, avoid crystal. Two king-level dragon soul orbs. Your soul orbs aren't good enough, but you can have the void crystal if you're willing to pay 7 million gold. 6 million. How about this? I'll give you this void crystal and information about another one. 9 million. 6.5 million. The Heaven's Gate has appeared, so there may be more valuable treasures than your void crystal in the future. If you don't want to trade, then that's it. He didn't even tell me to come back. I really can't reason with you. Here. I'm quite short tempered. I'll seek vengeance if you give me wrong information. Don't worry. I'll pay you back double this price if it's fake. Li Chuan Royal Palace, hi, Brother Zhang Yu. How are you doing? Brother Zhu. Zhang Yu Li Chuan Royal Palace Minister, I visited Ruin Yu recently, and it's been placed inside a fortress. If the leaders can run the city well enough, so it'll definitely thrive. I have to trouble Brother Zhang Yu to make a few more trips, then, the people in Ruin Yu are really trustworthy. Are you really planning on retiring? The Empress is expanding our territory like she's trimming the garden. Even a minister like me can't tell where our borders lie after not checking the maps for three days. It's only natural that the talented are busy. With that genius mind and profound wisdom of yours, it'd be such a waste if you're not the ruler of an entire universe and another hundred worlds. There's no need to flatter me. Why did you come here? Molten lava and mist filled the void when Great Ting came into contact with Li Chuan. The northwest winds collided with the continents and penetrated the mist, causing moats to crystallize. Most void crystals are collected and refined by the best craftsmen. Their quality is extremely high. Some are formed through natural processes and contain some impurities from the northwest winds. The Lichuan Royal Palace has the exact locations of the natural void crystals. I'm pretty sure something like this actually exists. There are underground monsters guarding those void crystals. I didn't expect the crystals to belong to my people. Getting this information for half a million gold was a complete waste. Would you mind taking me to find it, Brother Zhang? I think it's in the wasteland, and I can come with you if you want. Okay. Thank you, Brother Zhang Yu. The wasteland's first surface mine. Brother Zhu, look. Is this the right one? Who are you? Stay away from our stuff. We've paid the mine owner, so it's ours now. Uncle Wang, Hidden Rock Sect. Chang Hao, Hidden Rock Sect. What owner? This mine doesn't have one. Uncle Wang, don't be too scrupulous, just give them some gold and tell them to leave. May I ask who you are? We're from the Hidden Rock Sect. Boy, quit being so stupid. I told you that this place is ours. Do you want me to cut off your limbs? Gentlemen, this mine belongs to the Empress. If you insist on taking it, then I'm afraid we'll have to react equally as rudely. What do you mean the Empress owns it? She can't stretch her arms all the way here. Heck, she's not even worthy to be in my bed. Hand over the crystals, or we'll kill you all. What the fuck did you just say? Who the hell are you anyway? I'm the one that's going to kill you. A dragon lord. Men, get over here. Summon the rock warriors. Ah. Help me. Damn it. You've chosen to stand against our hidden rock sect, and that mistake will cost you your life. Ah. My leg. My leg. What's with all of the screaming? Go on. Keep being the leader and call more people to come. Tell them that Zhu Mingling is waiting right here. Get lost. Wah. Young master. Young master, wait for me. Your hidden rock sect had better give me an explanation for today, otherwise, I, Zhang Yu, will bring an army right to your door. 
Lichuan still isn't strong enough, so people are trying to step on us. The more lenient we are, the more they want to attack us. It's all right. Everything needs time, so just calm down. How about we make some wine here and drink it while waiting for the hidden rock sex people to come? The royal court has declared war on the icebound ancient city. The ruling classes and factions are ordered to join forces to fight. We have to show them our strength so that invaders can learn to stay away from Lichuan. You're right, Brother Zhu, I'll do my best when the time comes. Someone's coming. Who dares to hurt my child? Chang Hao's parents, the hidden rock sex master and mistress, Mountain King Dragon. Father, it's him. I can't continue our bloodline anymore, hoo hoo hoo. How dare you? I'll make your entire Lichuan suffer a hundredfold what you did to my son. It looks like you're not here to apologize. It looks like you're not here to apologize. The lower half of my son's body is paralyzed because of you, and you're telling us to apologize. Enjoy your hunt, Tianchalong. Show me what the power of the void looks like when amplified by the crystals. Go. Roar. Boy, these pieces of trash aren't worthy of my attention. I'm only helping you because of the crystals. Falling void. Huh, it's just child's play. Ancient dragon bell horn. Ah. Given his age, his level can't be any higher than peak monarch. Do you think you can traverse this void? Tianchalong, go play with him. Roar. I'm coming, bloodthirsty phantom. Gods. What? Chang Huan, what are you doing with your dragon? I'll get rid of these lackeys first. No. Run. Protect the mine. How savage. Chess art. Rear wing guard. Well played, brother Zhang Yu. It's an arrangement trick I learned from chess players. That was only the basics. Basics? Focus on killing the enemy, and I'll protect these miners. Rock demons arise. Die, all of you. Father, mother is dead. You killed my wife, so now I'm going to make your Lichuan pay for it. Mountain King Dragon. Mountain Splitting Roar. Your Mountain King Dragon looks more like a mountain lizard. Tianchalong. Roar, huh. Try your best. You can't give up, Mountain King Dragon. Try your best. Open your eyes and watch how a true dragon fights. Mountain King Dragon. You're the second master, aren't you? Crushed your son's lower half. Do you have any problem with that? A devil. This man is a devil. Second master, I killed your wife too. Do you have any problem with that? They, they brought it upon themselves. Please spare our lives this once, and I'll do whatever you want. Father, don't you want to get revenge anymore? Shut your mouth. Brother Zhang, find a doctor to heal them. They'll work in this mine without any wages as atonement for their crimes. Do your job well, and help the wasteland people. Li Yunzi's residence. That woman over there looks like my wife. No, I know this sad look on her face. It's Miss Xinghua. Hello, Miss Xinghua. Eh? What's wrong? You seem troubled. Young master. I'm making plans to attack the ancient icebound city, but I keep seeing us being checkmated. Checkmate? Why'd you think that? There could be other powerful clans in that city. Maybe it's because my mind isn't strong enough yet, but I can't find any solution. It's fine. Prophecies can change, and I'm sure that all of our loved ones will be safe and sound. Yeah. The Heaven's Gate made the North Mountain Range surpass other continents. They must have some information that we don't know about. I have to do something about it. Can I help you with that, young master? Do you know which places have mutant treasures? The nearest mutant treasure is on the highest mountain in the North Mountain Range. It's a heavenly winged lightning seed. I don't think the attributes are suitable for Qingzhua, but I'll go take a look anyway. I didn't know that the Marquis would go with us on this expedition too. I promise I'll do my best to help since it's the dynasty's order. Oh, I'm flattered to hear that, stateswoman Li, I'm only doing my job, after all. Mu Chong, the dynasty's Marquis. The Marquis is probably here to monitor the army. It looks like this war will affect Yunzi's right to rule each one. They're making things difficult for her. Eh? Who do these soldiers serve? Their equipment looks so expensive, so they must be really rich. Young master. 
Jing Lin, Zhu Clan's Grand Elder. Wowzers, Elder Jing. They're our family. Those guards' equipment must have cost us a fortune. Only a young master like me has to live a humble life like this. How painful. Young master, about the six million gold you withdrew from us a few days ago. Grand Elder, please ask Zhu Tingwan to repay it. No rush. There's no rush. I heard that the distant Mountain Sword sect and Lichuan fell out because of you. Have you found any solution for that? Do we really have to talk about this? I'll handle it myself, so please don't worry, Grand Elder Jing Lin. What a nosy man. I should still pay the distant Mountain sect a visit. Senior brother. Cough. Cough. Miaozhu, people are looking. Screw them. It's been so long since I last saw you. Cough. 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 Miao Zhu, you are the chief disciple of the Distant Mountain Sword Sect. How can you behave in public? Ying, Distant Mountain Sword Sect's chief swordsman. Oh. You're here too, eunuch Ying. What did you just call me? Senior brother Chief Ying, drop it. I wonder why young master Zhu and Chief Yi don't seem to get along well. Brother Zhu used to live in the sect's abandoned woods with his teacher Xuan, their master and disciple, but also aunt and nephew. Their relationship isn't normal, and Chief Yi. I heard that he got rejected by Master Xuan, and that's why he castrated himself. Is it that true that their aunt and nephew? Who would have thought they'd do something like that? I feel so bad for Chief Yi. Zhu Xuan is barely interested in humans at all. We're only a bit close, and they're already spreading rumors. Our relationship is absolutely platonic. H. Hey, senior brother, look. There are flying great dragons too. Oh, that's the group responsible for clearing obstacles and beasts along the way. There are scouts as well. It'll only get harder from now on. There's going to be a blizzard tonight, so I've prepared the horses, we'll use them to reach our destination. That's very thoughtful of you, dear. Stateswoman Lee. None of our flying great dragon generals came back from the mountain. We could only find scattered pieces of dragon scales and armor. What? The number of casualties is already too high, the mountain isn't simple at all. We have to leave this place, otherwise, we'll be in even more danger. We'll use the Eagle Corps as scouts instead, and the army will continue moving as usual. There's bad news, Marquis. The thousands of eagles that we sent have also disappeared. What? What's going on? How weird. Did the enemy do it, or is it a mysterious monster? Hey, this is too bizarre, isn't it? It's very likely that demons and ghosts have something to do with this, but it could also be someone from the icebound city obstructing us. Vanquishing evil is what our distant mountain sword sect does best, so please let me and my disciples go take a look. We'll come back with an answer before sunset. Okay. I'll go with them too. Cloud, please be careful. Thousands of dragons were eaten. What monster could have possibly done that? You're right. Does a creature like that actually exist? Let's keep moving forward and continue investigating. This place looks too clean. Shouldn't there be some bones and skin left even if they were really eaten? Tianchilong, could you do this? Could you kill them all in such a short amount of time without leaving any traces? GRGH, my great lantern tail can, but... GRGH. It's impossible to completely get rid of the evidence. I'd have to make the entire mountain disappear as well. A huge amount of power could do that, but it would also be really noisy. We must have missed something. Senior brother, there seems to be a very deep ravine here. Oh. Eh, I think there's something on your horse's ass. It looks like a gadfly. Gadflies bite animals just like mosquitoes bite us. It's nothing strange. How could they survive the extremely cold weather on this high mountain range? Hmm. Senior brother, there's definitely something down there. I think it's an insect's egg. Ah. What's going on? Ah. This horse has gone crazy. No. Miaozhu, get down from that horse. Ah. Help me, brother. Was that a ghost? No, something's flying out from its body to devour it. Dragons. They're wasp dragons. Dragons? Those tiny gadflies are dragons? Yes, they're the smallest dragons on earth. Once they wake up inside an animal's body, they'll eat them to get out. Let's leave this place first and discuss our plans later. I saw lots of eggs when I looked down that ravine. Wasp dragons have to be eaten before they're triggered, right? They never seem to attack us before. No, they only go into hibernation when there's not enough food, their number is usually so large that it's enough to destroy an army. That's when they start the fight. 
What? What's that sound? There are so many wasp dragons. Dragon soul sword. Run. Follow the army. You need to get to a crowded area to stop wasp dragons. Chief, what are they doing? Are they performing weapon arts? Run. Get back to the army, now. They're panicking over such a minor inconvenience. How unruly. Now I want to see what's making a coward like Zhu Minglang quiver like that. Why is my sword shaking so much? This aura how many dragons are there? Arg. Damn it, die. Arg. Damn it. God damn it. To hell with you. Chief. Leave. Don't go. He's our chief and teacher. We can't let him die like this. Rest in peace, Chief Swordsman. Zhu Minglang will get your revenge. Wasp dragons. It's no wonder we lost half of our cattle. They couldn't even deliver the necessities. Sai, I guess this is a bad omen for us. It's probably because of the time wave. Plants aren't the only creatures affected by it. Oh, when did you come here? If all those wasp dragons develop mutations, then I wonder how the people in Icebound City are doing. It's the Heavenly Winged Lightning Seed. Is that the Icebound Ancient City? If I can get the Heavenly Winged Lightning Seed, then Qingzhuo will be able to break through to the king level. Good supplies come by chance. We have to act quickly and get our trump card before the enemy can do anything to stop us. Who's going to lead the team? Please let me and Miss Lingxia do it, darling. Okay, but you have to be extra careful this time. Cloud Cloaked Valley. I can hear footsteps. Could it be the echoes of us walking? No, it sounds like someone's approaching us from ahead. This is bad. They look like the Great Ridge Army. It looks like the enemy also made a detour to attack us. Now that we've met in the middle, the stronger one will win. Miss Lingxia, please help me. See if these people are normal humans or... Sai, it's a shame that I'm only a dragon master, I can't tell what they are. What do you mean dragon master? She really has the worst timing ever. Sai, now I have no choice but to go up. It's the Lichuan people. Kill them all. You Lichuan rats. Where's your captain? Surrender now. Thunder Roar of Great Ridge Army. What a madman. You must be careful, because I won't be able to help you. I'm your brother-in-law, so there's no way I'll let you lift a finger in this fight. Hiya. G-R-G-H. Die. A dragon monarch, huh? I'm not scared of you. I'll kill your black worm first. Arg. Keep scratching my back. Good job, Hiya. Get. The hell out of my way. I didn't expect him to be so strong. He brushed Haya off like it was nothing. Are you the one leading this ambush? A gremlin like you isn't worth being killed by the captain. You don't have the right to see him either, now die. Really? Stupid, broken sword. You. He's just an ordinary human, so where did his strength and magic armor come from? How dare you kill my twin brother? You're dead. Eh? You're the captain, aren't you? I'm Deputy General M.O. Hu. M.O. Hu, Great Rigdi Army. You're just a Deputy General? How disappointing. You're not worth me making a move yet. Young Master, I'm quite literally a fossil now. Why'd you expect me to deal with him? Protect the Young Master. White Frost Dragon, Upper Dragon Lord. Ugh. They're no match for him. Sir, this man is a king level. Never mind that, just get behind me. The Zhu clan paid so much money. Did they spend it all on clothes? They couldn't even get a decent fighter. Young Master. Grand Elder, in your recollections, has Zhu Minglang ever lost a fight? Go. Ouch. You're getting old, Grand Elder. Please sit here and rest. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Since when was the Young Master so strong? Our Zhu clan's Young Master is a real dark horse. Huh. I smashed his knees, but he still stood up as if nothing happened. Huh, so you are king level 2, at least my brother's death wasn't shameful, but you won't leave this valley in one piece. I'll tear your soul apart. No. I can't use my sword here, because it might accidentally hurt the Zhu clan's people. I have to lure him out first. I didn't take you for such a coward. Ha ha ha, keep running. This place doesn't look too bad, there's a mountain and the sea, so it's very suitable for disposing the body. Why'd you stop running? There's no one else here. 
I wonder how you're going to save your life now. You mere mortals. No matter how hard you cultivate, you simply can't defy our holiness, you're just a bunch of cowards. Keep them coming, and we'll kill every single one of you. What part of me do you find cowardly? Which one of you lowly mortals isn't a coward? I'm taking pity on your loneliness, so go to hell, and play with the devils. Oh? Am I alone? Tianchalong. Ninth Hell Execution Ground. What the hell is this thing? Mid-Level Monarch. This is a dragon monarch's trap. You're all alone here. Everything will be slowly corroded inside this ninth hell execution ground, no matter how superb your armor or how impenetrable your skin is. Enjoy the feeling of mortal suffering. No. Okay, Tianchalong. He's dead. Roar. I'm going back now. Eh, a monarch level soul orb? Isn't this yellow orb supposed to be king level? The soul was devoured by the void, so there will be imperfections, but it doesn't affect the level of the soul orb. Could he have used something similar to the magic fruit and borrowed its special power to reach monarch level? It seems that I have to find the source of this power. I can only put an end to all this chaos by destroying it. Oh, it looks like I've made a move in this fight. Miss Yusua, is everyone alright? You bastard, why didn't you let me do it myself? You'll have to make up for it. How about a kiss? Don't joke like that, Miss Yusua. You should have at least taken a look around. We took care of the rest of the Great Ridge Army, cough. Oh, young people. They seem to be having fun. Since when did I, Nan Yusua, have to care about what others are thinking? Ahem. Although we've killed the majority of the Great Ridge Army, a few of them have escaped, they'll definitely report this to their camp, so we should move in a different direction. We can take the path around Winged Lightning Mountain to the back of the icebound ancient city, and then wait for the chance to strike. Yes. Find somewhere to put up the camp first. There's a thunderstorm here. The army's already attacking the fort. It's so harsh. I wonder how my wife's doing. The icebound ancient city isn't simple at all. They use the heavenly winged lighting seed to create a lightning barrier that prevents our dragons from breaking in. Sigh, it's a shame that we don't have enough people. Otherwise, we could have sent a group to scout the top of the mountain or find a chink in their fortress. Just stay here and wait for the right time to attack. I'll go take a look at the top. Are you going alone? Please be careful. I'll be fine. I'll go now, so keep an eye out for the situation here. Qingzhu's ascension awaits. I have to get the heavenly winged lightning seed. I wonder what's going on in the icebound ancient city battle. Another attack has failed. It's no wonder why the icebound ancient city isn't afraid of anyone. The Great Army and the Azure Dragon Battalion will all struggle to get through their barrier. This fortress wall is too strong. If we can't break the barrier and get through the wall, then the entire Great Army will be killed and buried under that trench. Could this one single fortress belong to a foreign race? Why do they get so much help from the sacred? The best thing to do now is to get the Heavenly Winged Lightning Seed and see if there's any way to break through. Eh? Is someone over there? Divine Bird Wizard Hidden Fog Island, Aberrant Hidden Fog Island. It's foes. I have to see what's going on. The half-naked one with brown patterns on his body looks like a bruiser transformed from a Great Ridge General. The wizard wearing a feather cloak and a mask looks familiar. I remember now. They're the foreign races from Hidden Fog Island. I've heard Yunzi say that they're called Divine Bird People and they can control malevolent birds. The Icebound City and Hidden Fog Island are siding together. Those wasp dragons don't seem to be wild either. They're always looming over the great army's head, sabotaging our supplies, and attacking the soldiers. If they're being controlled by people from Hidden Fog Island, then it means that our ambush force's location has been exposed. That's why Xinghua told me this was a checkmate. We were bound to lose this war from the beginning. Why are the Icebound City and the Hidden Fog Island colluding together? I just can't understand it. Those stupid Lichuan people, do they really think that we don't know they're hiding on the mountainside or what their plans are? Haha, <laughs> they're planning on ambushing us while the battle is most intense. They have no idea that the wasp dragons will eat them alive the moment they step down from that mountain. We established the ancestral palace to control Lichuan and to wait for a better heaven's gate to appear. The dynasty messed up our plan when they came out of nowhere and overtook the ancestral palace. The puny dynasty is only part of the lower realm. How could they ever compare to us? Ancestral Palace? 
The Ancestral Palace was the first faction to take control of Lichuan, and it's also Yunzi's biggest hindrance to ruling Lichuan. I never expected it to be controlled by the icebound ancient city. Could Lower Realm mean? There's an even bigger realm on top of the Great Ting Continent. Are they coming into contact with the continent because of the Heaven's Gate? Either way, they're just from another continent and possess some slightly stronger secret techniques. If they still think of Li Chuan as an enemy, then I can't forgive them for it. It's about time, so I'll go gather all the wasp dragons now. You stay here and guard this place with them. Don't worry, whoever comes close will be sliced into pieces. Great, somebody's alone now. M.O.E., kill him. That sword can't kill me, but you'll die today. You absolute disgrace. Die. Do it, Tianchalong. Your wasp dragons are stronger than you, how pathetic. Run, they're calling for more dragons from the mountainside. Really? That's what these pieces of trash do when they lose a fight. Wasp dragons are vengeful creatures. If you kill their master, they won't stop until you're dead. Screw the heavenly winged lightning seed. Your safety comes first, so go down the mountain. You can't fight all those dragons alone. Are they really that scary? Wasp dragons are cunning, and each one of them will predict the enemy's movements. You've summoned Tianchalong and the Dragon Soul Sword, but they're still after you. That means they're sure that they can kill you. That's... The mountaintop is right in front of me. We'll lose this chance if I run now, and the Lichuan Great Army will lose hope. Mr. Koi, they'll be scared away if I become stronger, right? Yes. They're following you very closely and are definitely waiting for a huge army of wasp dragons to be gathered. Once that's done, they'll be able to destroy the Dragon Soul Sword and Tianchalong, unless you still have another ace up your sleeve. I'll have to take the risk this time. What risk? It's a necessary risk for my Azure Scared Samoan Dragon to successfully ascend. A King Level Azure Scared Samoan Dragon will be the best trump card I can get. The Wasp Dragons are here again, there must be thousands of them this time. We're screwed. Eh? It looks like they're not coming toward us, thank goodness. They're heading to the mountaintop. I can only hope Zhu Minglang doesn't run into them. Who are you? Scarlet Strike. What on earth is going on? Damn it. You're courting death. I won't let you get away with this. Nidanada. Haha, <laughs> you killed all three people behind me, but you're still too scared to touch me. You still have some common sense, huh? You're quite a talented mid-level king, but I, Chao Gui, am no ordinary person either. He's right. His body is magnetic, and he can attract the mountaintop's purple ores. He uses them as armor, because those ores are extremely defensive. Even Tianchalong's dark power can't penetrate this material. The wasp dragons are coming here too. I'm in such a difficult position right now. Hmm? Do you have a way to deal with him? Lala. A monarch-level demonist dragon like you is trying to hurt me? You're dead. What? No way. Ouch. That's right, we don't have to kill him, we only need to stop him from running around. Oh no. The wasp dragons found me. Stay still, and just let them come to us. You can't be 100% sure it'll work, if you fail, then they'll tear you apart and devour you until there's nothing left. A dragon master has to trust his dragon. It's now or never. Qingzhua, go. Roar. That's not a normal thunderstorm. Qingzhua can't withstand it. Yes, he can. He was never a weak dragon. Chirp. Stand up and fly. I want to find out if this lightning wrath can hit harder than my mom. Can it be more ruthless than my fellow brothers? I was thrown off a cliff when I was young. My master saved me and changed my life. No matter how cruel fate is to me now, it's nothing compared to the past. I won't surrender, because I'm not a cripple anymore. I was given a chance to rewrite my destiny, and I'll do it at any cost. Chirp! I have to transcend my limit, spread my wings, and rise up once again. Qingzhui he's still the same. His desire to live never changed. Your Majesty, the lightning barrier is gone. Is his dragon ascending? I hope everything's going well. Assemble all of the dragons, we'll attack the Silver Ridge. Attack the Silver Ridge. 
Destroy the icebound ancient city. Kill them. Transformed so. Reconstructed bloodline. Qingzhua, you did it. This is what it means to be born to die. Azure scared Samuan Phoenix, intermediate king level. This is Qingzhua's final form. It's unbelievable. Not only is he a mid-level king now, but he also has. An Azure Lightning Life Seed. Roar? Why don't I have a Life Seed? It's okay, you'll eventually get one as well. Qingzhua, it's our turn now. Take back the sky from those Great Ridge Generals. Damn it! Those bastards used the Heavenly Winged Lightning Seed to ascend their dragons. I swear to make their souls disappear from this world, to tear their bodies into pieces, and to take their dragons' hearts. Venomous demon birds. Chirp! Get down here for me. That Azure Dragon is in its strongest stage. Call more venomous demon birds and Great Ridge Demon Dragons to come help us. We'll deal with the army storming our fortress first. Yes, sir. Kill them. Qingzhua, keep patrolling the sky. I'll go check down there. Chirp. Ah. Help me. We're in bad shape. Those Great Ridge Generals were already hard enough to deal with alone, and now they're sending the venomous Vermilion Dragons too. Hmm? Is that, he looks like Zhu Minglang. Zhu Minglang of the Zhu clan. Didn't you say Zhu Minglang was a useless loser? You're the only son of one of the six great clan's leaders, so why couldn't I sense your presence in this battle at all? Damn it, Zhu Minglang is acting all confident and fierce now. People will definitely want to serve the Zhu clan after this. Don't worry. A human from the lower world like him can never compare to a pure-blooded god, no matter how good his cultivation level is. Wait until I retrieve my lost grace. The Zhu clan and the dynasty will have to worship me. Where's the Lost Grace anyway? Zhu Mingling is helping us clear the way. We'll sneak in and find the place of their ancient ruins once they've broken through the gate. That's where the Lost Grace lies. As long as we have it, you can have an army as powerful as those Great Ridge Generals too. That's amazing. Then I, Zhou Xian, will become the ruler of this world. We'll act on our own later, use the crossbowmen and my grand elders. We'll be able to reach the ancient ruins and retrieve the lost grace. Just follow me, and I'll give you whatever you want. The wall's broken. Go. Get inside the fortress. The front wall's been breached, M.O.E. Take me to the back of the city. I want to see how the ambush is going. Back of the fortress. The so-called great army is only an illusion that you mortals created. Peng Hu, hero, it's such an unfunny joke to make me deal with these pricks. Du Yang, Ancestral Palace Archer, sir, that woman is from the Nan family. The Nan family in Lichuan? She's Nan Lingxia, the woman who murdered our hidden sentries and caused your Du family's fourth son to die tragically. It's her. Lichuan would have become ours long ago if she hadn't colluded with Li Yunzi to fight against the Ancestral Palace. What a gorgeous woman. I can't help but want to scoop her beautiful eyes out. Pardon me, but please be aware that you're on very thin ice right now. Who are you? Not that many people on this continent can kill me. What makes you think you can do it? Old man, your son's name is Du Chang, right? You. Don't blame Nan Lingxia, I'm the one that killed Du Chang. Do you recognize this cloak? You, who are you? Don't waste time talking to him. Kill him. Die. At first I thought you were a piece of trash, and now it turns out that you're a monster. Damn it! Is that a sword or a dragon? Does it really matter? Sword fusion. Wind blade. Go! Ah! Eyeless evil dragon? Peng Hu seems to have something to do with the eyeless evil dragon. Ha ha ha, die! All of you, perish. There must be someone important to you among them, isn't that right? Don't worry, I'll let you sink into that cursed pit. Your flesh, skin, and bones will all be melted and swallowed. Ha ha ha. You can't defeat me with just that sword. Ah. ah. What's going on? Damn it. My blood leech dragons. Huh, you are using blood leech dragons to suckle on people's strength and increase your power? It's too bad you won't be able to do that anymore. Damn. He chopped off all of your blood leech dragons. If that's the case, then don't blame me for being rude. P 
Peng Hu, what are you doing? Ah, you will be punished for this, Peng Hu. Ha ha ha. Didn't you say that you wanted to get revenge for your son? I'll help you if you give me your blood. Keep running laps around me and my evil leeches. Let me see how you'll fight me without your sword. Please don't tell me that you really think I'm only using my sword to fly around you. Ah, unseen slashes. Damn it. I have to find a way out of his sword trap. Demonic bull surges. Ha ha ha. Your little tricks can't defeat me. Huh, you seem confident for a dead man. Ah. Oh, you're quite tough, aren't you? Take one more strike, then. Hick. You're here, at last. Why are you so loud? What are you looking at? Kill it. Gods, run. I didn't know that her dragon had also reached king level after using the cultivation fruit. She didn't need to use any mystical treasure, so it seems that these two dragons' potential is very high. Your evil dragon's soul orb is mine now. Absorb. You really killed those two heroes. That's so cool. What do we do next? It's obvious. We'll keep moving forward and kill whoever hinders us. Yes, we have to show those foreign races our strength. Let's go in there. Kill them. The troops acted under Zhu Minglang's command, relentlessly killing enemies on their way. At last, they reunited with the Great Army and took over Great Ridge Fort. Zhu Minglang, Xinghua told you about this, didn't she? Yes. She predicted that the icebound city's secret is hidden in the ancient ruins. Mr. Zhu, is something the matter? We took over Great Ridge Fort, but they don't seem to be worried. They even let those evil dragons fight Qingzhuo in the sky. When I was flying over this place, I noticed that the ancient ruins were very strange. The icebound city really isn't simple. I'm afraid that they'll still outnumber the factions and the dynasty army. Young Master Zhu has helped us clear the way. Miss Yusua, let's go inside together, just in case we need help. I get it. Get up here, Gremlin. This is the heart of the icebound ancient city. I can't believe there's not a single person guarding this place. Hmm, this ancient ruin site isn't too large, so it won't take long to search. Half an incense stick later. What's wrong? Do you feel that we're getting further and further away from the wall? It's only been half an incense stick, but we're already so far away. It seems that there are spatial laws in this place. There could be another world hidden in this site too. Yes, this ruined site isn't normal. Why is there a temple here? Let's go take a look. Inside the temple. The music seems to have some sort of inheritance. It's a shame I'm not musically trained. I can't tell what's it trying to say. Can you so all understand this world transcending music? Can you hear the story hidden in the song? Why are you crying? The musician is our mother. I didn't know this ancient, mysterious music hall belonged to their mother. Doesn't that mean that they're also from the icebound ancient city? Are the people in this icebound ancient city your people as well? That's not possible. Wait, you don't know anything? Did Qinghua and Yunzi tell you nothing about it? Cough, please educate me. They're not from our tribe. This ancient ruined site existed long before the icebound ancient city, and it's hard to backtrack what happened to our mother. The icebound ancient city people fled here, and my mother took them in. She gave them a safe place to live. Please accept us, your majesty. This place has a very strong divine aura that can accelerate cultivation speed. The people she saved were probably refugees, even though they built this icebound ancient city, they were still scared that their old tribe would come find them one day. That's why they didn't go outside. Did they set up the ancestral palace to control Li Chuan? Yes. We should have known better than to help traitors. They betrayed their old tribe, so it was only a matter of time before they bit the hand that fed them as well. Those scum in the icebound ancient city wanted to kill my mother, and their first targets were her young children. She sacrificed her life to save ours. She took mine and Xinghua's souls and put them inside Nan Lingxia and Li Yunzi's bodies, that's how we survived. That idiot, Li Ying, was afraid of the power that the dynasty held and threw Li Yunzi into prison because she didn't support the ancestral palace. Sai, I didn't know you had to go through so much at such a young age. It's heartbreaking to hear. It seems that this war isn't just about eradicating the foreign races anymore. It's also a battle of revenge for the four of you. Her mother was killed, and she was dishonored, but she never lost her resilience. It's a pity that I was at rock bottom back then. If I were still a swordsman, then I could have destroyed the ancestral palace with one strike, and Yunzi wouldn't have had to bear so much grief. 
I'm glad the situation's gotten better and that I'm more capable now. I can help them wipe out this icebound ancient city. Yunzi, don't worry. I'll protect you and your sisters. I won't let anything like that happen to you ever again. Help me. Help me.